Chapter 201 Dubai Elder Su, I have practiced the body training technique of the 10,000 Buddha sex, the draw body protection magic technique, and an unexpected sword demon secret book. And my main technique is the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike technique. Li Shiming he replied without any concealment. He is not a fool. Judging from Elder Su's attitude and questioning, Elder Su is investigating him and is preparing to accept him as a registered disciple. He has always been groping alone in his cultivation. Since he wants to recognize Elder Su as his master, even if he becomes a registered disciple, he still needs to let his master know the techniques he practices. This is the most basic thing. Vajra body protection magic. Elder Su flicked his fingers on Li Shiming's skin. This finger did not use spiritual power. But the power was not small at all. Even if Elder Jean Dan does not practice body refining techniques, his body has been transformed by heaven and earth far beyond that of any body refining monk in the foundation building period. It seems that you are very talented in body refining. Not long after you established the foundation, you have mastered the diamond body protection magic art of the foundation establishment to a near level, Elder Su said with a smile. And then he thought for a while and asked, then the secret book of sword demons also has jade slips? When you ask this question, you definitely regard Li Shiming as one of your own. As a gene and elder of Shushan sect, he can access even the most precious body training techniques. Li Shiming also understood this. He took out the jade slip of the secret book of sword demons and handed it over. Elders who took the secret code of sword demon without the slightest politeness and began to examine it. The room was quiet for as long as a stick of incense. What a sword demon. He's just an obsessive sword cultivator. However, this body training technique is quite interesting. And you had a chance to get a third grade medal during the Chi Chain stage. Elder Su smiled and shook his head as he commented. Elder Su, I wonder if there is any problem with the sword demon secret code. Li Shiming was shocked. He would not think that Elder Su was lying. Elder Su's status was extremely high in the northern Shu continent. This sword demon probably got an ancient body training technique from somewhere and added some concepts of sword cultivators to practice it. There is no trouble in cultivating to the golden elixir stage. And there is one more magic weapon that can be improved, which is good the body refining technique. But unfortunately after reaching the golden elixir, the effect of this technique can only be used by a flying sword magic weapon. Elder Su explained to him carefully, when you advance to the golden core during the foundation building period, you will experience a transformation of your body with the power of heaven and earth. After this transformation, the Golden Core Cultivator's body will be greatly improved. The Secret Book of the Sword Demon is based on third-grade medals to improve the physique of monks. It is of great help in the Chi Chain stage and Foundation Establishment stage. But in the Golden Core stage, the improvement effect of third-grade medals is almost non-existent. Li Shiming didn't care that the Secret Code of Sword Demon had no effect in the Golden Elixir stage. It would be nice to have another flying sword magic weapon that could be upgraded. I remember that the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike technique is the inheritance of Mingxin's sect. Did you get the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike technique from Mingxin's sect? Elder Su asked next. Elder Su knows everything. Li Shiming nodded and said. Elder Su just smiled at Li Shiming's little flattery. And he became more interested in Li Shiming. To say that Li Shiming's talent is very poor. There is little hope of being promoted to Jin Dan with three spiritual roots. But Li Shiming's good fortune is really too deep. Looking at Li Shiming's skills. The Diamond body protecting magic technique can be said to exist in the Shushan sect. But it is obvious that Li Shiming's Vajra body protecting magic technique is a true transmission and is different from the leaked version. The third grade medal required for the secret book of sword demons is theoretically impossible for Li Shiming to come into contact with. Even if Li Shiming has a quasi Taishan of the Golden Core stage. Which Golden Core stage monk would hand over a third grade medal that is extremely precious and important to himself to a Chain Chi stage monk. This is a huge waste of resources, and will also put Li Shiming in extreme danger. You must know that even though the third grade metal is fused into the body, the golden elixir monk has no means to extract it. This extraction method will definitely kill Li Shiming. There is only one possibility. That is, Li Shiming himself had a great opportunity and obtained enough third grade metal for cultivation. Let's talk about the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique which is one of the most core inheritances of Mingxin sect. It is said that only a few core golden elixir elders in the sect can access it. An inheritance like the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique, not to mention Li Shiming. Even if it is placed in the Shushan sect, it is also an extremely precious inheritance. Anyway, 
if you want to practice it, you need to pass the assessment before you can access it. The most important thing is that top-level skills such as Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique require corresponding talents to practice. Li Shiming has the talent of Lei Xiao and has obtained the suitable Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique. This is a chance. There is a saying in the world of immortality that opportunity is more important than talent. This is the experience gained by countless monks with blood and tears. Some monks have practiced hard for countless years and experienced life and death to obtain the elixir and seek breakthroughs. But some monks, sitting on the top of the mountain watching the scenery, saw elixir falling from the sky and then succeeded in breaking through easily. This is a monk who has a chance. Like the darling of heaven and earth. Li Shiming, are you willing to become my disciple? Elder Su stood up straight and asked Li Shiming solemnly. Elder Su, my disciple is willing. Li Shiming was startled for a moment, then realized what he was doing, and quickly fell to the ground and responded loudly. Then why are you called Elder? Elder Su showed a satisfied smile on his face, but said lightly, Master! Li Shiming changed his name and called him again. You first become an inner disciple when you enter, and then you can compete for true disciples after practicing well. Elder Su helped Li Shiming up and said, only then did Li Shiming understand clearly that Elder Su accepted him as a disciple, not a registered disciple, which made him eligible to compete for the status of a true disciple. Although there is a slight difference in names between disciples and registered disciples, their statuses are completely different. Being a named disciple is just an honor. Under the strict master-disciple relationship in the world of immortality, registered disciples cannot enjoy the careful teachings of their masters, and they even have very few opportunities to see their masters. Disciples will receive careful instruction from the master, who will provide the best in terms of resources, magical tools, and exercises. The disciple is also the external identity representative of the master, and the relationship between the two parties is one of mutual prosperity and mutual loss. You have three senior brothers and one senior sister. They are all outside at the moment. You need some preparations for your apprenticeship. I will hold an apprenticeship ceremony and invite a few friends to witness it. Elder Su said with a smile. After recovering from his injuries, he received Li Shiming, a disciple with profound blessings. He felt as if he had been affected by Li Shiming's blessings, so he was particularly happy. In addition, this apprenticeship ceremony was not just for Li Shiming, but also for monks inside and outside the sect to see his state. Li Shiming returned to his previous cave, and he could still live here for a few days before officially becoming a disciple. As Elder Su recovered, a series of previously unhandled incidents within the Shushan sect began to unfold. Many monks related to Elder G and his family, including the law enforcement team, were eliminated, participating in the murder of Elder Jean Dan of the Shushan sect. This crime alone is enough for the monks involved to be labeled as traitors to the sect. In the sect, betraying the sect is a serious crime and is punishable by death. All this has nothing to do with Li Shiming. He stays in the cave every day and practices the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique. Only after talking to his master, Elder Su, did he understand how high the level of the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique was, and that it was the topmost among the major cultivation techniques. Although the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique is very comprehensive, Shushan Sect does not have the golden elixir resources in this area. So Elder Su hopes that he will consider changing cultivation, taking advantage of the fact that Li Shiming was still in the early stages of foundation building. The cost of switching to cultivation was not high. Of course, Elder Su did not force Li Shiming to choose, but informed him of the stakes. If Li Shiming wants to change to a major skill, Elder Su can use his contribution points to change him to a major inheritance skill of the same level as the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique. Elder Su was able to make such a decision because the Miyong Clover brought by Li Shiming was a third grade elixir, and its value was too great. With Elder Su's status in the sect, he does not need to contribute points to learn a major inheritance technique by himself. But to apply for a disciple, he does need to contribute points. You must know that this kind of top-level major inheritance technique, normal sect monks are not eligible to redeem it even if they have contribution points. This is the core technique of the sect. With the comments of countless senior monks of the sect, it will be much more difficult to practice. Reduce. Li Shiming was a little hesitant. He knew the importance of inheriting the technique but he felt that it was extremely consistent with the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique. This fit was a feeling. He didn't know if he would still have this sense of fit if he changed his major in martial arts. Besides, 
even if he were to switch to a different sect to major in inherited skills at this time. It would only be a foundation building chapter, and there would be no subsequent content, and it would not be the entire book. Only when he is promoted to the Golden Elixir can he apply to the sect for the subsequent Golden Elixir chapter. This feeling of not being able to grasp the skills he practiced made Li Shiming feel very unsure. Fortunately, he still has time and can think about it slowly. Li Shiming was indeed lucky. It was also because the Mingxin sect as a whole evacuated the Shirwanda Mountain in Bei Shu that Jin Dan Sword Xiao Yang Xinji was able to carry all the top skills with him, which benefited Li Shiming a lot. Ten days later, Li Shiming, who was practicing, sensed a message from a monk outside the cave. He opened the cave and couldn't help but look surprised when he saw the visitor. Brother Su! Although Li Shiming had learned from Elder Su that Su Chuan was still alive, he was still overjoyed when he saw Su Chuan actually appearing in front of him. Brotherly, I shouldn't call you Junior Brotherly anymore. Thank you. Senior Brother. Su Chuan bowed to Li Shiming and solemnly said, Okay. That day, he was chased by the four-clawed dragon demon. He escaped with his life-saving object, but he was also seriously injured. After that, he rested in an underground cave for more than two months before he finally regained some strength. He couldn't wait to recover and hurried towards the meeting place. Su Chuan even thought that Li Shiming would not be waiting there and would most likely leave first. This is also normal. Li Shiming just gave him a promise, and did not need to risk death for his mission. But what Su Chuan didn't expect was that when he arrived at the rendezvous point, he saw that the target area was in a mess. Even after a long time, traces of the battle still remained there. Almost no trees were standing. Most of the vegetation was burned by the spiritual fire. And even the rocks on the mountain were not spared. It can be seen that the battle was brutal and the strength of the spiritual beast guarding Mian Clover can be judged from the traces of the battle, which is definitely beyond the foundation building stage. In other words, Li Shiming fought a golden elixir demon for this promise to him. He didn't know whether Li Shiming had successfully obtained Mian Clover, but he didn't have the energy to look for other places. The injuries he suffered cannot be recovered in a short time. Without sufficient combat power, it would be difficult for him to survive in Shirwan Mountain. Su Chuan didn't stay much longer and waited until he returned to Shushan's sect. He hoped that his senior brothers and sisters would gain something. When he returned to the sect, he saw Elder Su who had recovered, and also heard that Elder Su was planning to accept Li Shiming as his disciple. Regardless of his fatigue, he came to Li Shiming immediately. He needed to express his gratitude to Li Shiming in person. Senior brother Su, you are too polite. There is no need for this between us, Li Shiming said with a smile helping Su Chuan up. He and Su Chuan are now senior brothers, which is equivalent to real brothers in the world of immortality. Yes, there is no need to say thank you for our relationship. Su Chuan also laughed. The two of them entered the cave while joking. Li Shiming thought that the Jin and cave was extremely luxurious, but he did not see any envy in Su Chuan's eyes. It seems that this Jin and cave is nothing ordinary, which makes Li Shiming very curious. What does Su Chuan's cave look like? Senior brother Su, this cave is my temporary residence. I don't know what the cave will be like after entering. Can I choose it by myself? Li Shiming asked without understanding. Ha ha. You don't have a choice. You'll know when the time comes. Su Chuan smiled and did not answer directly. Su Chuan remembered his gaffe when he got his own cave after entering. How could he tell Li Shiming the information in advance? He also wanted to see Li Shiming's gaffe. Junior brother, what kind of spirit beast is that guarding the Miyam Clover? Su Chuan returned the topic to the matter of seizing the elixir. He was extremely curious about how Li Shiming obtained the elixir from such a powerful spirit beast. I don't know much about spiritual beasts. It's a giant bear. Good at using fire. Li Shiming used his spiritual power to draw the appearance of the giant bear in the void and said, The Great Red Sun Bear Demon. Su Chuan was so shocked that he almost jumped up. The Red Sun Bear Great Demon was a top-notch existence even among the third-grade spiritual beasts in the Hundred Thousand Mountains. It's not a big demon. It's just a little bit closer to a big demon. It can be regarded as a half-step big demon. If it was really a big demon, I'm afraid I would have stayed there. Li Shiming shook his head with a wry smile. Is there any difference? Su Chuan looked at Li Shiming as if he were a monster and asked. Yes, Li Shiming in the early stage of foundation building. Even if he holds a bunch of talismans in his hands he can still be easily beaten to death in front of a half-step demon. And a half-step demon like Qiong Xiong. Chapter 202 Accepting Disciples Today is a big day at Tianmu Peak. Elder Su recruits a formal disciple. 
This is his fifth disciple. Early on, Li Shiming was called to the Jushian Pavilion in Tianmu Peak and stood outside the door to receive guests. Standing with him was Su Chuan. As for the remaining two senior brothers and one senior sister, they have all said back the news and will definitely rush back today. So only the two juniors are standing outside the pavilion to entertain guests. Uncle Wu, you are here. The master is making spiritual tea and waiting for you. Several figures landed in front of the Jushian Pavilion. Su Chuan stepped forward quickly and pulled Li Shiming at the same time. The two of them greeted each other at the same time. Su Chuan Chuan smiled. Su Chuan, as long as you can speak, your master's spiritual tea comes from me. Elder Wu smiled and patted Su Chuan, then looked Li Shiming up and down, with scrutiny and curiosity in his eyes. No wonder he is like this. Elder Su is extremely strict in choosing disciples. Among so many Jin Dan monks, Elder Su has relatively few disciples. Many old friends wanted to send their juniors here, but Elder Su refused. Senior brothers, this is my junior brother Li Shiming. Please take care of me. Su Chuan was already introducing Li Shiming to the disciples, who came with Elder Wu. Of course Li Shiming knew that this was a network of connections, and those who could be invited were probably Elder Su's best friends and they were naturally in the same alliance within the sect. Five Jean Dan elders came one after another, which made today's apprenticeship ceremony extremely high level. Every time a Jean Dan elder came, Su Chuan introduced Li Shiming in detail, allowing Li Shiming to get to know the Jean Dan elders and the Jean Dan disciples one by one. Uncle Ma! Just when the time was almost up and Li Shiming thought that no guests would come again, Su Chuan greeted him out with a very respectful attitude, bowed and shouted, what Li Shiming saw was a monk who looked extremely young, but his terrifying golden elixir aura made him understand that this was also a golden elixir elder. Su Chuan, why are you hurt so badly? Uncle Ma glanced at Su Chuan and said, while throwing out a bottle of pills. Thank you, Uncle Ma. Su Chuan's voice was particularly bright, and he then explained with a smile. We had a battle with a four-clawed dragon monster in Shiwan Mountain. You must have used a lot of life-saving spiritual things from Shao Su. When you come back, stay here and take good care of yourself. Master Ma waved his hand and said with a smile. He turned his attention to Li Shiming. Naturally, he already knew the reason why his friend Elder Su wanted to accept Li Shiming. The most important reason was that he alone obtained the third grade elixir Myon Clover for Elder Su. There's something wrong with your fire spirit power. Come and learn alchemy from me when you have time. Master Ma sent something and said to Li Shiming with a smile. Thank you, Uncle Ma. When Su Chuan heard what Uncle Ma said, he was afraid that Uncle Ma would regret it. So he pushed Li Shiming hard and said, Thank you, Master Ma. Li Shiming bowed and thanked. But he was not at peace in his heart. What was wrong with the so-called fire spirit power should be the fire in his body. Obviously Master Ma saw something. But he didn't say it clearly. Li Shiming decided to go to Master Ma's place when he had time. It would be best if he could learn how to make alchemy. Even if it didn't work, he could still learn from Master Ma what the fire in his body was. This kind of spiritual flame stayed in the spiritual lake so that he didn't know whether it was good or bad. He guessed it wasn't a bad thing since the flames were under his control. But he had to at least understand the flames to feel at ease. Uncle Ma patted Su Chuan lightly and turned around and entered the Jushin Pavilion. Just when Su Chuan was about to take Li Shiming in with him, three flying boats flew over. It's senior sister and the others are back. Su Chuan waved his hands excitedly. The three flying boats stopped in front of Jushin Pavilion. Three figures jumped out of the flying boats and put the flying boats away at the same time. The leader is a big beauty. The reason why she is called a big beauty is because this beauty is an enlarged version. With a height of 2 meters and 2 meters. And the body proportions are also consistent with a height of 2 meters and 2 meters. This made ordinary male cultivators feel ashamed when standing in front of her. In addition, the aura of this beautiful woman is almost very similar to that of the red sun bear. Li Shiming judged that this was the last step away from the golden elixir. Such monks are the strongest beings in the world of immortality. And half-step golden pill is their proper name. I am your senior sister Yi Jingxian. And you are master's new junior brotherly. Right. Yi Jingxian pushed Su Chuan aside and came to Li Shiming. As she spoke, she hugged Li Shiming hard. This deep hug made Li Shiming feel ashamed because Yi Jingxian was too tall. Even though Li Shiming had grown to 1.9 meters now, he was still like a child in front of Yi Jingxian, coupled with Li Shiming's face that still retains a youthful air. This scene made the other three senior brothers unable to bear to look directly at it. Junior brother Li, thank you. 
If it weren't for you, Master would have been in trouble this time. Yi Jingxian did not smile. She patted Li Shiming's back hard and said sincerely, Their four disciples are all trying hard to find possible clues. Just to find the third great elixir Muyan Clover. However, unless the sect has the conditions to transplant the elixir that can become a third grade medicine, the rest will have to be competed with powerful monks or spiritual beasts. For Muyan Clover, Yi Jingxian and the other two senior brothers spent a lot of favors and a lot of energy. But they still couldn't find it. As a result, I received a message from the master. The new disciple had brought back Muyong Clover. And the master's injury had also recovered. In the future in Shushan sect, no matter who bullies you, you must tell me that senior sister will vet your anger for you. When I become Jean and elder, I will be able to do something to him. Senior sister Yi Jingxian said proudly. Sister, can you let me go first? Li Shiming struggled hard and responded. I forgot. Yi Jingxian smiled and let go of Li Shiming. Xia Quanzi, are all the guests here? She turned to look at Su Chuan and asked. We are all here. Su Chuan heard Yi Jingxian's name and replied with his head drooping weakly. He felt that his image was completely gone. But he didn't have the slightest courage to resist against the senior sister. The senior sister was whatever she called her. Come on, let's go in. Yi Jingxian waved. Sister, we haven't met our junior brother yet. A bearded man on the side said dissatisfiedly. By the way, he is your second senior brother Wan Zheng. He is not strong enough. He fell to the ground with one punch. This is your third senior brother Lu Xur. He can't even withstand even half a punch. See, junior brother, you are a body trainer. Come with me when you have time. Practice. Yi Jingxian's introduction was extremely simple and vivid. When Yi Jingxian hugged Li Shiming, she discovered that Li Shiming's level of physical training was extremely high. Just comparing the physique of a monk, the third senior brother Lu Xur was not as good as Li Shiming. Li Shiming saved his master and had the talent for body training, which suited Yi Jingxian's taste. So she took a fancy to him. Since the people who came this time were all old friends who often get together every day, the atmosphere in the hall was very warm. When Li Shiming and others came in, they saw several Jin Dan people chatting and laughing, as well as Jin Dan disciples standing nearby who were also communicating softly. Everyone, you have all met Li Shiming. Right. I am going to officially accept Li Shiming as my disciple today. Please verify it with fellow Taoists. Elders who pointed at Li Shiming with a smile and clasped his fists at the golden elixir monks. Old Su, I'm not convinced. Why did you accept Li Shiming as your disciple? Apart from the elixir he brought you, how could he be worthy of being accepted as your disciple? Elder Wang was the first to speak up, precisely because they were all old friends. Elder Wang had no scruples in speaking and said what he had to say. Of course, the reason was that senior sister Yi Jingxian also informed Li Shiming through voice transmission. It turned out that one of Elder Wang's juniors wanted to join Elder Su's disciples. But Elder Su rejected him because he had insufficient qualifications and no fate. When Elder Wang saw that Li Shiming, a monk with three spiritual roots, was actually accepted as a disciple by Elder Su, he was certainly dissatisfied. As a good friend, if you have any dissatisfaction, speak it out loud. This is what a good friend should be like. Old Wang, don't you just want to see how good Li Shiming is? Li Shiming is here to show his strength to all the masters and uncles. Using your best skills? Elder Su pointed at Elder Wang with a smile. And then said to him Li Shiming ordered, Even if Elder Wang doesn't say anything, Elder Su is ready to let Li Shiming show his strength. He also wants Li Shiming to be recognized by these friends. Which is extremely important for Li Shiming's future survival in the sect. Yes, Master. Fellow masters and uncles, Li Shiming was pushed by Yi Jingxian to the middle of the hall. And he bowed in response, thinking of showing the strongest one. It is the Nine Palace Sword Formation. These are not ordinary monks. And they are not low in knowledge. His thoughts moved slightly. And the Nine Flying Swords flew out, rolling and shuttling like Nine Dragons, with traces of sword intention rising in the Nine Flying Swords. With this move alone, most of the spiritual weapons in the hands of monks in the early, and middle stages of foundation building cannot withstand this round of attacks. Good guy. With such sword intent. Old Zhao. Is this guy a swordsman? Right. Elder Wu asked Elder Zhao. Elder Zhao is the only sword cultivator here. So it's natural to ask Elder Zhao about this kind of thing. It's not very similar. But this sword intent is definitely rare among the monks of the same generation. It's a pity that I followed Lao Su. Elder Zhao shook his head and said. 
Old Zhao, what do you mean by following me? My disciple is not a swordsman at all. Elder Su was a little dissatisfied and glared. Although Elder Su said this, he secretly made a mistake in his mind. He did not know that Li Shiming had mastery of the sword's intention. During the investigation, Li Shiming did not reveal it at all. Li Shiming's performance was not over. Nine flying swords were inserted into the ground, forming a formation. And then countless thunder and lightning were born in the formation. Lightning strike technique appeared in his hand at the same time. After this period of practice, his lightning strike technique casting time has been shortened to one breath. This is not the limit of lightning strike technique, but it is the limit of his current realm. Lightning strike is Lei Xiao's initial spell, and Lei Xiao's spells are notoriously fast. This is one of the few spells among the magicians that can be cast extremely quickly. But this lightning strike technique is also extremely terrifying in actual combat. Especially if you are in a formation. You are almost the target of the lightning strike technique. Since the lightning in the formation is covered, the enemy in the formation will not know that it has been attacked until they are hit by the lightning strike technique. The Jin Den monks present are all experienced monks. How could they not see the benefits and disadvantages involved? Li Shiming, are you proficient in formations? Elder Qian asked curiously at this time. Elder Qian himself has studied formations. But due to his talent, his research on formations is stuck at the level of an intermediate formation mage. He cannot condense the sea of stars and will never be able to become a high-level formation mage. But he still has good eyesight. And he can set up the formation instantly. At the same time, the complexity of the formation is enough to embarrass him who is proficient in formations. Elder Qian put himself in his shoes and thought. If he was in the foundation building stage, and was in a formation composed of nine flying swords. Would he be able to escape with the strength of the foundation building stage? The answer is that you must have the strength in the late stage of foundation building, and rely on the powerful attack power in the late stage of foundation building to forcefully break the formation. If the strength is weaker, the strength in the middle stage of foundation building, although it can protect itself in the formation, is in a passive position of being attacked. My disciple is a senior formation master. Li Shiming replied without hiding anything. Elder Su twitched the corner of his mouth. This was another unexplored strength. He was already thinking about troubling those who inquired about the information. I really can't blame the monks who inquired about information. The main purpose of recruiting disciples is to assess character, background, etc. Isn't the aspect of strength that the master should assess in person? In two months, it was already very difficult to obtain information about Li Shiming from the chaotic Tianhai Island. Old Su. You shouldn't do this. Lei Shou has mastered the sword's will and is a senior formation master. I doubt you will teach this child to waste. Why don't you let him learn sword cultivation from behind me? Elder Zhao took the initiative and said, Li Shiming's performance of turning his sword intention into nine flying swords and using the nine flying swords to form formations made Elder Zhao feel that he had gone the wrong way. In Elder Zhao's opinion, a correct sword cultivator should only use one flying sword, not multiple flying swords let alone nine flying swords. Can this formation withstand a sword cultivator's full blow? One sword can break all forms, and the formation can be broken in an instant with a sword cultivator's full strength. Old Zhao, I told you that he is not a swordsman. I have talked with him, and he wants to practice law. Elder Su explained helplessly. What a pity! Elder Zhao shook his head and sighed helplessly. There are many new monks in this sect who have the seeds of sword cultivation. But in the early stages of foundation building, I have never seen anyone with sword intent likely shimming. At least in his hands. Understanding sword intent is a kind of talent. If you can't understand it, you can't understand it. No matter how much help you give, it will be the same. After Li Shiming's performance ended, except for Elder Zhao, the other Jin Dan elders all praised him and congratulated Elder Su on getting a good disciple. At the same time, the gifts prepared were quietly raised a bit and the treatment for the juniors with outstanding talents was naturally different. As for the three spiritual roots, as long as Elder Su is willing to spare the resources, and coupled with Li Shiming's talent, Li Shiming's future is very bright. Chapter 203 Cave Mansion The most important thing in the apprenticeship ceremony is to pay homage to the tablets of the ancestors of all generations. After Li Shiming bowed to the tablets, he then bowed to Elder Su, and the core apprenticeship ceremony was over. Next came the congratulations from the masters and uncles. And each storage bag was put away by Elder Su. Li Shiming didn't even know what the congratulatory gifts were. 
but he thought that the gifts from the Jean Den masters and uncles would not be liked. The last program was to judge the cultivation of each senior brother and sister. A famous senior brother and sister showed off their cultivation achievements in the hall and were subsequently praised or demoted. Su Chuan told Li Shiming that this was a reserved program. And the reason why he brought the Jean Dan disciples here was for this reason. Jean Dan disciples who perform well will receive gifts from Jean Dan elders, which is very important to Jean Dan disciples. Li Shiming also saw the strength of Jean Dan disciples. Every monk who could be accepted as a disciple by Jean Dan was a person with amazing talents. An apprenticeship ceremony made him understand his position clearly. If he hadn't had the help of Z15, he would be far behind these top talents in many aspects. After seeing off all the guests, Elder Su and his disciples were the only ones left in the hall. Shimming, I have reserved a cave for you. This is your identity jade disc and the cave control command talisman. I will take you there now. Elder Su handed over the identity jade disc that he had prepared long ago and smiled at Li Shimming. Said, Thank you, Master. Li Shimming took the jade plate of identity. He is still staying in the master's hospitality cave. And of course, he cannot stay for a long time. Elder Su took Li Shiming and flew out of Tianmu Peak, followed by senior sister Yi Jingxian and the other three senior brothers. The Shushan sect occupies the Shushan Mountains, which is nearly a thousand peaks, large and small. Everyone was hovering in front of a small mountain peak. Li Shiming looked at the mountain peak, which was planted with a large number of spiritual plants. From the bottom of the mountain to the top of the mountain, there are hundreds of acres of spiritual fields opened up, and there are more than 10 spiritual fruit trees with immature spiritual fruits hanging on the branches. There is a cliff at one point on the mountain, and a water line hangs upside down from top to bottom, forming a mini waterfall. There is a deep pool under the waterfall, which is full of aura. This is the sword holding peak, the sub peak of Tianmu Peak. It used to be in charge of me, but now it belongs to you, Elder Su said, pointing to the peak in front of him. Master, the cave you are talking about is a mountain peak. Li Shiming looked at the beautiful mountain peak in front of him in disbelief. Isn't it just a mountain peak? The spiritual veins here are branched from Kimu Peak. If you can achieve the golden elixir, you can separate a small section of the mountain range within the sect as a private property. Elder Su waved his hand, said with a look of disdain for his lack of experience in the world. Su Chuan saw Li Shiming's dazed look with his mouth wide open. He smiled and took out a jade talisman. After activating it, he recorded Li Shiming's appearance. He remembered that he was manipulated by his senior sisters and brothers for a long time. Now that he has a junior brother, he naturally wants to pass on this virtue. The mountain guarding formation at Holding Sword Peak is a bit ordinary. But as you are within the sect and not far from Tianmu Peak, no one will dare to break the formation by force. You are a senior formation master. So you can also strengthen this formation on your own. Formation Method Elder Su introduced as he took Li Shiming to the top of the mountain. There are 100 acres of lower-grade spiritual fields in Holding Sword Peak, 20 acres of mid-grade spiritual fields, 1 acre of high-grade spiritual fields, and 15 second-grade spiritual fruit trees. From now on, these will all belong to you. These properties are the capital of your cultivation. You can issue tasks. Ask Mr. Lingji to take care of it. Or you can arrange for an entourage to take care of it. Elder Su introduced with a smile. Li Shiming took a breath of cold air. The 100 acres of low-grade spiritual fields were okay. And the 20 acres of medium-grade spiritual fields were all spiritual fields that produced the second-grade elixirs needed by monks in the early stages of foundation building. The high-grade spiritual fields were even more powerful. A spiritual field capable of growing second-grade top-level elixirs. It can be said that these 100 acres of low-grade spiritual fields can provide him with an income of tens of thousands of spiritual stones every year. The elixirs produced by the 20 acres of medium-grade spiritual fields can support his current cultivation needs. The elixirs produced by the high-grade spiritual fields can it is the accumulation of his future cultivation. This is your cave. Elder Su was very excited today. When Su Chuan was taken in, this work was done by Yi Jingxian. Li Shiming had given him a face today, and he was in a particularly good mood when he saw the surprised and jealous looks on his old friend's faces. The cave is located on the top of the mountain inside a large rock. Entering the cave, the inside suddenly opened up, and he felt the breath of the space formation. This hall alone is 500 square meters, which is the result of the space being expanded 10 times. You will also have friends in the future. The space is too small. I asked Master Who, the formation master. 
to expand this place for you. Elder Su explained with a smile. What was revealed from time to time in his words was his love for Li Shiming. Master, my cave does not have this space formation. And my cave is very small. Su Chuan reminded softly from the side. You should practice hard for me. Your junior brother has been practicing in seclusion for two months since he came here. He has never been lazy at all. Elder Su said with a glare. Su Chuan shrank his neck and did not dare to say anything more. You can make the decorations in the cave yourself. Here are the gifts from your uncles. You can check them later and put them in the cave's warehouse. You are no longer a casual cultivator and need to learn management. Let's start with managing a mountain. This is also an important learning content. Elder Su did not forget to explain in the end. Yes, Master. Li Shiming finally understood why Jean Dan disciples could own a mountain peak. Everyone who can become the disciple of Elder Jean Dan is the hope of Shushan sect. And Shushan sect not only wants strong combat power, but also future management talents. Starting from a mountain peak to cultivate the management talents of these Jean Dan Elder disciples, it is easier for talents to manage the sect to emerge from them. After Elder Su finished his explanation, he left the sword holding peak in a flash. Junior brother, this is my gift. The senior sister took out a jade box and handed it over and said, Thank you. Senior sister? Li Shiming took the jade box. He was not polite. He opened the jade box and saw a spiritual tea tree inside. With a perception level reaching the second level, his face changed slightly. This gift was not cheap. Spiritual tea is an extremely important treat for monks. Good spiritual tea can make communication between monks easier. Therefore, the value of spiritual tea trees is usually more expensive than spiritual objects of the same level. A second-grade spiritual tea tree can almost save Li Shiming from having to worry about serving spiritual tea to guests during the foundation building period. Junior brother, this is a gift from the second senior brother. The second senior brother Wen Zheng also took out a jade box. The jade box contains a second-grade spiritual flower. Although the spiritual flower does not have the effect of elixir and cannot be used as spiritual food, it can add a faint fragrance to the cave and refresh the mind. The third senior brother Lu Xur also gave a second grade spiritual flower. When he took it out, he glared at the second senior brother Wan Zheng angrily, because they were pressed for time. They did not have time to discuss it, resulting in a situation where their gifts were similar. The gifts you two gave me can be placed at the door by my junior brothers. The gifts given by the second senior brother and the third senior brother were looked down upon by the senior sister. I like flowers and plants very much. Thank you. Second senior brother and third senior brother. Li Shiming smiled quickly. As if they were used to being told by the senior sister. The second and third senior brothers didn't look angry at all and put the gifts in Li Shiming's hands with a smile. Junior brother Su. Are you robbing the spiritual pool in the cave? Yi Jingxian looked at the things on the ground in surprise. There is a jade basin on the ground. With a diameter of 5 meters. If it were in a normal cave hall of 50 square meters, this would be large enough. There are several spiritual fish in the jade basin. The bottom of the basin is composed of spiritual stones and spiritual water plants. Together with the spiritual patterns engraved on the surface of the jade basin, the jade basin as a whole is full of spirituality. Not to mention other things. The value of this 5 meter large spiritual jade alone is difficult to estimate. Not because of its high grade, but because it is too rare. I got this thing. So I put some spirit fish in it. The spirit fish is still a larvae. I feel uncomfortable looking at it. So I might as well give it to my junior brother. Su Chuan said with a nonchalant smile. However, Li Shiming knew that a jade basin that could keep the spiritual water alive and raise spiritual fish couldn't be a simple thing. Looking at the senior sister's expression, one can also tell that it must be extremely precious. Junior brother, please don't refuse this gift from me. Su Chuan looked at Li Shiming again, patted Li Shiming's shoulder heavily and said, Li Shiming felt the power in Su Chuan's hands, which was Su Chuan's heart. Then thank you, senior brother Su. I happen to have spiritual things that need to be planted. Li Shiming could only accept it with a smile. He carefully took out a jade box, took out the entire lotus plant inside, and planted it in a jade pot. Although the jade box has the effect of preserving spiritual plants, the longer it lasts, the greater the damage to the lotus. Junior brother, which golden elixir master's cave did you rob and get this second grade golden lotus? After Yi Jingxian carefully observed the lotus, she raised her head and asked Li Shiming in surprise. This is a golden lotus. Where is the gold? 
Li Shiming had naturally heard of the Golden Lotus. But he had never regarded the second grade lotus he got as a Golden Lotus. What is the Golden Lotus? Whether it is Buddhism or Taoism, they attach great importance to the Golden Lotus. The Golden Lotus is sitting under the Buddha, and the Taoism compares the lotus to itself, wearing a lotus crown on its head, and its Taoist robes are embroidered with Golden Lotus. The Golden Lotus, a spiritual plant in the world of immortality, is a treasure that can purify spiritual energy. Due to the slow advancement of the Golden Lotus, it only takes a thousand years to reach the first level. Don't look at the second grade Golden Lotus in front of you. This is a treasure that has been cultivated for 2,000 years. Look carefully at the edge of the lotus leaf. The number of golden dots there will increase with the grade. And when it reaches the ninth grade, it will completely turn into gold. The senior sister pointed out with great certainty. Li Shiming scanned it with his spiritual thoughts. And he indeed found the golden dots on the lotus. Is this second grade golden lotus very precious? He asked with some worry. To be honest, he had no idea that the lotus he took out was the legendary second grade golden lotus, which made him a little worried about himself. Junior brother, you are not a casual cultivator, nor are you a disciple without a small sect. The Shushan sect has never been afraid of any force in the northern Shu continent. Who dares to come to the sect to rob? Does anyone really have this idea? Tell senior sister, and I will help you blow his head off. And no matter how precious the second grade golden lotus is, it's only a second grade one. Senior sister said with a smile. Li Shiming felt relieved. He was afraid of being plotted against him. If something good happened, it would be plotted against him. Junior brother, you also need to consider your followers. You are not a true successor yet and can only have three followers. Su Chuan reminded at this time. Where did you recruit the entourage from? Li Shiming asked puzzledly. He had just heard the master mention the entourage, but the master did not explain too much. The followers are not disciples of the sect but they can live in the sect. The skills they practice need to be exchanged with contribution points. And the resources also need to be provided by you. The followers need to recognize you as their master and serve you. This mountain, all the spiritual fields and spiritual fruit trees need to be taken care of by someone. So it is best to have a spiritual planter among the entourage. Su Chuan explained carefully. Li Shiming finally understood what a follower was. Isn't this a servant? Perhaps he thought that a servant was not nice to hear. So he took the term, on tour. I don't have any familiar monks here. So how can I recruit followers? Li Shiming shook his head and said, he was going to issue a task within the sect and ask the sect Ling Jifu to manage the spiritual fields and spiritual fruit trees at Jujian Peak on his behalf. Junior brother, if you are at ease, you can choose three followers from my family. Second senior brother Wan Jung suggested from the side. What am I worried about? It's just that the monks from the second senior brother's family won't have any objections. Right. Li Shiming asked with doubts. In his opinion, no monk would want a good monk to become his servant. And he didn't want his second senior brother Wan Zheng to force him to do so. Second senior brother, you are really ruthless. You are going to take all three places. Third senior brother Lu Xu shouted dissatisfied. Why are you talking to me? Let's see if you have improved recently. Second senior brother Wan Zheng who was in the late stage of foundation establishment. Grabbed Lu Xur, who was in the middle stage of foundation establishment. Lu Xur was ravaged by Wan Zheng. Okay. Senior sister Yi Jingxian stretched out her hands. Grabbed the second senior brother and the third senior brother respectively. Controlled them. And then said to Li Shiming, This is one of the few opportunities to join the sect without meeting the conditions. And tell me what I did wrong by being a follower to those monks. Li Shiming underestimated his current status. Although he was not a true disciple of Elder Jean Dan, his status alone gave him a considerable status in the sect. Junior brother, if you really need a follower, each of our three families will have one follower. There is no need to worry about loyalty. They will all sign a contract with you, and there is no way they will betray you. The senior sister threw the two senior brothers to the set aside. Then thank you, senior sister, second senior brother, and third senior brother. Li Shiming agreed with a smile. His real secret is concealed by the magic circle, and he just needs to keep it from his followers. The followers are only responsible for managing the spiritual fruit tree in the spiritual field of the sword holding peak, as well as some other external affairs. Chapter 204 Settlement After seeing off his senior sisters and brothers, Li Shiming was finally able to take a good look at his cave. He feels very good about his eldest sister and three senior brothers. The eldest sister is extremely heroic. Although the second and third senior brothers meet for the first time, 
they are not surprised at all. This is reflected in the fight between them. It can be seen in the commotion. You must know that the second senior brother and the third senior brother are monks in the middle and late stages of foundation building. They are also in charge of many sec monks outside. Their status makes it impossible for them to relax too much. Only when facing his fellow disciples will he let go of his temper and let himself go. Not to mention Su Chuan, who treated Li Shiming as a close friend. Everything was so ideal, and Li Shiming felt that choosing Shushan's sect was the right choice. He walked through the cave hall. Inside was the collection room, which contained some shelves made of spiritual wood. The shelves were now empty. He thought for a moment and took out some of the previous trophies and put them on the shelf. What can be taken out are all spiritual weapon level trophies. These spiritual weapons are either not suitable for use or are of low quality. But these are memorable items and his adventure experiences. With these spiritual weapons in the collection room, it no longer looks empty. He then took out the tables and chairs obtained from the six finger sound demon cave in the study, put out the big bed in the bedroom, and placed all kinds of furniture in the corresponding places in the cave. These furniture are all made of second grade spiritual wood and are too luxurious as supplies for foundation building monks. But who said he had it ready made? With the spiritual stones in his hand, he didn't need to sell spiritual objects to obtain spiritual stones. After he arranged everything, the cave finally felt like home. Based on the normal training time of a foundation building monk, his years in this cave will not be short. He came to the warehouse, where six storage bags were placed, which were gifts from the six gene and elders. Among the six golden elixir elders, the gifts given by five golden elixir elders were four-color spiritual fruits and a second-grade top-level spiritual weapon material. The four-color spirit fruits are also of the second grade. Just taking these four different colors of spirit fruits can improve the physique of the foundation building monks a lot even if they don't practice body training techniques. The second grade top grade spiritual weapon materials allow foundation building monks to customize the spiritual weapon according to their own wishes, which is more appropriate than giving the spiritual weapon directly. There are weapon makers in the sect, but the only thing missing is good spiritual materials. The only difference was Master Ma's gift, which was a jade slip and looked the shabbiest. But after Li Shiming looked at the jade slips, he knew that this gift was the heaviest. Inside the jade slip is a complete alchemy method, including the initial preparation of the elixir, the process of starting the alchemy, and the three methods of alchemy. Green Willow Soul Sensing Technique, Golden Yang Fire Control Technique, and Seven Finger Alchemy Collecting Technique. He didn't know the value of the alchemy formula, but he had obtained some alchemy-related classics before, but he had never obtained one before this kind of magic formula. From this, we can see that the alchemy method given by Master Ma is not simple. This is tantamount to paving the way for him to make alchemy, at least allowing him to easily get started in alchemy. Li Shiming took out the contact card and sent a message to Yin Shirwan. He and Yin Shirwan are no longer monks in the Qi Chain stage now. The communication between the two can no longer be fixed at the same time every day as before, but has been changed to the method of leaving messages to each other. This method of leaving messages would not disturb the other party's practice. And a retreat for a foundation building monk could last for several months. He told him one by one that he had become the disciple of Elder Su and now had his own spiritual peak. And then he put away the contact card. After walking out of the cave, he looked at the mountains full of spiritual fields and spiritual fruit trees. Because he took over. The sword holding peak was his private property. So the originally arranged Ling Jifu also ended his mission. Normally, in this case, the monk needs to take out the spirit stone, ask Ling Jifu to come over for help, and then take over after having Ling Jifu follow him. However, Li Shiming himself was a spiritual master. He inspired the spring breeze moisturizing technique that he had not used for a long time, and a dark cloud appeared in the sky. The spiritual power in his body at this time was no longer as low as it was during the Qi Chain period. His powerful spiritual thoughts allowed him to continuously perform them. Spring Breeze Moisturizing Art Before the first dark clouds had all gathered, the second dark cloud had already appeared. Dozens of consecutive Spring Breeze Moisturizing Techniques caused the sword-holding peak to be completely covered by dark clouds. Under the mutual influence of the dark clouds, a spiritual rain with vitality fell, nourishing every spiritual plant on the sword-holding peak. He could feel the sound of spiritual plants growing in the spiritual rain and the stretching of roots in the spiritual soil. Senior sister Yi Jingxian's speed in doing things was consistent with her personality. On the third day, she led three late-stage Qi Chain monks to the sword-holding peak. 
in three days. Li Shiming, in addition to practicing, also studied the sword holding peak array. He already had a preliminary plan to strengthen it. But due to the lack of formation materials, he couldn't start yet. Junior brother, I brought someone here for you. After seeing Li Shiming, Yi Jingxian pointed at the late level monk next to her. Sister, why are they all female cultivators? Li Shiming asked with a slight frown when he saw the three cultivators in the late stage of Qi Chain. Junior brother, what dissatisfaction do you have with female cultivators? Yi Jingqian's aura suddenly increased, and a slender big hand seemed to be moving. Sister, the female cultivator is very good. I'm very satisfied. Li Shiming then remembered that the senior sister was also a female cultivator, and quickly changed his words. To be honest, when you are with senior sister, you always forget the fact that she is a female nun. That's good. They are all spiritual husbands. This is a contract. You just need to sign it. I have to leave beforehand. Yi Jingxian turned around and left. Senior sister, I still have something to ask. Li Shiming shouted hurriedly. Seeing Yi Jingxian stop, he continued, I want to buy some materials. Is there any trading firm in the sect that I can cooperate with? When you buy materials, of course you go to a business firm like ours. And let Yi Lingyun contact you, said the senior sister, pointing to one of the three followers. Yi Jingxian left in a hurry, leaving behind three female cultivators and their contract. Li Shiming looked at the three beautiful female cultivators and couldn't help but feel a headache. He didn't expect that the senior sister and two senior brothers had chosen female cultivators from their families to send them over. The thought in this is self-evident, but it is a pity that he does not have this thought. From the contract, he knew the names of the three followers. Yi Lingyun, please contact the people in the trading company. I need to meet with them. Li Shiming ordered Yi Lingyun. Yes, sir. Yi Lingyun bowed and responded. The three Ks on the mountainside belong to you. You have to take good care of the spiritual plants in the mountain. I will seal the top of the mountain with a formation. Don't disturb me if you have nothing to do. Li Shiming ordered the three followers again. After giving these instructions, he no longer cared about his entourage. Since they can be selected, they have the ability to take good care of the spiritual plants in the mountain. He still believes in this. As for the treatment, it is too early to say now. We will talk about it after a while. Being able to enter the sect to practice is the best treatment for the three followers. The spiritual energy and environment in the sect are not something they can enjoy in the family. The businessman arrived quickly, and Li Shiming received him at the top of the mountain. Zhuorui of Tianmu Trading Company has met the fifth young master. Zhuorui, who was in the early stage of foundation building, bowed and saluted upon meeting him. With this opening, Li Shiming fully understood that Tianmu Trading Company was the master's property. With the name of Tianmu, who would dare to do this without the master's permission. Plus, Zhuorui calls him the fifth young master. Li Shiming was relieved. He didn't need much discount from Tianmu Trading Company. He only needed the trading company to help him purchase the materials he wanted. At least, he didn't have to worry about the spiritual stone problem in the short term. Fellow Daoist Zhuo, I have made a list here. Can you help me see if there are any difficulties? Li Shiming handed over the list he had prepared long ago and asked. Zhuorui took the list and was immediately shocked by it. It's not that there are any precious spiritual objects on the list, but that the variety and quantity on the list are simply too great, especially among the large number of mortal objects. There are many rare mortal objects. Collecting these mortal objects requires a lot of manpower and material resources, and you can't earn any spiritual stones. If it were other monks in the sect, Shuarue would simply reject the order, but this person in front of him is Elder Su's new disciple. Fifth young master, the mortal items need some time to prepare and the rest of the spiritual items will be delivered soon. Zhuorui replied with a smile. How many spirit stones are needed? Just deduct them from the jade token stored in Beishu Trading Company. Li Shiming took out a jade token stored in Beishu Trading Company and handed it to Zhuorui. Zhuorui glanced at the jade token stored in Beishu Trading Company, and a look of surprise flashed in his eyes. There are 1.21 million low-grade spiritual stones on it, and even mid-grade spiritual stones have 60,000. If Li Shiming had been under Elder Su's disciple for decades, this kind of wealth would be easy to say. But I heard that Li Shiming came from Tiai Island, which has scarce resources. Where did he get so much wealth? However, with Li Shiming's current status, he no longer has to worry about any monks peeking at his wealth. The main reason is that Elder Su is behind it. Between the consequences of offending Elder Su and this wealth, any monk will be afraid of the former. 
fifth young master. Why don't you wait until the goods are delivered before settling the bill? Shurue will not charge any deposit at this time. He knows Li Shiming's spending power. So he doesn't have to worry about Li Shiming using his identity to delay payment. Although Tianmu Trading Company is supported by Elder Su. It is not the trading company of Elder Su's family. There are many other Jin Dan elders who have shares in it. In the following days, Li Shiming continued to strengthen the sword-holding peak formation. When he first entered the sect, he originally needed to complete some tasks. But since he was accepted by Elder Su, there were no mandatory tasks. Of course, if Li Shiming wants to obtain the sect's contribution points, he still needs to complete tasks to obtain them. This gave him a lot of time at his disposal. After a month of work, he transformed the Sword Holding Peak's formation into a new one. The defensive effect is not much different from before. His transformation is mainly targeted. He seals the top of the mountain and strengthens the isolation effect of the Sword Holding Peak. The formation at Holding Sword Peak is the first layer of isolation. The top of the mountain is the second layer of isolation. And the cave is the third layer of isolation. It can be said that any monk who wants to explore his secrets without disturbing the formation will have no choice. Possible. In addition, he built a separate space for himself based on studying the space formation of the cave hall. He built a giant space expanded by a space formation deeper into the cave. The space here was established to rebuild the factory. A large number of heavy equipment he had built before were all taken out and placed in this space to become his new research and manufacturing factory. After the research and manufacturing plant was rearranged, the first task was to manufacture Fresnel reflectors. The 35th day after entering the sect is an important time. At the top of Holding Sword Peak, 1,500 improved Fresnel reflectors are distributed all over the top of the mountain, covering all the available space. The bases of these 1,500 Fresnel reflectors are connected with a universal rotating device, and the direction of their rotation can be controlled by an electric motor. All Fresnel reflectors are connected to a data processing equipment by data lines. This data processing equipment stores a month's analysis data on the time and position of the sun rising every day. And these data will continue to accumulate. Through these analyzed data, the time and direction of the sun's rise the next day can be determined. Li Shiming had this idea when he got the purple chi from the east technique. And he also made a small-scale experiment, which was even more successful. Today, he will maximize the results of his experiments. If the top of the mountain is not too small, he will build more Fresnel reflectors. The top of the sword holding peak is blocked by the formation. Neither the three followers in the mountain nor the monks outside the mountain can see the situation on the top of the mountain. Li Shiming sat at the highest point of the mountain. He closed his eyes and faced due east. He could feel the state of the sun in the distance without opening his eyes. All Fresnel reflectors are controlled by data processing equipment and begin to adjust the angle of the Fresnel reflectors. This set of procedures is a ready-made research result in Li Shiming's reference Z15 database. Solar power stations need to face the sun at all times. So there is a set of analysis and management procedures for the direction of the sun. What Li Shiming has to do is to localize this program. Refill the solar data collected here for a month into the analysis and management program. And generate a set of sun tracking programs for this world. Of course, all he asked for was the precise orientation of the moment when the sun was born. In this regard, he also based on the data collected before. Although the data was from Tianhai Island, it still had reference value. Before the start, he was still a little worried. The main reason was that this program had not been tested in practice and had only been simulated and tested within the Z15. Chapter 205 Purple Chi Although the sword holding peak is not tall among the mountains, its location is extremely good. There are no tall mountains blocking the line between heaven and earth in the distance. The red sun jumped out from under the ground. In an instant, the 1,500 Fresnel reflectors on the top of the mountain all reflected red light, focusing on Li Shiming, the dense purple energy that can only be felt when the purple energy from the east technique is running and the body is revealed on his body due to the action of 1,500 Fresnel reflectors. Li Shiming, who was running the purple chi from the east and absorbing the first ray of purple energy bred by heaven and earth, felt that purple energy was pouring in from every pore in his body. When the Fresnel reflector reflects sunlight towards him, he targets the whole body and does not concentrate on one point. The purple energy bred by heaven and earth can only appear at the moment of rising and cannot be absorbed after that. Li Shiming absorbed a large amount of purple energy into his body and after entering the body, the purple energy blended into every place. His energy was lifted first and his mind became much clearer. 
This was a sign that his spirit had improved to a certain extent. All aspects of the body have improved significantly. Just like when there was a breakthrough in body training. This is a comprehensive improvement and a successful experiment. The dense purple gas reflected from the 1,500 Fresnel reflectors did not achieve the exaggerated effect of 1,500 times. But in his perception, it was at least 100 times improved. You must know that in previous experiments, ordinary mirrors cannot reflect purple gas. Only Fresnel reflectors can do it. According to his analysis, it is likely that the purple gas of the rising sun will undergo disordered refraction when reflected. And the Fresnel reflector he modified can convert disordered refraction into a unified reflection direction. It can be said that this discovery of his has greatly improved the effect of the purple chi from the east technique. If the Fresnel reflector is promoted, it may bring about a major change in the entire world of immortality. But Li Shiming didn't have this idea. He didn't want to change any changes in the world of immortality. If all the monks improved themselves in this way, then more monks would compete for the few cultivation resources. That is not a good thing for the world of immortality. And Li Shiming is not that great. In order to prevent the Fresnel reflectors from being discovered by other monks, he equipped 1,500 Fresnel reflectors with hidden formations and self-destruction devices. Once the formation on the top of the mountain is forcibly broken, all 1,500 Fresnel reflectors will self-destruct. A hundred times the purple energy. The purple energy he absorbs in one day is equal to the purple energy that other monks absorb in a hundred days. Not to mention that the purple energy that is too late to absorb will subtly bring benefits to his body after it dissipates in his body. After practicing the purple chi from the east, he took advantage of the seemingly endless supply of strength throughout his body to practice the diamond body protection divine art. After taking a sip of the monkey wine, the true meaning of the angry eyes King Kong appeared on his body and every movement of the the draw body protection divine art in the foundation establishment chapter was between movement and stillness. Clear sounds continued to come from his body, and each sound meant that the bones were being strengthened, and the rest of the muscles and skin were also being strengthened at the same time. The crisp sound of bones ended, followed by the oscillating sound of contraction of the tendons and muscles in the body, and then the sound of skin like a sledgehammer hitting a drum head. The sound his body makes is a sign that his body has improved to a certain level. After taking monkey wine for such a long time and constantly refining his body, coupled with the benefits brought by today's purple chi from the east, he finally upgraded his body refining to the level of the foundation building chapter. This was nearly a year ahead of schedule, which shows how great the benefits of purple energy coming from the east. This time, the energy transformed from the purple energy in his body was not completely absorbed by the body as he practiced purple energy from the east. Instead, it was converted into special enhanced energy for the body and preserved. When he was practicing the Badra Body Protection Divine Art, the special strengthening energy that could only be transformed by a hundred days of dense purple energy was consumed as the body refining technique was running. This promoted the rapid improvement of the Diamond Body Protection Divine Art, allowing him to reach the perfection of body refining in a short time. Of course, this does not mean that his body refining can no longer be improved. But that in the state of great body refining, no other resources are needed to practice the body refining technique. And his body is strengthening towards beyond the foundation building stage. Originally, when he was in the chi chain stage, due to the Badra body protection divine art that allowed him to develop his true meaning and the use of third grade metals to practice the Tor Demon Secret Book. His physique was almost the same as that of an ordinary middle stage foundation building body refining cultivator. Degree? Now he has made another breakthrough. Allowing his physique to reach the level of a body refining monk in the late stage of foundation establishment. Li Shiming is only in the early stages of foundation building now. He has a lot of time to improve his physique and continuously improve and strengthen his body through the body refining process. After finishing the practice of Badra Body Protection Magic his body once again transformed into a muscular man. He had already experienced this. And he continued to practice the secret book of sword demons. Under the erosion of the third grade metal, the knotted muscles continued to shrink and strengthen again. After finishing practicing the secret code of sword demon, he stood up and felt the changes in his body as he moved around. At this time, he felt that there was a violent force in his body. He stretched out his hand and the third grade sword base turned into a long sword and appeared in his hand. The power brought about by body training made him feel that just by holding a third grade sword base 
and getting close to an ordinary late-stage foundation building monk. He was confident that he could fight a late-stage foundation building monk. When he returned to the cave and started practicing the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique, he discovered an even bigger surprise. His cultivation speed increased by about 1%. And the 1% increase in cultivation speed was nothing compared to the fact that he used Liu and Ba's help to assist his cultivation during the Qi Chain stage. During the Qi Chain stage, Li Yuanba assisted him in his cultivation. But his cultivation speed increased by nearly twice. But that was at the cost of consuming Li Yuanba's cultivation achievements. As his clone, Li Yuanba's strength was also an important part of his combat power. Not to mention that he was counting on Li Yuanba to advance to Jin Den faster and gain more cultivation resources for him. Even though his cultivation speed has only increased by 1%. This means that his cultivation talent is improving. Could it be that the effect of absorbing the rising purple energy is so good? Li Shiming couldn't believe the effect of purple energy coming from the east. In fact, techniques such as purple chi coming from the east are widely circulated among Taoist sects. But the most important effect of absorbing purple chi lies in persistence. But the problem is that when monks practice martial arts, especially after their strength reaches the foundation building stage, they will be in retreat for a long time not to mention absorbing purple energy regularly every day. Their bodies will not move at all. In this case, techniques such as purple energy coming from the east are of little use. The improvement brought by intermittent absorption of purple energy is not obvious, and it will take a lot of time. Therefore, exercises such as purple chi from the east are generally practiced by monks in the chi chain stage. It is not a matter of the level of the exercise, but a matter of the monk's own practice habits. The next morning, Li Shiming once again mobilized 1,500 Fresnel reflectors. And Li Shiming absorbed a hundred times the dense purple gas for the second time. This time, his physique and spirit were still significantly improved. And the speed at which he practiced his main technique also increased by about 1% again. It seems that the most inconspicuous purple chi from the east technique is opening a door for him. Giving him the opportunity to attack the door of a higher level. He forgot everything absorb the purple energy every morning, and then practice the diamond body protection magic technique and the sword demon secret code and spent the rest of his time practicing the nine heavens thunder strike technique until one day more than two months later, he received a message from his master, Elder Su, asking him to go to Tianmu Peak. Junior brother, I heard that you have been staying at the sword holding peak all the time and have never left. Why don't you come to say H? Low to the master or ask him about cultivation issues. At the pavilion of Tianmu Peak, senior sister Yi Jingxian saw his first words were to blame. Li Shiming didn't know what was wrong. He had no master before, let alone anyone to guide him. Senior sister, we seem to have forgotten to tell our junior brother about coming to Tianmu Peak to meet the master once a month. Su Chuan thought of something and reminded him from the side. It seems like it. Yi Jingxian thought about it for a while, nodded, and then said to Li Shiming, from now on, we will come to Tianmu Peak on the morning of the first day of every month. And we will greet the master together. And if there are any questions that we need to ask the master, we will ask him together. I understand. Senior sister? Li Shiming responded. You can't blame us for not informing our junior brother. He went into seclusion to practice as soon as he arrived and didn't even come out to gather with us. Second senior brother Wan Zheng said, spreading his hands. Junior brother has just made a breakthrough. Of course, the most important thing is to stabilize the realm. Yi Jingxian explained to Li Shiming. And she continued. Junior brother, the training in the foundation building period is a long period. Don't rush for success. Yes, you also need to make some friends and communicate more with the disciples of Elder Jean Dan. Besides, Elder Ma has invited you to come and visit when you have time. Second senior brother Wan Zheng agreed. While he was talking, Elder Su appeared in the pavilion and the five disciples stepped forward and bowed. Sure, Ming. If I didn't ask you to come over, wouldn't I be able to see you this year? Elder Su said helplessly, shaking his head. Master, I will adjust my practice time in the future. Li Shiming lowered his head and replied. Being behind closed doors is not a good thing. If you have any problems in cultivation, don't explore on your own. Many monks become obsessed because they follow the wrong path of cultivation. Elder Su realized the hard work of his disciple. And he smiled, reminded him. Yes, Master. Li Shiming felt the Master's concern. It seems you don't plan to change your major in martial arts? Elder Su asked again. 
He had been waiting for Li Shiming to reply about majoring in Kung Fu for some time. But Li Shiming never replied. So he guessed what Li Shiming was thinking. Master, when I was practicing the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike technique, I felt a sense of compatibility. I felt that I should regard the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike technique as my main skill. Li Shiming thought for a while and explained. I forgot that you have a deep blessing. It seems that the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike technique is consistent with your Tao body. Elder Su was slightly startled. Then, he couldn't help shaking his head and laughing. He believed what Li Shiming said was consistent with the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike technique. It is extremely rare for the Tao body to match the cultivation method. You must know that most monks do not have too many choices for cultivation methods. Even if there are several disciples of Elder Su, they only have one or two opportunities to choose at most. You must know that majoring in Kung Fu is related to a lifetime of practice. If conditions permit, most of them will choose the sect to inherit the Kung Fu. After choosing the sect's inherited skills, although you may not be able to get the supporting resources for the inherited skills, you can at least reduce the troubles you encounter during the practice with the experience summarized by your predecessors. Of course, there is bound to be competition when choosing to inherit the skills. The supporting resources for inheriting the skills are limited. If a large number of monks choose to inherit the skills, there will be a corresponding lack of supporting resources. It's better in the Qi Chain stage and the early stage of foundation building. The cultivation resources of these two realms are relatively easier to cultivate and are more numerous. But in the middle and late stages of foundation building, the supporting resources for inheriting the skills become even scarcer. The sect will focus on supporting resources for disciples with higher talents and greater potential. Even in the Golden Elixir stage, there is still competition among the Golden Elixir elders for the supporting resources to inherit the exercises. Just like Elder Su and Elder G, they practice the same inheritance technique, and they have the same resources for promotion to Yuanying. However, the inheritance resources for promotion to Yuanying are only enough for one gene and elder. This is the focus of the conflict between Elder Su and Elder G, and it is even more irreconcilable. The sect can only choose one of the two gene and elders. Elder G tried his best to target Elder Su, just to get Elder Su to withdraw from the competition for the resources to promote nascent soul. Therefore, there are advantages and disadvantages to Li Shiming's choice of Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique. The disadvantage is that he lacks the training experience of his predecessors, which makes it more difficult for him to attack the Golden Elixir. The advantage is that in terms of resources, it is easier to apply for the Thunder Attribute resources of the sect. It is estimated that if the contribution points are enough, they can be redeemed at any time. According to Elder Su's knowledge, among the disciples trained in the sect, none majored in Thunder-based techniques. Has your body training improved again? Elder Su glanced at Li Shiming with his mind and asked with slight hesitation. Yes, this disciple has gained some benefits in the Hundred Thousand Mountains. Not long ago, he achieved great success in body training, Li Shiming said without hiding it, and he also took out the remaining monkey wine and handed it to Elder Su. The monkey wine has no effect after he has completed his body refining. The remaining monkey wine can almost supply a foundation establishment cultivator from the first stage of body refining to the minor stage. Fu Yuan, you don't have enough talent. But Fu Yuan is really... Elder Su glanced at Huerju with his mind and sighed again. Resources like monkey wine are rare, but hard to come by. And it all depends on luck. Chapter 206 Alchemy What good stuff! Senior sister Yi Jingxian took the monkey wine without any courtesy. She opened the jug and smelled it. After feeling the effect of the monkey wine, her expression changed slightly. Shimming, are there any other uses for your monkey wine? Elder Su asked with a smile. Master, it's useless for me to refine my body to become monkey wine, so I'll show my respect to you. Li Shimming heard his master say this and thought he had some ideas about monkey wine. So he said with a smile, Naturally, he would not be stingy with the monkey wine. His master had been of great help to him. The sword holding peak alone was a huge benefit. Not to mention other things. I don't want it. Your senior sister is stuck in the half-step golden elixir and needs to strengthen her Tao body through various methods. This monkey wine will be useful for her. Elder Su shook his head and smiled. Senior sister, take it if it's useful. Li Shiming waved his hand after hearing that the monkey wine was useful for the elder sister to attack the golden elixir. Junior brother, I won't take advantage of you in vain. If you need anything, just ask me. Yi Jingxian put away the monkey wine and said. She wanted to give it to the spirit stones. But she heard the news from Tianmu Trading Company that Li Shiming ordered a lot of goods 
with a large amount of spirit stones, which showed that Li Shiming had no shortage of spirit stones. She didn't know what Li Shiming lacked. Anyway, he was her junior brother. Even if it was more valuable than Li Shiming, she would be satisfied as long as Li Shiming brought it up. Today is Shiming's first time here. So let's talk about my teachings. Elder Su looked at the five disciples, looked at Li Shiming emphatically, and said calmly, Preaching is the most important way of inheritance between masters. The Tao that one has comprehended is combined with language, breath, spiritual power, spiritual thoughts, etc. to form a special Tao environment. Of course, Elder Su is not asking his disciples to repeat his teachings, but to show his teachings to his disciples as a reference. Tao is the general outline for cultivating immortals, and the rest of the various exercises are based on Tao. At least this is the case with the main exercises that Li Shiming practices. This is also the theoretical basis that Li Shiming lacks. After an hour of preaching, Brother Jindan's understanding of the Tao deepened his understanding of the exercises he practiced. As Elder Su said, it is not good to work behind closed doors. After Elder Su's sermon, he had a better understanding of his own cultivation. At the end of his sermon, Li Shiming asked about his questions in practice. In the past, when he encountered problems in practice, he would analyze them through Z15 and find the option with the highest success rate. Now that he is a master, he can finally get the most accurate answer from him instead of groping for it on his own. Sure, Ming. Although you can earn a lot from the spiritual stones of Sword Holding Peak, you still have to consider earning contribution points after practicing. With your formation ability, it is not difficult to accept missions and earn contribution points. When Li Shiming left Tianmu Peak, Elder Su persuaded him. Back at the Sword Holding Peak, Li Shiming was also reflecting on his recent actions. He found that he was indeed a little impatient due to the improvement brought by Purple Chi from the East. The hundred times the purple energy brought to him by Purple energy from the East. Every day actually has a limited effect on his main skill. Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique. The biggest improvement is on his foundation and his Tao body. Carrying out a reshaping and improvement. The foundation building period is a long training process. From the early to the middle stage of foundation building alone. Even the Tianling route will take about 10 years. And this is without encountering any bottlenecks. He really needs to arrange his training reasonably and set up a practical training plan. As for earning contribution points, he has his own ideas. He came to a room in the cave, which was originally empty, and he planned to build it into an alchemy room. He has the inheritance of the weapon refining system and the inheritance of the alchemist in his hands. After some consideration, he decided to study the alchemist inheritance first. Currently in the Shushan sect, he hardly needs to consider safety issues. He only needs to do his best to improve his strength. What he lacks is elixirs. For the elixirs in the early stage of foundation building, you need to donate points to redeem them in the sect. Or you can refine them yourself. He still has confidence in his learning ability. And he believes even more in the elixir he refined. The alchemy furnace does have a high-grade magic weapon. The alchemy furnace, which is enough for beginners. And there are also a large number of first-grade elixirs. Enough for him to squander. This is also the reason why he gave priority to the alchemist inheritance. In the early stages of learning, there is no need to worry about the alchemy materials. The first time he made elixirs, he chose to use spiritual charcoal as the elixir fire. This was also the most commonly used fire source for refining low-level elixirs and the alchemy inheritance given by Elder Ma. The choice of elixir is Bigu Pill, which is the lowest and simplest of all elixirs. The material of Bigu Pill is spiritual rice, and there is no need to process the elixir. You only need to put the spiritual rice into the elixir furnace for refining. Li Shiming took three pieces of spiritual charcoal. Spiritual charcoal is made of carbonized spiritual wood. After igniting, the flame contains weak spiritual power. The spiritual charcoal flames rose, and he activated the Golden Yang Fire Control Technique, and felt the flames grow larger or smaller with his control. After the alchemy furnace was heated up, he put the spiritual rice into it, before he could use the Qing Lu Sensing Technique, to sense the condition of the spiritual rice in the alchemy furnace. A smell of paste came out of the alchemy furnace. He couldn't help but be startled. He didn't expect that the first alchemy would end before it even started. Z15 The spiritual energy of the first alchemy was collected. Because of the participation of spiritual thoughts, the changes in the alchemy, the condition of the spiritual rice, and the temperature of the spiritual charcoal were all recorded one by one. Li Shiming cleaned the alchemy furnace with spiritual water and heated it with spiritual charcoal again. 
This time he lowered the temperature. The inheritance of alchemy is only an operation guide. And the measurement of temperature in the world of immortality is very vague, which makes alchemy without guidance completely become a summary of failure again and again. However, as long as he finds a rough reference temperature through the process of refining the big appeal from the vague and uncertain temperatures in the alchemy inheritance, this kind of failure will be greatly reduced. In fact, the jade slip of the alchemy inheritance that Elder Maud gave to Li Shiming was not for Li Shiming to explore on his own, but a hint for Li Shiming to go to Elder Maud for advice. You must know that since Elder Maud gave the alchemy inheritance as a congratulatory gift, it is equivalent to saying that he can guide Li Shiming to get started with alchemy. Li Shiming had a misunderstanding. He really just regarded the jade slip of alchemy inheritance as a normal gift, and he used it to become an alchemist. After solving the temperature problem, he encountered the problem of sensing the changes in the spiritual rice. With the help of Qing Lu Sanling Ju, he could clearly sense the changes in the energy in the spiritual rice. But the same alchemy inheritance only gave a vague guidelines require practical data support. After another failure, there are more and more reference data in the alchemy database established by Z15. And Li Shiming also has more and more experience in refining. Big appeal. The 25th time he made alchemy. The Qing Lu Spirit Sensing Technique allowed him to sense the thick liquid that spiritual rice was transformed into to balance spiritual power. He tapped his fingers on the alchemy furnace seven times. This was the Seven Finger Alchemy Collecting Technique. Every time he lights the alchemy furnace, the thick liquid in the alchemy furnace will roll on the furnace wall, making the thick liquid thicker and thicker. On the seventh tap, five round pills that had been formed in the alchemy furnace flew out of the furnace. Li Shiming used his spiritual mind to grab the elixir. He picked up a bigu pill and checked it. Judging from the appearance of the bigu pill, it was an intermediate first grade elixir. He checked the other five, all of which were intermediate first grade elixirs. It's not bad. So what's the difference? The first time I refined a real elixir, it was the intermediate bigu pill. This result is considered very good, but this was based on Z15's alchemy database. With the help of the alchemy database, he was only able to refine a medium grade elixir, which did not satisfy him. You must know that he would not eat the middle grade big appeal himself. The impurities in it were not removed during the elixir refining. It would be better for him to eat such big appeal than to eat spiritual rice directly. He once again refined the big appeal with the support of the Z15 alchemy database. The alchemy was very smooth this time. After using the seven finger pill collecting technique, he got eight big appeals, one of which even reached a high level and the rest were intermediate levels. He found the records of Z15 and carefully analyzed the reasons for refining the high-grade big appeal. When he refined the big appeals for the third time, he got 10 big appeals, and all of them were high-grade big appeals. High-level big appeals are the limit that alchemists can normally refine. As for the top-grade big appeals, they are the product of extremely special uncontrollable circumstances. Even a master of alchemy cannot guarantee that the big appeal will be made of top quality. Top quality depends entirely on quantity. As long as the same type of elixir is refined in sufficient quantities, top quality will appear. Li Shiming began to use his time rationally. He reduced the time for practicing the main technique, Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique, to four hours, and replaced the time of sleeping with the main technique. All the time saved was used in studying alchemy. With a complete alchemy inheritance, a large amount of alchemy materials, and Z15 data analysis, his alchemy level has been improving, and the number of mistakes has become less and less. Another month later, he was able to successfully refine the Mingxin Jiogong pill, which is an auxiliary cultivation elixir inherited by the Mingxin sect and used by monks in the late stage of Qi Chain. Moreover, the quality of Mingxin Nine Palaces pill has been stabilized at the high level. High grade first grade pills are still used as training auxiliary pills for monks in the late stage of Qi Chain. This is already the ceiling among first grade pills. If he takes part in the alchemist assessment, there will be no problem in passing the junior alchemist assessment. Li Shiming changed the time arrangement, which also affected Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba is also in seclusion. The three tasks of the year have been completed, and no one will say anything. After Li Shiming analyzed the pros and cons of scheduling, he also started a new plan for the arrangement of his clone Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba began to accept tasks and the task of the Outer War Department was to kill for Li Yuanba, a sword cultivator. This was the best opportunity to hone himself, not to mention that he had generals by his side to ensure his safety. 
The Salulasek's outer sect war department has many tasks, and a large number of monks have been expelled from the sect, many of whom are enemies of the Sanluo sect out of hatred. Li Yuanba didn't care about what was right or wrong. There was no right or wrong in the world of immortality. There was only a struggle for interests. The intelligence department of Sun Luo Sect's outer sect is very capable. Almost all tasks have clear mission locations, and there is no need for combatants to carry out investigation work. Li Yuanba started a mission once a week, which was equivalent to his endless continuous mission. In one month, he completed four more missions, all of which were first-level missions. For monks in the early stages of foundation building died in his hands. Although the loot obtained from the four foundation building monks is nothing, it is much stronger than the benefits obtained from the deputy positions. He also understood why sword cultivators only focused on swords and did not need to learn any subjobs. The benefits gained from specializing in killing were too rich. Of course, the killing mission is very dangerous. You must know that the foundation building monks in the world of immortality have more or less some trump cards. However, Li Yuanba was a little different. He practiced the Tor Demon Secret Code and took monkey wine, which made the Tor Demon Secret Code improve very quickly. His physical defense alone is almost as strong as the spiritual weapon. Not to mention that the generals are his biggest backing when in danger. After Li Shiming refined the high level, Bingxin Jiogong Dan, he could no longer improve his alchemy level because he did not have a higher level elixir. The elixir for the monks in the early stage of foundation establishment needed to be exchanged with contribution points. In addition, the second grade elixir in the elixir of the early stage of foundation establishment was also beyond his reach. He thought of Master Ma, and it seemed that he had to visit Master Ma. He picked some spiritual leaves from the spiritual tea tree, fried them in the computer room space to make spiritual tea, and packed them in jade boxes as gifts. The second grade spiritual tea tree given by the senior sister was one of the few gifts he could afford. In addition, he used the micron level control ability to fry in the computer room space, and also used the Qin Lu Sanling Ju to sense the changes in the spiritual energy of the spiritual tea, and used the Jin Ong Fire Control Ju to control the flames. The quality of Ling Cha is better than any time I went there. The biggest benefit of learning alchemy is the understanding of spiritual energy harmony which can be applied to many aspects. Carrying the gift, he flew out of the sword holding Peak with his sword and headed towards Uncle Ma's Danning Peak. Outside Danning Peak, after he cast a spell, he waited outside. This kid is finally here. Let's wait for him for a while. Uncle Ma from Danning Peak received Li Shiming's magic formula with a smile on his face. Master Ma has been waiting for Li Shiming's arrival since he gave his alchemy inheritance last time. But who would have thought that the wait would last for several months? And now, I finally got Li Shiming's visit. Wait! Li Shiming received Master Ma's reply and thought that Master Ma was refining elixirs. So he could only wait outside the alchemy cauldron peak. Master Ma in the Danning Peak held a book in his hand and read it leisurely. Not caring at all whether Li Shiming outside was anxious. Chapter 207 Asking for Advice Come in! Fortunately, Master Ma was also worried about letting Li Shiming escape. So he allowed Li Shiming to enter Danning Peak after exposing him for more than an hour. At the top of Danning Peak, there is a Danning Hall, and Li Shiming descended outside the Danning Hall. An alchemist led him into the Alchemy Hall and met Master Ma. This was the first time that Li Shiming entered the alchemy place of Elder Jean Dan. The fragrance of Chinese medicine in the Danning Hall was fragrant. After this period of alchemy, he also had some knowledge about elixirs and tasted many of them. But he didn't recognize most of the flavors, which was normal. Very few first-grade elixirs were refined here and the remaining ones were mostly the flavors of second and third grade elixirs. What caught his attention the most was the alchemy furnace that exuded an astonishing aura. He first felt that it was a magic weapon. Li Shiming has not only seen the magic weapon, but he also owns a sword cultivation magic weapon and several special magic weapons. He could still identify the aura of the magic weapon, but the alchemy furnace in front of him had the strongest aura among the magic weapons he had ever seen. Next to the alchemy furnace magic weapon, he did not see spiritual carbon, nor did he see any source of fire such as ground fire, which made him very curious. Disciple Li Shiming pays homage to Master Ma, Li Shiming thought in his mind, saluted Master Ma respectfully, held the jade box in his hand, and said, Have you learned the alchemy inheritance I gave you? Uncle Ma raised his eyes and asked calmly. He was mentally prepared. If Li Shiming said he hadn't studied yet, he would teach Li Shiming a lesson. The entire Shushan sect as an alchemy master, 
said that he wanted to teach alchemy, and as long as he put his finger on it, they would fall down in front of him and beg him to teach them. But look at Li Shiming. He was made to wait for so many days. Please take a look at the elixir that my disciple is trying to refine. Li Shiming didn't know what Uncle Ma was thinking. So he took out another jade bottle and placed it on the jade box. Uncle Ma was a little curious. Li Shiming didn't even ask him for advice. What kind of elixir did he make? Before checking the elixir, he opened the jade box. The faint fragrance of tea came out, and he couldn't help but sniff it. Even he, the master of alchemy, Elder Jean Dan, usually drank this kind of second-grade spiritual tea. There is indeed a third-grade spiritual tea sect, but the third-grade spiritual tea is managed by the sect and is allocated a certain share to each golden elixir elder every year. The quantity is so small that Elder Jean Dan would not take out the three-grade spiritual tea unless he met an important guest. Although the spiritual tea in the jade box is a second-grade tea, the level of frying is extremely high, making the quality of this second-grade spiritual tea infinitely close to the ultimate of second-grade spiritual tea. Perfect second-grade spiritual tea! This is Master Ma's inner evaluation of the second-grade spiritual tea in his hand. Even if he took action himself, he would not dare to say that it would be to this extent. He even sensed the shadows of the Jing Lu spirit sensing technique and Golden Yang fire control technique from it. If it weren't for these two unique techniques, one would have thought that this second grade spiritual tea was purchased by Li Shiming from somewhere. The Jing Lu spirit sensing technique and Golden Yang fire control technique are his inheritance, not the sex techniques. Unless they are passed down by him personally, they will not be spread outside. Master Ma closed the jade box. For a second-grade spiritual tea of this quality, any loss of spiritual energy would be a huge waste. He was obviously very pleased with Li Shiming. In any case, Li Shiming had indeed learned the alchemy inheritance from him. And at least, he was extremely proficient in using these two secret techniques. In addition, he has a deeper understanding of Li Shiming's alchemy potential. In the past, he was attracted to Li Shiming for another reason. Master Ma opened the jade bottle and poured out a pill. Hey, this is the high level. Nine Gong Pill of the Bright Heart. Master Ma didn't have the recipe for the Nine Gong Pill of the Bright Heart, but he could recognize any pill he had seen at a glance. His mind swept over the Bingxin Jiogong Pill, feeling the fire in it, and determined that it was a bottle of pill that had just been refined not long ago. Did you refine it? Master Ma looked at Li Shiming and asked with some uncertainty. The main reason is that the quality of the Bingxi Nine Palaces pill is really too high. High grade is the highest level of a batch of pills. The top grade pills are accidental products during the alchemy process. Yes, my disciple has been working hard to learn alchemy recently and has been able to refine a first grade elixir. Li Shiming bowed and answered truthfully. Uncle Ma looked at the elixir in his hand and then at Li Shiming. He felt that there was something wrong with Li Shiming's words. What does it mean to be able to refine a first grade elixir? If this means being able to refine it, then his few alchemy disciples are nothing. Did you use the spiritual fire? Master Ma asked, staring at Li Shiming. Li Shiming looked at Uncle Ma without knowing why, his eyes full of doubts. If the spiritual fire was spiritual carbon, he would indeed have used it. But looking at Uncle Ma's expression, it didn't seem like he was talking about spiritual carbon. Besides, as a monk who was just learning alchemy, what kind of spiritual fire could he use instead of spiritual carbon? Master Ma saw Li Shiming's expression and knew that Li Shiming probably didn't even know what spiritual fire was. There are two types of alchemists. One is the alchemist with spiritual fire and the other is the alchemist without spiritual fire. Master Ma explained in a deep voice. Li Shiming was even more puzzled. The alchemists he knew were divided into levels, junior, intermediate, advanced and master. There was no classification like Master Ma mentioned. Uncle, what is spiritual fire? He couldn't help but ask. Master Ma didn't answer. He stretched out his fingers, and a little flame appeared on his fingers. When Li Shiming saw the flames on Master Ma's fingers, he immediately thought of the small flame in his spiritual lake. This is my spiritual fire, called Earth Flame Spirit Fire, which is collected from deep underground. The first time I saw you, I felt the breath of spiritual fire on your body. So I left you the inheritance of alchemy. I hope you if you can become an alchemist. Don't waste the opportunity of spiritual fire. Master Ma explained with a smile. Li Shiming finally understood why Uncle Ma looked at him differently. It turned out that the little flame he got was the spiritual fire. It's just that he doesn't know the name of his spiritual fire and what is its use. 
Uncle, I was just about to ask for advice. I got this spiritual fire by accident in the Hundred Thousand Mountains. I don't know what it is called and what its use is, Li Shiming thought, and a small flame in the spiritual lake appeared on his finger. He asked aloud, Don't take out the spiritual fire before you have completed the elixir. The value of the spiritual fire is beyond your imagination. Master Ma warned after observing it with his eyes without using his mind. Yes, Master. Li Shiming took the spiritual fire back to the spirit lake and looked at Master Ma expectantly, wanting to get the answer from him. Did you get this spiritual fire from a giant bear's lair? Master Ma pondered for a moment, then asked, That's right. The Miyong Clover is in the giant bear's lair. I found this spiritual fire when I got the Miyong Clover for my master. Li Shiming replied without any concealment. If Uncle Ma really had any bad intentions, why would he talk to him so much? If he wanted to rob him of his spiritual fire, and even his life, he could easily get it, although it is difficult to detect the emotions of the Jin Den monk. By observing Master Ma's facial expression, Z15 concluded that Master Ma did not have any malicious intentions. As expected, it's true what Xiao Su said about your deep blessings. I didn't expect that you would dare to snatch the elixir guarded by the Red Sun Bear alone. Master Ma nodded slightly and smiled. His impression of Li Shiming improved again, and he also knew how powerful the spiritual beast guarding the Muyong Clover was. Li Shiming dared to take a huge risk to take the elixir for a promise. Who doesn't like to interact with such a monk? More importantly, Li Shiming also has a strong blessing. At least Elder Su was convinced of this, and attributed his ability to obtain Muyong Clover and his recovery from injuries to sharing Li Shiming's good fortune. Among the Red Sun Bear race, there is a small chance that a red sun bear with accompanying spiritual fire will appear. This type of red sun bear is usually the key protection target of the red sun bear race, and it is difficult for monks to come into contact with it. The combat power of the red sun bear clan is extremely powerful. The most powerful existence in the clan is the late third level demon, and sometimes there may even be a fourth level demon. The red sun bear with accompanying spiritual fire will only leave the group under one circumstance and that is in the final stage of being promoted to a great demon, and it will stay beside the Jiang spirit to prepare for the final breakthrough. During this period, the red sun bear will spit out the spiritual fire, allowing the spiritual fire to devour the flames from the outside world to enhance the power of the yang. After taking the third grade yang elixir, the spirit fire will be regenerated at the last moment when the demon elixir is about to form. Take it back. Then, the spiritual fire will be completely integrated with the demon pill and it can no longer be taken away. Master Ma explained for Li Shiming. He was a little envious of Li Shiming's luck. There were many types of spiritual fire, and they also had different levels. Although the Earth Flame spiritual fire is a third grade spiritual fire, which is considered to be the best spiritual fire among spiritual fires in terms of quality. The Red Sun spiritual fire is a growable spiritual fire, and will continue to improve in grade as the monk's strength increases. Of course, this does not mean that the Earth Flame Spiritual Fire cannot be upgraded, but that it is too difficult to upgrade the Earth Flame Spiritual Fire. At least Master Ma is unable to supply the materials to upgrade the Earth Flame Spiritual Fire. If the Earth Flame Spiritual Fire wants to improve its level, it needs a higher level special spiritual object, which means it needs a fourth grade special spiritual object. A fourth grade spiritual object still needs a fourth grade spiritual object that is compatible with the Earth Flame Spiritual Fire. Even the nascent soul ancestor cannot guarantee to obtain this level of difficulty. But the growable spiritual fire is different. The growable spiritual fire only needs to continuously provide energy to improve the quality of the spiritual fire, and does not require the investment of external materials. This difference makes growable spiritual fire the most rare spiritual fire. Your spiritual fire is called the Red Yang Spirit Fire. It is the Supreme Yang Spirit Fire, and can burn all things. It is currently at the early stage of the second level. If you have fire spiritual power through cultivation, you should instill the fire spiritual power into the red yang spirit fire every day. Help it grow quickly. Master Ma continued to explain. Thank you, Master, for your advice. Master Ma's words gave Li Shiming an enlightenment, and he quickly thanked him. This is a method of concealing the aura of spiritual fire. You should learn it after you go back. The temptation of the spiritual fire is too great, and you cannot restrain the aura of red sun spiritual fire. If you meet a knowledgeable monk, you will be in trouble. Master Ma Bo thought for a moment, took out a jade slip, threw it over and said, Li Shiming took the jade slip with both hands and bowed again to express his gratitude. 
Do you know why spiritual fire is so precious? Master Ma asked with a smile. Disciple doesn't know. Please ask your master to explain. Li Shiming shook his head and replied. Only alchemists who have mastered spiritual fire can become masters of alchemy and can refine elixirs in the middle and late stages of golden elixirs or even elixirs in the nascent soul stage without the help of spiritual fire. Even the purest earth fire cannot achieve this. The ability to refine third grade intermediate level elixirs and above. Uncle Ma said the greatest use of spiritual fire. Li Shiming was shocked. He didn't expect that a small flame he got casually could be such a treasure. Fortunately, Uncle Ma reminded me. Otherwise my life would be in danger if the monk really took care of me. Those who can see the aura of spiritual fire are probably at least jeaned and elders like Master Ma. And they are also jeaned and elders who have been dealing with flames all year round. Otherwise, among the many jeaned and elders including the Master, only Master Ma could see the Qiong spiritual fire that day. Thank you, Master. Li Shiming thanked him again. He has thanked Master Ma many times today. But every time he expressed sincere thanks. You have spiritual fire. And I also hope that the sect will have an alchemy master who can share my work. Master Ma laughed. And then he continued. It's just that your spiritual fire is still very weak. Today you first use spiritual carbon to refine a furnace of nine palaces of bright heart pill. Which is regarded as the sect's assessment of your alchemy. Although the bottle of. Mingxin Jiogong Dan. Can prove Li Shiming's alchemy skills. Master Ma still has to see Li Shiming making alchemy with his own eyes before Master Ma can truly feel at ease. In fact, the Mingxin Jiogong Dan that Li Shiming took out was all of high quality. This performance was so evil that Master Ma couldn't believe it. If it were other alchemists, Uncle Ma would not be able to let them make alchemy in person. There are secrets inherited by each alchemist. But Li Shiming was different. All he learned was from Master Ma. So he had such a request. Yes, Master. Li Shiming bowed and accepted the order. Naturally, it was impossible for him to use the magic pill furnace. Not to mention that Uncle Ma would not allow it. Even if he was allowed to use it, his spiritual power would not be able to satisfy the needs of the magic pill furnace. For a foundation establishment monk, the grade of the magic weapon is too high and cannot be controlled by a foundation establishment monk. He took out his high-grade magic weapon, the alchemy furnace, and took out a few pieces of spiritual carbon. Then the refining of the elixir began in front of Master Ma. From heating the furnace to casting elixirs to controlling fire, each step was carried out under the perception of Master Ma's mind. Master Ma was shocked to find that every step of Li Shiming's alchemy was extremely precise, including the control of temperature and the fusion of elixirs. Even if he did it himself, the question is how long Li Shiming has been studying before he reaches such a level. Refining alchemy is not an easy task. Otherwise there wouldn't be so many monks trying to get started. For the same type of elixir, there will be individual differences in the elixir due to precipitation, the fertility of the spiritual soil, the amount of sunlight, and even the time of picking. This difference will cause extremely subtle differences in the properties of the medicine. When refining the elixir, a small difference may trigger spiritual changes in the elixir in the elixir furnace, resulting in either poor quality or good quality elixirs. Chapter 208 Registration To avoid spiritual changes caused by individual differences in elixirs, a large amount of refining is needed to accumulate experience and use experience to reduce the impact of such errors. If there was an alchemist in front of him who had been immersed in alchemy for decades, Master Ma would at most praise him for his talent. But Li Shiming had only received his alchemy inheritance for a few months. And he was already at such a level. His alchemy potential was unimaginable. Master Ma could see that every step of Li Shiming's operation was based on knowledge from his alchemy inheritance. However, Li Shiming took the alchemy inheritance to the extreme and refined the perfect elixir with a basic alchemy inheritance. Following the execution of the Seven Finger Pill Collection Technique 10. Mingxin Jiogong Pills Blew out of the alchemy furnace and fell into the jade bottle that had been prepared long ago. Uncle Ma, please take a look. Li Shiming handed the jade bottle to Uncle Ma and bowed. Don't look anymore. I'm wronging you by asking you to be a junior alchemist. In addition, your alchemy furnace is really inappropriate for your status. I have an alchemy furnace here that I used during the foundation building stage, Master Ma said. He waved his hand and took out a pill furnace and said. Li Shiming's eyes lit up. The alchemy furnace that Master Ma took out was a spiritual weapon. When he used the high-grade magic weapon alchemy furnace, he felt its shortcomings. As a foundation building monk, high-grade magic weapons can no longer meet the needs of the realm. 
It's just that the more benefits he gets from Master Ma, the more favors he feels he owes. And these favors have to be repaid. Take it. I have been friends with Xiao Su for many years. His disciple is half of my disciple. You have obtained my alchemy inheritance and become an alchemist. Why do you still care about this foreign thing? Master Ma's eyes widened. I saw Li Shiming's hesitation. Uncle, I want to refine the foundation building elixir, but I don't know how to get it. Li Shiming put away the spiritual weapon, the elixir furnace, and bowed to ask for advice. This was the biggest purpose of his coming here. Whether it was the foundation building elixir or the second grade elixir, he needed to consider it. Although there are some elixirs among his trophies, those elixirs also need matching elixirs to refine the elixirs. At present, he can't talk about self-developed elixirs. Wait a minute. I'll call Xiao Su. But I can't teach you everything in vain. Master Ma did not answer Li Shiming immediately, but said with a smile after issuing a magic formula. Before long, Elder Su's figure walked in from outside the alchemy cauldron hall. Judging from Elder Su's posture, he must be very familiar with this place. Old Ma, did Shiming cause something to happen to you? You, as a junior uncle, must be tolerant. Elder Su looked at Li Shiming, who was standing with his hands tied, and turned a joke to Uncle Ma. Xiao Su, I want to accept Li Shiming as my registered disciple, Master Ma said seriously. Elder Su put away his smile and looked at Uncle Ma and then at Li Shiming with doubts in his eyes. If Master Ma said these words in public, he would probably say this in a joking way. But in such a private situation, he would have an extremely solemn demeanor. Then he really wanted to accept Li Shiming as a registered disciple. Who is Uncle Ma? No Jean Dan cultivator in the sect dares to offend him. Even the ancestor of Yuani must give him face. Because he is an alchemy master. An alchemy master who can refine elixirs for the golden elixir monks and Yuani ancestors. This status is enough to do it in the sect. If you don't give face, you don't have to think about alchemy. No one dares to take precious elixirs to the alchemy master to make alchemy after offending him. Just say it fails. Let the other party lose all their money. You have your eye on this kid Ming. I agree with you to accept him as a registered disciple. But you should tell me what you like about him. I'm also very curious. Elder Su nodded in agreement without much hesitation. This is a good thing. Li Shiming has become Master Ma's registered disciple. And there is no need to worry about elixirs in the future. When this kid found the Muyang Clover for you, he snatched the Red Sun Spirit Fire from the Red Sun Bear. Look at the elixir he just refined. Master Ma heard Elder Su's agreement and smiled. Li Shiming took the jade bottle in his hand and threw it over. Elder Su is not an ignorant monk like Li Shiming. He naturally knows what Qiong's spiritual fire is. When he heard that the Muyang clover was snatched from the hands of Qiong Qiong, his eyes became softer when he looked at Li Shiming. This disciple became more and more satisfied with it. High grade first grade elixir. Produced in one furnace? He opened the jade bottle in his hand and looked at Li Shiming in surprise after just checking it for a moment. Li Shiming nodded, indicating that this was indeed the case. Elder Su looked at Uncle Ma again, and Uncle Ma nodded proudly. I gave him an alchemy inheritance on the day he became a disciple, and he relied on the alchemy inheritance to learn alchemy on his own. I was shocked when he came to see me today. What Master Ma focused on was the alchemy inheritance he gave him. This is for sure inheritance. Even if Li Shiming does not become his registered disciple, this alchemy inheritance cannot be erased. Shiming, you must study alchemy with Master Ma attentively. Elder Su told Li Shiming. Then he gave Li Shiming a look and said, Why don't you serve tea to Master Ma quickly? Only then did Li Shiming realize that Elder Su had already put a cup filled with tea into his hands. Master, have tea. Since he is a registered disciple, his apprenticeship does not need to be announced to the public. So the ceremony is very simple. Master Ma took the tea cup with a smile took a sip, and helped Li Shiming up. Sure, Ming. You just asked me how to get the foundation building elixir. There are two options. One is to accept the sex alchemy task. The sex alchemy task is a mandatory task for alchemists. Each alchemist has a corresponding alchemy task. Quantity. As for the sex alchemy task, with my consent, you can take over the refining task of the elixir in the early stage of foundation building. The sex alchemy task requires stability. Every furnace of elixir must be taken away by the sect regardless of whether the alchemist succeeds or not. 80% of them are elixirs. Of course, if your alchemy skills are not good enough and you don't even have an 80% success rate, then you can refine a lower level elixir. Therefore, 
The sex alchemy mission requires stability and no refining failure. The second is to accept the monk's private alchemy mission, which can be done from the sex mission or in private. Generally speaking, the alchemist will get one-third of the elixir. This is the rule of the alchemist. Even the best friends cannot break it. Speaking of which, Master Ma glanced at Elder Su. Lao Ma was refining the three yang returning pill, but he took one of the three yang returning pill from me. Elder Su said helplessly. For the golden elixir stage, the number of elixirs in a furnace depends on the number of elixirs. In any case, as long as it exceeds one, you must receive one elixir as reward. If it reaches four, you will receive two elixirs as reward. Uncle Ma explained proudly. Li Shiming secretly smacked his tongue. This alchemist is really dark. But then I thought about it. I also became an alchemist. And I was also the one who blackmailed other monks. So that would be fine. Master, what if the private alchemy fails? What if the alchemy fails? Li Shiming asked again. If you miss it, that monk will be unlucky. And the alchemist and I will be busy in vain. So what else can we do? Master Ma asked in return, spreading his hands. Li Shiming really felt the specialness of the alchemist. This is a profession that guarantees winning but never losing. Of course, if the failure rate is really high, no monk would dare to ask the alchemist to take action. Sure, Ming. You have been coming here every day lately and using the second-grade elixir I have here to refine a furnace of second-grade elixir. Once you have the finished product, I will directly let you become an intermediate alchemist. That way, you can you can accept the mission of the foundation-building elixir. This is my initiation gift for you. Master Ma thought about the arrangement and arranged it. Yes. Li Shiming knew that Master Ma was taking care of him and bowed in response. It was the first time to refine the second-grade elixir, and I didn't know how much second-grade elixir it would consume. Uncle Ma, no, it should be called Master Ma now, was quite a feat. Master Ma also has his own ideas, based on his judgment of Li Shiming's current level of alchemy. He only needs to be familiar with the second-grade elixir, and he can quickly refine the second-grade elixir. Besides, investing in a potential disciple is not a loss at all. You go back first. Master Ma waved his hand. After Li Shiming left, Master Ma smiled and took out the jade box that Li Shiming brought, took some spiritual tea from it, and brewed two cups of spiritual tea, one for himself and one for Elder Su. Did you make this spiritual tea? You put all your efforts and alchemy into the spiritual tea. It's really extraordinary. Elder Su took a sip of the spiritual tea, immediately tasted the taste, and praised with a smile. It's not fried by me. It's the filial piety of my named disciple. Master Ma also picked up the cup. The spiritual tea that Elder Su took out for Li Shiming to become his disciple was also of second grade. But compared with the spiritual tea in the cup, the quality was inferior. A lot. Did Shiming cook it? Such a good spiritual tea doesn't know how to respect me. It only thinks about outsiders, Elder Su said with a cold snort. Master Ma choked on his mouthful of tea at this sentence and almost sprayed the spiritual tea on Elder Su's face. Li Shiming returned to the sword-holding peak and saw the three female followers who were busy. He thought that he had not expressed anything these days. Yi Lingyun, come here. He waved to Yi Lingyun. I have met you. Sir. Yi Lingyun came to Li Shiming respectfully and saluted. Thank you for your hard work these days. There are three bottles of elixir here. One bottle for each of you. You can distribute it. Li Shiming handed over three bottles of Mingxin Jiogong Dan and explained. Thank you for the reward. Sir. Yi Lingyun reached out and took the elixir and thanked him. In fact, after the three monks entered the sword-holding peak, their respective families were still providing training resources. Monks like them, who have no chance to join a sect can enter a large sect like Shushan sect. Although they enter as followers, the benefits they can enjoy are far beyond those of casual cultivators. In addition, because of Li Shiming's status, the family is still providing training resources, so their training has no impact. Li Shiming looked at their work and saw that all the spiritual fields and spiritual plants were growing very well, which showed that they had put a lot of effort into it. He didn't say anything, thinking that he would use elixirs as reward in the future. There were still a lot of elixirs in the Qi Chain period, and they could be easily refined to satisfy the cultivation needs of the three female followers. What did you tell me? Wan Qian asked curiously. Your Excellency gave one person a bottle of elixir as a reward for our recent work. Yi Ling Yun replied with a smile. The elixir is second and the key is Li Shiming's recognition of him. This is the most important thing. They can be said to be tied to Li Shiming. 
and Li Shiming's approval is extremely important to them. Li Shiming almost ignored them before, which made them worried in private. Yu Lingyun gave the jade bottle in his hand to Wan Qian and Lu Ying Tong. They came from fairly good families, and they were not surprised about elixirs. However, when they each opened the jade bottle and saw the elixir inside, they all expressed surprise. They are all high-grade first-grade elixirs. There are ten of them, which is enough for me to practice for a month. Yu Lingyun's eyes widened, and he said excitedly, The reason why they want to enter Shushan sect is because of the aura and environment here. This is their hope of practicing. If Li Shiming is willing to help them, they could also obtain the sect's foundation building elixir through Li Shiming, fulfilling their dream of foundation building. However, they did not expect that Li Shiming would give such valuable elixirs. High-grade first-grade elixirs. Only monks trained in the clan could receive this kind of treatment. They felt that they had followed the right master, and they were more attentive to the work of Jianji Peak. Li Shiming didn't think too much. After returning to the cave, he immediately began to check the Qiyong spirit fire in the Ling Lake. In the past, he didn't care about the Qiyong spiritual fire. Every day, the Qiyong spiritual fire would swallow up a little fire and thunder spiritual power, and he didn't care about the small amount. After listening to Master Ma's introduction, he realized that he needed to actively inject fire spiritual power into the Red Yang spiritual fire in order for the Red Yang spiritual fire to grow. The fire and thunder spiritual power that Qiyong spiritual fire devours daily is to maintain its own energy. Li Shiming's thoughts moved slightly. He sent a burst of fire and thunder spiritual power into the Qiyong spiritual fire and issued a command to devour the Qiyong spiritual fire in his heart. The Red Sun spiritual fire swallowed up the fire thunder spiritual power. And as the flame swayed, they seemed to grow slightly. He induced another burst of fire and thunder spiritual power to be swallowed by the Red Yang spiritual fire. He swallowed ten bursts of fire and thunder spiritual power in a row. Only then did the Red Yang spiritual fire send feedback that it could not be swallowed. Li Shiming breathed a sigh of relief. This swallowing used up almost one tenth of the spiritual power in his body. That is to say, the five elements thunder spiritual power in his body has always maintained a balanced state of mutual conversion under the action of the Five Elements Naichi Formation. It only takes a while to use other thunder spiritual power to replenish the consumption of fire thunder spiritual power. There is no need to worry about the lack of fire and thunder spiritual power. Feeling the red yang spiritual fire that had grown in size, he took out the secret method of condensing the spiritual fire aura given by Master Ma. The secret method is not very difficult. It is mainly the use of spiritual power skills. A spiritual barrier is set up around the red yang spiritual fire in the body. And the breath of the red yang spiritual fire is sealed inside the spiritual power barrier. It took him almost an hour to activate the secret method in his spiritual lake. Unless he sensed the aura of the red yang spiritual fire with his mind. It would be as if there was nothing there. This shows that this secret method is indeed effective. Chapter 209 Silk Li Yuanba walked into the mission hall of the outer war department. He came to the mission handover area and took out a body and threw it on the ground. Hand in the mission, he said coldly. The cold murderous intent on his body spread outwards without any concealment. And every monk who felt this murderous intent unconsciously moved farther away from him. Sun Luo sect is a good sect. But even the foundation building monks from the outer sect war department who like to fight can't do tasks with such high intensity. In just over a month, five hostile monks who were in the early stages of foundation building died in his hands and their bodies were sent to hand over the task. In addition to the corpses of three early-stage foundation establishment monks, one mid-stage foundation establishment monk, and one late-stage foundation establishment monk, who were sent before. He has killed ten foundation establishment monks in the short time since he entered the sect. This kind of killing is also extremely eye-catching in the San Luo sect of the demon sect. The deacon at the task handover office turned the body over, checked it, and completed the task completion procedures for Li Yuanba and transferred the contribution points he deserved to Li Yuanba's Identity Jade Plate. Li Yuanba saw that the contribution points in the Identity Jade Disc had reached 2050, and he nodded with satisfaction. Continuously completing combat missions gave him a lot more resources. He collected the body, which was also a trophy. Among demonic cultivators, the complete corpses of Foundation Building Monks are quite expensive and are excellent corpse refining materials. On the second floor of the Mission Hall, an elder looked at Li Yuanba below with interest. Li Yuanba's pure swordsmanship was extremely rare in the Sun Luo sect. Demon cultivators have too many ways to quickly improve themselves. And few demon cultivators are willing to hone themselves bit by bit 
and spend a lot of time to understand the sword's will and become a sword cultivator. Give this boy the 16th pursuit mission. When Li Yuanba was about to take over the mission again, the deacon in front of him heard an order. The deacon was obviously startled. But then he understood. He secretly glanced above with a fearful expression, and then quickly averted his eyes, for fear of causing the elders dissatisfaction. Fellow Taoist, seeing that you have completed many raiding and killing missions in a row, I have a mission that pays a lot of money. Do you want to take it on? The deacon asked Li Yuanba with a smile. What kind of mission is it? Li Yuanba became interested. Such missions rarely appeared on the mission list. Missions with high rewards would be given priority by inner sects or true disciples. Here I want to talk about the mission system of Sun Luo's sect. Sun Luo's sect attaches great importance to combat missions. If the reward for a task of killing a late-stage foundation building monk is 100 contribution points, then the contribution points obtained by monks of different realms for completing the task are not fixed. If this task is completed by a monk in the late stage of foundation building, it is considered a first-level task and can get 100 contribution points. If a monk in the middle stage of foundation building completes the task, it will be a second-level task, and the contribution points received will be increased by 50%. And if the monk completes the task in the early stage of foundation building, the task will be a third-level task, and the contribution points will be increased to 100%. Of course, if a high-level monk completes a low-level combat mission, the contribution points received will also be significantly reduced. This makes most monks of Sun Luo sect complete first-level tasks, and few monks will complete low-level tasks. It consumes the same time, but can only get half of the contribution points, which is really uneconomical. There are no powerful foundation-building monks in the outer sect war department. The truly powerful foundation-building monks have all entered the inner sect. So there are monks who take the initiative to do second and third level tasks. This is the mission! The deacon handed Li Yuanba a handwritten mission briefing. Li Yuanba received the mission briefing. This was a first level mission for his level. But the mission reward was as high as 2,000 contribution points. He killed 10 foundation building monks. Including a late stage foundation building monk. And almost got so many contribution points. In other words, this task is extremely difficult. According to the judgment of the sect, the risk level of the monks in the early stage of foundation establishment is comparable to that of the monks in the later stage of foundation establishment. The target of the mission was the remnants of the Huda sect. The Huda sect was originally a medium to large sect in the Hundred Thousand Mountains. The mountain gate was breached by the San Luo sect. And the Huda sect became history. But the Huda sect still escaped many monks. And this true disciple named Ren Punxiao was one of them. When dealing with these hostile monks, so Luo Sek uses the intelligence network distributed throughout Shirwanda Mountain to conduct investigations and will report them immediately once discovered. The sect will not send high-level monks to deal with it, but will let monks of the same level take action. This kind of battle is of great benefit to improving the strength of the San Luo Sek monks and also allows the talented sect monks to obtain more resources make the strong stronger. Normally, such a task simply would not fall into the hands of an external door. The true disciples of medium and large sects and those who have been wiped out from their sects may have many life-saving items on them. These are the best prey for the inner sects and true disciples of the Sun Luo sect. To know the goal of such a mission, you need to carry a lot of resources with you. Li Yuanba was a little confused. He didn't know why such a task came into his hands. But since he had such an opportunity, he would not let it go. I have accepted this mission, Li Yuanba said solemnly. I will handle the procedures for you right now. The deacon felt relieved and finally completed the matter assigned by the elder. Li Yuanba didn't even return to the cave. He took out the jade flying boat and headed towards the mission target. The Saluo sect's intelligence system is very terrifying. This true disciple of the Huda sect, Rinpa Shao, is hidden in a casual cultivator family and becomes the quick son-in-law of the casual cultivator family. After three days of traveling, Li Yuanba arrived at the Sancho family. The strongest monk in this casual cultivator family is just the head of the family in the early stage of foundation building. And the rest are all monks in the chain energy stage. And their strength is equivalent to nothing compared to the mission objectives. After putting away the flying boat, the formation of this cultivating family was very unbearable in his eyes. Although he cannot directly mobilize the help of the main body's formations, Starlight C and Z15, but with the insight of a senior formation master, some ordinary formations can be solved without the help of the main body at all. The casual cultivator family is very poor and the formation used can only be regarded as a warning. And the defensive effect is only in the chain energy stage. 
A monk in the late stage of chain energy can break the formation with all his strength several times. Li Yuanba did not need to break the formation. He dodged from a corner of the formation and entered the formation, following the direction of the spiritual power lines. He continuously dodged and avoided the nodes in the formation. Without disturbing the formation, he entered easily. In the formation, there are several courtyards within the formation, and the spiritual energy is quite sufficient. There should be a middle grade spiritual vein. He set his sights on one of the courtyards. There was no apparent difference between that courtyard and the other courtyards. But the formations arranged were not of the same level at all. The defensive formations in the courtyard were laid out using formation discs made by the formation masters. Li Yuanba could not rely on his own formation skills to enter as easily as before. After the formation was formed, he no longer had any scruples. Soared into the air and suspended in the air outside the courtyard. Renpa Shao, come out and die! Li Yuanba shouted loudly, using his spiritual power. At the same time, the gale wind golden light sword in his hand had already struck heavily on the defensive formation in the courtyard. The formation shook for a while, and the sword light rose and fell again. In just two breaths of time, the gale golden light sword slashed down five times in a row with terrifying sword intent. After all, the array was not a truly complete formation, and there was no monk who was proficient in the formation to preside over it under his full attack. It soon fell. It was forcibly broken open. Ren Lang! What happened? Came the voice of a female cultivator. And then a male cultivator flew into the air from the courtyard. The powerful aura displayed by Li Yuanba made the monks from this weak immortal cultivating family dare not show their faces. After they discovered that Ren Peng Shao was actually greeting the visitor, they realized that Ren Peng Shao, who had always appeared to be in the late stage of chain energy, turned out to be a powerful foundation-building monk. Li Yuanba, the outer sect of Sun Luo's sect, was ordered to take your life. Li Yuanba felt Ren Pengxia's breath and said loudly. He was showing his identity to the Immortal Cultivator family. If the cultivators of the Immortal Cultivator family took any action during the battle, it would be tantamount to being an enemy of the Sun Luo's sect. I didn't expect that I, Ren Pa Shao, would be hunted down by the outer disciples of Sun Luo's sect. Ha ha ha! Rin Pangshao let out a burst of humiliated and crazy laughter. In any case, he was also a true disciple of the Huda sect. But the Saluo sect only sent one outer disciple to kill him. He is also a monk of the sect. So he naturally knows the status of the sect's mission. He thought that he might be found by the true disciples of the Saluo sect. The worst thing about it would be the inner disciples coming. The Saluo sect really looked down on him so much that the ones who came were actually the outer disciples. The sense of humiliation and anger gave him a strong murderous intention. Kill! Li Yuanba didn't care what he was thinking. He waved his hand and flew away with sword light. A spiritual weapon shield flew out of Renpingxu's hand, blocking the sword light. Just when he was about to activate the attacking spiritual weapon to attack Li Yuanba, he found that the spiritual weapon shield was a little unstable. Are you a sword cultivator? Renpingxu let out a sharp scream, with a hint of horror in it. He finally understood why Sun Luo's sect sent this outer disciple to perform the mission. How could such a pure swordsman appear in Sun Luo's sect and was just an outer disciple? He made a decision in an instant. Killing a Sun Luo's sect swordsman was no worse than killing an inner disciple or a true disciple. He took out a yellow ball. Under the stimulation of Earth Attribute spiritual power, the yellow ball emitted a yellow light curtain, blocking the sword light. This is a special spiritual weapon of the Huda sect which can store a certain amount of earth spiritual power and emit a thick earth defense shield when needed. The defense of this thick earth element defense shield was enough to block several full blows from the monk in the later stage of foundation building, which could give him enough time to kill a Yuanba. Li Yuanba's sword light fell on the earth defensive shield, and the effect was no longer as obvious as before. His eyes froze because he saw Ren Peng Shao taking out a talisman. Li Yuanba knew not to give Ren Peng Shao a chance. So he inspired the secret technique of Shifang sword cultivation. The sword light was several times faster. And he continuously attacked a point on the earth defensive shield. He no longer held back. And rushed forward. Launching the. Sword demon secret book. With all its strength. And a third grade sword base appeared in his hand. The third grade sword base is in front. And his body is pushing the third grade sword base with all his strength. This is a charging method of the. Sword demon secret book which gathers all the spiritual power and strength of the whole body and concentrates it on the tip of the third grade sword base. The target of the third grade sword base attack is the position where the sword light hits continuously. 
after more than a month of fighting. He regarded himself as a true swordsman and did not recruit generals as soon as he sensed danger. Until the final life and death crisis comes, he will only trust his sword. Of course, he still has some problems as a swordsman. A normal swordsman only has one flying sword. But in addition to a flying sword, he also has a close-range long sword. But this does not affect the fact that he is a sword cultivator, as his mind focused on the tip of the third grade sword base. All his sword intent converged on the tip of the sword. Even the flying sword stopped moving at this moment. Kill! When the tip of the third grade sword base collided with the earth element defense shield, he let out a loud shout. The harsh friction sound came from the tip of the sword. It was the sound made by the metal spiritual power in the third grade sword base, forcibly piercing the earth's spiritual power in the shield. At this time, two breaths had passed since Ren Peng Shao took the talisman, and there were already beating runes flickering on the talisman. He is extremely confident in his defense. If a late-stage foundation building monk comes, he may not be able to stop him for long. But an early-stage foundation building monk, even a true disciple of the Sun Luo sect, cannot stop him within three breaths of time to break this defense. His confidence against the true disciples of the Saluo sect was the combination of thick earth shield beads and talismans. He believed that as long as he used it first, he could kill the true disciples of Saluo sect. The third grade sword base is stuck on the earth shield generated by the thick earth shield bead. This is the special defensive effect of this earth attribute defensive treasure. It will not be easily broken. Even if it is broken a little, the defensive shield will not be broken. It won't be completely broken. Only a point of the third grade sword base penetrated the earth defensive shield. The sword tip was 30 centimeters away from Ren Shao. But these 30 centimeters were like a chasm. Seeing that the talisman in Ren Pingxu's hand was about to be fully activated. The sword intent in Li Yuanba's eyes rose. Due to the pressure from the talisman, Li Yuanba drove the sword intent crazily. A thin thread flew out from the sword light of the third grade sword base and swept over Ren Pingxiao's arm holding the talisman like a breeze blowing through the treetops. Silently, Ren Pingxiao's arm and the talisman separated from his body. The talisman that had been mostly activated returned to calm due to this effect. Sword intent turns into silk. Ren Pingxiao seemed not to feel the pain in the broken arm. He murmured to himself. Sword intent has many forms. The destructive effect on the spiritual imprint in the magic weapon is a general effect of sword intent. The other effects depend on the sword cultivator's own understanding of sword intent. Li Yuanba practices the 10 Direction Sword Cultivation Technique. Although the problem of sword intention is not as good as that of Li Shiming due to the lack of sword bones. In terms of understanding of sword intention, he is better as he mainly practices sword cultivation techniques. Chapter 210 Apprenticeship Li Yuanba once again walked into the mission hall of the San Luo sect's outer combat department and placed a corpse in front of the deacon. Hand in the mission, he said calmly. The deacon saw him. Although several days had passed, it was extremely rare for an elder to issue a mission specifically. How could he forget it? Complete his mission and let him go to the second floor. He looked up at the direction of the second floor and heard the elder's voice in his ears. The deacon quickly went through the formalities for Li Yuanba. The contribution points on Li Yuanba's identity jade plate had increased to 4,050. He was already thinking about seeing if there was any formation knowledge that could be purchased. There is no need to worry about Li Yuanba's own cultivation resources. Li Shiming left 1 million spirit stones for the clone, plus the trophies from killing monks after completing tasks. This is another considerable fortune. His current main task is to continuously accumulate contribution points, provide the body with the knowledge of San Luo's sect, and find materials for the third grade and five element formations. Fellow Daoist, Elder Jian is waiting for you on the second floor. The deacon stopped Li Yuanba, who was about to leave to check the harvest. Li Yuanba was shocked. He had only met one elder from the San Luo sect. Elder Lu didn't look like the elder Jean Dan from the demon sect at all. He didn't know who the sword elder was looking for him this time, and why he was looking for him. But he knew he couldn't refuse. He nodded to the deacon and followed the stairs to the second floor. The second floor is a big place. But there is only one person there. Sipping tea. When Li Yuanba saw this person, he didn't notice what he looked like at all. Because in his perception, the person in front of him was not a monk at all, but a long sword in a scabbard. Perhaps this is not visible in the eyes of other monks. But the induction between sword cultivators can be clearly sensed. The long sword is put in the scabbard. But it is even more dangerous. This is a powerful swordsman. Even more terrifying than Yunxing Yi. Li Yuanba said to himself in his heart. Of course, 
when he met Yunxingyi. Yunxingyi's strength was indistinguishable. It was difficult to judge who was stronger or weaker between the sword elder and Yunxingyi in front of him. At least, he was not qualified to judge. Outer sect Li Yuanba has met Elder Jian. He suppressed the pressure in his heart, walked to Elder Jian and bowed in salute. Elder Jian was also looking at him as he walked up to the second floor. Elder Jian was still very satisfied with Li Yuanba. As a Jin and elder, he certainly did not issue tasks to Li Yuanba out of boredom. It was Li Yuanba's sword intent that attracted his attention and gave Li Yuanba a chance. Of course, if Li Yuanba, a sword cultivator, died at the hands of a true disciple of the Huda sect. Then Li Yuanba did not have this opportunity. The method used by Elder Jin Dan of the demon sect to test his disciples is considered relatively normal by Elder Jin. I asked you to come here to tell you that you have passed my disciple examination and I want to accept you as an entry-level disciple. Elder Jin said very directly. Li Yuanba was stunned when he heard this. He did not expect that Elder Jin would say this. He thought it would take at least some time. At least after entering the inner gate before he could attract the attention of a certain elder. The fact that he completed the tasks continuously was only spread among some foundation-building monks in the sect because the time was too short. If Elder Jian had not been free recently, he might have really had to wait until the competition entered the inner sect, attracted by other Jin and elders. Disciple Li Yuanba has met the master. Li Yuanba was stunned for a moment and then quickly came to his senses. He saluted and changed his title. When you enter the sect, you just want to find a supporter. At least the sword elder in front of you is not the kind of golden elixir elder who practices magic skills. There is no need to worry about one day being used as a consumable for magic skills. Li Yuanba. What technique are you currently practicing? Elder Jian calmed down his aura and asked with a smile. In an instant, Li Yuanba could no longer feel the oppressive aura before. The sword elder in front of him now looked like an ordinary mortal old man. He has not been able to achieve this state of sending and receiving freely. He has practiced the Secret Code of Sword Demon and 10 Direction Sword Cultivation Technique which makes him full of sword spirit even in normal times. The disciples practice the Secret Book of Sword Demons and the 10 Direction Sword Cultivation Technique. There was an apprenticeship process on the main body. He was already prepared for this and had no intention of hiding anything. The 10 Direction Sword Cultivation Technique is an inherited skill of the Mingxin sect. However, since you passed the examination of Wenxin Hall, I guess you are not a monk of the Mingxin sect. Where did you get the Ten Direction Sword Cultivation Technique? Elder Jin Weiwei said. He asked with a frown. Elder Jin knew about the Ten Direction Sword Cultivation Technique. His old rival Yun Xingyi practiced this technique. If it were other techniques, it would be impossible for Elder Jin to ask about the origin. He was planning to accept Li Yuanba as his disciple. And this was his first time accepting a disciple in Sun Luo sect. So he didn't want any trouble. The disciple found it from a monk storage bag after killing him on Tianhai Island. Li Yuanba replied half-truthfully. Tianhai Island. Did Yun Xingyi fall on Tianhai Island? No wonder his skills were lost. Elder Jian did not doubt Li Yuanba's words and whispered to himself. Although Tianhai Island is a bit far away, it is still possible to investigate whether Yun Xingyi fell through multiple channels, such as Beishu Trading Company, or sects such as Wanfo Sect who can contact Tianhai Island. Anyone can verify this. What kind of body training techniques have you practiced? How come I feel the breath of death in your body? Elder Jian reached out and patted Li Yuanba's body lightly, and then asked, I practiced the sword cultivation technique of the secret book of sword demons. Li Yuanba allowed Elder Jian to inspect him. He was extremely worried that the secret of this body would be discovered by Elder Jian. But he said calmly, Elder Su, the master of Li Shiming, had the same reaction. Elder Jian had also never heard of the Secret Book of Sword Demons. Show me the Secret Book of the Sword Demon, Elder Jian demanded. Li Yuanba took out a blank jade slip, engraved the contents of the Sword Demon Secret Code on the jade slip on the spot, and sent the jade slip to Elder Jian. Although he has not officially become a master yet, in fact, Elder Jian is already his master. It's just a Secret Manual of the Sword Demon. Even if the Sword Elder wants the 10 Direction Sword Cultivation Technique. He can still give it to him. Elder Jian took the jade slip and read the contents of the Secret Book of Sword Demons and remained silent for a long time. It's a pity that this sword cultivator wants to take another path. I am ashamed of his courage. Completely different from the evaluation of Shushan Zongsu Elder. Elder Jian has a very high evaluation of the Sword Demon Secret Book. 
when he saw Li Yuanba's probing gaze, Elder Jian showed a smile on his face. A long time ago, sword cultivators were divided into two factions, one for melee combat and the other for long-range flying swords. With the rise of FA cultivators, melee sword cultivators became the shields of FA cultivators. This was not in line with the ideals of sword cultivators, so melee sword cultivators became more powerful. There are fewer and fewer people coming, and most of the inheritance has been discontinued. The monk who created the Secret Book of the Sword Demon was obviously a melee sword cultivator who wanted to sharpen his sword cultivator's body early to restore the glory of the melee sword cultivator's past. Unfortunately, this technique only reaches the golden elixir stage. I don't know why he didn't continue to innovate, but stopped at Jean Dan. Elder Jin sighed and explained. In fact, Elder Jin also guessed the reason. It is most likely that this melee sword cultivator died in the golden core stage and was not able to become Yuanying let alone create the Tor Demon Secret Book of Yuanin Stage. Even the Golden Elixir Stage skills of the Secret Book of Sword Demons have become more of a way to create and strengthen magic weapons and are no longer as stunning as before. I'm just curious, how can practicing the Secret Code of Sword Demon cause the aura of death to appear in the body? Elder Jian repeatedly studied the Secret Code of Sword Demon but could not find the source of the aura of death. He just thought it was something wrong with Li Yuanba's practice. But after checking Li Yuanba's body, he found that the aura of death did not affect Li Yuanba's practice. So he gave up. Come with me! Elder Jian led Li Yuanba out of the mission hall. And then the two of them turned into two sword lights and left. The sword elder slowed down the sword light. And all the hair on Li Yuanba's body stood up. Because the mountain peak in front was shrouded in countless sword intents. And it seemed that he would be injured by the sword intent as soon as he approached. That's the sex Wanjin Peak. And it's also where my cave is. Elder Sword explained calmly. When the Sword Elder descended downwards, the Sword Intention separated a path, allowing the two of them to enter. As soon as he approached the mountain covered with Sword Intent, Li Yuanba felt that the Sword Intent in his whole body was restless. And the Sword Intent in his body seemed to be echoing the Sword Intent in the outside world. The Salua Sex Wanjin Peak was snatched away. It was originally the main peak of a medium sized sword cultivation sect but was moved back by several ancestors. Elder Jian introduced the origin of Wanjian Peak. Li Yuanba couldn't imagine that a mountain like Wanjian Feng could be moved back like this. Besides, the sword cultivator sect with Wanjian Feng was probably very powerful. Even the foundation of the sect was taken away. This was indeed very demonic repair. Master, are there very few sword cultivators in the sect? Li Shiming asked curiously, as he did not feel the scent of sword cultivators in Wanjian Peak. We are the only real sword cultivators. The rest of the sword cultivators have gone astray. They will not come here. Elder Sword Master shook his head. As the Sanluo sect grew in power, the sect had more and more techniques and resources, especially the large number of opportunities to obtain the corpses of monks, which made the magic cultivation technique very popular. The corpses of monks are not only used for refining corpses, but also have many methods such as extracting their souls and refining their essence and blood. This is a taboo technique in other sects. But it is normal in the demon sect. Therefore, the more difficult it is to get started with the technique, the fewer monks will practice it. Of course, there is also the reason why the swordsman is too lazy to train sword cultivators. As the master of Wanjin Peak, he hardly opens Wanjin Peak to the public, making it difficult for the monks of the sect to use Wanjin Peak to inspire their sword intent. When he saw Wanjian Feng clearly, Li Yuanba finally knew the origin of the name. The peaks of Wanjin Peak are covered with various broken swords, most of which are magic weapon level swords. But some spiritual swords can also be seen from time to time. When he landed on the top of Wanjin Peak, he also saw five flying swords with the aura of magic weapons stuck on the rocks on the top of the peak. Even though he kept a flying sword magic weapon in his main body, when he saw the five flying sword magic weapons, he still had the idea of stepping forward and grabbing one. No need to look. All the swords in the entire Wanjin Peak are integrated with this mountain peak. No sword here can be pulled out. Needless to say, leaving Wanjin Peak, these five flying swords the magic weapon is the peak suppressing treasure that suppresses Wanjin Peak. And it cannot be moved at all. Elder Jian glanced at Li Yuanba and introduced with a smile. Elder Jian intended to let Li Yuanba see it. After giving a general introduction to Wanjian Feng, he brought Li Yuanba to his cave. I have learned about your situation. The sect has been unable to find out your origin. 
after listening to your story. I think you were born on Tian High Island and are not a local monk in Northern Shu. Elder Jian sat in the hall with a master position. Dandan said, Li Yuanban naturally knew that his origin could not be investigated because this body had no origin at all. Don't worry about anything. I'm not interested in your origins and I'm not a local monk. Elder Jian saw Li Yuanba's uneasiness and said with a smile and waved his hand. You are a principal child. I have investigated your situation after joining the sect. I found that you did not learn the demonic cultivation techniques in the sect. You only focused on practicing and sharpening your sword power. Do you keep wearing a mask to show others that you don't want to be complicit? Sword? The elder continued. Li Yuanba was really shocked. But he couldn't understand it this way. It was good that he was wearing a mask. But he really didn't have any dissatisfaction with the sect. Besides, if a monk wears a mask, it does not affect daily communication. The monks can identify each other by their breath, which is easier to distinguish than hiding their faces. The reason why I chose you as my disciple is because I like your purity. There is no pure sword cultivator in the sect. My successor must be a pure sword cultivator. Elder Jian sighed and finished. The main reason for Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba suddenly didn't want to explain anymore. He thought in his mind that he must hide the generals well and not let Elder Jian discover the existence of the generals. Otherwise Elder Jian might change his mind. He is not a pure sword cultivator at all. He is working hard to become a sword cultivator. But he also masters the powerful corpse refining as his final trump card. For traditional swordsmanship. Such swordsmanship is impure. But he believes that living is the most important thing. And the swordsman who survives is the good swordsman. In addition, the reason why he wears a mask is also very simple. His face is so dazzling that it may cause problems if it is not covered up. Master, I have to wear a mask as a last resort. He took off the mask anyway and explained to Elder Jian. Elder Jian was also startled after seeing his face. And then, he couldn't help laughing. It's better to put on the mask. If your face is revealed in the battle, it will be enough to save your life. Also, be careful of the dual cultivators in the sect. Elder Jin laughed and waved his hand. Chapter 211 Getting Started Your master, I was born in the sword and tent Chongshao Pavilion. After accepting you as an entry disciple, you are not only a disciple of the Siluo sect, but also a disciple of the sword and tent Chongshao Pavilion. You must know this. Elder Jian took Li Yuanba with him. When entering the inner room of the cave, he confessed, this was the first time that Li Yuanba heard that one person could have the identity of two disciples of the sect. But after hearing what Elder Jian said, he thought that the sect also knew about this. Where is the sword intent Chongshao Pavilion? He really couldn't remember the force of the sword intent Chongshao Pavilion. You must know that he and the main body are in two major sects. But he has never heard of the sword intent Chongshao Pavilion. Exist. Jianning Chongshao Pavilion is not in Beishu Continent. If you have the chance to become Yuanying, maybe you can go back to Jianning Chongshao Pavilion to have a look. Elder Jian said with a hint of reminiscence in his eyes. When Elder Jian was still a foundation building monk, he encountered a disastrous storm while out to sea. He was sucked into the storm vortex. When he woke up again, he was already in the northern Shu continent and was rescued by an elder from the Sun Luo sect and became his disciple. It is impossible to return to Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion without Yuanying's strength. Crossing a sea that is countless times more dangerous than the North Sea is no different than courting death. He was lucky enough to encounter a space vortex. And he came to Beishu safely. From then on, he became a monk of the Sanluo sect. And with the help of his master, he eventually became a Jin Dan monk and took charge of Wanjin Peak. Although Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion is not a righteous path, it is not a demonic cultivator. Therefore, Elder Jin, who was born in Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion, does not have much favorable impression of demonic cultivators. This is funny. A Jin Dan elder from the demon sect has no good impression of the demon cultivator. But this is the fact. Elder Sword has become the most special existence of the Sanluo sect. Fortunately, Elder Jian's master was successfully promoted to nascent soul, which gave him a strong backer in the sect. This made it so that no matter how aloof and arrogant he was, no monk dared to target him. In addition, the strength of the Sword Elder is really strong. He is now a Sword Elder in the late stage of Jin Dan. With a sword in his hand, he is almost invincible except nascent soul. He also made great contributions to the Saluo sect's unification of the Hundred Thousand Mountains, leaving other elders speechless in terms of both strength and achievements. It is extremely difficult for a Jin Dan cultivator like him to find a suitable disciple within the demon sect. 
The monks who enter the demon sect will usually choose demonic skills at the beginning. Even those who do not choose demonic skills will. Under the influence of this environment, supplementary demonic skills to speed up their cultivation. As for casual cultivators who join the sect in other ways, it is almost extremely difficult for them to master the sword intention due to their already established cultivation methods. This is why Elder Jin, after seeing Li Yuanba, did a little research and issued an assessment task. It was really difficult to find disciples. Entering the inner room, Li Yuanba saw a painting on the wall. The painting showed a mountain peak shrouded in clouds and mist. On the top of the mountain was a towering pavilion with the inscription, Sword Intent Chong Shao Pavilion, written on it. He could vaguely see figures moving around in the Jinni Chong Shao Pavilion. And the clouds and mist on the mountain peaks were also flowing. So the painting turned out to be alive. He soon understood that this was a magic weapon. But the aura was obscure, and he didn't notice it for a while. You and Ba, come here and bow to Jinni Chong Shao Pavilion. Elder Jin himself stepped forward and bowed respectfully to the scroll of Jinni Chong Shao Pavilion, and then gave instructions to Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba came to the Jinni Chong Shao Pavilion scroll and knelt down, respectfully saying, okay, and kowtowing three times as an entry ceremony. He turned around and saluted Elder Jin again and a smile appeared on Elder Jin's face. Li Yuanba straightened up and stood beside Elder Jin with his hands tied. Your Majesty, the disciple accepts Li Yuanba as the disciple of Jinni Cho Shao Pavilion today. He will make Li Yuanba abide by the rules of Jinni Cho Shao Pavilion. I hope the ancestor will witness it. Elder Jin said to the scroll of Jinni Cho Shao. Do all this well and turn around. He smiled at Li Yuanba and said, Okay, from now on you will be a disciple of Jinni Cho Shao Pavilion. In his words, Sword Intent Chong Shao Pavilion is more important than Sun Luo's sect. In the future, the 10 Direction Sword Cultivation Technique. You practice can be used as a supplementary skill. You have to practice the Sword Intent Chong Shao Ju. Instead, after Li Yuanba paid homage to the Sword Intent Chong Shao Pavilion scroll, Elder Sword's attitude towards Li Yuanba became even more intense. Getting close, Elder Jian said with a smile, This disciple has been practicing the 10 Direction Sword Cultivation Technique For a while And the 10 Direction Sword Cultivation Technique In his hand is also a complete copy Which is available until the nascent soul stage Li Yuanba thought that Elder Jin Did not know that he had received the 10 Direction Sword Cultivation Technique Sword Art is the complete book He quickly explained You must know that changing the exercise method Has a great impact on the monks Which is related to the future path of cultivation Li Yuanba has already planned his own cultivation path. If the clone can practice faster, he needs to provide help to the main body. I'm not asking you to give up on the 10 Direction Sword Cultivation Technique. You are a disciple of the Sword Intent Chong Shao Pavilion and must major in the Sword Intent Chong Shao Technique. Besides, how can the 10 Direction Sword Cultivation Technique be compared with the Sword Intent Chong Shao Technique? Elder Jian explained with a look of disdain on his face. Seeing Elder Jian's attitude, Li Yuanba stopped insisting. Because persistence was meaningless. The master said so. So it was inevitable to change his major in martial arts. Fortunately, he was only in the early stage of foundation building. So it was easy to switch to cultivation at this time. Yes, disciple. Follow the master's instructions. He bowed and responded. I won't let you suffer. If I hadn't been the true successor of Sword Intent Chong Shao Pavilion, I wouldn't have a complete set of Sword Intent Chong Shao Pavilion in my hands. This technique is much more powerful than most of the techniques in the northern Shu continent. Elder Jin laughed. Li Yuanba heard one of the meanings. That is, his master had a condescending contempt for the northern Shu continent. Perhaps there was no need to hide anything in front of his disciple. Elder Jin really showed his true feelings. In the world of immortality, the relationship between master and disciple is very close. Even closer than that between father and son in the secular world. In the ordinary world, the relationship between father and son and relatives only lasts for decades at most. But in the world of immortality, the time between master and disciple can exceed a hundred years. And the time between Jin Dan monk and disciple is even longer. After Li Yuanba paid homage to the Jin Chong Shao Pavilion scroll, Elder Jian regarded him as his true one. By the way, I haven't arranged a cave for you yet. You will live in the cave on the other side of the top of Wanjin Peak. Anyway, we are the master and disciple here. Elder Jian clapped his hands and said, While I am happy, I am also trying my best to learn the responsibilities of a master. Elder Jian took Li Yuanba's identity as a jade plate and changed his identity 
as an outer disciple to a true disciple. He had no disciples. So the only disciple was naturally a true disciple. He didn't even have to compete with other gene and elder disciples. He had a spot as a true disciple and gave it directly to Liu Yunba. You settle down today first and come here tomorrow morning to teach you the sword intent soaring into the sky technique. Elder Jian took Liu Yunba to the magic weapon of Wan Jian Peak's five flying swords and finally explained. Yes, master. Li Yuanba bowed and responded. There is no need to go to the cave house originally at the outer gate. There is nothing left there. He went directly to another cave in Wanjin Peak. When he used the jade plate of identity to open the cave, he discovered something unusual. This is a gene and level cave. He couldn't help but explained as he felt the extremely rich spiritual energy. He did not expect that Elder Jian would allocate a gene and level cave to him. Although there were no other monks in Wanjin Peak, this kind of treatment was beyond his status as a foundation-building monk. The interior of the cave is very large, especially in the training room. In addition to the rich spiritual energy, there is also a pure sword intention lingering in the training room. Practicing sword cultivation here is the main technique. In addition to improving one's spiritual power, it can also subtly increase the sword's intention. This preciousness is extremely important for sword cultivation. It's better to have a background. Li Yuanba sighed as he looked at the cultivation environment at this time. He thought of the true disciples of the Huda sect killed during this mission and took out a storage bracelet. He first took out the thick earth shield bead. Although this orb did not protect Ren Peng Shao at the time, its defensive effect was still extremely strong. You must know that Li Yuanba's sword at that time was the strongest sword he could exert. In addition, the quality of the third grade sword base itself exceeded that of the spiritual weapon. Especially when he realized the sword's intention to turn into silk in the final stage. Otherwise, he would really it is impossible to break through the defense of the thick earth shield beads in a short time. If Ren Peng Shao were to use the talisman, he would have to summon his generals to defend him. The talisman at that time also fell into Liu Yuanba's hands. It was a giant mountain talisman that had two chances to be used, which gave him an additional trump card. This thick earth shield bead is useless to him. To drive this jade bead requires earth spiritual power, but he can give it to the main body when he has the opportunity. His spiritual thoughts entered the storage bracelet, and there were quite a few spiritual objects in it. Thinking about it, it was impossible to leave some wealth before the sect was destroyed. Like the true disciples, they are the seeds of the sect's future. Naturally, they must give more. Needless to say about spiritual stones. One million spiritual stones is not a lot in his opinion. The rest are some second-grade spiritual objects, such as spiritual weapons, formation discs, talismans, elixirs, and a large number of various materials. The quantity is huge, and the value here is probably tens of millions of spiritual stones. This was the foundation of a medium to large sect. The wealth left to the future seeds before the sect was destroyed was only a small part, but it also made the Yuanba's heart beat faster. But none of these caught his attention as a rock with yellow light. This was a third grade earth attribute spiritual object. This was exactly the third grade and five element material Li Shiming needed and it contained extremely pure earth spiritual power. Li Yuanba thought to himself that it seemed that he really needed to meet his true form. Thick earth shield beads and third grade earth attribute materials need to be handed over to the main body. In addition, Li Yuanba also needs to practice. Purple Chi from the East. This kind of skill that greatly improves his body and spirit must be shared with his clone. If you want the Purple Chi from the East technique to achieve the best results, you need a complete set of 1500 Fresnel reflectors although he does not have a suitable place to practice. Purple Chi from the East. At this time, if necessary, it may not be a problem to ask the master as a true disciple to find a hilltop that he can use alone. He put the sea storage bracelet on his wrist. He was also a true disciple. Although Elder Jian and the sect failed to give him the storage bracelet, he would not be coveted by other monks if he used the storage bracelet in an honest way. The next day he arrived at the five flying sword magic treasure very early. But the sword elder had not yet arrived. He felt the ubiquitous sword intent of Wan Jianfeng. Yesterday, due to the presence of the sword elder, he had no chance to study it carefully. There was no one around at this time. So he tried to radiate his sword intention. Wan Jianfeng's sword intention wrapped around his sword intention. And he felt that his control over the sword intention was weakening. He was shocked. Wan Jianfeng's sword intent was swallowing his sword intent. Li Yuanba quickly withdrew his sword intent. Even so, Part of his sword intent was still swallowed up, which was enough for him to practice for more than 10 days. Fortunately, 
he reacted quickly enough. Otherwise his losses would have been great. The sword intent of Wan Jianfeng is accumulated by countless generations of sword cultivators. Although these sword intents have lost their masters, they still retain the consciousness of guarding Wan Jianfeng. Elder Jian's voice came, and I didn't know when Elder Jian had stood up. Behind Li Yuanba, he could clearly see what Li Yuanba had just done. Master, you are here. Li Yuanba greeted quickly. My master wanted me to pass on the sword intent to the sky technique in the Sin Luo sect. So he specially snatched Wan Jianfeng and gave it to me. Accepting you as a disciple is also an explanation to the master. After the master comes out of seclusion, I will take you to meet your master. Elder Jin nodded and looked at Wan Jianfeng where he was. Li Yuanba heard one thing. That is, Elder Jian's master was a nascent soul ancestor. The sword intention Cheng Shao Pavilion is an inheritance of ancient sword cultivators. There are five ancestors of the sword intent Cheng Shao Pavilion who have ascended to the upper world with this method. Our pavilion can pass it down to this day. In addition to the power of sword cultivators, the most important thing is there are immortals protecting us above this pavilion. Elder Jian continued to introduce. Master, is there really an upper realm? Li Yuanba asked quickly when he heard about the upper realm. Of course there are upper realms. Some great sects that have been passed down for a long time have ancestors who have become immortals and ascended. They can contact the ancestors who became immortals through special means. It is too early to tell you these things. As long as you know how to practice the highest level of the sword intent climb to the sky technique is that it is enough to be able to ascend. Elder Jian replied with certainty. When Li Yuanba heard what his master said, he was filled with shock although he didn't know what level he needed to ascend. He knew that the strongest being in the northern Shu continent was the Yuanning ancestor. Ascension must be higher than that of the Yuanning ancestor. A lot of. Only then did he understand why the sword elder looked down on the 10 direction sword cultivation technique. He even thought about letting the main body also practice the sword intention climbing to the sky technique. Starting from today, I will teach you the sword intention Chengshao technique. You must swear on your soul that this technique will not be passed on to others unless you are your disciple and take it under the sword intent Cheng Shao Pavilion. It is against the law. His soul will be destroyed. Elder Jian solemnly confessed before teaching the technique. Chapter 212 Research Li Shiming is sitting in the corner of the Alchemy Cauldron Hall. He is refining the Chu Shen Hunyuan Pill. This is an auxiliary elixir for cultivation in the early stage of foundation building. It is also the Shu Shen sect's own elixir. It is studied by a senior alchemist of the Shushan sect. From the advantage of Shushan Hunyuan Pill is that it belongs to the first and second great elixirs, which are cultivated by sections. Monks can use their contribution points to exchange for the elixir in the elixir, or they can also use their contribution points to directly exchange for Shushan Hunyuan Pill. At this time, Master Ma ignored him and was busy with his own things. Master Ma has already demonstrated the refining of Chu Shen Hunyuan Pill, for Li Shiming, and also explained the secrets, without any reservation, during Master Ma's alchemy process. Li Shiming was even allowed to use his spiritual sense to detect. This gave Li Shiming first-hand data on refining the second great elixir, although he did not do it himself. He had experience in refining the first great elixir, which made it easy for him to get started. He controlled the temperature of the spiritual carbon in the third turn Tianbao furnace and accurately adjusted the temperature to what was needed for alchemy. The aroma of medicine had already floated out from the three-turn Tianbao furnace. Master Ma on the side raised his head and glanced at him. The corners of his mouth were slightly raised, and he seemed to be in a good mood. Li Shiming flicked his fingers and used the seven-finger pill collection technique. After seven fingers, seven spiritual pills flew out of the Tianbao furnace in three turns and fell into the jade bottle. He couldn't help but shook his head. He had not reached full elixir, and he only had two high level. Chu Shen Hun Yuan Dan, and the rest were intermediate, which showed that he still had problems controlling the properties of the medicine. He was not satisfied with his alchemy this time. With Z15 collecting data and analyzing all the problems in the alchemy process, he was just using a cheating machine to refine the alchemy. Such results would not make him feel qualified. He cleaned the third turn Tianbao furnace. This third turn Tianbao furnace was the alchemy furnace given to him by Master Ma. He spent one night refining it to 30%, barely meeting the requirements for alchemy. Li Shiming refined the Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill. Again. Anyway, the materials were provided by Master Ma, so there was no need to worry about the materials. The second time he refined the Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill, he got 10. 
Shu Shen Hun Yuan pills, most of which were high grade. Shu Shen Hun Yuan pills. By the fifth time, he had repeated the elixir refining. He was able to master 100% every step of refining the Shu Shen Hun Yuan pill and upgraded the quality of the Shu Shen Hun Yuan pill to a high level. Master Ma had stopped what he was doing, and he looked at Li Shiming's refining process with some confusion. Li Shiming's error correction ability surprised him. Once he made a mistake, he would never make it a second time. This was completely different from other alchemists. What alchemists like to talk about most is a feeling. And they are also pursuing this feeling of alchemy. But Li Shiming seems to have a standard in his heart, and keeps getting closer to that standard. Master, I have learned how to refine the Chu Mountain Hun Yuan pill. Li Shiming raised the jade bottle containing 10 high-grade Chu Mountain Hun Yuan pill, and reported to Master Ma on the side. Then continue refining. This is considered as completing your sex mission. Just in time to accumulate some cultivation elixirs for yourself. Master Ma waved his hand and ordered. In fact, Master Ma was not at peace in his heart. Li Shiming had learned that the standard for refining an elixir was high level. He wanted to see if Li Shiming could meet the same requirements when refining more difficult elixirs. In addition, what Li Shiming lacks now is the refining experience of second grade elixirs, which requires a lot of refining to make up for it. The Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill is the pill that Li Shiming needs for his practice. With his level, without any waste, he can keep two pills for his own use in each pot. During the practice, he can also provide he added pills for cultivation. Li Shiming obeyed Master Ma's order and came to the Alchemy Hall to refine alchemy every day in the following days. The Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill he refined will be mixed and exchanged with the low level and intermediate Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill. So the monks from the sect who redeemed the Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill these days found that in a bottle of Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill, a rare high level Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill appeared. You must know that those who normally refine Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill are generally intermediate alchemists. Even intermediate alchemists who refine Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill all year round cannot guarantee that they can refine a high level Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill. Yuan Dan came out. However, senior alchemists and alchemy masters who can refine the high level Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill will not refine such early stage foundation building elixirs. Therefore, among the Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill exchanged by the sect, the high level Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill is rare. Of course, this is aimed at ordinary monks. Like true disciples, they can exchange for high-level spiritual pills. This is the true inheritance. Welfare of disciples. Three days later, Li Shiming was refining a furnace of Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill. When he tapped the Tianbao furnace three times to produce the pill, a pill caught his attention. This elixir exudes purple aura. And purple aura is a sign of a top elixir, which is extremely easy to identify. He actually refined a top-level elixir. This was the first time he had refined a top-level elixir. The top elixir is known as the perfect elixir. It is not only very effective, but also does not cause drug resistance. As long as you have enough top elixir, you can continue taking it. There is no need to consider switching to other elixirs due to drug resistance. Of course, this is almost impossible. Top level elixirs can be encountered but cannot be sought. Even the alchemy master cannot be sure that he can refine the top level elixirs. Everything depends on luck before the top level elixirs appear. Why did the top elixir appear? Li Shiming didn't believe it was luck. There must be some reason that he didn't know. Fortunately, Z15 faithfully recorded every refining process, allowing him to retrieve all the alchemy data and study it. In a large amount of data, he did not find any difference between this batch of elixirs and the previous ones. His almost perfect Golden Yang Fire Control Technique, Green Willow Sensing Spirit Technique, and Seven Finger Collecting Pill Technique are similar to each other cooperation. Theoretically, all elixirs should be of the same quality. Neither he nor Z15 analyzed anything special from the data. Just as Master Ma said, the top elixir is completely a product of luck. When he cleaned the third turn Tianbao furnace again, he had a feeling that there seemed to be slight changes in the medicinal gas inside the third turn Tianbao furnace. There was a slight movement in his heart, and he thought of a possibility. Master, can I take the elixir back to the cave for refining? He asked Master Ma. At Master Ma's place, being watched by the master makes it inconvenient for him to use some methods. You take a hundred copies of the Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill, elixir back, and then you just need to hand over the Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill. And that's it. 
Master Ma is very relieved about his alchemy skills, and he is request will not be refused. Li Shiming can refine the elixir in the early stage of foundation building, which is already the highest elixir that an intermediate alchemist can refine. If he wants to improve his alchemy level, he must either continue to learn the alchemy inheritance and upgrade his alchemy level to an advanced level. Either cultivate the Red Yang Spirit Fire until it can be used. The second grade Red Yang Spirit Fire is enough to refine any second grade elixir. By then, even if you use the methods of an intermediate alchemist, all elixirs in the foundation building period can be refined. Master Ma will not encourage others to develop their skills. Li Shiming has only just learned alchemy for a short time. Although his level is extremely high, he still lacks experience in alchemy. It is best to lay a solid foundation before upgrading the level of alchemist. Li Shiming returned to the sword holding peak with a hundred copies of the Xu Shen Hunyuan pill materials in the air. He sensed a breakthrough in Li Yuanba's sword intention in the distance. He smiled slightly, and a sword intention on his finger turned into a thread, flying in the air. The sword intention mastered by the clone Li Yuanba could not be taught to others under normal circumstances. Sword intention can be understood but cannot be expressed in words. It is a kind of perception and experience of the sword, and it is also a kind of innate ability. But Li Yuanba and Li Shiming are one. Except for some of Li Yuanba's sword cultivation methods that require the coordination of martial arts. Li Shiming can easily share everything else including sword intention from Li Yuanba. Especially in terms of sword cultivation talent. Li Shiming's talent is far inferior to that of his clone Li Yuanba. Before Li Yuanba became a clone, he was trained as a sword cultivator by Elder Bailey. He practiced the Sword Demon Secret Book and the Metallic Tianling Root. This is the top sword cultivator. Li Shiming only wanted to sit back and enjoy the success. Wasn't the reason why he cultivated Li Yuanba's clone just to have this kind of benefit? Returning to the cave at Holding Sword Peak, Li Shiming no longer had any scruples. He put the three-turn Tian Bao furnace into the machine room. Within the computer room space, he has micron-level control. He can also use the Golden Yang Fire Control Technique and Qing Lu Sensing Spirit Technique. As for the Seven Finger Pill Collecting Technique, he can use spiritual thoughts instead. Besides, Micron level control is comprehensive. Even without using these secret methods, he can directly make elixirs. He gave an order to Z15 and started recording the process of alchemy, especially the situation inside the third turn Tian Bao furnace. With his spiritual thoughts, his micron level perception is enough to detect any subtle changes in the alchemy furnace. It takes almost an hour and a half to refine a furnace of elixirs, and he can refine up to three furnaces of elixirs a day. The top level. Chu Shen Hunyuan Pill appeared last time in the 10th furnace. In the machine room space, this speed cannot be accelerated. But since he is in his cave, he can refine it when he has time and can make more pills every day. Make several furnaces. He made a plan for himself to refine up to five furnaces of Chu Shen Hunyuan Pill in the cave a day so that the time consumed would not affect his other practices. The Purple Chi from the East every morning is never interrupted. This is his most important practice. And currently it is even more important than his main practice. Purple energy from the east is making up for the weakness of his natural talent, which will affect his future path to immortality. And he does not dare to take it lightly. The body refining cannot be stopped every day. The mastery of body refining allows him to feel the improvement of his talus body every time he practices the Diamond Body Protection Divine Art and Sword Demon Secret Code and he is slowly catching up with the late-stage foundation-building monks. Li Shiming understands his own advantages. The reason why he has been able to achieve his current achievements with the talent of three spiritual roots is largely due to body refining. Even Elder Su once praised his body refining talent. He needs to maintain the advantage of body refining, which is the guarantee for him to fight against the enemy during the foundation-building period. In the computer room space, the spiritual carbon ignites and heats the three-turn Tian Bao furnace under the control of his consciousness. It is no different from him in the outside world. The process of refining. Chu Shen Hunyuan pill, for the first time was uneventful. The resulting elixir was 10 high grade. Chu Shen Hunyuan pill, and the quality was even higher than that of outside elixirs. This is because in the computer room space, Li Shiming was refining alchemy from a god's perspective. He could sense the micron level changes in the alchemy furnace and made the alchemy data analyzed by Z15 extremely accurate. He looked at the time and continued to refine the second batch of Chu Shen Hunyuan pill. I don't know if it was bad luck 
but he was refining the Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill for several days in a row. The micron level perception in the computer room space allowed Z15 to collect more comprehensive data on the alchemy. But the top level elixir he wanted never appeared once. He had already refined more than 20 batches of Chu Shen Hun Yuan Dan. This was the first time that the top level elixir appeared for him in double the time. Only then did he understand that there was no trace of the emergence of the top elixir that Master Ma said. And it appeared entirely by luck. Finally, on the sixth day, another top notch. Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill was refined. It's been refined, Li Shiming said with excitement and waved his hands vigorously. The top elixir was finally unveiled in front of him. Through the records of Z15, he saw the entire formation process of the top. Chu Shen Hun Yuan Dan. The alchemy process in the computer room space includes changes in various substances at the micron level. And only in the computer room space can such monitoring be achieved. He discovered that there was a special substance that was extremely abundant in the third turn Tian Bao furnace at that time. At the moment when the pill was made, the Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill absorbed these special substances and upgraded its quality to the top level. He checked the previous alchemy records and found that this special substance was produced during the alchemy process. And only a very small amount was produced each time. About 10 furnaces can produce a top level elixir. It can only be said that his luck in refining the top level. Chu Shen Hun Yuan Dan for the first time was absolutely overwhelming. It happened to be that this special substance can produce a top level elixir. The amount triggered the appearance of a top elixir. When checking the alchemy records in the computer room space, he found that these special substances produced a large amount of loss and did not merge with the elixir after reaching a certain concentration or merged with multiple elixirs at the same time, thus failing to reach the top level of breeding, the basis of the elixir. After knowing the reason for refining the top elixir, Li Shiming began to prepare to make this probabilistic refining normal for other alchemists, even master alchemists. It is completely impossible to extract that special substance mixed with various other substances from the alchemy furnace. But in the computer room space, under his micron level control, every particle of special matter can be controlled by him. He can completely collect the special matter produced by each furnace to create the top elixir on his own. Base. Chapter 213 Success. Another two days passed. And Li Shiming refined ten furnaces of Chu Shen Hun Yuan Pill, all of which were still high grade. Chu Shen Hun Yuan Pill. His consciousness carefully separated the medicine essence in the third turn Tian Bao furnace from other substances. This operation was extremely energy consuming and required sorting out the essence of medicine in the state of particles one by one. Essence of medicine is the name he gave to the special substance he discovered. He did not find a description of this special substance in any existing alchemy knowledge. It is very likely that he was the first alchemist to discover the existence of this substance. Teacher, he is naturally qualified to name this special substance. The name Medicine Essence was also used by himself. And his method of obtaining Medicine Essence could not be shown in front of any monks. There is no need to worry about this. The alchemist will not refine elixirs in front of other monks. There is no need to worry about learning his special method. Not to mention that he is not even prepared to tell anyone about the discovery of the essence of medicine. Including Master Ma. Because it is mainly unexplainable. With a solemn expression, he began to refine a new batch of Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill. He was extremely careful with every step, fearing that an unexpected mistake would affect the quality of the pill. When he finally produced the elixir, he pulled the medicine essence wrapped in consciousness above the third turn Tian Bao furnace into the third turn Tian Bao furnace and selected a Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill that would become a pill to fuse. A smile appeared on his face as the purple light flashed. He stored the top level Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill separately in a jade bottle. And there were already three top level Chu Shen Hun Yuan pills in it. Although he only has three top level Chu Shen Hun Yuan pills. After finding a way to refine top level elixirs, he can almost produce top level elixirs in batches. Of course, the premise is that he needs to refine a certain kind of elixir in large quantities. And the Chu Shen Hun Yuan Dan is the elixir that the sect can produce in batches. Li Shiming came to the training room. He put a top level Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill into his mouth and began to practice the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique. The surging spiritual energy flowed out from the top level. Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill and turned into a torrent of spiritual energy flowing along him. The exercise route operates. He felt the acceleration effect brought by the elixir. This cultivation speed was 20 times that of not using the elixir. No wonder the monks were flocking to the elixir. 
It's funny to say that this top-notch Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill that he personally refined is the first pill he has actually taken since he became an immortal. Coming from another world, let him know the horror of drug resistance. In the past life, a drug could cure the symptomatic disease with only a few milligrams when it was first introduced. However, many years later, the same disease could not be cured even if it required dozens of times the dosage of the drug. It was the panic about drug resistance that made him have an instinctive resistance to taking pills. If he hadn't refined the top elixir himself, he would still be hesitant about when he would take the elixir to practice. The biggest advantage of top quality elixirs is that there is no resistance to the medicine, and there is no need to consider the risk of reduced potency after repeated use. When around the practice of the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique was completed, Li Shiming determined the effect of taking the top level Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill, allowing him to achieve the same effect as 20 days of practice in one practice. 20 times the cultivation speed gave him a great need for the top level. Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill, with his physique, one day is enough for his body to fully digest the effects of the top notch. Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill, it's a pity that he can't produce one top level. Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill, every day, with his five furnaces of Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill, refining every day, he could only produce one top level. Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill, every two days, 21 days, after getting back 100 copies of the Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill, materials. He went to Danding Peak with 800 high level. Chu Shen Hun Yuan pills. Shiming is here. Master Ma was refining elixirs. When he saw Li Shiming coming in, he turned around and nodded with a smile. Li Shiming was surprised to see that there was not only one alchemy furnace in front of Master Ma, but 10 alchemy furnaces. All 10 alchemy furnaces were at the level of spiritual weapons. Master Ma was refining 10 furnaces of elixirs at the same time. Li Shiming who was already an intermediate alchemist, was extremely shocked when he saw this scene. He knew better than a non-alchemist how difficult it was. Controlling ten alchemy furnaces at the same time and being able to talk to him while distracted was unimaginable to him. The sect needs to refine a batch of emergency elixirs. I rarely make such low-level elixirs, Master Ma explained with a smile when he saw Li Shiming's surprise. Master, how can you refine ten furnaces of elixirs at the same time? Li Shiming's eyes were shining. If he had this method, wouldn't he be able to refine five top-level elixirs every day? At that time, he will not only be able to take the top-level Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill every day for practice, but he will also be able to save a batch for use when needed. What a wonderful way to practice. It can improve your cultivation at 20 times the speed. Even the Tianling and monks can't compare with him. If you have spiritual thoughts, I will teach you this secret method. Master Ma looked at Li Shiming with a smile. Li Shiming immediately thought of a technique called Thousand Hammers to Forge the Divine Technique, which is a technique that can strengthen spiritual thoughts to divine thoughts during the foundation building period. However, his current spiritual thoughts are still somewhat insufficient, at least in his opinion. He would have to wait until he was in the middle stage of foundation building before his spiritual thoughts could meet the requirements for practicing them. Thousand Hammers Forging Technique You don't have the skills to cultivate spiritual thoughts. Do you? Master Ma couldn't help but ask when he saw Li Shiming's stunned look. I accidentally obtained a mysterious method called Thousand Hammers to forge the divine technique. Currently, I don't have enough spiritual energy to practice it. Li Shiming didn't mean to hide it. In the end, this technique is only for people who don't have spiritual consciousness. The foundation building monk. At the golden elixir stage, the monks themselves already have spiritual thoughts. And the value of this skill has dropped significantly. No wonder Shao Su always talks about your good fortune. There is only one copy of the mysterious method in the sect. It is the secret inheritance of an ancestor. It is extremely troublesome for people other than that ancestor to get the inheritance. Master Ma couldn't help but shook his head and said with a smile, Blessings are invisible and intangible. But the existence of blessings must be acknowledged. Li Shiming used the qualifications of the three spiritual roots to see if his cultivation and the skills he learned were any worse than those of the true disciples of the major sections. This was a blessing. I will tell you after I finish refining this batch of elixirs. Master Ma's mind returned to refining elixirs. Li Shiming sat aside and watched Master Chi Ma's alchemy. He would not miss this opportunity to collect alchemy data. Although Master Ma looks down on these elixirs. These elixirs are all healing elixirs in the early stage of foundation building. They are a valuable reference for the elixir refining process for Li Shiming. In addition, Master Ma does not restrict Li Shiming from using spiritual thoughts at all. 
which makes the data that can be collected more comprehensive. It means that after collecting the data of this kind of elixir this time, he can make this elixir 100%, and the quality will not be low. He is not new to refining second-grade elixirs. He has some experience with second-grade elixirs. This experience is enough for him to at least not fail when refining the same grade elixirs. He can make a few more furnaces. Can fully achieve high-end quality. In the future, as long as he refines more second-grade elixirs and collects enough refining data of second-grade elixirs, he will be able to directly refine high-level elixirs as soon as he gets the elixirs. Master, why do you need to refine so many healing elixirs? Although Li Shiming didn't know the name of this elixir, he knew its properties. So he asked curiously, what else could it be? The demonic cultivators have been making frequent moves recently, and the conflict between good and evil is very likely to break out again. The sect needs to prepare a large amount of healing and detoxifying elixirs. Don't tell anyone about this matter, as it may cause unnecessary trouble. Chaos! Master Ma said casually, then thought about it and added another sentence. Li Shiming's heart trembled. He thought of the scene when the Mingxin sect invaded Tianhai Island. Although there was no killing everywhere, it caused the seven sects to leave their hometown and abandon the mountain gate that had been in operation for countless years. Don't worry. We and the alchemists will not participate in the battle. If we really need the alchemists to fight, then there is no need to fight anymore. Master Ma comforted him with a smile. As Master Ma said, his spiritual thoughts lightly touched the ten spiritual weapon pill furnaces. The ten spiritual weapon pill furnaces were opened at the same time, and a hundred spiritual pills flew out of the pill furnaces. The scene was spectacular. Stored all the elixirs in jade bottles and handed them to the elixir boy next to him before putting away the elixir furnace. Sure, me. My Shinshin transformation technique is indeed useful to you. Your spiritual mind foundation is very solid. You should have practiced spiritual mind during the Qi chain period. I have a Shenyang Ju here, which I used to raise my mind. Things like this. You should be able to greatly improve your spiritual thoughts by using the Shenyang Ju very soon when you can practice your spiritual thoughts. I will teach you the distracting mind transformation technique. Master Ma took out a piece of jade and handed it to Li Shiming. Li Shiming took the Yanshin Ju. This was not a man-made magic weapon, but a natural spiritual creature. As soon as he took it in his hand, he felt the indifferent energy emanating from Yanshin Ju, which made his soul feel cool. Master, this is so precious. Although he didn't know what kind of treasure the Yanshin Ju was. There was no ordinary treasure that could nourish the soul. Even the value of the Yanshin Ju was not lower than that of a magic weapon. When you have been an alchemist for a long time, you will know how easy it is for an alchemist to earn wealth. Master Ma said with a smile and waved his hand. The Yanshin Ju is indeed a treasure, but it has little effect on the golden elixir monks. Li Shiming's alchemy aptitude made Master Ma decide to train him with all his strength. Although Li Shiming was only a registered disciple, the relationship between Master Ma and Elder Su was not much different from that of a direct disciple. Master, this disciple would like to take on more refining tasks of the Chu Mountain Hunyuan Pill. Li Shiming no longer refused. He thought about the purpose of his visit and said, The Chu Shan Hunyuan Pill you refined is all of high quality, but the number of monks from this sect who have recently redeemed the Chu Shan Hunyuan Pill has increased. It is when the Chu Shan Hunyuan Pill is lacking. The sect can guarantee you work hard to refine the materials for the Chu Mountain Hunyuan Pill. Master Ma decided nonchalantly. He was in charge of the elixir refining, and the elixir refined by Li Shiming was of high quality. So it was extremely popular, which was equivalent to improving the strength of the sect. In addition, it just happened to allow some alchemists to turn to refining the war preparation elixir. The demand for the war preparation elixir was too great. Otherwise, there would be no need for him a master of alchemy, to refine it. Thank you, master. Li Shiming received Master Ma's consent and thanked him happily. In the following days, wearing the Yanshin Ju, his spiritual thoughts continued to strengthen, especially with the purple chi from the east. His soul also underwent strange changes. At the beginning of the month again, Li Shiming came to Tianmu Peak. This was the day to meet Elder Su every month. Junior brother, how have you been studying alchemy recently? Senior sister Yi Jingxian asked Li Shiming with a smile while waiting for the master to arrive in the pavilion. She was still very surprised after hearing that Li Shiming had a talent for alchemy and was accepted as a registered disciple by Master Ma. The alchemist's profession is highly respected by monks. 
but it is an alchemist with a very high success rate. The life of an alchemist in the growth stage is not easy. Senior sister Yi Jinxian is concerned about whether Li Shiming needs help. Her family can provide Li Shiming with a lot of elixirs to practice. Currently, I have passed the examination of the intermediate alchemist. Li Shiming felt the kindness of senior sister Yi Jinxian and replied with a smile. Is this already an intermediate alchemist? Su Chuan on the side exclaimed. Li Shiming has only been in the sect for a short time. And he has been studying alchemy under Uncle Ma for even less time. He has already become an intermediate alchemist. This is too hard to believe. By the way, this bottle of elixir is just right for senior brother. Li Shiming took out a jade bottle and handed it over. The jade bottle contained 20% of the money he extracted when refining the Chushan Hunyuan pill. This was still less than what was extracted for the sex refining. If he was refining it for the monks, he would extract one third. Panacea. Senior brother, the elixirs I use are all high in goods. They were refined by you. Su Chuan and Li Shiming have a close friendship. So there is no need to be polite. As he spoke, he opened the jade bottle and saw that it was after receiving the elixir. He couldn't help but speak. He took out a high level. Chu Shan Hun Yuan pill and observed it carefully. The purple energy lingering on it did not look fake. Recently, the sect has released a batch of high grade Chu Shan Hun Yuan pill with excellent effects, which seems to be exactly the same as this one. He said, and took out another jade bottle and poured out a high grade Chu Shan Hun Yuan pill. Comparing, he found that the auras of the two high level Chu Shan Hun Yuan pills were exactly the same. And he was convinced that the two high level Chu Shan Hun Yuan pills were made by one person. Good junior brother. From now on, I will rely entirely on you to cultivate elixirs. Do you know that I, a true disciple, have to fight to get this high level Chu Shan Hun Yuan pill? The true disciples in the Hall of Merit are all hoarding it. A high level. Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill. Its effect is 20% higher than other high level. Chu Shen Hun Yuan pills. It turns out that it was made by my junior brother. Now I don't have to worry about cultivating the elixir anymore. Su Chuan spoke urgently and quickly. Which showed how excited he was. The cultivation effect has increased by 20%. This gain alone makes the monks in the early stage of foundation building go crazy. This is a pill that is taken daily. The extra effect is the part that improves the strength compared to other monks. Chapter 214 Wu Guo. Junior brother, it seems that in a few years, we will have to rely on you for the elixirs we need for cultivation. Senior sister Yi Jingxian looked at Li Shiming happily and said, Although Li Shiming is an intermediate alchemist, if he wants to refine the elixirs for the middle and late stages of foundation building, he needs to become a high-level alchemist. But Li Shiming's alchemy talent was too high. Even if she had to wait a few more years, she would still be able to use elixirs with better effects in the future. How could she not be happy? Senior sister, you are overrated. When you are promoted to a senior alchemist, you will refine elixirs for you and your two senior brothers. Li Shiming responded with a smile. The second senior brother Wan Zheng and the third senior brother Lu Xiu both had surprises in their eyes. Their junior brother's talent in alchemy was so high, and the already close relationship seemed to be getting stronger. I've seen master at this time. Elder Su appeared in the pavilion, and all the disciples quickly bowed and saluted. That's right. You haven't neglected your practice recently, especially Shiming. It seems that learning alchemy has not affected your practice, which also makes me feel relieved. Elder Su glanced at the disciples and nodded with a smile. Li Shiming's talent was too low, and he was a new disciple. So he was naturally the focus of his attention. Before, I was worried that Li Shiming's alchemy would affect his practice. Today I saw that Li Shiming's spiritual power fluctuations had increased significantly, and he could not feel the elixir's energy. This meant that Li Shiming did not take the elixir and relied entirely on himself. As hard work. This is the benefit of the top elixir. As long as the medicinal power in the elixir is absorbed, there will be no residual medicinal power left in the body. Jingxian, please go into seclusion recently. Elder Su turned to Yi Jingxian and ordered, Master, my understanding is not enough. Retreating in seclusion cannot break through the level. Yi Jingxian was stunned for a moment and quickly replied. Li Shiming has heard about the situation of senior sister Yi Jingxian. Yi Jingxian is in the middle of the golden elixir. Although she is only one step away from reaching the golden elixir, this step is as difficult as the natural chasm. If she wants to cross the step, she must reach the Taoist body, spiritual power and spirit. In addition to reaching the peak, you also need to sharpen your Taoist heart and understand God's will. 
This step cannot be explained in words. Each monk's perception of promoting the golden elixir is different and changes according to himself. He can only rely on the senior sister to understand it on his own. The best situation is that the senior sister keeps trying and stimulates her own feelings through various methods. The last time I bought Lee Shimming's monkey wine. It was one of the ways to try to use monkey wine to break the original balance of the body and improve the physique again. In order to gain enlightenment on the golden elixir. And seclusion is not a good choice. What senior sister Yi Jingxian lacks is not her spiritual power. The effect of her seclusion practice is almost non-existent. Your situation is special. Once the sect starts a war with the demon cultivator, your half-step golden elixir is likely to encounter a golden elixir opponent. You'd better retreat early. Elder Su slowly explained the reason. Master, is the demon sect going to war with the Dao sect again? Yi Jingxian asked in shock. This won't happen in the short term. But the demon sect has been making a lot of moves recently. And all the righteous sects are making preparations for the war. Elder Su said with a slight nod. He is not worried about his disciples. Except for Yi Jingxian. All of his disciples have life-saving items. Which can save at least one life. The survival rate in a battle is very high. But Yi Jingxian is different. According to the unspoken rules of war between the two major forces of good and evil. A higher level monk will not take the initiative to attack a lower level monk. But this does not include the special situation of half-step golden pill. Because to a certain extent, half-step golden pill has already stepped on the threshold of golden pill. In addition, the threat of the half-step golden pill is too great. Not only will a further Jean Dan Elder be added to the righteous path, but also because the half-step golden pill is absolutely invincible during the foundation building period. If the half-step golden pill is left unchecked, the existence of the pill will increase the losses of the foundation building monks not to mention the demon gate. Even the righteous side will give priority to getting rid of the half-step golden pill on the demon gate. Sure Ming has just started and became an intermediate alchemist. He doesn't have to go into battle to kill enemies. But Chuaner, you are too rough. You must be careful when encountering enemies. Elder Su continued. He took out a few more talismans, one for each disciple, and said, This is the escape talisman for thousands of miles. I leave it to you to save your lives. Li Shiming took the escape talisman for 10,000 miles and knew that this was the difference between Elder Jin Don's disciples and ordinary monks. Through Elder Jin Don's rewards and rewards, disciples of Elder Jin Dan can accumulate a certain number of life-saving items and ordinary monks cannot even see such life-saving items. After receiving the news again from Elder Su that a war between the good and the evil forces was possible, Li Shiming felt the pressure. Although he does not need to go to the battlefield, Li Yuan Ba, who is in the Saluo sect on the other side, is a combat monk. I just don't know if Saluo sect will participate in this battle between the two major forces of good and evil. I think they will. Saluo sect is one of the major demon sects in Northern Shu. After returning to Sword Holding Peak, he still practiced alchemy every day. There was also a tense atmosphere in the sect, and the amount of exchange for various elixirs increased greatly. The senior sister obeyed Elder Su's instructions, entered a state of seclusion, and announced to the outside world that she wanted to understand the golden elixir and providence. When Li Shiming was communicating with Yin Shuan, he heard that the Qianhuan sect had also spread the news. The Qianhuan sect and the Shushan sect were allies. If a war broke out, the two sects would naturally join forces. However, there is no need to worry about Yin Shuan. Yin Shuan is a formation master, and what he does is not dangerous. The days passed in this seemingly calm, but undercurrent, in the blink of an eye, one year has passed. In the spiritual lake in Li Shiming's body, the liquid five elements spiritual power has almost filled the spiritual lake. His realm is close to the peak of the early stage of foundation establishment. And it may not take long to reach the middle stage of foundation establishment. Li Shiming's cultivation speed is even faster than that of Li Yuanba, who has the spiritual root of Saluo Zongtian. He uses a top-level spiritual pill every day to speed up his cultivation. The progress of his cultivation is not his biggest change. The real change is his Tao body. After practicing Purple Chi from the East every day for more than a year, although Zhujian Peak is a small peak, its height is higher than the clouds. Even on a cloudy and rainy day, the top of Qijian Peak can welcome the first ray of sunshine in the morning. Therefore, for more than a year, he has not stopped practicing Purple Chi from the East using a Fresnel reflector. He practiced Purple Chi from the East for more than a year which is equivalent to practicing purple chi from the east for more than a hundred years. Moreover, 
the effects of a trace of purple energy at a time and a hundred times of violet purple energy at a time are completely different. If the dense purple energy he had absorbed and fused over the past year was magnified to take more than a hundred years to digest and absorb, then the effect would be greatly reduced. Now his Tao body has undergone strange changes. His skin is smooth and smooth, and his pores are almost invisible, just like a baby's, especially when practicing. Although most of the practice is carried out by absorbing the spiritual energy in the top spiritual pills, there is still a small part of the spiritual energy absorbed from the spiritual veins. And when he was practicing, spiritual energy entered the body through pores. Now, although the pores on his skin are not visible, every bit of skin can absorb spiritual energy into the body. The muscles of the Taoist body have also changed due to the practice of the draw body protection divine art and toward demon secret book. His muscles are as hard as iron. But now they are relaxed and there is no trace of practicing the body refining techniques. The bones of the Taoist body have completely turned into jade color. The only special thing is the sword bone of the right thumb. The sword intention inside it has been nourished by the dense purple energy for a long time. The sword intention is filled with purple intention. And it has a special lightning strike effect. Li Shiming didn't know if the lightning strike effect produced by the dense purple energy in the sword came from the Nine Heavens lightning strike technique. He practiced. It was most likely the case. Otherwise, it would be impossible to explain the sword that was created by the non-specific dense purple energy. It is intended to have a lightning strike effect. This is also a special effect of the sword that he developed himself. And it is something that Li Yuanba cannot share. Because the effect of this sword intention relies on the sword bone of his right thumb of his Taoist body. Without the support of the sword bone, it is impossible to display this kind of sword intention with lightning strike effect. The other bones of the Tao body are completely jade. Not to mention the hardness. Not to mention the effect of purple chi coming from the east. For more than a year, even if he has practiced the body training method for more than a year, his body has already been destroyed, strengthened to a level beyond the late stage of foundation building. The dense purple energy of purple chi from the east is another improvement based on his body refining effect beyond the level of the foundation building stage. This improvement has brought him great benefits. In his perception, there was no trace of scars on the Tao body. The scars he sensed were not ordinary scars, but hidden wounds produced during fighting and training. Some of these hidden wounds were visible, and some were invisible. He was also seriously injured in the battle, and even minor injuries were caused while practicing physical training. Although they could recover on their own, there would always be some hidden dangers left. In the past, Li Shiming would still find these minor injuries that could not be repaired. These minor operations were like scars on the skin. They seemed to be healed, but in fact they were still in a state of damage and had not returned to normal. Unless you find the treasures of heaven, materials and earth and take them. You may be able to repair these minor damages. But the treasures of heaven, materials and earth are legendary spiritual objects. And they cannot be obtained so easily. Don't underestimate these subtle injuries. When practicing the exercises, these subtle injuries will have a weak impact on the movement of spiritual power in the body. These effects may not be visible for a day. But over time, the impact on your practice will become clearer. Accumulate or even explode. Many monks are unable to return to their peak state after brutal battles, and thus are trapped in their current state. The changes in the Tao body have also brought about an increase in Li Shiming's cultivation speed. Now, even if he does not use the top spiritual pill, his cultivation speed is comparable to that of Tai Lian. One year of absorbing and integrating the purple energy also brought about mental changes. His spirit almost increased five times. This is not only the effect of the purple energy, but also the effect of wearing the Yan Shinju. But in his feeling, the effect of purple chi from the east is even greater than that of the Yan Shin Ju. Just today, he decided to start practicing the Thousand Hammers Forging Technique. In fact, he had reached the spiritual requirements for practicing the Thousand Hammers Forging Technique a few months ago. But in order to avoid other suspicion, he still waited until now. The main reason is that he has changed a lot. For this reason, he even asked Li Yuanba to exchange for a Demon Shadow Buddha form technique in Sun Luo sect. Of course, not all Sun Luo sect monks could redeem such an effective technique. As a true disciple, Li Yuanba was qualified to redeem it. Even so, it cost 2,000 contribution points. Li Shiming planned to use the Demon Shadow Buddha form skill to hide his changes, especially the changes in his Tao body. The changes in his Tao body were really too obvious. 
when he was looking through some Taoist books. He wondered if he was transforming into the legendary Wushou Taoist body, because all the characteristics of the Tao body are very similar to the legendary Wushui Tao body. It was almost impossible for him to accurately judge the defensive power of his current Tao body. Anyway, when he slashed his skin with the flying sword, he could not leave the slightest wound on his skin. And his strength is even more astonishing. He can withstand the defensive formations of monks in the late stage of foundation building. He can break through the defensive formations with a single sword with a single sword while holding a third grade sword base. It can be said that on the surface, he still looks like a magic cultivator in the early stage of foundation establishment. But in fact, he is already a humanoid Tyrannosaurus. As long as he gets close, he can exert his strength to shake the monks in the late stage of foundation establishment. This all comes from purple energy coming from the east, from his fantastic idea. Even if there were monks who knew the special effect of purple chi from the east, they would not be able to achieve the same benefits as him. Li Shiming persisted in practicing purple energy from the east every day for more than a year, and he was able to persevere. However, after weakening the effect by more than a hundred times, other monks must continue to practice purple chi from the east for more than a hundred years. They must also face the east every morning and wait for the sun to rise. Not to mention that the effect of practicing purple chi from the east is greatly weakened after leaving the Fresnel reflector. But it is impossible to persist for more than a hundred years. For a monk, no matter which realm he is in, more than a hundred years is not a short time. For most monks, more than a hundred years is equivalent to more than half of their lives. They can use most of their lives to practice purple energy from the east without any delay. They have no time to obtain other resources and opportunities. Their cultivation path is almost the same. To be cut off, even the more than 100 years of a golden elixir cultivator cannot be wasted casually. A golden elixir cultivator practices the main technique, and almost every practice lasts for many days. He cannot interrupt the main technique to practice. Purple Chi is coming. Bar! Therefore, there have always been rumors about the effect of Purple Chi from the East. But no monk will try to practice it continuously, but only regard it as a small way to improve the body in a short period of time. There are many ways for monks to improve their body. Purple chi from the east is not the most effective, nor is it the best choice for monks. Body training techniques, spiritual pills, natural spiritual objects, etc. can all improve the body. The effect is more obvious with shorter time. Chapter 215 Divine Thought In the cave at the top of Yijin Peak Li Shiming sat cross-legged, with the Yan Shenju placed between his eyebrows. It is not easy to transform the spiritual thoughts of the foundation building monks into divine thoughts. And the Thousand Hammer Divine Art is the spiritual method that allows the foundation building monks to master the spiritual thoughts in advance. A spiritual thought was in the soul, and the spirit turned into a huge hammer, hitting the spiritual thought. The blow from the mental hammer caused his whole body to tremble. The spiritual mind had the functions of all his five senses. If such a heavy blow was made to the spiritual mind, the feeling would be no less intense than a direct attack on the soul. He took a long breath, and the thousand hammers forging technique produced a special energy to replenish the damage to his spiritual thoughts. After the second blow of the mental hammer fell, his face was already pale. At this time, an energy came from Yang Shenju, which combined with the special energy generated by the Thousand Hammers Forging Divine Technique Restored that spiritual thought Because the first time he practiced the Thousand Hammers Divine Art He withstood 36 full force blows from the mental hammer Which was much more than he expected According to the description in Thousand Hammers Forging the Divine Technique A normal late stage foundation building monk Can withstand the gravity of a spiritual hammer Up to 20 times for the first time Which is already an excellent result He stopped the heavy blow of the mental hammer And used the Thousand Hammers Forging Technique To recover the consumed energy After recovering mentally He started the second round of heavy blows With the mental hammer again Hammering down his spiritual thoughts In the days that followed He stopped refining alchemy Except for practicing Purple Chi from the East He stopped all other practices And practiced Thousand Hammers to forge the God Almost non-stop That is to say His spirit is extremely strong So he can tolerate such use you must know that among the benefits brought by practicing Purple Chi from the East, his spirit has increased to a level beyond the late stage of foundation building. At this time, practicing Thousand Hammers Divine Art will naturally make rapid progress. 
His spiritual thoughts are undergoing transformation under this high-frequency hammer chain. 999 times. Li Shiming counted the number of times the mental hammer fell, and the joy in his heart replaced the pain of being hit hard. He sensed that his spiritual thoughts were only a few seconds away from undergoing drastic changes, and his spirit was once again strengthened through the practice of the thousand hammers forging technique. These days, a thousand times, the last blow of the mental hammer fell, and he felt a trance in his mind, and his soul lost the ability to think for a short time. When he woke up, he felt the changes in himself, and his brain's thinking speed increased by no less than five times. This feeling was like a computer CPU being upgraded. He even felt that the body and the brain did not match. The body restricted the speed of the brain. Otherwise, the brain's thinking speed should be improved. This is probably because his soul has been promoted beyond the foundation building stage. And although his body is strong, it has not transcended the foundation building stage. No matter how good the CPU is, it needs to be matched with suitable memory. Otherwise, it will not be able to exert its due capabilities. This is similar to his current state. Li Shiming touched a trace of the Jean Dan monk's feelings. His brain can process a large amount of information quickly, and his thinking speed is extremely fast. This feeling even affected Li Yuanba's side. Li Yuanba's spirit from the Luo sect was also refreshed. The connection between the main body and the avatar was closer. The freedom of their thinking was higher, and they were able to handle affairs more freely. Li Shiming tried to mobilize his spiritual thoughts and his spiritual thoughts came out of his body. He immediately discovered the difference between spiritual thoughts and spiritual thoughts. If spiritual thoughts are a tentacle with a monk's five senses, then spiritual thoughts are a perceptual network. In the normal state, the spiritual thought is a slender spiritual thread. But in the normal state, the spiritual thought is a circular network centered on the body and spreading out around the body. He mobilized his spiritual thoughts in his body and immediately everything within the sensing range of his spiritual thoughts around his body was clearly perceived by him. The perception effect of spiritual thoughts is also many times magnified compared to spiritual thoughts, which is like the comparison between a 2-megapixel camera lens and a 20-megapixel camera lens. When he gathered his spiritual thoughts into a thin line, the intensity of his spiritual thoughts was dozens of times stronger than his spiritual thoughts. He could use his divine thoughts to cut through the spiritual thoughts of the foundation-building monks, and even directly attack the foundation building monk's spiritual thoughts. Spirit. Of course, in the absence of spiritual thoughts to attack the secret method, it is not a good choice to use spiritual thoughts to attack the minds of other monks without any protection. Once the opponent has a treasure or secret method to protect the spirit, it is very likely that his spiritual thoughts and soul will be traumatized. So very few golden elixir monks will use their spiritual thoughts to directly respond to the enemy. Li Shiming doesn't necessarily need Master Ma's mind-distracting technique now. The hundred thoughts and thousands of returns technique he obtained before is actually a distraction technique. But this technique is for spiritual thoughts and needs to be adjusted to target spiritual thoughts. Divine Thoughts Forget it. Let's learn the Dividing Mind and Transforming Thought Technique from Master Ma. After all, it is the secret method of dividing the mind at the golden elixir stage. He murmured to himself. The level of the Hundred thoughts and thousands of returns technique is still low. And if he uses his knowledge to modify the technique, it may affect the final effect. In addition, he doesn't just want to learn the distraction technique. After a year, the Qiang spiritual fire in his spiritual lake has grown a lot. Recently, he has started to use Qiang when refining elixirs. The spiritual fire is here to refine. The Qiang spiritual fire is extremely convenient. Especially in the computer room space. It does not require spiritual carbon. You only need to replenish the fire attribute spiritual power to the Qiang spiritual fire after refining it. With his current spiritual power reserves, the consumption of the red yang spiritual fire would not even affect him much. Li Shiming walked out of the cave. And when his spiritual thoughts were released, the world in his eyes was no longer the same as before. He could sense the aura in the void and found that the floating dust was mixed with pollen and various mixtures. He tried to control the flying sword with his spiritual thoughts. The Shongong sword was controlled by his spiritual thoughts. The same spiritual power and divine thoughts controlled the flying swords. As if it had been replaced with a new driver. It was more dexterous and faster. He was familiar with the divine thoughts and had already arrived at Danning Peak. He has the permission to enter and exit Danning Peak. And he can go in directly without even needing to pass through the Danning Palace. This is a treatment that Master Ma's other disciples do not have. Master Ma's disciples do not have spiritual fire. He trained Li Shiming as his successor. 
Originally, Master Ma would accept a closed disciple when his time was approaching, and then pass his spiritual fire to the closed disciple. This represented the true inheritance. However, due to the emergence of Li Shiming with spiritual fire, Master Ma has many choices, allowing him to train an additional alchemy master for the sect. Sure, Ming. You have mastered spiritual thinking. As soon as they entered the alchemy cauldron hall, Master Ma's voice came over. Li Shiming had just cultivated his spiritual thoughts. And his spiritual thoughts were radiating in his body without any concealment. Any golden elixir monk could sense it from a long distance. Master, I can learn the distraction technique, Li Shiming said excitedly. You should restrain your spiritual thoughts. If you meet any gene and elder, the gene and elder will think that you are spying on them. And I will not save you then. Master Ma waved his hand. Li Shiming also found that he was too excited. Spiritual thoughts and spiritual thoughts were actually similar. He did not dare to put spiritual thoughts outside at will. It would indeed cause unnecessary misunderstandings. There are too many things that spiritual thoughts can perceive. And it is easier for monks to misunderstand than spiritual thoughts. This is the distraction technique. This is some of my experience of opening alchemy furnaces at the same time. These are nine spiritual weapon alchemy furnaces. Everything has been deducted from your mission reward. Master Ma smiled and took out the early morning meal. He put the prepared things in a storage bag and threw them to Li Shiming and said, During this year, Li Shiming made alchemy every day, and he got too many contribution points. The reason why the sect submits eight copies of the alchemy task is that the compensation is contribution points, and the contribution points are different depending on the elixir. With his refining speed of five furnaces per day, and the high quality of the elixirs he refined, the contribution points he received every day were higher than what a normal foundation building monk would receive in a month. No wonder Master Ma said that alchemists are rich. For alchemists with high alchemy skills, it can be said that it is extremely easy to get wealth. During this year, Li Shiming did not even consider using the technological means of his previous life to earn profits in the world of immortality. In fact, the profession of alchemist alone fully satisfied his cultivation needs. So when Master Ma said that he paid for the skills and spiritual objects with contribution points, he didn't care at all. Besides, Master Ma's alchemy experience alone is priceless. It is a precious inheritance that countless alchemists would break their heads to grab. Li Shiming took out the distraction technique and scanned the contents with his spiritual mind. He has experience in practicing the 100 thoughts and thousands of returns technique. The distracting mind transformation technique is an advanced step of the 100 thoughts and thousands of returns technique and is a method of distracting the mind. In just one stick of incense, he successfully mastered the distraction technique. This is of course due to his daily multitasking dividing his consciousness between his body and his clone. In addition, the nine palaces sword formation he used sharpened his hundred thoughts and thousands of returns technique. He didn't dare to separate out multiple thoughts. He followed Master Ma's example and only divided into ten thoughts. This is just one more distraction than him mastering the nine palace sword formation. So it's not too difficult. However, this distraction is completely different from controlling the nine palace sword formation. Most of the time, the Nine Palace Sword Formation uses the Zhongdong Sword to control the other eight flying swords. And this time, the distraction truly separated ten spiritual thoughts that can independently think and analyze. Which means that if his spiritual power allows, he can control ten independent flying swords at the same time to respond to the enemy. Master Ma looked at Li Shiming with a smile. He was really satisfied with this registered disciple. The only thing he was dissatisfied with was that Li Shiming was only his registered disciple. Li Shiming also took out Master Ma's experience of refining elixirs at the same time. This aspect is mainly for reference. He has simulated it many times in Z15. He is confident that he can refine 10 furnaces of elixirs at the same time after being distracted. In this regard, Z15's powerful computing power can ensure timely data analysis of 10 furnaces of elixirs, providing him with the strongest guarantee. In addition, this year's alchemy refining was not in vain. He had already become familiar with second grade elixirs. He did not just refine the Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill. He has also refined a variety of elixirs for the sect in the early stages of foundation building. He has mastered almost all the sect's elixir recipes that can be refined by intermediate alchemists and can ensure that the quality of the elixirs produced reaches advanced levels. Master, I will go back and do some research. I think I will take on more sect alchemy tasks after I come here. Li Shiming bowed and said, how is your spiritual fire cultivation going? Master Ma raised his eyes and asked. 
Now that Li Shiming has practiced the secret method he provided to cover up the spiritual fire, he cannot sense the Red Yang spiritual fire in Li Shiming's body. Master, I have been using the Red Yang spiritual fire to refine elixirs recently, and the Red Yang spiritual fire has reached the second grade intermediate level. Li Shiming answered truthfully. Master Ma couldn't help but shook his head. It was too easy to teach such a disciple, and he didn't have much sense of accomplishment. It took Li Shiming a year to almost reach the limit of an intermediate alchemist. And due to the refining of five furnaces of pills every day, his accumulated experience was almost the same as those of alchemists who had studied for decades. This is related to the strength of Li Shiming's spirit. An ordinary alchemist will be mentally exhausted after refining one batch of elixirs, let alone refining five batches of elixirs a day. In particular, he was refining the early stage foundation building elixir, which was basically the highest grade elixir that an intermediate alchemist could refine. Now that Li Shiming's Qiong spiritual fire has reached the second level intermediate level, Li Shiming has also met the basic conditions for promotion to a senior alchemist. After you started, I actually didn't teach you much. Today I officially teach you the Shushan alchemy code. I hope you will be promoted to a senior alchemist as soon as possible. Come with me. Master Ma thought about it and said seriously. He took Li Shiming to another part of Danding Peak where the tablets of the alchemy masters of the past generations of Shushan Zong Danding Peak are enshrined. Accepting the inheritance of the Shushan Alchemy Code is equivalent to accepting the inheritance of the alchemy master. This is the most fundamental alchemy inheritance of Shushan sect. Only alchemists with spiritual fire and the potential of alchemy masters are qualified to receive this alchemy inheritance. Li Shiming respectfully kowtowed to the alchemy masters of the past generations and swore an oath with his soul. And then he inherited the Shushan Alchemy Code. Master Ma was a little relieved. He was so anxious to pass on the Shushan Alchemy Code, not only because Li Shiming's conditions were met, but also for another important reason. Li Shiming's high intensity alchemy was exactly what the sect needed. At present, due to Li Shiming's efforts, there are already a lot of reserves of elixirs in the early stage of foundation building. On the contrary, there is a huge gap in the elixirs in the middle and late stages of foundation building. If Li Shiming can become a senior alchemist as soon as possible and ensure that his alchemy level will not decline, it will greatly make up for the sect's lack of elixirs in the middle and late stages of foundation building. When Li Shiming left this hall, he had a golden jade slip in his hand. Chapter 216 Confession It has been a year since Li Yuanba became a disciple of Elder Jian, and he has almost never left Wanjin Peak during this year. The main reason is that he needs to update his major skills which for a monk is equivalent to breaking the spiritual lake in his body and rebuilding it. Fortunately, the 100,000 sword cultivation technique and sword intention climb to the sky technique are both sword cultivation techniques. Even if he recultivates them, he can still maintain the realm of the foundation establishment stage and not fall to the chi chain stage. If he chooses to repractice dharma cultivation or other non-sword cultivation techniques, then he will need to practice again from the Qi Chain stage, which will take too long. A monk's time is precious. Even though a monk has a lifespan of more than a hundred years in the Qi Chain stage and a lifespan of two hundred years in the foundation establishment stage. In fact, a monk's cultivation time is always tight. It takes up to one hundred and fifty years to practice in the Qi Chain stage and foundation establishment stage. If you don't break through the Golden Core stage, you will never be able to break through. The reason why it is said to be 150 years is that, after 150 years, the body of the monks in the foundation establishment stage begins to decline. It would be good if they can keep their cultivation level from declining, and they will no longer be able to make breakthroughs. Li Yuanba also has Tian Lingan, and coupled with his extremely solid foundation during the Chain Chi stage, he was able to successfully transfer the top sword cultivation technique of Sword Intent to the Sky Technique in one year. His realm is roughly the same as a year ago, but the change in strength is huge. Only after coming into contact with the sword intent climbing into the sky technique did he understand the difference between the two techniques. The 10 direction sword cultivation technique continuously sharpens the sword intention within the body. And the sword intention Chong Shao Ju not only has the effect of the 10 direction sword cultivating technique to sharpen the sword intention in the body but can also absorb the sword intention from the outside world. For your own use. Whenever he practices the sword intent climbs to the sky technique, he is able to absorb Wan Jianfeng's sword intent into his body, increasing his own sword intent. Li Yuanba also gradually came into contact 
with the secret of Wan Jianfeng, which can be regarded as a huge magic weapon. Yes, Wan Jin Peak is a magic weapon as a whole. The mountain of Wan Jin Peak is originally a magnetic mountain. The Sword Cultivator sect has invested a lot of resources into it. The Sword Cultivators, who have mastered the sword intention in the past generations will use their own. The Flying Sword remained on the mountain peak. This process of refining magic weapons has gone through countless years. The Sword Cultivator has had the experience of changing Flying Swords several times in his life. And these are all when he crosses a great realm. During the Chi Chain stage, Sword Cultivators use the magic weapon Flying Sword. During the Foundation Establishment stage, the Sword Cultivator uses the spiritual weapon Flying Sword. During the Golden Core stage, the Sword Cultivator uses the magic weapon Flying Sword. As for the replaced Feijian, because the Feijian has been nourished by the Sword Cultivator's sword intent for a long time. A trace of the Sword Cultivator's sword intent is contained in it. Perhaps one such flying sword is nothing. But when the number of such flying swords reaches 10,000, and five magic weapon level flying swords containing powerful sword intent are used as the core, an unimaginably huge inherited magic weapon will be manufactured. A magic weapon like Wan Jianfeng was unimaginable by the technology of the previous life. It took tens of thousands of years, and even the civilizations of the previous life did not take as long as the refining time of this magic weapon. Even Li Yuanba could imagine that the sword cultivator sect that Elder Jian did not name was definitely an extremely glorious sect in history. Otherwise, there would be no such skill, not to mention the materials needed to fill a mountain as big as Wanjin Peak. It is to find 10,000 flying swords that contain sword intent. It is estimated that even if all the sword cultivators in the Beishu continent are captured, there will not be this number. The magic weapon inherited by sword cultivators, like Wan Jianfeng, became the source of the sect's destruction when his sect declined. Of course, Li Yuanba would not sympathize with the sword cultivator sect. The sword cultivators hardly engaged in production. Where did their resources come from? Of course, they were all stolen. Several ancestors of the Sun Luo sect also snatched away Wan Jianfeng from the sword cultivator sect which was considered a kind of retribution. Anyway, the good thing is that he is enjoying it. The spiritual power in his body is more solid. And his sword intent is three times what it was a year ago, all of which are due to Wan Jianfeng. Li Yuanba has not seen Elder Jian as his master for more than a month. Elder Jian has a somewhat special status in Sun Luo's sect. He is the strongest existence in the Golden Core stage within the sect. There are conflicts between the sect and the outside world at the Golden Core stage most of which it's up to Elder Jian to solve it. Just when he was standing at the top of Wan Jin Peak, comprehending the meaning of the sword, a sword light came from far to near. I've met the master! He quickly stopped his movements, stepped forward and bowed. The sword elder has a sharp sword intent, which is extremely rare. After practicing the sword intention Chong Shao Ju, Li Yuanba knew that the purpose of sword intent Chong Shao Ju in condensing the sword intent was to better cultivate the sword intent so that the explosion would be stronger when necessary. Elder Jian's sword intention had been restrained for an unknown period of time. At this moment, the sword intention came out of his body. It seemed that he had encountered a powerful enemy and used his strongest sword intention. You and Ba, prepare to go to the Boundary Mountain Pass with the sect monks. Sword cultivators need to fight to sharpen their sword intent. Your sword intent is growing too fast, Elder Jian said with a smile. He was very satisfied with Li Yuanba's cultivation speed. Changing cultivation was not that easy. The pain and determination of Shattering Spirit Lake were beyond the reach of ordinary people. Li Yuanba's sword cultivation talent is top-notch. And his spirit is even more powerful. Everything is perfect in the Sword Elder's ideal. Therefore, he has higher expectations for Li Yuanba. And his requirements for Li Yuanba have increased a lot. In the Sun Luo sect, he and Li Yuanba were the only monks from Sword Intent Chongxiao Pavilion. And he was willing to do his best to train Li Yuanba. Elder Jian wants to return to Jinny Chongxiao Pavilion. This is the direction of his efforts. But the difficulty is too great. Even if Elder Jian is already in the late stage of the Golden Elixir, the chance of him breaking through the Elixir and becoming an infant is not great. In order to gain the support of the sect, he continued to attack everywhere and eliminate all threats to the sect. More than 20 Jin Dan monks died in his hands. This is a shocking record. Ordinary Golden Elixir monks have never killed a Golden Elixir of the same level in their lives. The main reason is that it is easy to defeat a Golden Elixir monk. But it is extremely difficult to kill a Golden Elixir monk without absolute crushing in terms of strength. It would be impossible to kill Jin Dan. Any Jin Dan cultivator is extraordinary 
and is a genius who stands out from thousands of cultivators. Did something happen at the Boundary Mountain level? Li Yunba asked curiously, judging from the sword intent of Elder Sword. There are not many enemies worthy of Elder Sword's full attack. Sword cultivators in the late Golden Core stage, without nascent soul, are almost the top combat power in the world of immortal cultivation. He thought about the rumors he heard from Li Shiming about the war between good and evil. Is this war about to begin? Three Arhits from Chinya Temple ambushed Elder Yi. Elder Yi's silver corpse was destroyed, and he himself was severely injured. I killed one of the Arhits. Chinya Temple's revenge will come soon. Plus, in recent times, there has been constant friction between good and evil. And I think this matter will soon become a trigger, Elder Sword said calmly. As a sword cultivator, he had no fear of fighting, but instead looked forward to it. Only combat is the shortcut to the fastest growth of sword cultivators. And sword intention improves fastest in combat, just like Li Yuan by himself. He had practiced sword intention for a long time without realizing any special effects. However, a life and death battle with a true disciple of the outer sect made him realize sword intent transformation into threads. By the way, this is the body of the Arhit. You can find a way to take out the relics yourself. This Arhit has reached the ultimate level of golden elixir in his body refining and is almost able to make his body immortal. His relics are very important to your body refining. A small help. Elder Jian thought of something, took out a storage bracelet, and threw it over. Li Yuanba couldn't help but be startled. This was the physical body of an Arhat, or a physical body that had reached the ultimate level of golden elixir through body training techniques. Arhat is the Buddhist name for Buddhist monks in the golden elixir period. Buddhism attaches great importance to physical training and many physical training methods in the world of immortality come from Buddhism. Taoism focuses on the soul and spirit, while Buddhism pays more attention to the body, constantly strengthening the body to make it a perfect boat that carries the soul. But he was still extremely surprised that Elder Jian gave him the Arhat's body like this. One must know that the Arhat's physical body would definitely be purchased at a huge cost by the Jin and elders in the sect. This is the strongest corpse refining material, and there is a great chance of directly refining a silver corpse. Refining a silver corpse requires a golden elixir level corpse refining technique, which requires a large amount of precious materials, among which there will be no shortage of third grade materials. The Arhut's body is only the main material. Even if Li Yuanba obtained the body of Arhut, he would not have the conditions to refine it into a corpse. Of course, even if there are conditions, if he already has his own destiny to refine the corpse, he will not be able to refine the silver corpse with the strength of the golden elixir before his strength reaches the golden elixir stage. As for what Elder Jian said about destroying the corpse and taking its relics, that would be a waste of natural resources. In fact, Elder Jian was giving resources to his apprentice. He verbally said that he was giving the Arhut's body to Li Yuanba for refining, but he would not care what Li Yuanba did with him after giving away the Arhut's body. Ever since he accepted his disciple, Elder Jian has not given any valuable gifts to his disciples. Elder Jian is in the late stage of Jin Dan, and all the spiritual objects he obtained from killing have been exchanged for cultivation resources. The value of the cultivation resources in the later stage of Jin Dan was too high, leaving him with almost nothing to gain. This was a similar situation for all sword cultivators. At the same level, sword cultivation requires a lot of resources to practice. Inherited magic weapons, like Wan Jianfeng, are Li Yuanba's cultivation resources. As for Elder Jin's realm, Wan Jianfeng's help to him has been so weak that it can be ignored. His cultivation resources are either obtained by completing tasks for the sect or by killing Jin Dan monks. Thank you, Master! Li Yuanba put the storage bracelet on his wrist regardless of what Elder Jin thought. His spiritual thoughts entered the storage bracelet, and the corpse of a monk wearing Buddhist robes was suspended in the space. Even if the monk died, his body still exuded a terrifying aura. Li Yuanba suspected that if he met this monk, he would be able to annihilate him with one finger. The monk's body was only covered with Buddha's robes. And there was nothing else. Elder Jian probably took it away. By the way, I have prepared a life-saving thing for you. Elder Jian took out another Buddha's bead and handed it over. He continued, Those monks of the righteous path are very likely to do something unruly. Golden elixir monks once you take action. Crush this thing. It contains my sword intention. Li Yuanba took the Buddha's bead. Needless to say, this Buddha speed should belong to the Arhat, and was borrowed by Elder Jian to store his sword intention. His fingers came into contact with the sword intent Buddha bead, and the hairs all over his body stood up. This was an instinctive reaction in the face of great terror. 
he was almost certain that the sword intention in this sword intention bead was definitely the power of a true golden elixir stage sword cultivator. As for how powerful it was, he could not judge. Master, I will be careful. He bowed after putting away the sword intent beads. Fighting as a swordsman is not about fighting to the death. If you can't do anything, you can immediately escape thousands of miles away. What can kill is a thunderous strike. Don't hesitate for a moment. Although he knew that Li Yuanba had gone through a lot, Elder Jian still told him. The sword elder had a battle with three arhats this time. He activated all the sword power he had cultivated for many years before killing one of them and frightening away the other two arhats. He incorporated the remaining sword intention into arhats Buddhist beads. Although arhats Buddhist beads were only made of second grade spiritual wood, they had been nourished by arhats Buddha's intention for many years and had the special effect of containing energy. Arhat uses Buddhist beads to store his own spiritual power and can continuously draw spiritual power from the beads to replenish himself during battles. Sword intent is an extremely domineering energy, and the sword intent he has left in battle is the sword intent he has cultivated for a long time, and it is even more powerful. After being incorporated into Buddhist beads, rare treasures such as Buddhist beads that can repeatedly store the spiritual power of golden elixirs become disposable spiritual objects. Elder Sword himself has never learned to refine weapons. He has some use for them, so he doesn't feel any regret regarding the things outside the body. The sword cultivator's attitude is to exchange them for resources. If it were not for his disciple Li Yuanba, this Buddhist bead would eventually become a trading object in exchange for resources. In other words, Li Yuanba didn't know the value of the beads. Otherwise, he would be heartbroken by such behavior. There are not many treasures that can preserve golden elixir level spiritual power outside the body. Even in the entire world of immortality. And monks who possess such treasures will not trade them. Li Yuanba said goodbye to Elder Jin. He did not leave alone, but with other monks from the sect, accompanied by Elder Jin and who led the team. When they arrived at the designated place, more than 200 foundation building monks were already waiting. His appearance did not attract much attention, mainly because he had never appeared in the sect except for the time a year ago when he took on continuous tasks and became famous. The little bit of fame he had a year ago has long since dissipated over time. Elder Jian accepted him as his disciple and became the true successor, which was to change the identity of Jade Disc and report it to the sect. There was no apprenticeship ceremony, and no monks from the sect were invited to witness it. In addition, after practicing the sword intention climbing into the sky art, his sword intention has become much more restrained, at least not something that ordinary foundation building monks can detect. The foundation building monks present thought he was just an ordinary sect monk. They all gathered around a dozen true disciples, hoping to join the ranks of these true disciples. With the protection of true disciples, they could fight in battle. More secure. Chapter 217 Boundary Mountain Elder Lu Following the greetings of the foundation building monks, Elder Lu, whom Li Yuanba had seen when he entered the building, flew down. What you are facing this time is most likely the Buddha from Chinba Temple. Buddha is good at disturbing the mind. Buddhist skills have a certain restraint effect on the sect's demonic skills. But their fighting experience is far inferior to you. You wait. Play to your own strengths. The sect's reward for this time will be doubled from the original basis. If you find Arhat or other righteous monks wandering around, report it immediately, Elder Lu said solemnly, as he looked at the more than 200 foundation-building monks. Buddha is equivalent to the foundation-building monk of Taoism. When they heard that the reward had been doubled, all the demon cultivators present were extremely excited. They wished they could reach the battlefield immediately. There are resources that the demon cultivator wants there. Even the Buddha's body, which is the best material. The true disciples will board the boat first, and the rest of the disciples will follow. Elder Lu waited for the demon cultivators to calm down and then summoned a large flying boat out. Twelve monks from the demonic cultivator came out and jumped towards the large flying boat. Li Yuanba followed the twelve true monks into the large flying boat. When the twelve true cultivators saw Li Yuanba, some nodded as a sign of goodwill. Some had indifferent expressions, and some had scrutiny in their eyes. Li Yuanba ignored these glances. These were demonic cultivators, who knew what they were planning. Thirteen true monks have separate rooms in the flying boat. This is the sex special treatment for true monks. Although a separate room is nothing, this kind of special treatment is a status symbol which makes other inner and outer door foundation building monks in the same hall extremely envious. After all the foundation building monks boarded the flying boat, 
Elder Lu drove the large flying boat straight into the sky. Senior brother, are you here? Li Yuanba was comprehending the meaning of the sword when a voice came from outside the door. He was slightly stunned. Among the more than 200 foundation building monks, he didn't know any of them. The only one he had seen was Elder Lu. Since he is called senior brother, it is naturally not Elder Lu. True disciples have a higher status than inner disciples. And inner disciples have a higher status than outer disciples. Therefore, among monks of the same generation, inner disciples will call the true disciples senior disciples when they meet them. And outer disciples will also call them senior disciples when they meet the inner disciples. I want to call you senior brother. This has nothing to do with how early or late you entered, or your cultivation, but is due to your status within the sect. Li Yuanba opened the door and saw a monk with a white face and a mustache. Senior brother, I am Wang Chengjun of the inner sect. I am in the middle stage of foundation building. I want to join my senior brother's team to fight against the enemy together. Wang Chengjun saluted respectfully and expressed his thoughts. I don't have a team, and I don't want to form a team. You'd better find someone else. Li Yuanba refused without any hesitation. Brother, although you are a true disciple, Qianya Temple's bald donkey is very strong. So it is safer to form a team. Wang Chengjun continued without giving up. No need. Don't disturb me. Li Yuanba said this time and closed the door directly, blocking Wang Chengjun from the door. The respect on Wang Chengjun's face disappeared instantly and was replaced by a sinister look in his eyes and disappointment that the conspiracy had not succeeded. He looked around and went to communicate with other monks. Soon after, another monk came over, also wanting to join Li Yuanba's team. After several rejections, no more monks came over. Li Yuanba shook his head. He didn't want to deal with these demon cultivators. He had seen the Xianning sect demon cultivators on Tianhai Island. The demon cultivators were famous for being ruthless and cunning. That was still on Tianhai Island. The seven sects were relatively close and there was no high-level opposition. Under that situation, the magic cultivators were greatly restricted. The monks of Sun Luo sect are real demonic cultivators. If he still has some scruples within the sect, he will need to consider the threats of these demonic cultivators outside the sect. It's funny to think about it. In addition to dealing with foreign enemies, Li Yuanba also has to consider that the demon cultivator of the same sect will take the opportunity to take action against him. True disciples are very powerful. But since he has not seen this true disciple before, it means that he is a new true disciple. A new true disciple who is only at the early stage of foundation building. The net worth of a true disciple is definitely rich. Without strong strength. This is a great temptation for the demon cultivator. Just like when facing Wang Chengjun. Li Yuanba sensed malice behind his respectful appearance. Recently, he has been affected by the original body. And his perception has improved a lot. Elder Jean Dan drove the flying boat extremely fast. In just over a day, the flying boat passed through Jishan City and reached the Jishan Pass. Li Yuanba stood on the deck and looked at the scenery below. Li Shiming, the main body of Jishan City, had been here before. 200 miles away was the Jishan Pass. The main passage between Shirwanda Mountain and other areas of Beishu. The real person, Li Shiming, was in the truck at the time and had not actually observed the Jishan checkpoint. When the large flying boat landed on a mountain peak, Li Yuanba felt a strong formation fluctuation. A formation fluctuation scanned all the monks. And his identity jade play trembled slightly. This is identity verification. If it is not a monk from the Sin Luo sect, the formation will launch an attack. Outside is the junction area. Intelligence shows that Qianya Temple has sent at least 600 Buddhas. Once the Arhead attacks you, report to the elders immediately. There are four elders from the sect stationed here including me, Elder Lu and others after all the foundation building monks got off the flying boat. They explained in a deep voice. In fact, there is no need to explain more. Li Yuanba probably doesn't have much experience here. After listening to Elder Lu's speech, the other monks have already dispersed to various parts of the level. Li Yuanba took out the Identity Jade disc and called up the map here. There are Mission Pavilion, Exchange Pavilion, and Healing Pavilion on this level. The function of the mission pavilion is to receive designated missions, such as the designated killing of a certain Qianba Temple true disciple. The rewards for such missions are calculated separately, and possible locations are also provided. The reason why it is a possible location is that in this kind of battle, the monks on both sides are moving quickly and cannot accurately determine the location. The corpses of killed enemies also need to be brought here before contribution points can be calculated. 
The Exchange Pavilion allows you to recover loot and contribute points to redeem elixirs, spiritual weapons, exercises, etc., which can quickly convert loot into your own strength. Needless to say, the Healing Pavilion was specially designed to treat injured monks. If the conflict between large sects does not reach the level of a sect-wide war, then the long-standing rules will be followed. The war starts with the Chain Chi Monk and the Foundation Establishment Monk, and then it escalates step by step. But the highest level will only reach the Golden Core. If it goes one step higher, that kind of battle cannot start at the Hundred Thousand Mountains. The combat power of Jean then causes very serious damage to the environment. But compared with Yuaning, it is relatively small. Therefore, battles between nascent souls usually take place at the 33rd level, which is extremely high in the sky. Only there can withstand the impact of battles at the nascent soul level. Since the level of immortal cultivation in the northern Shu continent was relatively high, the conflict between the two sects started as a battle between the foundation building monks. The two sects were very angry, but both were relatively restrained. The two sides did not want to fight with all their strength. They used this traditional method of war to vent the passionate fighting emotions within the sects. Li Yuanba first went to see the mission pavilion and found that no mission had been released yet. It should be that the intelligence on Chinya Temple had not been collected yet. Outside the Boundary Mountain Pass, there are 200 miles of mountains and 200 miles of hills. This is the junction area between Sun Luo's sect and Zhengdao. 200 miles are set apart from each other to avoid direct friction between the two sides. Now this 400 mile area is the battlefield of the war. And both sides have invested a large number of foundation building monks here. The more than 200 foundation building monks who came with Liu and Ba were just one of the groups sent by the Sun Luo sect. There were originally foundation building monks at the checkpoint. There were already foundation building monks who had arrived in advance, and some who had not yet arrived. At this time, the impatient demon cultivator had summoned ghosts, iron corpses, spirit insects, spirit beasts, etc., and headed towards the battlefield, preparing to find a good location to set up. Li Yuanba was not in a hurry, in addition to participating in the battle. The other thing he wanted to do this time was to wait to meet the real person Li Shiming. This time was an excellent opportunity. After going deep into the battlefield, he was effectively freed from the sect surveillance. On the other side, Li Shiming is rushing over. Li Shiming has now become the true successor of Shushen's sect as an alchemist. He can move even more freely than Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba waited until the sky got dark before he jumped into the air. He did not use the sword cultivator's sword intention to enhance the sword light. So his speed was not very fast. It was different from what I imagined. We were already 50 miles away from the checkpoint and we had not encountered a single battle. The surroundings were extremely quiet, but he could still sense the two active spiritual energy in the void. This was because a monk mobilized a large amount of spiritual energy and triggered a reaction in the spiritual energy. This meant that a battle had occurred nearby not long ago. He didn't quite understand why the major sects would choose such a method of war. It was to hone their disciples, or to delay each other's time, so that the top leaders of both sides could calm down and reduce the war to a controllable range. If Sun Luo sect and Chiba temple break out into a golden elixir level war, with dozens of golden elixirs fighting, no matter which side wins, the consequences will be heavy losses for both sides. And in the end it will be the other sects who gain the advantage. Li Yuanba is still just a foundation building monk. He has no chance to be exposed to the ideas of higher-ups. All he can do is fight and accumulate combat experience to improve his own strength. When he entered 80 miles, he stopped and frowned slightly. There were many ghosts and black mist all around. Surrounding him, the air contains enchanting and poisonous ingredients. If you are careless, even the foundation building monks will be affected once they are attacked, and their strength will be greatly reduced. Li Yuanba did not expect that the first battle on the battlefield would not be with the Buddha of Chinya Temple, but with a monk from the same sect. Demonic cultivators are indeed demonic cultivators, and profit comes first, although the monks who arranged this formation could not be seen. It was impossible for such a ghostly and cold formation to appear in the hands of Chinya Temple. Come out! Wang Chung Jun! Li Yuanba said in a deep voice. He has sword intent. Ecstasy and poisonous powder in his body. And he can't even get close to it. As for this formation? For him. The formations arranged on the formation plate are garbage. Even he himself was carrying the formation flag. Why didn't he choose a more convenient and faster formation disc? That was because the formation disc was too crude for a high-level formation master. This is the real brother. 
How could you trigger the trap we set up? Wang Qingyuan's voice was filled with laughter as he floated around. Obviously, even though Li Yuanba, a true disciple, was a new disciple and his strength was only in the early stage of foundation building, Wang Chengjun still had some scruples and was prepared to use formations to influence Li Yuanba, so as to achieve the purpose of resolving the battle without injury. The most important thing is that Li Yuanba cannot be allowed to leave alive. The crime of attacking Xinjuan is not a small one. Li Yuanba's aura suddenly changed. A terrifying sword intent rose up on him, and a sword light flew out. Then, there was a scream, which was made by Wang Chengjun. The scream was filled with fear and horror. When the sword light returned, it rolled around within the formation, and all ghosts and black mist disappeared. A formation disc that was shining with spiritual light was slowly becoming dim. That was because the sword intent in the sword light broke the formation, causing the formation disc to be damaged. Four figures appeared in Li Yuanba's field of vision without any obstruction. Among them, Wang Qingyuan's face was pale, and one of his arms disappeared. At the critical moment, Wang Chengjun used the secret method of surviving with a broken arm, turning his broken arm into his body, and blocked Li Yuanba's sword at the cost of an arm. At the foundation building stage, although an arm can be reborn through elixir, the resources and time required to fully recover later will affect a lot of the monk's training time. Besides, the contribution points required for the elixir that can heal the arm and regenerate require several years of accumulation by the foundation building monks. What frightened Wang Chengjun the most was that Li Yuanba easily broke through the formation. If Li Yuanba leaves at this time, he and the other three foundation building monks will be in big trouble. Guys, we have no way out. Letting him leave is a dead end. Only by killing him can we have a chance to survive. Wang Chengjun loudly encouraged his three companions. The three companions he chose were all in the middle stage of foundation building and had similar strength to him. He also didn't dare to find a demon cultivator who was too powerful to participate in the operation. If a demon cultivator who was too powerful would kill people and silence them after they accomplished their mission, they might even make wedding dresses for others. But being too weak won't do. After all, when it comes to dealing with true disciples, only four demon cultivators can truly cooperate if they are wary of each other. What are you talking about? Don't hold back anymore. This is a true disciple. If you don't use your full strength, you won't have a chance. Another demon cultivator in the middle stage of foundation establishment spoke out in support. As he spoke, he summoned an iron corpse with a black flag in his hand. With a slight shake, a ghost with an aura in the early stages of foundation building appeared next to him. Wang Chengjun waved his hand, and a group of spiritual insects flew out, turning into a black mist and flying towards Li Yuanba. One of the other two demon cultivators in the middle stage of foundation building let out a howl, and then his body exploded and turned into a three-meter-tall giant beast. He stepped out with a heavy giant axe in his hand, and slashed towards Li Yuanba, and the other one person's figure is illusory, almost undetectable in the darkness. Chapter 218 Killing the Demon In an instant, the four demonic cultivators in the middle stage of foundation building each used their own methods, and the strangeness and power of the demonic cultivators were fully displayed. Demonic cultivators can compete with the righteous way in Bei Shu, so they have their own advantages just like refining a corpse. It is equivalent to having a helper with similar strength to oneself. Spirit insects are extremely poisonous, and it will be a big trouble if they get involved. The magic cultivator's method of combining ghosts and souls can be compared to a powerful body refining method to a certain extent, and its defensive power is more powerful. However, it has a time limit and is an explosive method. The last invisible demon cultivator practices assassination methods, which are even more sinister and deadly. Li Yuanba was well prepared. Although he didn't have much dealings with demon cultivators at Wanjin Peak, he still had some knowledge. The reason why sword cultivators are known as the number one in attack is that they hardly need to rely on external defense methods. But they also have their own ability to deal with the enemy. Otherwise, sword cultivators would have been exterminated long ago. The defensive power of the sword cultivator's body is extremely strong. Only slightly weaker than that of a monk who specializes in body refining. In addition, the sword cultivator's speed is extremely fast. Even if he does not use sword escape, he can move far better than other monks in short distance battles. These are all ways to deal with monk attacks. Li Yuanba even practiced the secret code of sword demon. His body defense and speed were even faster than those of ordinary sword cultivators. His figure flashed, avoiding the swarm of spiritual insects. 
and the sword light flashed past the ghosts in the early stage of foundation establishment. The ghost in the early stage of foundation building let out a scream that hurt the soul. It was difficult for the original solid sword light to cause serious damage to the ghost in the foundation building stage. If you want to deal with ghosts in the early stages of foundation building, the best way is to use spells, especially powerful fire attribute spells, which will do the most damage to ghosts. However, there is sword intent in the sword light of the sword cultivator. The foundation of the sword cultivator to break through all kinds of techniques is this sword intent. In the early stage of foundation building, the ghost was hit by the sword light. The huge gap cut by the sword light caused an unhealable wound on the body of the invisible ghost. Furthermore, the wound was being continuously destroyed by the remaining sword intent and was slowly expanding. He is the disciple of Elder Jin! Wang Changjun screamed in horror. It was not certain before, but after the actual action, the four demon cultivators present in the middle stage of foundation building knew about the most special existence in the sect. Elder Sword. Elder Jian is the strongest in the sect at the Golden Core stage and has never accepted a disciple. Although there are sword cultivators in the sect, the only pure sword cultivator is Elder Jian. As a pure swordsman and a true disciple, it was no longer necessary to think about who Li Yuanba's master was. Elder Sword's reputation in the sect was gained through fighting. A sword cultivator who looked down on demonic skills would probably have a hard time surviving in the demon sect if he didn't have the means to suppress his peers. Even if Wang Chengju knew about Li Yuanba's inheritance, they were still riding a tiger. They would either kill Li Yuanba or wait to be killed by the sect or the sword elders. His shout had the opposite effect, causing the other demon cultivators to be slightly startled. And their movement slowed down for a moment. The only one who has not been affected is the demon cultivator whose body exploded and turned into a three-meter giant beast. This method of merging ghosts and souls will have an impact on the cultivator's mind and will fight the enemy to death. At the same time, the chance of the outside world affecting him will be reduced to extreme. The huge spiritual weapon battle axe crashed down with all its strength. And the sound of explosions came from the air. The terrifying pressure brought with it the unique cold spiritual power of demon cultivators and ghosts making Li Yuanba, who was attacked, feel chills all over his body. Li Yuanba smiled coldly. He had a third-grade sword base in his hand. He had no fear of close combat at all. With a sideways turn, he dodged the blow of the giant axe. The cold spiritual power was expelled by the spiritual power in his body and did not affect his speed. The third-grade sword base's backhand strike exceeded the defense of the iron corpse. In front of the third-grade sword base that contained the sword's intention, it was as thin as paper from the lower side of his waist to the waist, and chest on the other side. This three-meter giant beast demon cultivator was cut in two with one sword. This sword also dispelled the magic cultivator's method of merging ghosts and souls. The ghost soul was the first to be killed by the sword. The demon cultivator's vitality was still tenacious. Although his body was broken into two parts, he was still struggling desperately. Li Yuanba ignored the demonic cultivator. He naturally knew the destructive power when he struck. With this sword, he not only cut off the demonic cultivator's body, but also destroyed the demonic cultivator's spiritual lake. At this time, the demonic cultivator could not even have a trace of spiritual power. Transfer. The spirit insect that was chasing him was attracted by the blood of the demon cultivator that was broken into two parts. It changed its target and pounced on the wound that the demon cultivator had broken into two parts. Chewing crazily, the screams in the mouth of the demon cultivator, who was not yet dead became even more shrill. The other three demon cultivators all came to their senses. And the invisible demon cultivator stopped approaching and stepped aside. I control him with the iron corpse. The demon cultivator who controlled the ghosts in the early stage of foundation establishment had determination flashing in his eyes. And he used a secret method to transmit the message. Iron corpse's speed is very fast. But it is slower than Li Yuanba. Under normal circumstances, it is almost impossible to catch up with Li Yuanba. But there are special methods in the secret method of corpse refining in the foundation building stage. The iron corpse's legs exploded instantly, turning into the driving force to move the iron corpse. The iron corpse's moving speed suddenly increased by more than three times. This is a one-time desperate secret method at the cost of damaging the iron corpse. Even if the iron corpse still exists after the war, it will be extremely difficult to repair it. Cultivating an iron corpse to the foundation building stage is not an easy task. A large amount of resources and time are invested, which will be lost after using the secret method. If this time it wasn't a matter of life and death, the demonic cultivator wouldn't have been able to do this. 
Not all demon cultivators have the same good luck as Li Shiming. When refining corpses, they have the help of the Netherworld Ghost Realm, which saves a lot of time and resources. The Iron Corpse's speed greatly increased, which also caught Li Yuan off guard. He did not expect that the Iron Corpse in the Foundation Building stage still had this ability. The Iron Corpse turned into a streak of blood, rushed in front of Li Yuanba, and hugged Li Yuanba's body without hesitation. Li Yuanba's sword cultivator's body was not so easy to get close to. Sword intent shot out from all over his body, cutting the Iron Corpse's body. But Iron Corpse did manage to control him for a moment, giving other demon cultivators a chance. The first one to approach was the invisible demon cultivator. The moment the Iron Corpse exploded, the invisible demon cultivator cooperated with all his strength to approach Li Yuanba. When the Iron Corpse with half of its body hugged Li Yuanba, the invisible demon cultivator also appeared behind Li Yuanba, stabbing Li Yuanba's vest with a dark dagger silently. No matter how powerful the secret method of invisibility is, it will appear when launching an attack. If you need to mobilize spiritual power when attacking, it will destroy the secret method of invisibility. This is inevitable. Wang Qingjun's movements were a little slower. He used a secret method to forcefully recall the blood-devouring spirit insect and flew towards Li Yuanba again. At the same time, a flying sword flew out of his hand and shot towards Li Yuanba. For a moment, the battlefield situation looked like Li Yuanba was in danger, but he was very indifferent. Song! A sound like the intersection of gold and iron was heard on the battlefield, and the demon cultivator behind him was a little startled, because the spiritual weapon dagger in his hand pierced Li Yuanba's body. But it was like piercing an iron stone. No, even if it is iron or stone, the spiritual weapon dagger can easily pierce it. Of course, since it was a stealth attack, the demonic cultivator could not mobilize the strongest spiritual power. But this attack definitely had the normal attack power of a mid-stage foundation building cultivator. It is precisely because Li Yuanba is a pure sword cultivator that the invisible demon cultivator would choose such an attack method. Who knows that Li Yuanba does not have a defensive weapon on his body. But who would have thought that Li Yuanba's strongest defense is his own Tao body? After taking monkey wine, his secret book of sword demons has already reached the great level and his defense power is equivalent to the level of a body refining monk in the late stage of foundation building. A normal strike in the middle stage of foundation building would not be able to break through his defense. In addition, the spiritual weapon in the hands of the demon cultivator can only be regarded as high grade, which is still far from the best. However, Li Yuanba's physical strength is no weaker than the spiritual weapon in the hands of the demon cultivator. Li Yuanba was also angry. He almost got hit by accident. This was related to his lack of combat experience. The third grade sword base in his hand first swept across the iron corpse. And then at the moment, he turned back. He killed the demon cultivator behind him, who was about to leave with one sword strike. At this time, Wang Qingjun's flying sword was also approaching him. And the spirit insect was in front of him. Kill! The angry Li Yuanba shouted. And the sword light formed a sword net in front of him. There were also thin threads in the sword net forming several seamless sword nets in front of him. Wang Qingjun's flying sword was just an ordinary spiritual weapon and had no sword intent. As soon as it came into contact with the sword light, it was as if it had received a heavy blow, and several percent of the spiritual imprint inside, it was wiped away. Then the silk thread of the sword's intention wrapped around the flying sword. The spiritual imprint in the flying sword was completely obliterated, and the flying sword fell from the air. As for the spirit insects, under the intensive attacks of sword light and sword intent. Each body was broken into several pieces. Wang Chung Jun and another demon cultivator spit out a mouthful of blood. One had his iron corpse annihilated, and the other had his spiritual insects and spiritual weapons destroyed. Their spirits had suffered a certain amount of backlash. They turned around and wanted to escape. At this time, they no longer thought about other things. Life was the most important thing. They all regretted how they had provoked such a sword cultivator a sword cultivator who could break through all kinds of magic with one sword. They had only truly seen how terrifying a pure sword cultivator is today. How could Li Yuanba let them leave? When they turned around to escape, Jing Wang caught up with them faster than them. Wang Chung Jun and another demon cultivator had no choice but to activate the defensive spiritual weapon. But this would greatly reduce their escape speed, making it even more impossible to escape. The sword light flew around the two demon cultivators and strands of sword intent turned into sword tails behind the sword light, hitting the defensive spiritual weapons of the two demon cultivators. In two breaths, the two demon cultivators vomited blood again. 
the continuous destruction of spiritual weapons cause their spirits to bear too much damage. But they no longer need to worry about mental trauma. Because the sword light separates their injured brains from their bodies, completely solving the problem of mental trauma. Not much time passed from the beginning to the end of the battle. But the danger involved was unimaginable. The demonic cultivators had various ways to defend against him. And the four demonic cultivators were all at a higher level than him. So the battle was still a bit stressful. Li Yuanba shook his head. This battle was meaningless. He killed four demon cultivators in the middle stage of foundation establishment without even a single contribution point. He took off the storage bags of the four mid-stage foundation building demon cultivators. Put the four corpses into one of the storage bags. Cleaned the battlefield. And left the battlefield without any hesitation. The fluctuations in spiritual power caused by the battle should soon be approached by monks to investigate. The battle in this environment must end quickly. Otherwise, there will be people who will benefit from it and snoop around. Feeling that he was some distance away from the battlefield. He slowed down and entered several storage bags with his spiritual thoughts to check out the harvest. There are a lot of spiritual stones and various spiritual objects in the storage bags of monks in the middle stage of foundation building. On average, each storage bag can be exchanged for hundreds of thousands of spiritual stones. Especially in the storage bag of the invisible demon cultivator. He found a golden jade slip. The golden jade slip is a storage jade slip used only by top level skills. And it must not be owned by Sun Luo's sect. Because no matter what level of skills in the sect, all skills need to be learned within the sect. And the skills are not allowed to be taken out of the sect. Considering the strength in the middle stage of foundation building, this should be an opportunity for the demon to cultivate outside. There are many such things among monks. Every monk is more or less practiced for more than a hundred years. How could he not have any chance? It's just that the opportunities encountered by monks vary from big to small. Some monks seize the opportunity and soar into the sky, while some monks are burdened by opportunities and die. Charming Soul Hidden Secret Technique A top secret technique of invisibility. Li Yuanba didn't know that the invisible demon cultivator was quite famous among the inner disciples. It was because of his invisibility method that many monks gave him a headache. Invisibility spells can be used during the chain energy stage. But the invisibility spell is only for ordinary people and monks who are new to the chain energy stage. For Chain Chi monks who can truly sense spiritual energy, the invisibility spell will be of no use to them. Instead, it will trigger the monk to take action, no matter what the situation is. If you approach a monk in stealth and receive a counterattack, you deserve it. After the foundation building period, with a spiritual mind, the invisibility is even easier to be broken. And the invisible monk can be discovered with a single sweep of the spiritual mind. But in the battle just now, Li Yuanba did not sense the location of the invisible demon cultivator. His spiritual thoughts could be said to be extremely powerful, far superior to those of the same level of cultivators. But he still did not find anything. If the invisible demonic cultivator hadn't taken the initiative to attack, perhaps this invisible demonic cultivator would have been the only one among the four demonic cultivators who could survive. Sure enough, the gold belt for murder and arson. Ordinary monks still have good things in their hands. Li Yuanba murmured to himself, with a satisfied smile on his face. He killed a lot of foundation building monks, including the main body Li Shiming. He didn't find any particularly valuable items in the storage bags of ordinary foundation building monks. That is to say, the demon cultivators, none of them believe that even if they come to participate in such a war, they will put all their wealth on themselves to feel at ease. This also makes Li Yuanba's loot extremely rich. Chapter 219 Jiu Yuan Li Yuanba watched the Secret technique of charming soul concealment. With his spiritual mind, and Li Shiming, the body on the other side, recorded this technique in Z15 at the same time. This technique is a top secret technique in any sect. And it is a rare and rare technique. Special secret method. Li Shiming had already asked for Li from Elder Su and Master Ma. And he drove his flying boat towards the battlefield. He did not tell the two masters that he was coming to the battlefield between Sun Luo's sect and Xinye Temple. Otherwise the two masters would never let him pass. Not even the sect could put him in danger because he was the sect's true alchemist. After obtaining the secret technique of concealment of charming souls, he began to comprehend the secret technique of concealment of charming souls on the flying boat. As for safety issues, Feijo is still within the Shushan sect. Even if it enters the Qianhuan sect's influence, there is no need to worry about safety. The right path's influence is not as chaotic as the Hundred Thousand Mountains. Besides, the Shushan sect mark on his flying boat alone was enough to scare some young people. 
The secret technique of soul concealment is not an unlimited secret method. This secret method needs to be in darkness or night to be effective. If it is under the sun, this technique will have no effect. The secret technique of charming soul concealment requires feminine spiritual power as the basis, which made him frown slightly. In this case, the clonely Yuanba would not be able to practice this secret technique. This is normal. All top secret techniques have restrictions. If they could be practiced at will, then true disciples would have practiced countless secret techniques long ago. Li Shiming. Because the spiritual power in the spiritual lake is the five elements spiritual power. And the water attributes spiritual power is negative spiritual power. He can practice the secret method. Here Li Yuanba sat down depressly and casually released 36 formation flags setting up a formation to isolate himself. I don't know if it was his good luck or bad luck, but he traveled in this area for a while and did not encounter any Buddha from Chiba Temple. In fact, both sides are currently in a tentative state, and a real large-scale battle has not yet occurred. He closed his eyes and rested, not wanting to look for it anymore. So he just sat here and waited, thinking that the Buddha would eventually come to his door. After sitting for a cup of tea, a figure flashed quickly in the darkness like a ghost running quickly in this environment, either chasing the enemy or being chased by the enemy. The technique used by this figure is a demonic technique. It goes without saying that he is a monk from Sun Luo's sect. I guess there must be Buddha chasing after him. Li Yuanba stood up and watched the demon cultivator running away with interest. He had no intention of intervening. He had no feelings for the Sun Luo sect, especially after joining Elder Jin's sect. And under the influence of Elder Jin, his feelings for the sect became even weaker. His attitude towards the sex demon cultivators was to ignore them and not take the initiative to interact with them. The fleeing demon cultivator hit a talisman behind him, and the talisman turned into a black mist, as if he wanted to influence the pursuers behind him. Broken! A voice carrying the meaning of the Buddhist sound came, and the black mist dissipated instantly, and a tall monk walked out of the black mist. Li Yuanba's eyes tightened. The monk's strength was at the middle stage of the Buddha, but it gave him a great sense of nervousness. Yes, this monk was definitely the one who gave him the greatest sense of oppression among the foundation-building monks he had encountered. Every time the monk takes a step, a white lotus will appear on the ground. Although the span of each step is not large, it is quickly approaching the escaping demon cultivator. This visual illusion made Li Yuanba, who was watching very uncomfortable. The demon cultivator who escaped in front was in the late stage of foundation-building and did not come with Li Yuanba. So he did not know the identity of the other party but he thought he should be an inner sect monk. Sure! The tall monk shouted again when he was still 30 meters away from the demon cultivator. Li Yuanba, who was far away, felt that this sound contained some special energy that could affect the monk's mind. However, the figure of the demon cultivator who was 30 meters away suddenly stagnated. Li Yuanba only felt his scalp numb. This secret method of controlling late-stage foundation-building monks with his voice was really terrifying. He was almost certain that this tall monk was a true disciple like him. Otherwise it would be impossible to teach such a terrifying secret method. From the appearance of the tall monk, to the lightning spell he used, to the sounds coming out of his mouth, everything showed his extraordinary qualities. If the Buddhas at Chiba Temple were so powerful, this war would not have to be fought. Just when Emoshio's body stagnated, the tall monk stepped forward, and the next white lotus appeared two meters behind Emoshio. One of his big hands turned into a huge golden palm and hit Emo Sho hard. Behind, since the demon cultivator was running away, he had already put away his defensive spiritual weapons in order to be faster. There is nothing that can be done about it. It is indeed safe to activate the defensive spiritual weapon. But many escape techniques cannot be used, and it is impossible to compete with the tall monks in speed. After seeing the tall monk clearly, the demonic cultivator immediately ran away. But unfortunately, he was still targeted by the tall monk. The demon cultivator was affected by the word, ding, for only a moment. After he woke up, he was already hit by a golden palm in the back. The golden palm passed through the body of the demon cultivator like a magic weapon. The demon cultivator stared blankly at the empty palm print on his body. From the demon cultivator's chest down to his lower abdomen, a huge palm print made a hollow, which shows the power of this blow. Amit Ba! After the tall monk killed the demon cultivator, he clasped his hands and pronounced the Buddha's name. He did not pack up his trophies, but looked in the direction of Li Yuanba. It seemed that it was Li Yuanba's gaze that triggered his reaction. Li Yuanba also knew this. With Li Yuanba's perception, 
if a monk was peeping at him from this distance. He would be aware of it. Li Yuanba flashed out of the formation, and his golden sword with fierce sword intent turned into an almost invisible sword light and shot towards the tall monk. He himself used both feet to increase the distance between him and the tall monk. It seemed that he was afraid of getting closer to the tall monk. And the tall monk also believed this. Who knew that the tall monk had just approached 30 meters before emitting the fatal secret method of Buddha's sound and killed the demon cultivator at close range. All this was seen by Li Yuanba. And he would naturally choose the most advantageous fighting method. Sword cultivator! The tall monk's eyes flashed with light. He waved his hand and a copper bell appeared in front of him, blocking the attack of the golden light sword. Li Yuanba was startled. The golden light sword was controlled by him, and indeed hit the copper bell's spiritual weapon. But the sword's intention was not able to reduce the spiritual imprint in it. This is the first time he has encountered such a situation. But he also heard his master, Elder Jin, mention that some secret techniques can strengthen the spiritual imprint, which greatly weakens the effect of the sword intention on the spiritual imprint. Weakening is not completely useless. If it doesn't work once, it will be ten times. And if it doesn't work, it will be a hundred times. He didn't have the slightest fear, but became excited. People all have many sides. Some people are shy in front of outsiders, but are extremely open-minded in front of friends. Some people like to be alone, but are also willing to participate in lively parties. Li Yuanba is the clone of Li Shiming, but his personality is different from Li Shiming's. Perhaps Li Shiming's safety is too important. So Li Shiming has always been extremely cautious and rarely provokes danger. But Li Shiming's adventurousness and belligerence were transferred to Li Yuanba, which is also related to Li Yuanba becoming a swordsman. When Li Yuanba was considering becoming a sword cultivator, he knew that sword cultivators needed to be tempered by fighting. Therefore, when Li Yuanba first joined the Sun Luo sect, he continued to accept combat missions. This was not a kind of emotional catharsis for the original body Li Shiming. The safety of the original body was the first priority. And dangerous things were done by the clone. Li Yuanba was eager to try against a powerful enemy like Gao de Monk. Such an opponent was rare. The tall monk took one step forward, and his figure seemed to disappear. Li Yuanba split a sword light and used sword escape to quickly change direction. This kind of differentiated sword light is a basic flying sword technique found in many sword cultivation traditions. But when facing strong enemies, Sword light differentiation is rarely used because the sword light is divided. The power of the sword light is partially weakened. The differentiated sword light has limited damage to enemies of similar strength to itself. The divided sword light is mostly used to deal with weak enemies. Anyway, any one of the separated sword lights can kill the enemy. When facing a large number of weak enemies, the divided sword light can have the greatest killing effect. Li Yuanba was vigilant. He had little experience in fighting against such powerful monks so he was extremely cautious. Even if the power of the sword light is weakened, he still has to speed up his movement. The speed of sword escape is among the fastest among all escape techniques. Just when he changed direction and moved to the other side at high speed, a white lotus appeared where he was originally. Following the white lotus, there was also a tall monk. You must know that the distance between the tall monk and Li Yuanba was more than a hundred meters before, and they moved to that position in an instant. It can be seen that the monk did not use his full strength before. Li Yuanba was even more horrified by the terrifying movement technique of the tall monk. This technique could be extremely effective whether in battle or in pursuit and escape. The tall monk was also a little surprised. He didn't expect Li Yuanba's reaction to be so quick, predicting his next move. He clapped his palm out and slapped it on the suspended bronze bell beside him. The copper bell rang out, and the sound waves did not spread in all directions. Instead, they were controlled by him and converged at an angle of about 45 degrees, rushing towards Li Yuanba. Sound waves skill! Li Yuanba's spiritual sense sensed the sound waves coming from him. Li Yuanba is very familiar with sound waves skills. Or Li Shiming's true form is very familiar with sound waves. He has practiced Demon Sound Lotus himself and received the inheritance of the Six-Fingered Sound Demon. Although he did not practice the inheritance of the Six-Fingered Sound Demon, he had a more in-depth study of the sound wave technique. The Gale Force Golden Light Sword flashed in front of him. The sword body trembled under Li Yuanba's control. And a sword sound came out. The sound of the sword formed a sound wave in front of him. Blocking the sound wave of the tall monk's copper bell. Ju Yuan, the true disciple of Chinya Temple, met fellow Taoist monks. I wonder which true disciple of the Saluo sect you are? Why have I never heard of you? Buddha Ju Yuan suddenly introduced himself and asked. 
if the enemy can be dismissed casually, he has no right to talk to him. The strength shown by Li Yuanba was recognized by him. In addition, Li Yuanba was a sword cultivator, not an irreconcilable demon cultivator. So his attitude naturally changed. The unknown Li Yuanba has met Tao's friend. When Li Yuanba answered, he did not forget to keep a safe enough distance from Ju Yuan Buddha. I didn't expect that besides sword master, Sun Luo's sect also has pure sword cultivators. What a pity! Buddha Ju Yuan shook his head. This kind of sword cultivator should appear in the righteous sect instead of helping the evil cult and becoming the helper of the demon cultivator. Elder Jian is the master! Li Yuanba did not hide anything. He believed that after this battle, his true disciple would be known to all the sects. So there was no need to hide anything. I'm going to attack with all my strength. I can't let you grow. Buddha Jiu Yuan said in a deep voice with his hands clasped together. The fighting spirit rose in his eyes. Elder Jian killed the Arhat of Chinya Temple. This was a big hatred. Since Li Yuanba was a disciple of Elder Jian, Li Yuanba naturally had a share of this hatred. In addition, such a sword cultivator cannot grow up. Otherwise another sword elder will increase the strength of Sun Luo's sect again. Elder Jian is known as the number one in Jin Dan attack. Although there are several Jin Dan monks who are as famous as him. Without a battle, it is impossible to determine the true strength ranking of several Jin Dan monks. But once Elder Jian is promoted to Yuanying, he will definitely become the top being in Yuanying. This is the terrifying thing about sword cultivation. Since Li Yuanba's qualifications and talents can be accepted by Elder Jian and accepted as his disciple, it is naturally excellent. Elder Jian has never had any disciples, which shows how strict Elder Jian is about accepting disciples. Buddha Ju Yuan had murderous intentions at this time and did not want Li Yuanba to leave alive. Both are true disciples. Ju Yuan Buddha has been in the true biography for decades longer than Li Yuanba. Coupled with a gap in realm, he is confident that he can kill Li Yuanba. Following the voice of Buddha Ji Yuan, his whole body emitted golden light, and white lotus flowers sprouted from the ground. The Diyong white lotus was 50 meters apart, and was spreading outwards, and was soon in front of the Yuanba. The figure of Ju Yuan Buddha disappeared from the spot, and he appeared on the nearest white lotus. As he moved, the white lotus on the ground also accelerated its expansion with him as the center. What kind of skill is this? Li Yuanba retreated continuously. He did not dare to enter by Lian's range. Jiu Yuan Buddha's technique does not seem to be moving, but rather like teleporting on various white lotuses. There is no intermediate movement process at all. This makes his figure extremely erratic, and it even feels like his eyes cannot keep up with his speed. You are also a true disciple and a sword cultivator. How can you be afraid of fighting with me? Buddha Jiu Yuan shouted loudly. This voice has the effect of inspiring Buddha's sounds. It was originally used to target friendly troops. But at this time, it became a means of motivating his generals. Chapter 220 The Decisive Blow Li Yuanba would not be provoked by Ju Yuan Buddha. He continuously used the differentiated sword light and sword escape to get out of Bai Lian's range, while using the swift wind golden light sword to continuously attack Ju Yuan Buddha. However, the figure of Ju Yuan Buddha kept flashing, and his flying sword could not catch the figure of Ju Yuan Buddha at all. Every attack fell on the illusory shadow. This was the most terrifying opponent he had ever encountered. And the sword cultivator's methods had no effect on him. Of course, Li Yuanba's main problem is that his level is somewhat inferior, which makes him constrained in everything. If they are in the same realm, it's hard to say who has the advantage. Helpless, he could only divide the sword light again. It was originally divided into two sword lights. One for him to use sword escape, and the other for main attack. Now he divided the sword form again and turned it into ten sword lights nine of which were the main attack. This is actually a method borrowed from the original Li Shiming. The nine sword lights are equivalent to the nine flying swords, but they are much weaker in power. In addition, there is only one entity in it, and the Gale Golden Light Sword is not designed for formation. So it is only have its shape. Since the original body Li Shiming has a very deep research on how to control the nine flying swords, when there is no other way, Li Yuanba can use the nine sword lights to exert good power. The nine sword lights were like nine swimming fish, constantly traveling within a range of 30 to 100 meters in front of him. They seemed to have no purpose, but they contained the secret of the formation. The nine sword lights cannot form a formation with strong effects, but after all, they are energy bodies with spiritual power and can also form formations. In addition, at this point in the battle, Li Shiming, the main body, was also providing help. 
using the computing power of Z15 through mental communication. So that Li Yuanba also had the ability to set up formations during the battle. This means that Li Shiming's spirit has been greatly improved. And he has condensed his spiritual thoughts. So that he can serve as an intermediary and contact Z15 without any delays. Otherwise, based on Li Shiming's previous spirit, after he relayed the results, there would be a delay of at least one breath until the Z15 calculation results are returned to Li Yuanba through him, which would not be of any help to the battle. The formation arranged by the Nine Sword Lights is very simple. It is an enchantment formation. The so-called enchantment array does not affect the soul, but creates illusions that disorient the people inside. Li Yuanba didn't know how effective this would be on Ju Yuan Buddha, but he had to try anyway. He didn't have many ways to deal with Ju Yuan Buddha at this time. Buddha Jue Yuan used Buddha's secrets to move rapidly, leaving him very little time to think. So he moved almost according to body instinct. Under normal circumstances, he would not be affected by the small ecstasy array. But when moving based on instinct, his brain only made judgments based on the environment on the scene. The figure of Jue Yuan Buddha was affected by the ecstasy array, and soon flashed in an orderly manner in the ecstasy array arranged by nine sword lights. In the ecstasy formation, he was still moving extremely fast, so fast that he could almost ignore the process in between, and his figure kept flashing on the white lotus. However, due to the effect of the enchantment array, his movements were guided by the enchantment array, which gave Li Yuanba the opportunity to seize the sequence of his movements. In just two breaths, Buddha Ju Yuan realized something was wrong. Just when he was about to react, Li Yuanba's counterattack arrived. Nine sword lights suddenly flashed, and even the sword lights under Li Yuanba disappeared. All the sword lights merged into one and shot towards an empty white lotus. And just when the sword light approached the top of the white lotus, the figure of Jiu Yuan Buddha appeared. This sword strike avoided the bronze bell in front of Jiu Yuan Buddha. Coupled with Jiu Yuan Buddha's fast movement, he could not fully exert the power of the bronze bell. If he could use the bronze bell to defend himself while moving so fast, he was already doing his best. To the extreme, normal monks must give up the defense of spiritual weapons if they want extreme speed they must choose one of the two. It is impossible to have both. The bronze bell was refined by Ju Yuan Buddha through secret methods. The connection with him is very deep. So he can still use the bronze bell while moving at extremely high speeds. But it can only be blocked in front of him and cannot defend his whole body. A tearing sound was heard. And Li Yuanba's sword light swept across Ju Yuan Buddha's body. And a foot-long wound was swept across Ju Yuan Buddha's body. The wound was long but not fatal as its depth was limited. Li Yuanba looked ugly. This Jiu Yuan Buddha's body training had also reached the level of the late foundation building stage, far beyond his own level. This shows that Buddha Jiu Yuan either took a spiritual substance like monkey wine, or obtained a powerful Buddhist relic, which accelerated the process of body refining. That is to say, Li Yuanba's sword was a sword with sword intent, which was able to break through Jiu Yuan Buddha's defense and hurt Jiu Yuan Buddha's body. He calculated the final blow but failed to exert all his strength and only caused some minor injuries to Ju Yuan Buddha. Good opponent, you didn't use the sword cultivation method just now. Ju Yuan Buddha was not angry because of the injury. Instead, he laughed and said, such an opponent is really rare. He has few rivals among his peers in Chiba Temple. Among the Buddhas, even the late Buddhas, there are few who can fight with him with all their strength. The skin and flesh of Ju Yuan Buddha's injured area turned and tightened and the wound was no longer visible. This does not mean that his injury is cured, but that he is using this technique to control his muscles and skin to forcibly lock the wound. The wound is nothing. The problem is the sword intention in it. The sword cultivator's sword intention affects his injury. He needs to use his spiritual power to force out the sword intention. But how could Li Yuanba force him to use his sword? The sword light shot at his body again. Jiu Yuan Buddha shouted loudly, and the bronze bell emitted light, covering his body. He relied entirely on Tong Zhong's defense, seemingly preparing to force out the sword intent in his body before making any plans. How could Li Yuanba let go of this opportunity? In the flash of sword light, the sword thread formed by the sword's intention was watering on the bronze bell, constantly attacking the spiritual imprint in the bronze bell. He believed that no matter how strong the spiritual imprint was, it could be erased by too many sword attacks. Now he is competing with Ju Yuan Buddha to see who can erase the spiritual imprint of the copper bell first. Or whether Ju Yuan Buddha can expel the sword intention from his body first. There was about 150 meters between the two. And the two sides fell into a confrontation. The bronze bell completely blocked Ju Yuan Buddha. 
and the bronze bell also had the function of isolating spiritual thoughts, making it impossible for Li Yuanba to perceive his situation inside. In fact, Buddha Ju Yuan did not heal his wounds. He knew very well that he could not kill Li Yuanba without using any means. Yes, until now, Buddha Ju Yuan still has absolute confidence in defeating Li Yuanba. He has always wanted to kill Li Yuanba here, not just defeat him. The better Li Yuanba performed, the more determined Buddha Ju Yuan was in his idea of killing Li Yuanba. With such a terrifying fighting talent, once Li Yuanba is allowed to grow up, it will be a big trouble for Zheng Dao. Just like the sword elder of Sun Luo's sect, he has become a huge threat in the Golden Core stage. Buddha Ju Yuan had a very long term view, and his status as a true disciple gave him a strong perspective on the overall situation. Just like this time Jianye Temple took the initiative to provoke the war of foundation building monks with a plan. When the plan succeeds, Sun Luo sect will suffer huge losses at least at the level of foundation building monks. Without a generation of foundation building monks, the Sun Luo sect's strength will inevitably decline significantly in the next few decades. It will not be possible to retrain a large number of foundation building monks in less than 40 or 50 years to make up for the losses. Only a very small number of true disciples in Chinya Temple would know about the plan to kill a large number of Sun Luo sect's foundation building monks. Buddha Ju Yuan used secret techniques to suppress his injuries and he saw Li Yuanba's weakness. From the beginning of the battle, Li Yuanba kept giving in, hoping to distance himself from the fight in this way. This is normal. Even the sword elders, all sword cultivators will not get close to the enemy. Instead, they will use the flying sword at a certain distance to kill the enemy with their sword intent. Nowadays, sword cultivators use flying swords instead of handheld swords. The power of flying swords is greatly reduced when you get close. Therefore, Buddha Jiu Yuan did not treat the injury, but simply suppressed it and immediately activated the secret method, wanting to use secret techniques to instantly appear next to Li Yuan Ba 150 meters away would take some time to prepare. For this, he was even prepared to use his only spiritual weapon, a copper bell. The reason why Buddha Jiu Yuan was able to make the copper bell spiritual weapon fearless of the sword was because he only had the only spiritual weapon, the bronze bell. Since he became the Buddha, he has continued to use secret methods to deepen his connection with the bronze bell spiritual weapon. Making the bronze bell spiritual weapon, it has a stronger anti-sword effect. The bronze bell is a comprehensive spiritual weapon that can be used both offensively and defensively. It is for this reason that Ju Yuan Buddha only needed the single spiritual weapon to be able to use it. One breath, two breaths, three breaths, the sword light outside with the sword intent turned into silk was frantically attacking the bronze bell. Ju Yuan Buddha could sense that his connection with the bronze bell was being weakened. No matter how hard you try to strengthen the effect of resisting sword intent, you still can't ignore the sword intent. Sword cultivators rely on attacks to survive. If there was a way to resist the sword cultivator's sword intent, the world of immortality would not recognize the sword cultivator's attack as number one. Time is enough! Buddha Ju Yuan felt the decreasing speed of the spiritual imprint in the bronze bell and thought to himself. Li Yuanba was also surprised. He never thought that there was a spiritual weapon that could withstand so many rounds of sword attacks. If the opponent was a golden elixir and used a magic weapon, it would be understandable that his sword intention was ineffective. But the opponent was only a Buddha in the middle stage of foundation establishment. And a spiritual weapon could withstand so many of his attacks. Think about the movement speed of Ju Yuan Buddha. With such defense and such speed, he is almost naturally invincible. However, through the flying sword, he also sensed that the bronze bell would not last long, and the light of his sword hit the bronze bell like raindrops. Standing in the bronze bell, Jiu Yuan Buddha's eyes suddenly opened wide, and the light of lotus seemed to appear in his eyes. He gave up control of the bronze bell, and the subsequent movement distance made it impossible for him to take the bronze bell with him. Behind the Yuan Ba, a white lotus appeared without any warning. At the same time as the white lotus appeared, the figure of Jiu Yuan Buddha disappeared into the bronze bell, and appeared above the white lotus. The secret method that Buddha Ju Yuan had prepared long ago turned into a golden handprint with a big hand and struck Li Yuanba's vest. Ju Yuan Buddha had long been extremely skilled in this attack method, and many demon cultivators were killed on the spot by his attack. He was confident that he could kill Li Yuanba with the secret method without using spiritual weapons. But when the golden handprint hit Li Yuanba's vest, Li Yuanba acted as if he had known that he would appear behind him and stepped sideways one step ahead. Li Yuanba laid the plan from the beginning. After the fight, he understood that he could not kill Ju Yuan Buddha by normal means. Even if he summons his generals, 
Jiuyu and Buddha can use the unimaginable secret method of movement to escape. Therefore, he showed the fighting power of a qualified sword cultivator, constantly using speed to distance himself. And just like a normal sword cultivator, he did not want Jiu Yuan Buddha to get close to him. He was waiting for Jiu Yuan Buddha to get close to him. Although the secret code of sword demon was not a very powerful technique. At least the technique before Jean Dan was definitely the best in close combat. The secret book of sword demons is the inheritance of another school of sword cultivators. Although it is not comprehensive, the skills before Jean Dan are comprehensive and can bring out the combat power that melee sword cultivators should have in the foundation building period. Ju Yuan Buddha may have had great achievements in physical training, and he also practiced secret techniques for close combat. But even though Ju Yuan Buddha's secret method of close combat was of the same level as Li Yuanba's secret book of sword demons, Li Yuanba was calculating mentally and unintentionally. A slight mistake in close combat would lead to a completely different battle situation. The moment he dodged the golden handprint of Ju Yuan Buddha and turned around, Li Yuanba thrust out his hand with a sword. While thrusting out, the base of the third grade sword was generated in his hand. With Li Yuanba's success in refining the body of the third grade sword base, the quality of the third grade sword base has been pushed to the extreme of spiritual weapons, surpassing all spiritual weapons. This is determined by the quality of its third grade metal. You must know that the secret code of sword demon is to cultivate a golden elixir stage magic weapon long sword. The reason why this sword is thrust is that it is the fastest attack in close combat, and also because he is too close to Ju Yuan Buddha. The straight line between the two points is the shortest. He had been preparing for this attack early on, so he executed it almost instantly when attacking. Ju Yuan Buddha never expected that Li Yuanba would hide his melee ability in the previous battle, and still reach the melee ability in the late stage of foundation building. He had just used secret techniques continuously, and was unable to dodge after being tricked. He could only hope that his body refining technique could block the blow. With a Yuanba's sword intent, the third grade sword base turned into a ray of light and pierced the center of Buddha Yuan's eyebrows. In order to prevent Buddha Yuan from counterattacking before his death, he took off the hilt of the sword and retreated after thrusting the sword. The third grade sword base slowly turned into energy and returned to his body after dissipating. There was a hole visible behind the forehead of Buddha Yuan. He sat cross legged on the ground without any sadness or joy and the breath of life disappeared from his body. Li Yuanba looked at the Buddha Ju Yuan, who looked like a Buddha statue, and couldn't help but shook his head. Such an enemy was really terrifying. If he hadn't planned it early, he might not even be able to keep the secret of the general at this time. Chapter 221 Relics Ju Yuan has returned to Lord Buddha. Just when Ju Yuan Buddha was pierced between his eyebrows with a sword, on a mountain peak in the righteous area on the other side of the battlefield, an old monk took out a broken Buddha amulet from his arms. Dandan said. Senior brother Zhikong. Ju Yuan is a Bubu Xinglian who has inherited the divine foot power. How could he be killed in the first battle? A look of sorrow flashed in Ziming Arhut's eyes. His state of mind was far inferior to that of Zhikong Arhut. For the death of Ju Yuan Buddha is still very sad. Among the Buddhists trained by Qinya Temple, Ju Yuan is one of the most promising seeds. Especially since he came into contact with Shinzu Tong during the foundation building period. Even the basic inheritance of Shinzu Tong shows that there is great possibility in the future. Become a sage. The venerable is equivalent to the Yuanying ancestor in the world of immortality. Only the powerful beings among the Yuanying ancestors can touch the supernatural power. Jiuyuan Buddha was recognized by the Shinzu Tong inheritance in the middle stage of foundation building. His fall is very important to Qianya Temple. Big loss. Wait a minute. Haven't we already thought of the initial sacrifice? Jiuyuan died for Qianya Temple. His death will not be meaningless. Shikong Arhut waved his hand. Jiming Arhut couldn't help but turn his head and look behind him. There was a formation there. The cold murderous intent in the formation was constantly leaking out, as if there was a killing god locked inside. That is the top secret of Chinya Temple. A Buddha who has realized the enlightenment of killing and becoming a Buddha. A Buddha who has reached the half-step golden elixir. Jueta Buddha. This is the Buddha who has never appeared in Chinya Temple. It is not that he has not been walking outside but that all the monks who have seen him take action are dead. It can be said that he grew up in killing. Shiba Temple's intelligence system collected the most evil forces for him, and he went to save them. On the one hand, he eliminated the evil, and on the other hand, he used killing to increase his strength. Even Chienba Temple couldn't count how many people he had killed with his half-step golden elixir in the Tao of Killing Life. In the past hundred years, 
most of the evil forces collected in Xianba Temple were almost eliminated by the Buddha. Killing to become a Buddha is an extremely rare Buddhist practice. And it is also an extremely dangerous Buddhist practice. Internal demons caused by excessive killing are most likely to occur in Buddhist practice. As soon as the Buddha returned to Chinya Temple, more than ten eminent monks specializing in Buddhism had to chant sutras for him to suppress the murderous intention in his heart. In fact, the so-called heinous crime is just a reason for Chinya Temple. And it is also a peace of mind for Buddha Buddha. Once Buddha Buddha takes action, all life within a certain radius will be slaughtered by him. Today's Juetta Buddha is an invincible existence during the foundation building period. And due to the characteristics of killing intent to become a Buddha, the efficiency of killing is extremely high. And this time, through the war with the Luo sect, they took the initiative to launch the foundation building war. With the intention of using Juetta Buddha to kill the elite foundation building monks of the Sanluo sect. And even more so by killing the nearly a thousand foundation building monks of Sanluo sect. To complete the final step of awakening the Buddha and becoming an Arhat. It is extremely difficult to kill someone to become a Buddha. On the one hand, it is difficult to control the intention to kill. But if you want the Buddha not to get lost in the killing, let alone let him kill indiscriminately, you must at least make him feel that everyone he kills is right. It will make it lost. Such killings need to last for hundreds of years. Killing tens of thousands of creatures. And among them must be strong enough monks. Combined with these conditions. Even Shinya Temple. Which has a complete inheritance of killing and becoming a Buddha. Cannot cultivate them for a long time. In the past four to five hundred years. Only Buddha Juetu has emerged. The only disciple who can practice killing to become a Buddha. This shows how difficult it is to kill to become a Buddha. The inheritance of Shinzu Tong must be taken back. Jiming Arhat reminded in a deep voice. Don't worry. The demon cultivator who got the Shinzu Tong inheritance relic has not left. I can sense the Shinzu Tong inheritance relic. When the time comes, Juetta will just take it back. Besides, the Shinzu Tong inheritance is not something that just anyone can pry into. The demon cultivator spying without permission is asking for death. Shikong Arhat looked towards the battlefield and still said calmly. On the battlefield. But a Juyuan could no longer die. Li Yuanba's spiritual thoughts swept over his body. And there was nothing else except a storage bracelet. Li Yuanba put away the body and probably contributed a lot by killing Juyuan Buddha. He was a true disciple. He went to get the bronze bell back. The bronze bell now had no owner. He investigated it and found that it was probably mixed with a small amount of third grade materials. Which made the bronze bell reach the quality of the spiritual weapon. Extreme. And because a small amount of third grade materials can support more attachments, this spiritual weapon has multiple functions that can be attacked and defended, and can be converted into sonic attacks. If only second grade materials were used, the spiritual weapon would not be able to support so many enchantments. It's better to give it to fellow Taoist. He passed on the situation of the bronze bell through his contact with the real body Li Shiming. It is estimated that this bronze bell is the most powerful spiritual weapon in the foundation building period. Only the third grade sword base of Li Shiming and his clone Li Yuanba, who practiced the Sword Demon Secret Code, can surpass the bronze bell. But the third grade sword base of the Secret Book of Sword Demons is a magic weapon prepared in advance for the Golden Elixir stage. And it is two different things from a spiritual weapon mixed with third grade materials. A spiritual weapon mixed with third grade materials is simply a waste of third grade materials in the foundation building period. This will not be allowed to happen to any Golden Core cultivator. In fact, the Golden Core Cultivator himself does not have enough. Even if the Golden Elixir Cultivator has extra third grade materials, he must exchange them for resources that he can use for his own use. Li Yuanba returned to the formation he had set up before. The 36 formation flags had not yet been put away. He sat on the ground and began to check the storage bracelet. There were not many items in the storage bracelet. Some high grade second grade elixirs and more than 3000 spirit stones. The items in the space were so shabby that he could hardly believe that this was the storage bracelet space of a true disciple. The only thing that caught his attention was a relic, which had a strange shape, like a baby's jade feet. He took out the jade foot relic from the storage bracelet. It was estimated that the only valuable thing in the storage bracelet was this relic. When he held the relic in his hand, he knew that it was at least the nascent soul stage. That is, the relic of a Buddhist venerable. He felt the vast Buddha's meaning in it. He hesitated slightly. His curiosity surpassed everything. And his spiritual mind penetrated into the jade foot relic. With a boom, his spirit was absorbed into the jade foot relic. And his body sat cross-legged on the ground. 
as if it was lifeless. Li Yuanba found himself in a boundless void. With no sky and no earth, there were Buddhas everywhere. All kinds of Buddhas. Merciful, dignified and kind. And at the same time reciting Buddhist scriptures. He didn't know what scripture it was. But he felt that he seemed to be being affected by the Buddhist scriptures. And he was sinking into the boundless Buddhist scriptures step by step. He has no resistance at all. And his spirit is extremely weak in this world. A little clarity in his heart reminded him that if he continued to sink like this, his spirit would disappear and be assimilated into this world, becoming the treasure of this world. This is the test of the user relic. Even in Chinyet Temple, participating in this test requires the protection of dozens of eminent monks. At the same time, one needs to study Buddhism intensively from an early age and practice specialized techniques in a targeted manner. Everything is to pass the test of the Jade Foot Relic and obtain its inheritance. But just like that, it is difficult for every generation to pass on the inheritance of Shinzu Tong from Chiba Temple to a Buddha. This is normal. Like every major sect, there are some special inheritances. Some are left by the seniors in the sect, and some are brought back by the monks of the sect. These special inheritances require certain conditions to be accepted. This is also to ensure that the recipients of the inheritance are protected, because monks who do not meet the conditions will either be unable to practice and suffer mental trauma, or die from the backlash. The inheritance level of the divine foot power in the jade foot relic is very high. It took Buddha Ju Yuan a hundred years of preparation before he was recognized by the jade foot relic and received part of the inheritance. After receiving the inheritance of the jade foot relic, Buddha Ju Yuan became the custodian of the jade foot relic. He would not return the jade foot relic to the temple until he passed away or felt that he could no longer receive any inheritance from the jade foot relic and then look for a new inheritor. Carrying this kind of relic inheritance with you is a helpless move. Having the relic beside you can help you get the help of the relic and increase the speed of practicing inheritance. This is also the most commonly used method in Buddhism. Eminent monks who can condense relics will almost always condense their most proud skills into relics and leave them to their descendants. There are many masters in Buddhism. And this is the most important reason. Just when Li Yuanba was about to sink, Li Shiming, who was in the flying boat, sensed what was happening on the Yuanba side. Li Shiming sent a reminder to Li Yuanba through the conscious connection with his clone Li Yuanba. The conscious connection between Li Shiming and his clone Li Yuanba ignores the influence of space and time. Although Li Yuanba's spirit is sucked into the jade foot relic, he can still receive information from the original Li Shiming. Li Shiming's reminder suddenly made Li Yuanba's consciousness clear. Li Yuanba immediately wanted to withdraw from the jade foot relic. But it was not so easy to withdraw from the jade foot relic. The Buddha's shadows around him noticed his resistance and the Buddha's voice became even louder. Li Shiming contacted Z15, and a Sanskrit sound was transferred to Li Yuanba's consciousness through him. The Buddha's sound outside is full of the temptation of the Buddhist world, which makes people sink into it. But in Li Yuanba's consciousness, a very contagious piece of Buddha's sound that seems to be the right path is strange and harsh. Facing Buddha with Buddha. This is what Li Shiming can think of at this time. Although, the Sanskrit sound of life is an ordinary piece of music. Its impact on the soul is extremely shocking. As if evil is confronting the brilliant and righteous sound of the outside world. Li Yuanba only felt that his spirit was weakened by the influence of the Buddha's sounds in the outside world. He didn't know when he could go out. So he could only maintain this balanced situation. In fact, he is still extremely dangerous at this time. He is in the battlefield. But his consciousness cannot control his body. Any monk can make him die. Fortunately, his formation was still running. And since his consciousness was not in his body, and his body's aura was extremely weak, many demon cultivators and Buddhas passed by without noticing his presence. Time passed little by little. And Li Shiming was also very anxious. He had no other way to deal with the unexpected appearance of the clone. He was still far away from the battlefield. Even if he was close to the battlefield, it would be troublesome to pass through the defense line on Jingdao's side. He could only keep repeating the life-calling Sanskrit sound in order for this evil Buddha sound to continue to have an effect. This kind of Buddha sound emanating from the soul can, to a certain extent, replace the monk's study of Buddhism and form false Buddhist ideas. This has been tested by Li Shiming in practice. He used this method to learn the but draw body protection magic skill. One hour, two hours, three hours, before dawn, Li Shiming went to the top of a mountain, laid out an array of 1,500 Fresnel reflectors, and practiced purple air coming from the east. He would not let purple energy come from the east be interrupted unless it was absolutely necessary. 
because as long as purple chi comes from the east is interrupted once, the effect of purple chi from the east will be greatly weakened. His physical and mental improvement is the result of the continuous accumulation of purple chi day by day. Stop it. Finally, he didn't know how long it would take to return to the current improvement effect. Fortunately, practicing purple chi from the east does not require spiritual energy. It only requires a deserted mountaintop, which can be seen everywhere in the world of immortality. When he finished practicing purple energy coming from the east, Li Yuanba was still trapped in the jade foot relic on the battlefield. Li Shiming put away the formation and Fresnel reflector and continued flying towards the battlefield. A full six hours had passed, and Li Yuanba was now numb to the Buddhist sounds in the outside world. He kept repeating the life-seeking Sanskrit sounds in his mind, so that he would no longer be affected by the Buddhist sounds in the outside world. He didn't know how outrageous it was to play music in this kind of soul. You must know that this music was not issued by him, nor by the bodily shimming, but by Z15. Due to the particularity of Z15, Li Shiming is regarded as an external device, while Li Yuanba is an external device connected by Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Z15 playing music is not affected by anything outside, and it directly affects the soul. This method of contact is unique in the world of immortality. If Li Shiming transmitted messages to Li Yuanba through his own spiritual connection, he would not be able to achieve this effect. Of course, there is also the special effect of the death-calling Sanskrit sound. This kind of music was unique in the previous life, conveying strange evil in a brilliant and righteous way. Just when Li Yuanba didn't know when it ended, the Buddha's voice in the outside world completely disappeared, and the Buddha statues in the sky were no longer there. Subsequently, a large amount of information was transmitted into his soul through the jade foot relic. The body on the other side, Li Shiming, also received this information through conscious contact and backed up the information in Z15. Magic foot power! What kind of skill is this? Li Shiming and Li Yuanba murmured to themselves at the same time in different places. What they received was the inheritance of Shenzutong. But unlike Ju Yuan Buddha who only received the lotus growing step by step, what they received was the entire Shenzutong inheritance. Who told Li Yuanba to pass all the tests of the Jade Foot Relic through cheating? Ju Yuan Buddha only persisted for an hour. So he received part of the inheritance. And at the same time, he was recognized by the Jade Foot Relic. Perhaps, he could receive the rest of the inheritance in a long time. Of course, Jiu Yuan Buddha had no chance. His body was in Li Yuanba's storage space. Chapter 222 Magical Powers In the Inheritance of Shinzu Tong What can be learned in the foundation building stage is Building Lotus Step by Step There are more secret techniques that cannot be supported by the spiritual power in the foundation building stage. The technique of Building Lotus Step by Step is not that easy to learn. You have to mentally visualize a White Lotus Picture in the Shinzu Tong Inheritance. If it were an ordinary picture, with the spirit of a foundation building monk, it would be easy to visualize it. But this White Lotus Picture is different. The whole White Lotus Picture looks ordinary, but upon closer inspection, every tiny dot of the White Lotus Picture is composed of countless Buddhist Sanskrit characters. If it were not for the inheritance method of passing down the jade foot relics, it would be impossible to pass on such a technique using words and pictures. The number of Sanskrit characters in the White Lotus Diagram exceeds tens of billions. Even if a foundation building monk wants to visualize such a huge amount of Sanskrit characters forming the White Lotus Diagram, most foundation building monks will not be able to complete this workload in their lifetime. No matter how strong your memory is, there is an end to it. Memorizing tens of billions of Sanskrit words and composing pictures is simply not something that ordinary monks can do. Only Buddhist monks, who have been exposed to Sanskrit since childhood and know the arrangement of Sanskrit and the meaning of Sanskrit order can minimize the workload of memory, coupled with the help of the Buddhas while emanating from the jade foot relic. This seemingly impossible task can be achieved. Li Yuanba just glanced at it and gave up the idea of learning. Step by step to grow a lotus. Immediately, this could not be completed in a short time. He does have an idea for lotus growing step by step. This method of fast movement once mastered, can make his combat power soar. Think of a sword cultivator who moves like a flicker. No cultivator can easily attack the sword cultivator. However, the sword cultivator can use his flying sword with all his strength and exert the sword cultivator's maximum attack power without having to consider his own safety. This is the most ideal fighting method for sword cultivators. At least traditional sword cultivators pursue this fighting method. 
Li Yuanba can also be considered a traditional sword cultivator. His secret book of sword demons has only reached the foundation building stage, and only one magic weapon long sword is left in the golden elixir stage. The main skill he practiced, sword intention climbing to the sky, was traditional sword cultivation. Naturally, he also pursued the long distance combat method, which was safer. On the other side, Li Shiming is studying step by step to grow lotus an introductory technique in the divine foot power. He doesn't know the details of Shinzu Tong. Otherwise, he would never be so calm. Z15 is processing the White Lotus Picture. The White Lotus Picture, composed of tens of billions of Sanskrit characters, took some time for Z15 to process. Li Shiming tried to let Z15 transfer the White Lotus Picture into his consciousness. This was the way he used to quickly remember. As long as Z15 opened the document through him, it was equivalent to him quickly viewing the document, and all the contents of the document were directly imprinted in consciousness. This time, when Z15 tuned into the White Lotus picture, his consciousness stagnated for a short time. This was an overload caused by massive data input. Fortunately, his spirit was strong enough, and there were not many monks who had spiritual thoughts during the foundation building stage. He had survived the impact of the massive data of the White Lotus pouring into his consciousness at the same time. Visualization is the realization of something in consciousness, which is accomplished by the power of the mind. Li Shiming once again used cheating methods to make the White Lotus picture appear in his consciousness through Z15's special relationship with him. As soon as the White Lotus picture appeared, it exuded a dull light, and instantly he had an understanding of step by step, the lotus grows in his heart. The White Lotus picture is the core of building lotus step by step with the white lotus picture. White lotuses can be born in the outside world without any reason. And he can teleport on each white lotus at a certain distance. The most unreasonable thing about this technique is this kind of teleportation. After realizing the core content of building a lotus step by step, he discovered that building a lotus step by step is a real teleportation, not something to speed up, ways to move. His realm has not yet come into contact with the concept of supernatural powers in the nascent soul stage. So he does not know that what he is practicing at this time is the introductory method of supernatural powers. This is unscientific. He issued a soul torture. But in the world of immortality, it is very unscientific to use science to explain immortality. Li Shiming took the flying boat away. And a white lotus appeared under his feet, holding him motionless in the air. His spiritual thoughts unfolded. And as his consciousness moved slightly, the white lotus picture projected a white lotus that appeared a hundred meters away. His figure disappeared from the original place and appeared on the white lotus a hundred meters away. This change almost caused the death of Z15, which collects data through spiritual observation at all times. If Z15 was conscious, he would also exclaim, This is not scientific. Li Shiming found that his moving distance was further than that of Ju Yuan Buddha. He once again projected a white lotus through the white lotus picture. This time the white lotus appeared at a distance of 200 meters. This was almost double the distance that Ju Yuan Buddha could move during the battle. In the end, Ju Yuan Buddha took time to explode and only reached 150 meters. Li Shiming was in the early stage of foundation building. And Ju Yuan Buddha was in the middle stage of foundation building. This is not a difference in realm, but a spiritual gap. Li Shiming is a foundation building monk who has practiced spiritual consciousness. This is why he can make lotus growing step by step, reach 200 meters. White lotuses appeared in front of him, and his figure appeared and disappeared in the air. The biggest limitation on his speed was the projection speed of the white lotus picture, but this speed could only be activated with a slight movement of his mind. If the consumption of this movement technique is not taken into account, it is even more than twice as fast as sword escape. If he saves five breaths of time, he can also increase the maximum distance to 300 meters, which is the farthest teleportation distance he can achieve. This is what an immortal should look like. White lotuses appeared in the air, and his figure moved erratically on the white lotuses. This way of movement was extremely dazzling. However, considering that the Shushan sect and Chinya temple are allies, he needs to go back and ask his master what the lotus is born step by step technique is. Otherwise, it is very likely to cause trouble. In fact, when he discovered that step-by-step -step lotus moved by teleportation, he made a guess about the grade of this technique. This must be the top-level technique. 
if the Shushan sect also has records of this technique. He doesn't have to worry. He can use it at any time. He thought about the Yuanba again. And he made an, already, analysis based on the Yuanba's spirit. Li Yuanba's spirit was much stronger than that of ordinary monks. Although he did not develop spiritual thoughts. Li Yuanba also cultivated spiritual thoughts during the Qi Chain stage. After reaching the foundation establishment stage, his spirit was naturally stronger than that of ordinary monks. Li Shiming side had previously cultivated spiritual thoughts. And Li Yuanba's spirit had also received some benefits. Since Li Yuanba's spirit can withstand the transmission of the White Lotus picture, Li Shiming decided to let Li Yuanba also learn step by step to grow a lotus. However, Li Yuanba can no longer bear the White Lotus on the battlefield. If he is unlucky and encounters an enemy, it will be extremely dangerous if he loses his own protection. Besides, the time to enter the battlefield is not short. Just in time to report Ju Yuan's achievements, Li Yuanba returned towards the Jishan Pass, but still did not encounter the Buddha from Qianya Temple on the way. The path he took was a straight line. Except for the particularly powerful Buddhas in Chiba Temple, the rest of the Buddhas fought together. The Buddhas at Chiba Temple have all practiced the art of coordination, including Liangi, Sankai, Forksiangs, Five Elements, Liuhe, Xijing, Bagua, and Nine Palaces. These cooperative formation methods can increase the Buddha's overall combat power by several percent. Most of them are in fixed places, waiting for the demon cultivator to appear. The characteristic of demonic cultivators is also very clear. That is, it is difficult to guard against all kinds of weird ambush methods. So the Buddhas might as well just wait and see. There happened to be no Buddha on the route Li Yuanba took. Returning to the level, he came to the mission pavilion. There are many sect monks in the mission pavilion. These monks don't look like demon cultivators at this time. They all smile and are unusually kind. This side of the checkpoint is regarded as the sect area. And the sect monks are very careful not to bring trouble here. Of course, the most important thing is that there are several gene and elders stationed here. There is no such a good opportunity to perform in front of the gene and elders. Maybe he would be noticed by elder gene Dan and be accepted as his disciple. And he would suddenly turn around. He is a true disciple. When Li Yuanba walked into the mission pavilion, a monk recognized him. True disciples are the masters of the battlefield. No matter which large-scale battle is fought, the true disciples are the spiritual support of all the sect monks on the battlefield. Once the true disciples are defeated, the morale of the sect monks will be greatly reduced. Among these monks, a few monks had twinkling eyes. They vaguely knew that Wang Cheng Jun and many other demonic cultivators in the middle stage of foundation building were plotting against the Yuanba. Wang Cheng Jun looked at Li Yuanba with murderous eyes that could not conceal the intentions of the cultivators. They are waiting here, ready to watch the show. If Wang Cheng Jun comes back, it means that Li Yuanba, the true disciple, is finished. If Li Yuanba comes back, it means that Wang Cheng Jun and the others have failed. They even made a bet. But only one month bet that Li Yuanba would come back alive. At this time, the monk smiled proudly and stretched out his hand to take the gambling money from the other monks. Do you think Wang Cheng Jun is still alive? A monk asked through a message. It's great that this true disciple can come back alive. How could he possibly kill all the mid-level foundation builders? Another monk shook his head and said, just as Wang Cheng Jun dared to ambush Li Yuanba. No monk was optimistic about Li Yuanba's combat power. The main reason was that Li Yuanba's time as a true disciple was too short. No matter how much potential there is, it is still potential. It will take at least 10 years for the true disciples to form a strong combat power. How much combat power can be improved in one year? Senior Brotherly, please show your results. The deacon in charge of handing over the task said respectfully to Li Yuanba. The deacon is also a foundation building monk, but he is older in the sect and manages the internal affairs of the sect. His status is quite different from that of a true disciple. Therefore, the deacon should also address Li Yuanba as senior brother. This is his identity as a true disciple. Li Yuanba took out the body of Buddha Yuan and placed it in front of the deacon. The monks who were observing the true disciples handing over tasks couldn't help but be disappointed when they discovered that Li Yuanba only took out one corpse. As a true disciple, it took such a long time to kill a Buddha from Qianba Temple. This achievement was really unworthy of his status as a true disciple. Among their ordinary monks, there are many monks who have achieved more results than Li Yuanba. This is called Ju Yuan. Judging from his strength, he should be the true successor of Qianya Temple. Li Yuanba didn't know what the monks in the mission pavilion thought. And he didn't care what they thought. 
he said with some uncertainty. He didn't know if Zhu Yuan Buddha was the true successor. But judging from his strength, he should be the true successor. As soon as he finished speaking, a figure appeared next to the body of Buddha Jiwei Yuan. And he quickly bowed and saluted. The other monks also saluted the visitor. And it was Elder Lu who came. Good fellow. Li Yuan Ba. You killed the third rank Buddha in Xinye Temple. It really brings shame to your master. Elder Jian. After Elder Lu inspected the body, he looked up at Li Yuan Ba and shook his head and sighed. A sword struck the center of the eyebrow. And there was a remnant of sword intent in the wound. It was indeed Zhu Yuan Buddha who was beheaded by the sword cultivator. This sword intention was consistent with Li Yuanba's sword intention. In addition, Li Yuanba acted alone, which meant that Li Yuanba killed Zhu Yuan Buddha in a single fight. This surprised even Elder Lu. Although the sword cultivator was the first in killing, he was at the same level, and Zhu Yuan Buddha was in the middle stage of foundation building. According to the sect's information, Zhu Yuan Buddha has inherited supernatural powers. Since Li Yuanba can kill Zhu Yuan Buddha, Li Yuanba's potential is definitely greater than Zhu Yuan Buddha. The most important thing is that Elder Lu checked the wound and found that Li Yuanba did not use other means, and it was a fair fight. True monks always have some powerful life-saving means. These life-saving means can leapfrog and kill their opponents. But killing with such means will inevitably leave traces. Master killed Arhut. I'm still far behind. Li Yuanba bowed and replied. I'm optimistic about you. Grow up quickly. And then the sect will have a powerful golden elixir sword cultivator. Elder Lu smiled and patted his shoulder to encourage him. Li Yuanba frowned. Elder Lu looked very amiable. But when he thought that this was the magic cultivation elixir of the Sun Luo sect, how could he find such a kind person? He quickly checked inside his body, fearing that the other party would leave something inside his body. After checking it several times, he found nothing unusual. But he still took the matter to heart. As an elder of the sect's golden core, I know that monks try not to have physical contact with each other. They are either close friends or master-disciple relationship. Otherwise such contact can easily lead to misunderstandings. A gloomy look flashed in Elder Lu's eyes. And he sensed Li Yuanba's move of using spiritual power to check his body. He did leave a harmless mark in Li Yuanba's body. There were many Jin Dan elders here. So he didn't want to ask any more questions. He was planning to ask Li Yuanba about the whereabouts of Buddha Juyuan when no one was around. Whether there is a relic in the object. Chapter 223 Be wary. Wealth touches people's hearts. For monks, powerful skills are equivalent to resources, which is also equivalent to wealth. The inheritance of divine power is one of the inheritance of supernatural powers of Chinya Temple, and it is also the inheritance obtained by Jiu Yuan Buddha. Normally, Jiu Yuan Buddha was always protected secretly by Arhats. It was rare that he was killed by Li Yuanba in this battle. So there was a certain probability that the inheritance of divine foot power would fall into Li Yuanba's hands. Elder Lu is at the Golden Core stage, but he is also ambitious. He is extremely greedy for the magical powers that he pursues even at the nascent soul stage. Although it is rumored that the inheritance of various magical powers is extremely difficult, and it takes hundreds of years for Chinya Temple to produce a disciple who inherits magical powers. But even if there is a 1 in 10,000 chance, as long as you hold the inheritance of magical feet in your hands, there will always be this glimmer of success. Chance. Besides, even if you can't comprehend the divine foot power, it is an extremely precious resource that can be exchanged for a large amount of golden elixir level resources to improve your own strength. When it comes to his own development, there is no need to care about the persona Elder Lu maintains in the sect. As for whether to kill Li Yuanba, it depends on whether Li Yuanba knows what he is doing. If he is not, he should do it cleanly and not let Elder Jian find out anything and then it will be fine. Senior Brotherly, Xianye Temple's true transmission Jiwei Yuan's contribution points are 2,400 points. The deacon finished the formalities and said to Li Yuanba. Some of the monks present had heard of the reputation of Ju Yuan Buddha, and their eyes became frightened when they looked at Li Yuanba, no longer bowing their heads because of his status as a true disciple. Even those who had never heard of the reputation of Buddha Jiwei Yuan were shocked by this contribution. The contribution points for this mission are doubled which means that the reward for killing Jiu Yuan Buddha was originally 1,200 points. But the reward for killing a monk in the late stage of foundation building is only 800 contribution points. Comparing the two, we can understand that the strength of Jiu Yuan Buddha is much higher than that of the monks in the later stage of foundation establishment. Elder Lu, I'm going to go down and rest first. Li Yuanba nodded to the deacon to express his gratitude. 
then turned to say goodbye to Elder Lu. Go! Elder Lu said with a smile and waved his hand. Li Yuanbao left the mission pavilion and retrieved his spiritual thoughts in the storage bracelet. Just now, his spiritual thoughts had been placed on the sword intent Buddha bead. As long as there was any change in Elder Lu, he would immediately activate the sword intent bead. This gave him the confidence to face Elder Jean Dan. It could at least give Elder Lu some relief and give him a chance to call for help from the other elders Jean Dan. He took a long breath. The demon sect was really troublesome. And he had to be careful of all kinds of crises at any time. While thinking about it, he came to an open space, which was the most obvious location on the mountain peak of the checkpoint. He placed 36 formation flags and walked into it. He first closed his eyes, crossed his legs, adjusted himself, and let his mind go. On the other side, Lee Shimming, the main body, loaded the inheritance picture. White Lotus picture of Shin Tong step by step lotus through Z15 into Li Yuanba's spirit through the transfer of the main body. Li Yuanba, who was sitting, felt as if his brain had been hit by a heavy hammer. He became dizzy and could no longer support his body, and fell to the ground. A large amount of data was input instantly, and there was steam steaming from the top of his head, which was a sign of overuse of the brain. He fell to the ground and was lost in the lake for an hour. Then he regained his composure, straightened up, and shook his head vigorously. In terms of spirit, he is probably about the same as Ju Yuan Buddha. And even Ju Yuan Buddha is a little stronger. As long as top geniuses are trained with all their strength from the beginning, the fundamental gap will not be too big, at least in the foundation building period, under the premise that they all practice top skills. Their physical, mental, and spiritual powers will not be the same. How much difference there is. Ju Yuan Buddha was in a higher realm than Li Yuanba. So it was normal that he was relatively stronger spiritually. After Ju Yuan Buddha accepted the inheritance of Shenzhou Tong step by step lotus, it took him several years to successfully visualize the white lotus picture. Among them, Chiba Temple gave great support and helped him remember spiritual objects and corresponding Sanskrit guidance. The contents of Buddha Jiu Yuan's meditation for several years were transmitted to Li Yuanba by the body Z15 in one breath. Li Yuanba's spirit suddenly appeared to protect itself, and he fainted. However, Li Shiming, the main body, has calculated that the main body has withstood such an impact once, and is the one with the most say. Although Li Yuanba suffered a little hardship, he was able to learn, step by step to grow a lotus. In a short time, you have to ask any monk in the world of immortality. If you faint for an hour, you can learn a magical introductory skill without causing any trouble, let alone without leaving any trouble. They are willing to do it even if they suffer a treatable injury. Li Yuanba shook his head vigorously. His brain was still in a state of chaos. After waiting for another stick of incense, he was finally able to think. He sensed the white lotus picture in his spirit, and a smile appeared on his face. It's worth it. I finally have a normal way to save my life. He said to himself with a smile. Li Yuanba's strength is pretty good. The secret book of the sword demon gives him extremely strong defense and melee attack power. He can attack with flying swords from a distance. And he can also use sword escape. However, due to his realm, his sword escape speed can only be relatively fast at the same level. When crossing the realm, it is difficult to say when encountering a monk who specializes in speed. Physical defense and melee attack power can only be used as a last resort. Every time he uses it, it is extremely dangerous. Who knows whether the enemy will have the means to break through his body's defense and have the same powerful combat power at close range. The defense power given to him by the secret book of sword demons can only be said to be able to withstand the spiritual weapon attacks of ordinary foundation building monks. But it cannot resist the attacks of true disciples or monks with powerful spiritual weapons. With the Lotus growing every step. He can distance himself from any monk in terms of speed. If he can't beat him, he will fly a kite. If he can't fly the kite, he will run away. In addition, the most important point is that he is a demon cultivator and is naturally an enemy of Shinba Temple. So even if he uses step-by-step -step Lotus, he does not have to worry about Shinba Temple coming to trouble him. Of course, he also knew that the use of Lotus every step must be used with caution. Elder Lu's attitude today was very strange. He had a suspicion that it was related to Lotus every step. This formation can prevent outsiders from peeking, no matter it is spiritual or spiritual thoughts. 
Even the large formation here cannot penetrate the formation arranged by the 36 formation flags. Li Yuanba stood on the ground, focusing on the white lotus picture. He learned from the main body, Li Shiming how to use step-by-step -step lotus. His body left the ground, and a white lotus appeared under his feet. Then, nearly a hundred meters away, a second white lotus appeared. Li Yuanba's figure disappeared from the original place and appeared on the second white lotus. This was also the distance that he could reach by using step-by-step -step lotus. This was only a little short of the distance from Ju Yuan Buddha, and the difference was not big. After mastering step-by-step -step, lotus grows, the worries in my heart have weakened a lot. He did not stay any longer. It was safer on the battlefield at this time. He considered in his mind to try not to have more contact with Elder Lu in the future. His spiritual thoughts swept through. Put away all the formation flags. And in a flash, he left the level and headed towards the battlefield. Elder Lu stood higher up and looked at Li Yuanba coldly. He was very optimistic about Li Yuanba. But the prerequisite was that it would not conflict with his own interests. He let out a dull sneer. How could Li Yuanba escape his grasp? Of course, he would first try to exchange the foundation building period resources from Li Yuanba for the inheritance of divine foot power. If Li Yuanba refused, then don't blame him for being evil-minded. From the beginning of cultivation, demon cultivation has been spent in constant killing and fighting. As long as the resources are beneficial to itself, how can it be let go? He had to succeed before Li Yuanba returned to the sect. Otherwise, he would not dare to do it under the eyes of Elder Jin when he returned to the sect. It would be no different from seeking death. Li Yuanba used sword escape to rush on his way. He did not dare to underestimate Chinya Temple. The Buddha's methods in Chinya Temple were not weak. This time he was lucky. He had only walked for more than 40 miles when he felt the fluctuations caused by the fierce collision of spiritual energy ahead. He canceled the sword escape, replaced it with the flying technique, and moved close to the ground towards the location where the sound was coming from. Soon he saw the battlefield clearly. Twelve Buddhas were surrounded in the center, and fifteen demon cultivators outside were constantly attacking. The twelve Buddhas defended extremely skillfully. They each used defensive spiritual weapons to form two defensive circles. Once the outer defensive circle was broken, the inner defensive circle was placed on top, allowing their companions to redeploy a defensive circle. This kind of cooperation is extremely rare among monks. Most of the time, monks practice alone, and few monks are willing to completely trust other monks. At least it is impossible for Sun Luo's sect to have so many monks to cooperate. Maybe the demon cultivators have individual friends. But it is almost impossible for the demon cultivators to completely trust their friends. The 15 demon cultivators who were attacking outside did not cooperate at all. They just relied on their numbers and continued to use various methods in order to defeat the Buddha's defense. Originally, there were not so many monks from the two sects appearing on this battlefield. At first, the two teams of four Buddhas and six demon cultivators met. Neither side could do anything to the other. The battle attracted nearby monks from both sides, and more and more demon cultivators gathered together. More demon cultivators searched the battlefield, leading to the current situation. I want four Buddhas, and you divide the rest. Li Yuanba appeared outside the battlefield and said in a deep voice, Who are you? You are so loud! A demon cultivator said dissatisfied. Li Yuanba did not speak, but looked at the demon cultivators. These few knew him, and were the foundation-building demon cultivators who came with him. Senior brother, we have no objection. Those demon cultivators who knew Li Yuanba quickly expressed their attitude loudly. The rest of the demonic cultivators also reacted. Several demonic cultivators were in the middle and late stages of foundation establishment. But they called an early stage foundation establishment cultivator senior brother. Needless to say, they were true disciples. Senior brother, I have such a bad mouth that I can't speak. Please forgive me. It's up to you to handle this situation. The dissatisfied demon cultivator changed his expression and said repeatedly, Then let's fight quickly. It will be very troublesome to attract more Buddhas. Li Yuanba said without taking Emoshio's previous words to heart. He waved his hand, and the sword light struck the surrounded Buddha with sword intent. Be careful. Here comes the true message. The surrounded Buddha naturally heard the exchanges between the demon cultivators. They reminded each other. But in fact, they were encouraging themselves. The true disciples of Mosex do not have a simple, powerful secret method of inheritance, powerful spiritual weapons, and various life-saving means making the true disciples almost a nightmare for ordinary monks.
The sword light fell on a cassock spiritual weapon. The cassock turned into a golden wall, blocking an area. It was the strongest defense among the twelve Buddhas. Just one blow caused the master of the cassock spiritual weapon to change his expression. Sword intent! This is sword cultivation! He exclaimed. The second blow and the third blow, which was just over a breath. The sword light attacked three times in a row. This good great cassock spiritual weapon lost its defensive effect, lost contact with its owner, and fell to the ground. The Buddha also spit out a mouthful of blood when he wanted to take out a new defensive weapon to fill the gap in defense. The sword light was already close. The defense formed by the cooperation of twelve Buddhas is indeed very effective. Each Buddha can ensure the safety of all Buddhas as long as he concentrates his spiritual power on his own corner. But similarly, this kind of defense also has shortcomings. If the defense is broken and the enemy's attack speed is fast enough, then all the cooperating Buddhas will lose protection in a short time. The sword light was like the most terrifying poisonous snake at this time. It first killed the owner of the cassock spiritual weapon, and then passed through the Buddhas, killing half of the Buddhas in succession. Only then did the Buddhas react and spread out their defensive formations to defend themselves. But it was already too late. The remaining six Buddhas, even if Liu Yuanba stopped taking action, could not block the attacks of the fifteen demon cultivators. Liu Yuanba did not hold back. The sword light caught up with the Buddha, and in the Buddha's desperate eyes, he broke his defensive weapon and destroyed his life. The remaining demon cultivators also surrounded and killed five of the Buddhas. And three demon cultivators surrounded and killed one Buddha. If they could no longer resolve the battle quickly, they were no longer worthy of participating in this war. After the battle ended, all the demon cultivators looked at Liu Yuanba with awe. Li Yuanba came to the battlefield and broke the deadlock in less than two breaths. He killed seven more Buddhas in a row, showing the terror of sword cultivators. Li Yuanba nodded, and he put away the four Buddha corpses. He chose Buddhas who were in the middle and late stages of foundation building. No demon cultivator had any objections to this. It wasn't until Li Yuanba left that these demon cultivators began to discuss how to distribute the results of the battle, which had nothing to do with Li Yuanba. In the next few days, Li Yuanba galloped across the battlefield, killing one Buddha after another. His sword intention has also become more powerful in this kind of battle. It seems that he has killed too many monks. And the killing aura in his sword intention is also extremely strong. There was even one time when he was fighting against a Buddha who was in the initial stage of strength. The murderous aura in the sword's intention directly affected the Buddha's mind. The opponent didn't even make a counterattack. But his body was stiff and his sword penetrated the heart. There are more and more Buddha corpses in Li Yuanba's storage bracelet. And his murderous reputation is also spreading on the battlefield. Chapter 224 Tracking After staying on the battlefield for five days, Li Yuanba decided to return to the checkpoint. He needed to consider how to meet the real person Li Shiming. The main body Li Shiming has been waiting on a mountain peak close to the Jindao Pass for a day. He mainly needs to observe the situation on the battlefield and study the formation on the Jindao side. This formation is jointly guarded by three righteous forces. Shushan sect, Qianhuan sect and Qianye temple. If Li Shiming dares to enter the level directly, he will immediately be left behind by the Jin and elder of Shushan sect who guards the level. A true alchemist like him would be a treasure in any large sect. How could he be allowed to take risks at will? Besides, this foundation building battle is between Qianba temple and Sun Luo sect to resolve their hatred. And it has not yet developed to the extent that the other two sects of the right path will also participate. If Shushan sect and Qianhuan sect want to participate, Qianye Temple must at least take the initiative to invite them. So no matter from which aspect, Li Shiming cannot enter the battlefield. Li Shiming stayed outside the checkpoint just to explore the formation. He has the identity of a true disciple of the Shushan sect. The formation will not attack him. As long as he does not enter the formation to activate it, there will be no problem. He just followed the defense line and found a weak point in the formation and tried to find out the loopholes in the formation here. It is impossible for such a large formation to be completely created by a formation master or a senior formation master. Normally, such a large formation is designed by a formation master, and then arranged by formation masters at all levels. Only the key formation nodes are arranged by senior formation masters, or a formation master to operate it. The weak points he found should have been constructed by intermediate formation masters, and there were many mistakes in them. Of course, even if there is a formation master here, it will be difficult to take advantage of any mistakes in the formation. The overall operation of the large array can cover up these tiny flaws. 
preventing the Array Master from finding any exploitable possibilities. But Li Shiming is different. With the help of Z15, as long as he finds a vulnerability, he can analyze how to exploit it through rigorous calculations. After several hours of hard work, he finally mastered the loophole here and was able to enter and exit silently. However, Li Shiming did not proceed immediately. He needed to cooperate well with Li Yuanbo. He could not stay on the battlefield for too long and would return immediately as soon as the supplies were exchanged. He still needs to practice. Purple Qi from the east. And the time will be the morning of the next day. Li Yuanbao returned to the Jieshan level. He first verified the body with the deacon and exchanged it for contribution points. Then he came to the exchange pavilion. In the exchange pavilion, he exchanged all his contribution points for formation knowledge. Some Luosex formation system is mostly based on Enon's spiritual energy, which is a relatively unique inheritance. He even saw the complete knowledge of the Netherworld Ghost Realm formation. But this kind of formation that requires third grade formation materials to be deployed is not something he can currently redeem. For formations that require third grade formation materials, all major sects have the same attitude and strictly control their spread. This blockade is for all the monks in the entire Golden Core stage. Because once the knowledge of this type of formation spreads out, the formation masters will compete with the Golden Core monks for third grade materials, which will make the few third grade materials even more tense. It can be said that this is also a knowledge monopoly. A knowledge monopoly that all major sects participate in. Whether they are the righteous or the demon sect. Li Yuanba had more than 10,000 contribution points. All of which he exchanged for formation knowledge. Due to different types. These formation knowledge were placed in 15 jade slips. This is also the only knowledge that the main body Li Shiming currently needs. Li Shiming has also exchanged a lot of formation knowledge in Shushan sect. It can be said that Li Shiming's accumulation of formation knowledge is improving rapidly. He feels that another breakthrough from the formation Starlight Sea is no longer so out of reach. Therefore, Li Shiming needs all the formation knowledge he can get to supplement his total formation knowledge. Li Yuanba exchanged his loot for a batch of second grade elixirs unique to Shawanishan. Anyway, it would be useless for him to keep the spiritual weapons and spiritual objects of ordinary demon cultivators and Buddhas. It would be better to exchange them for the unique elixirs of Shawandishan. It has some benefits for the body to make alchemy. Having done this, he left the level again. Elder Lu was still watching from a distance. But this time he turned around and went back to the cave, took out a puppet, injected a spiritual power into the puppet, and placed the puppet in the temporary cave where he normally rested. With this aura, and the fact that he placed a jade plate of identity in the hands of the puppet, both the gene and elders outside, and the formation would think that he was still here. He took a long breath, and the breath in his body dropped rapidly, and he quickly dropped from the golden elixir stage to the late stage of foundation establishment. He tapped his body a few times with his fingers. This secret method allowed him to suppress his breath in the late stage of foundation building, and would not be noticed by the Arhats of Chinya Temple and the righteous golden elixir monks. Of course, as long as he moves beyond the late stage of foundation building, his secret method will be automatically unlocked. Under normal circumstances, no golden elixir would do this. Because even the defense of a golden elixir in this state has dropped to the late stage of foundation building, which is the weakest state. Once he is attacked by a monk of the same level, he may die on the spot before he can unleash his original strength. Elder Lu originally planned to find a chance to meet Li Yuanba. But he didn't know that Li Yuanba didn't stay at the Jishan Pass at all. He returned twice in total. Both times, he left immediately after handing in the task and handling the affairs. There was no problem at all. Leave him any chance. Li Yuanba's caution forced Elder Lu to take risks. Elder Lu thought it was worth taking the risk for a possible magical power. Elder Lu took out another identity jade disc, which was the identity of a sec foundation building monk. He just left the level with a new identity and followed Li Yuanba's aura. This was the mark he left on Li Yuanba's body when he patted him lightly for the last time. Li Yuanba could detect nothing about Jean Dan's methods. Although Li Yuanba also checked his body, he did not find anything abnormal. Li Yuanba made it clear this time that he was going to the predetermined location, a position close to the Zheng Dao defense line, the main body on the other side. Li Shiming also passed through the formation and entered the edge of the battlefield, waiting for Li Yuanba. He was very comfortable. He arranged a formation with 72 formation flags and rested here. How many foundation building monks have the Sen Luo sect put into the battlefield? Shikong Arhut asked in a deep voice. About 1,200. Jiming Arhut quickly answered. 
Ju Tu's situation is unstable. He hasn't killed for too long. If this continues, he may not be able to restrain himself anymore. Let him go to the battlefield. Shi Kong Ar had thought for a while and said, Let's see if Saluo sect loses these 1,200 foundation building monks. What will it do to compete with our sect in the next 300 years? Jiming Arhut said with a smile. He has great confidence in Buddha Juetu. Once Buddha attains Buddhahood and becomes an Arhut, he will be able to add a powerful Arhut to Chinya Temple, even as long as his realm is raised to a level similar to that of Elder Jin. At that time, he could fight with Elder Jin. These 1,200 foundation building demon cultivators are the corpses of the Arhats who slaughtered the Buddha. Jueta Buddha's uncontrollable murderous intention can be controlled by himself as long as he reaches the Arhat level. The efforts Chiba Temple has put in over the past hundred years are completely worth it. Jiming Arhat waved his hand at the formation behind him. The formation opened, and a murderous intention was no longer suppressed by the formation and soared straight into the sky. Amit Ba! Shikong Arhat recited the Buddha's name in a deep voice, and his murderous intention was suppressed by this Buddha's name. At this time, a figure appeared in the formation. This was a monk wearing black robes, and his height reached 2.5 meters. A height of 2.5 meters is extremely rare in the world of immortal cultivators. When using secret techniques, there are even taller demon cultivators than him. Buddha Juetu was not extremely strong like the ordinary Buddhas from Chiba Temple. Instead, he was thin, with sunken eye sockets, high cheekbones, and red eyes. If you hadn't known that he was a half-step golden elixir Buddha, you would have thought that he was the corpse of some demon cultivator. His appearance is almost 70% similar to that of refined corpse. He looks more like a demon cultivator than a demon cultivator. Especially the murderous intention all over his body makes him have no Buddhist intention and compassion at all. Go! This is your path to advancement. Kill thousands of people of the same rank to become your Buddha. Shikong Ar had pointed in the direction of the battlefield and said slowly, Uncle, I can't suppress it anymore. Buddha Jueta made a hoarse voice, which sounded like he was being suppressed. After Jueta Buddha finished speaking, he clasped his hands together and bowed, then jumped into the air and rushed towards the battlefield. Namo Amitabha Knight. Duo Taka tonight. Duo Dika tonight. Amitabhavi. Buddha Buddha recited the mantra of rebirth. His killing was for all living beings and for the Buddha. This is his belief. As the rebirth curse in his mouth became louder and louder, the murderous intention in him not only did not weaken, but became stronger and stronger. Killing intent is just like the spiritual thoughts of other monks. It is the way he perceives it. The murderous intention released is even wider than the range of spiritual thoughts. For demon cultivators formed a team and were searching for the Buddha. Suddenly, they felt a chill all over their bodies, and an indescribable sense of evil enveloped them. It's funny to say that demon cultivators are actually afraid of evil. They should be the biggest source of evil in the world of immortal cultivators. Evil is an expression of emotion. And hidden within the emotion is a more terrifying murderous intention. When the four magicians were on alert, murderous intent filled their brains and souls. And they instantly froze in place. The devil like Jueta Buddha appeared. And his tall figure pounced on the four demon cultivators. He did not use any spiritual weapon. And his hands turned into sharp claws. Tearing the bodies of the four demon cultivators crazily. With flesh and blood flying everywhere. The four demon cultivators were torn into pieces by Buddha Jutu before they knew what was happening. Jueta Buddha's whole body was soaked in blood. With his half-step golden elixir, which can be said to be half-step Arhut's strength, he could completely avoid being soaked in blood. But he enjoyed the taste of blood extremely, with an intoxicated look on his face. Kill! He howled hoarsely. On the San Luo sect side, a gene and elder discovered the undisguised aura in the battlefield. Half-step Arhut! Damn it! Why don't you have any information? Elder Jean Dan roared. He immediately sent a message to the other Jean Dan elders. And soon two more Jean Dan elders appeared. Where is Elder Lu? Elder Jean Dan asked with a frown. In the cave. I didn't receive the message. So I must have some insights. Another Jean Dan elder replied. How come Elder Lu is in seclusion now? A half-step Arhat has emerged from Chinya Temple. If we don't make a decision... I'm afraid the sex foundation building monks will suffer heavy casualties. Elder Jean Dan said anxiously. The other two Jean Dan elders also looked helpless. Both sides were four Jean Dan and Arhats. This was a fair war and recognized by both parties. On the righteous side, there were several Jean Dan monks from the righteous sect in a very close pass. But they were not involved in the war. 
but once the Jin Den elders of San Luo sect enter the battlefield and violate the rules of war. The righteous Jin Den monks over there will definitely use this as an excuse to surround and kill them. This is Jing Dao's conspiracy, which is to let San Luo sect make a choice between protecting the foundation monks or sending out Jin Den monks at the risk of being killed. In either case, it is beneficial to Chiba Temple. Inform all the monks immediately to return and withdraw from the battlefield. Elder Jin Den had no choice but to save one by one. He also knew that when they were unable to enter the battlefield, and there was no formation communication coverage within the battlefield, he would not be able to notify every foundation building monk. The location of the battlefield is exactly at the junction of Shawandashan and Shengdao. Both sides here are very restrained and take the initiative not to cover this area with formations, making this area one of the few places where long-distance communication using formations is not possible. Orders were quickly issued, but it was still morning, and most of the rested demon cultivators entered the battlefield. I can only hope that the true disciples can contain this half-step Arhut. Elder jeaned and shook his head and sighed. Although the half-step Arhut is strong, it is not without methods of restraint. The life-saving objects in the hands of true disciples, such as talismans, have the power to threaten the half-step Arhut. However, several Jin Den elders did not know the situation of the Buddha. If they knew that this was a half-step Arhut who killed himself to become a Buddha, they would not think so. Talismans or other life-saving attack items take time to activate. Besides, it is still a problem for an attack like a talisman, which is almost one-tenth of the power of a magic weapon, to harm the half-step Arhut. Jutu Buddha Jueta Buddha is not even a little bit better than the ordinary half-step Arhut. It can be said that he has ceiling-level combat power in the foundation building stage. Why do the Arhats of Chinyat Temple feel extremely confident about the death of Buddha? This is precisely because they have this understanding. Li Yuanba did not have as sensitive a perception as Elder Jin Dan. And he was still approaching the rendezvous destination quickly. Elder Lu behind him also did not sense the half-step Arhat aura of Jueta Buddha. It was not that Elder Lu was not strong enough but that he had suppressed all his own secret techniques to the late stage of foundation building, so that he could escape from the golden elixir monks on both sides. Monitoring. Chapter 225 Chase. Jueta Buddha's heart was full of murderous intentions, but he still had a glimmer of clarity. He received an order from Jikong Arhut, and needed to take back the Jade Foot relics inherited from Shin Zutong. He could sense the location of the Jade Foot relic. So after rushing into the battlefield, he followed the aura of the Jade Foot relic. All the demon cultivators he met along the way were naturally killed by him. His killing speed was extremely fast, without any delay in his speed. But Li Yuanba kept moving, which forced Jueta Buddha to adjust his direction, which made Jueta Buddha make an arc on the battlefield. Li Yuanba sensed the danger, and the terrifying murderous intent could be sensed from a long distance away. At the same time, Elder Lu also sensed the presence of Jueta Buddha, and his expression also changed slightly. He was not worried about his own safety. But if Jueta Buddha drew out his own suppressed strength, there would be a lot of trouble. On this foundation building battlefield, the golden elixir monks on both sides were watching. And it was hard to tell whether there were nascent souls and venerables watching. If Elder Lu is really forced to lose his golden elixir level strength on the battlefield, then he can't guarantee that he will not be surrounded by many golden elixir monks from the righteous path. This is not bad. But if nascent soul and the venerable take action, then it's a certain death situation. So he couldn't help but speed up, wanting to catch up with Li Yuanba as soon as possible and resolve the matter as soon as possible. As soon as he speeded up, he could no longer conceal his figure. Li Yuanba sends the aura of the late stage foundation establishment behind him, plus the aura of Jueta Buddha, which seemed to be aimed at him. Li Yuanba's heart sank. The aura in the later stage of foundation building was obviously following him. There were not many people in the foundation building stage who could follow him without being discovered by him. He guessed that he was a true disciple sent by Elder Lu, but he did not expect that Elder Lu would come in person. But even the true disciples sent by Elder Lu are not that easy to deal with. Plus, the enemies are so murderous. If they catch up with him, they may have to use the last resort. As for the last resort to save life, don't use the sword intent Buddha bead if you can. You must know that the sword intent Buddha bead is not only a life-saving sword intimation, but by keeping it by his side, he can constantly sense the sword intent of the Elder Sword, which will greatly promote the improvement of his sword intent. Li Yuanba could only speed up and quickly meet up with the real body Li Shiming. With Li Shiming's help, he might be able to deal with the two monks who were following him. Thinking of this, he no longer hid his strength, and a white lotus appeared under his feet. 
The next white lotus appeared nearly a hundred meters away, and his figure flashed above the white lotus. White lotuses appeared one after another, and his figure continued to disappear, disappear, and reappear in the void. The lotus that grows every step of the way is the magic foot power. Elder Lu, who was following behind, saw Li Yuanba suddenly speeding up, and even saw the white lotus at Li Yuanba's feet clearly. How could he not know that Qinya Temple's most profound magical power? Stepping into lotus is the lowest level of divine foot power, which can be regarded as scratching the surface of divine foot power. He was extremely horrified that Li Yuanba actually learned the divine foot power. Doesn't that mean that the inheritance of divine foot power that Li Yuanba received can be learned at will? Perhaps the Ju Yuan Buddha also left his own insights along with him, which allowed Li Yuanba to learn it easily. Divine Foot Power Elder Lu thinks that his qualifications and talents are better than Li Yuanba's. This is what he thinks. Of course, if he can become a monk at the Golden Core stage, his qualifications and talents are definitely top-notch. There are many talented monks, and several can be found in every Immortal Ascension Conference. But there are not many talented monks who can truly grow up. It is not a problem for a genius monk to become a foundation-building monk. The probability is almost 100%. But it is very difficult for a genius monk to advance to the Golden Elixir. Promotion to the Golden Elixir is not only a matter of talent, but also requires corresponding resources. The resources to advance to the Golden Elixir are extremely precious and rare even in the relatively rich continent of Beishu. The Golden Elixir resources of each major sect require many talented monks to compete to obtain them. In this way, the strongest and luckiest ones are selected among the talented monks. Elder Lu became a Golden Elixir monk through competition. He undoubtedly believed that he was more talented than Li Yuanba. So at this time, he was already considering that after catching up with Li Yuanba, he would not rush to kill Li Yuanba. He would find out the secret of Li Yuanba's cultivation of the magical foot power. Building Lotus step by step, Li Yuanba's speed was extremely fast. The first time he put Budling Lotus into practice, he showed terrifying speed suppression. The monk behind him, who was in the late stage of foundation building, was quickly thrown away by him. His speed was almost double that of the monk behind him. As for the murderous intent that was approaching in the distance, it could no longer get closer. Instead, it was pulled further and further away. The murderous intent he perceived was reduced a lot due to the distance. With a thought in his heart, he changed his direction. Anli Shimming, the main body on the other side, also started to make preparations. He changed direction, but he had clearly left the sensing range of the late-stage foundation-building monks behind him. But he still sensed the aura of the late-stage foundation-building monks, who were unreservedly exposed due to their full speed. The biggest benefit of the Yuan Ba's use of Bu 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 Shun Lotus is that although his speed has increased, he does not need to mobilize too much spiritual power, which allows him to control his aura without revealing it too much. In this way, in theory, as long as he is fast enough, he can make the monks following him lose the ability to lock on his breath. But he was wrong. He changed directions many times. But behind him, whether it was the late-stage foundation-building monks or the soaring murderous intent, they were also constantly changing directions. And they were still locked on him. Sure enough, there is something wrong with Elder Lu's shot, he thought to himself. Ever since he was first ambushed by Wang Chung Jun and several demon cultivators, he had been extremely careful not to allow any cultivators to get close enough to set a mark on him. The only person who could put a mark on him during this period was Elder Lu. As for the other monk with murderous intent, he thought it might be the Jade Foot Relic. This was no random guess. When he discovered that the building lotus step by step technique in the Jade Foot Relic had such speed, he had a clear understanding of the value of the Jade Foot Relic. Building lotus step by step is only the lowest level skill among the Jade Foot Relics and there are more advanced skills further up. The value of such inheritance is self-evident. If Chinya Temple had no tracking method, Li Yuanba wouldn't believe it. Thinking about it, the monk with murderous intent in the back should be the Buddha who tracked the Yuzu relics in Chinba Temple. He didn't care about the mark of the Jade Foot Relic. As long as he met the real person Li Shiming, he would hand the Jade Foot Relic into Li Shiming's hands. It fell into the hands of Li Shiming and put the Yuzu Relic into the computer room space. No matter what Chinba Temple did, it could no longer sense the existence of the user relic. He has great confidence in this. And he has hidden important spiritual objects through the computer room space many times. Elder Lu and Buddha Jueda both discovered each other. Elder Lu didn't want to cause trouble. He wanted to dodge Buddha Buddha. And he didn't want to conflict with a half-step arhat like Buddha Buddha. 
but apart from the task of recovering the Yuzu relics. Juetta Buddha's most important task was to massacre the monks of the Sun Luo sect. Elder Lu has a strong aura and is definitely the top among the monks in the foundation building period of Sun Luo sect. In Juetta Buddha's understanding, such a monk should be a true disciple of the Sun Luo sect. And such a valuable demon cultivator cannot be let go. As for Li Yuanba, there is the mark of the Jade Foot relic anyway. So there is no need to worry about not finding Li Yuanba. It was only a matter of time before we caught up with Li Yuanba and recovered the Jade Foot relics. Juetta Buddha's figure flashed and rushed towards Elder Lu. His murderous intention instantly surged towards Elder Lu like a tide. The hair on Elder Lu's whole body stood on end. And his murderous intent made him extremely uncomfortable. Fortunately, although he suppressed his strength, his spirit was still at the Golden Core stage. So although the murderous intention made him uncomfortable, it could not really affect him. Damn it! It was Jinya Temple who became a Buddha with the murderous intention. Jinya Temple cultivated such a monster. Why does the sect not have any intelligence information? Elder Lu cursed the sect's intelligence department in his heart. He believed that Li Yuanba's use of the top-notch magical power, Budling Lotus, must be huge. As long as he keeps tracking for a while, he will catch up with Li Yuanba. When the time comes, he will catch Li Yuanba and leave. Once he leaves the battlefield, he will be fine. He didn't want to fight with Jota Buddha at all. But Jota Buddha wanted to kill him. He speeded up, and Jueta Buddha was enraged. And the murderous intention in his body was as real as a canoe appeared at his feet. The murderous intention solidified into a light boat. And the Buddha Jueta who stood on it drove the light boat. And its speed suddenly increased. Li Yuanba was already close to the position of the original Li Shiming. He couldn't help but slow down. With the advance arrangement of the original Li Shiming, he had confidence in his own safety. He stepped into a formation in one step which was a formation composed of 120 formation flags. Based on Li Shiming's formation level, although he has not yet reached the level of a formation master, he is already considered to be the top among advanced formation masters. His formation combines Tianhai sect, Zongshan sect, and a lot of miscellaneous formation knowledge. However, because the time for him to obtain these formation knowledge is too short, even Z15 analysis and research will take a long time. When Z15 successfully analyzes and studies all the formation knowledge thoroughly, maybe he can be promoted directly to the formation master. Of course, if he gets more formation knowledge, he can also rely on his mastery of formation knowledge to force formations in Wanhai to be promoted. And he can also be promoted to formation master. Li Yuanba stood in the formation and took out the giant mountain talisman. He still had no intention of using the sword intention beads. Elder Lu felt that the mark left on Li Yuanba's body had stopped moving. He couldn't help but feel happy. Soon, he would be able to catch up with Li Yuanba. He turned back and glanced at Jueta Buddha. Fear flashing in his eyes. The state of the Buddha is extremely terrifying. Like a Rakshasa from H. L. And has no resemblance to a Buddhist monk. But this is the most powerful cultivation method in Buddhism. Killing to become a Buddha. In the name of cleaning up demons for Buddhism. Through killing to strengthen one's murderous intention and strengthen one's belief. This is a technique that can easily go astray even among demon cultivators. Few demon cultivators dare to practice it with murderous intent. Those who can successfully cultivate murderous intent and succeed in demonic cultivation are all terrifying beings who can harm the world of immortality for at least hundreds of thousands of years. Elder Lu was thinking while using all his speed. He had already used the secret method, and this speed had reached his limit. Of course, this limit refers to his current state. If he continues to increase his speed, the restrictions on him will be broken and the strength of his golden elixir will be leaked. Later, Ju Tu Buddha's speed also increased. But according to Elder Lu's estimation, he could catch up with Li Yuanba first. As for Li Yuanba's resistance, it was a joke to him. Even if he suppresses his cultivation, he is still in the realm of the Golden Core stage. With the strength of the Golden Core stage in the late stage of Foundation Establishment. If he cannot kill a monk in the early stage of Foundation Establishment in one breath, he a golden core cultivator. Might as well be killed headlong. Come on. Finally he saw Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba was standing there. Smiling on a white lotus. More like Buddha than Jueta Buddha behind him. Li Yuanba was actually shocked when he discovered that it was Elder Lu who entered the foundation building battlefield in person. He thought that the only thing about him that could attract Elder Lu was probably the Jade Foot Relic. For the Jade Foot Relic, this golden elixir demon cultivator also fought hard. He also knew what it meant for the Golden Elixir monks to enter the battlefield. 
This gave the righteous golden elixir monks an excuse to kill Elder Lu at any time. Elder Lu held one hand in front and rushed towards Li Yuanba in a mysterious way. He believed that Li Yuanba could not escape his grasp. This was a catch made by a man with more than 500 years of combat experience and a vision far superior to that of Li Yuanba. In theory, Li Yuanba could not avoid being caught. But the problem is that there is a formation where Li Yuanba stands. As Elder Lu approached, he discovered the existence of the formation. His body turned in the air without hitting the formation. He looked at Li Yuanba and the formation in surprise. With his experience, he could naturally sense how extraordinary this formation was. He also knew that Li Yuanba had exchanged a lot of knowledge about formations. In his opinion, Li Yuanba was interested in formations. Every monk will more or less choose a deputy job. Although pure swordsmen rarely choose a deputy job, Li Yuanba is still young and it is normal to be interested in some knowledge. But what he didn't expect was that Li Yuanba could actually set up such a formation in a short period of time. A formation that could block the late stage foundation building monks. Such a formation would be impossible for any formation master to set up in just a few hours. But he followed the Yuanba without stopping for a moment. How could he possibly set up such a formation in such a short time? Where's the formation? Chapter 226 Sandpiper and Clam While Elder Lu was still thinking quickly about how to break the formation, Juetta Buddha also caught up with him. Juetta Buddha did not use a spiritual weapon. Killing intent was his most powerful weapon. He flew towards Elder Lu and the killing intent formed sharp blades on each of his fingers. Elder Lu shook his head. He dodged Juetta Buddha's attack, and at the same time a flying sword appeared in front of him. If we want to talk about Elder Lu's strongest point after suppressing his cultivation, it is of course that he can still use magic weapons. He did not use the original magic weapon. As an elder from a large sect, Jean Dan Elder naturally does not have only one magic weapon. Flying swords are not unique to sword cultivators. It is precisely because of the strength of sword cultivators and the fact that although some monks have not learned the skills of sword cultivators, they have also learned the skills of using flying swords in the sword cultivators. Countless over the years, the flying sword has become one of the mainstream magical weapons in the world of immortality. Although Elder Lu's flying sword magic weapon is not particularly powerful, it is enough to deal with foundation building monks. Even if Jueta Buddha had even a little bit of the strength of the golden elixir, it was still in the foundation building stage. If you didn't go beyond this level, you wouldn't be able to appreciate the power of the golden elixir. Of course, Elder Lu's use of the flying sword magic weapon is not without restraint. He can only exert one-tenth of the power of the flying sword magic weapon. If it is stronger, it will break the suppression of his cultivation. As soon as the flying sword magic weapon came out, it immediately alerted Buddha Juetu. Although Juetu Buddha was affected by the murderous intention, he was not a fool. The murderous intention drove his body but the Buddha's heart kept him awake. Otherwise, he would have fallen into an incomparable murderous calamity. Elder Lu would not answer him, but would speed up the flying sword magic weapon and shoot it towards Buddha Juetu. Juetu Buddha looked at the flying sword magic weapon and suddenly hit his chest, and then he spit out a mouthful of blood. The blood was not red, but terrifying black, and the blood was still squirming strangely, as if it came from H. L. Elder Lu did not expect Juetu Buddha to have such a move. The flying sword magic weapon had already arrived in front of Juetu Buddha, and his front was sprayed with black blood. The flying sword magic weapon stagnated in the air, and Elder Lu felt as if his brain had been hit by a big hammer. In the Feijin magic weapon, the killing intent contained in the black blood has invaded the inside of the magic weapon and is destroying the spiritual mark inside. Ordinary killing intent would not be able to do this. Juetu Buddha used the essence and blood in his heart. This mouthful of his was equivalent to using all the efforts of more than 10 years at once. He knew very well that if he did not use this golden elixir monk to suppress his strength and inflict heavy damage, it would be hard to say whether he would be alive, let alone complete the mission given by Chinya Temple. Therefore, he came up with the skill of risking his life. It is estimated that even Elder Lu did not expect that he would risk his life just after the fight. Buddha Jueta had an extremely extreme nature. Without such a temperament, how could he achieve anything in killing and becoming a Buddha? When he found out that Elder Lu was a golden elixir cultivator, Juetta Buddha used his few abilities that could influence the golden elixir magic weapon. Elder Lu was extremely uncomfortable. The flying sword magic weapon was connected to his mind. When the flying sword magic weapon was attacked, the mental mark was erased, and the damage backfired on his spirit. Of course, if he controlled the flying sword magic weapon with the strength of golden elixir, he would not be able to succeed at two Buddha. 
It is precisely because his strength was suppressed to the late stage of foundation establishment that he used the spiritual power in the late stage of foundation establishment to mobilize the flying sword magic weapon. In addition to being much more powerful than the spiritual weapon, the flying sword magic weapon was also able to resist the spiritual attacks of Buddha Jyotu. Not much better than ordinary spiritual weapons. Not to mention that Buddha Jyotu used the secret method that was confirmed by Chinya Temple to be effective on the Golden Elixir Monk's magic weapon. This alone traumatized Elder Lu's spirit. Jyotu Buddha did not hesitate and rushed towards Elder Lu in a flash. Elder Lu's instinctive dodge allowed him to dodge Jyotu Buddha's attack again. After all, Elder Lu's combat experience was so rich that even the body's instinctive self-protection movements were able to dodge an attack like Ju Tu foes. Juetta Buddha attacked more than 10 times in a row. He also discovered this and knew that this type of attack was completely ineffective against Elder Lu. How could the Jin and elders of Sun Luo's sect and the Jin and monks in this position be simple? Li Yuanba and the original Li Shiming who stood aside and watched were dumbfounded. Li Shiming thought that he and his clone Li Yuanba were very powerful in the foundation building period. But when he saw the battle between the two, he realized that he was the frog in the well underestimated the monks in the world. Take the flying sword magic weapon used by Elder Lu to suppress his cultivation. Each strike is much stronger than the talisman in his hand. You must know that a talisman is generally one-tenth to one-tenth of the power of a magic weapon. And you need to prepare for several breaths each time. The flying sword magic weapon used by Elder Lu is equivalent to a talisman with unlimited use. And its power is much stronger than all talismans. But such an attack was broken by Juetta Buddha with one blow. And the flying sword magic weapon actually lost control. Elder Lu obviously didn't want to get involved in every attack from Juetta Buddha. So he kept dodging. If Elder Lu could resist Juetta Buddha's attack, he would have fought hard. For Elder Lu, this should theoretically be the least fearful way of fighting. I must force out your golden elixir strength. As long as you show a little bit of your golden elixir strength, you will be dead. Juetta Buddha stared at Elder Lu with his red eyes and shouted. I don't want to be your enemy. I'm just looking for the monk in the formation. We don't need to fight to the death. Elder Lu also has a big problem. He has lost a magic weapon and needs to be refined even after taking it back. He really didn't want to fight anymore. The refining of magic weapons is not that easy. It takes an extremely long time. And its power also increases with the time of refining. It can be said that the loss of the flying sword magic weapon alone made his operation suffer a huge loss. It's worth trading my life for yours. Buddha asked the question in a different way. The killing intent on his body suddenly subsided. Black blood flowed from his eyes. And black blood also flowed from his mouth and nose. Although the killing intent has subsided, the aura on his body is constantly increasing. He is about to break through the golden elixir layer. But he is only one step away from the golden elixir. Of course, it was impossible for Juetta Buddha to forcibly upgrade himself to the golden elixir stage by relying on his secret method. But his secret method this time brought him closer to the strength of the golden elixir. The secret method requires the consumption of life force. And this is the real fight for one's life. He felt that with a golden elixir monk like Elder Lu on the battlefield, he would not be able to complete the orders given to him by Chinya Temple. So he would exchange his own life for the life of a golden elixir monk, which was also extremely cost effective. Trade. His ideas are extreme. And he will definitely do it if he thinks of it. He didn't even consider that he was a half step arhat. Only one step away from becoming an arhat. The best choice was to remain useful. He even did not consider negotiating with Elder Lu to avoid fighting as Elder Lu said. After he said that he had forced Elder Lu to use the golden elixir, he no longer considered other things. There was only one thing in his mind, which was to use all means to force Elder Lu to a dead end so that Elder Lu had to use the golden elixir strength. This is close to the Zhang Dao defense line. As long as Elder Lu uses the strength of the golden elixir, at least four arhats, and almost the same number of Jin Dan from other Zhen Dao sects will immediately arrive on the battlefield and kill Elder Lu. Juetta Buddha's speed increased a lot. And he pounced on Elder Lu again. Elder Lu gritted his teeth and took out another Jade Ruler magic weapon. Black runes were drawn on the Jade Ruler. And it looked very ghostly when it appeared. This was his natal magic weapon. In this state, he didn't want to use his natal magic weapon. But he didn't have much choice. He had to kill Buddha Juetu with all his strength before he could escape. The Jade Ruler magic weapon was thrown out by him. And it became more than one foot in the air. At the same time, two illusory ghost hands stretched out from the Jade Ruler magic weapon and grabbed the flying Buddha. An ugly sneer appeared on Jueta Buddha's terrifying face. 
He didn't even care that he was caught by ghost hands. He vomited black blood again. And the black blood fell on the huge jade ruler magic weapon. The natal magic weapon is different from ordinary magic weapons. At least it is extremely resistant to the blood essence and blood of Jueta Buddha that is full of murderous intent. Elder Lu just looked a little ugly, but he was not as traumatized as before. Mid-stage golden elixir! Buddha Jueta exclaimed when he saw that his murderous essence and blood had not contaminated this magic weapon. The middle stage of the golden core is already a small part of the golden core stage. Most of the monks in the golden core stage will be stuck in the early stage. And there are very few golden core monks in the middle and late stages. Suppress! Elder Lu pressed down his hand. And the Jade Ruler magic weapon was pressed down hard. Jueta Buddha was pressed to the ground by the Yufei magic weapon without any resistance. Until now, Elder Lu has not exposed the strength of the Golden Core Cultivator. All using the strength of the Foundation Building Stage, Jueta Buddha refused to give up and spat out black blood one after another, which fell on the Jade Ruler magic weapon. But the Jade Ruler magic weapon suppressed him tightly, as if it was not affected at all. Elder Lu breathed a long sigh of relief. He was just a little bit away from being able to lock in the strength of the golden elixir. Yes, I unexpectedly got a good furnace cauldron to refine you into a corpse. There is a high probability that you will become the best. He looked at the Buddha who was pressed under the jade ruler magic weapon and said with a smile. He used his life magic weapon to suppress Jueta Buddha. Fortunately, there was no one else around and the only audience would be silenced by him. Otherwise, if the monks of the sect find out about this, he will probably become a laughing stock. The monk in the middle stage of the Golden Core was actually injured when he subdued the foundation building monk. Elder Lu walked to the side of Buddha Juetu. Buddha Juetu, who was suppressed by the Jade Ruler magic weapon, wanted to struggle, but was unable to do so. Under the suppression of the Jade Ruler magic weapon, all the power in Buddha Juetu's body could not be mobilized. His murderous intention, which had almost reached the Golden Elixir stage, and had been cultivated for a hundred years, became obedient in front of the Jade Ruler Magic Weapon. Baby, this also has to do with specialization in the arts. Although Chiba Temple has a legacy of killing people and becoming a Buddha, it seems that Chiba Temple is very strong in the study of killing people. But it is not the righteous forces like Chinba Temple that have done the most research on murderous intent. But the Demon Sect and the Demon Cultivator. Demon Cultivators dare to use monks for live experiments. Dare to forcibly extract the souls of monks for research. And dare to kill a large number of lives. Just to enhance their own strength. During these processes, it is inevitable that murderous intentions will arise. And the demon cultivator has rich experience in suppressing murderous intentions. The Jade Ruler Magic Weapon has the function of restraining murderous intent. Juetta Buddha encountered a restraining magic weapon. And it was also the natal magic weapon for monks in the middle stage of the Golden Elixir. His failure was inevitable. It's a pity that no matter how hard you two Buddha tried, he still couldn't let Elder Lu reveal the strength of Jean Dan on the battlefield during the foundation building period. His eyes were full of unwillingness. Elder Lu stretched out a finger and touched the center of his eyebrows. In this unwillingness, Buddha Jueta's life disappeared. Elder Lu carefully put away the Jade Ruler for fear of damaging the body of Buddha Jueta. He took out the coffin, which was only about the size of his thumb. The coffin grew larger after he took it out. He put the body of Buddha Buddha into the coffin. After doing this, he relaxed, and his spiritual mind swept over and took back the flying sword magic weapon that had its mental imprint destroyed. Li Yuan Ba, you must be a smart person and know why I came to you. Elder Lu turned to look at Li Yuan Ba and said calmly. Li Yuan Ba nodded, and the Jade Foot Relic appeared in his hand, feeling the vast Buddha power coming from the Jade Foot Relic. Elder Lu showed a greedy look. If you want, Give me something in exchange, Li Yuanba said, throwing the jade foot relic in his hand. What do you want? Elder Lu suppressed the anger in his heart. He didn't want Li Yuanba to live at all. But before that, he needed to get out of Li Yuanba the secret of how to practice the magic foot power. Building lotus step by step. I see that Elder Lu is good at refining corpses. I wonder if you can give me a silver corpse. I think it won't be a problem for me to get a silver corpse if I go up a level. Right, Li Yuanba said loudly. This is naturally impossible. Not to mention that the aura of the golden elixir cannot appear on the battlefield during the foundation period. The silver corpse represents the strength of the golden elixir. Even if Elder Lu really has the silver corpse, which is also one of his main combat forces, how can he possibly trade it out? Besides, if Li Yuanba really mastered the silver corpse, 
he would have the strength to fight against Elder Lu. How could Elder Lu kill a Yuan bot easily? This is impossible. I have a Moonlight Corpse Scroll. Here. This is a corpse refining technique that can directly reach the Golden Corpse. Coupled with this corpse that is trained to kill and become a Buddha, you can at least refine a corpse with a corpse that is close to the strength of the Golden Elixir. If you have the opportunity in the future, you can also upgrade it to a silver corpse or even a gold corpse. Elder Lu said his conditions in a deep voice. He didn't care what he took out now, since it would be back in his hands later. He even took out a purple jade slip and the corpse refining coffin just now and threw them to Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba moved his fingers lightly, and the formation flashed, allowing the purple jade slips and the corpse refining coffin to enter and then close again. Elder Lu stood there with a smile and did not use this to attack. Elder Lu used this to show his sincerity so that Li Yuanba could continue to reveal more information. Chapter 227 Killing the Demon Li Yuanba took the purple jade slip and the shrunken corpse refining coffin. The corpse refining coffin is a special third grade spiritual object. It should be a corpse refining tool and is not a magic weapon. But the corpse refining coffin is not less valuable than the magic weapon. It is made of third grade materials. He can confirm this from the breath. Elder Jean Dan of a large sect is very wealthy. And he can easily find a third grade spiritual object. He praised. No matter what. The corpse refining coffin alone is enough to exchange for the jade foot relic. He put another spiritual thought into the purple jade slip and found that it was not something that could be done in a short time, but a complete inheritance. This purple jade slip should even be the original jade slip of a certain force. There are traces of time on the purple jade slips, which cannot be forged. The contents of the purple jade slip were not encrypted at all, and there was no test at all. He could see everything. Elder Lu, this is my inheritance. He put away the purple jade slips and the corpse refining coffin, then threw the jade foot relic and said. Elder Lu was pleasantly surprised. He originally thought that Li Yuanba would use some trick, but he did not expect that Li Yuanba would throw the jade foot relic over so simply. He was also cautious. With a wave of his hand, an iron corpse appeared next to him. This was one of the many refined corpses he had refined. It was not very strong, but it was still in the late stage of the iron corpse. Elder Lu's body suddenly stiffened and the consciousness in his body was forcibly sucked into the jade foot relic, and he began to assess him. The Yuzu relic is a secret inheritance of Chinya Temple, except for a very few senior officials of Chinya Temple. Few people within Chinya Temple know about it, let alone outside sex. Li Yuanba was sure that Elder Lu would inspect the jade foot relics, and he knew what the jade foot relics were like. Since Elder Lu attaches so much importance to the jade foot relics, and goes deep into the foundation building battlefield, and takes great risks to rob them, it is impossible not to check the authenticity of the jade foot relics. At the moment, when Elder Lu's consciousness was sucked into the jade foot relic, Li Yuanba summoned the generals. The general's figure flashed and rushed towards Tai Ji. Although Tai Ji received the order to protect Elder Lu, when he saw the general's appearance, he instinctively rushed forward. The general is much stronger than the iron corpse. But Elder Lu's iron corpse is obviously specially trained. Although it is not as good as the general in terms of attack power. Its defensive power is not weaker than the general. The general's attack was carried with sword intent. This was an extremely special pinnacle iron corpse. But the effect was not very obvious when attacking Elder Lu's iron corpse. Li Yuanba sent out a sword light and shot towards Elder Lu. Just when the sword light was about to fall on Elder Lu, Elder Lu's body instinctively dodged and he actually avoided the blow. This is another special method of Elder Lu. When his consciousness cannot control his body, he will develop an instinctive consciousness to protect himself. Every golden elixir cultivator is not ordinary. They all have different opportunities and have various means to save their lives. The sword light continued to attack back and forth. But Elder Lu repeatedly dodged, making the sword light come back in vain. Li Yuanba had a toothache. Even in this situation, he still couldn't do anything to Elder Lu. He didn't dare to get close to fight a real gene and elder. Although Elder Lu suppressed his strength, that body was a real mid-gene on body. If he was hit in close combat, he would have to escape even if he died. Layer of skin. Not to mention that he couldn't guarantee that Elder Lu in this state would burst out with the strength of a golden elixir cultivator under certain suppression. Although Elder Lu will definitely be besieged by the righteous golden elixir monks by then. He will not be able to save his life before then. Elder Lu's fighting instinct was mobilized. And he would not just let Li Yuanba attack like this. At this time, he didn't have much wisdom, and he only knew how to attack the nearest target. 
The general was the nearest target. Elder Lu rushed towards the general. He did not use any magic weapon and just hit the general with a palm of his body. After repelling the iron corpse, the general met Elder Lu with one palm. With their palms intertwined, Elder Lu and the general swayed at the same time. But neither party took advantage. Iron corpse rushed up again and attacked the general together with Elder Lu. Now the general was at a disadvantage and was accidentally hit by Iron Corpse and Elder Lu. Li Yuanba also saw that Elder Lu could not even use his spiritual power in this state and relied entirely on his powerful golden elixir body to fight. Otherwise, no matter how powerful the general's defense is, he will not be able to block a random attack from the middle stage of the Golden Core. Li Yuanba was anxious. He didn't know how long the Jade Foot Relic could trap Elder Lu. Elder Lu was not a month like him in the early stages of foundation building. His spirit was at least many times stronger than that of him and Li Shiming. He issued orders in his mind to the generals, who also fought and retreated. Drawing the battle aside, Elder Lu's fighting instinct suddenly looked to the side, and he punched there. A formation composed of nine formation flags was broken open by this blow. A ghost flew up in fright, but it did not escape the aftermath of the blow. There was also a small square box of unknown origin that was also shot into pieces. This ghost is the split soul of the Spirit control and soul dividing technique. It was used by Li Shiming to attract Elder Lu's attention. The small square box is a monitoring device. The split souls and monitoring equipment are all observing Elder Lu, allowing Elder Lu to at least sense the peeping eyes of the split souls among them. Li Shiming had already made arrangements here. In addition to the previous formations, he also arranged many backups. Here is one of his backups. His idea is to use the ghost's peak to attract the enemy's attention and he himself observes the enemy's every move through surveillance equipment. But he didn't expect that the enemy turned out to be a golden elixir monk. Fortunately, Elder Lu's consciousness was sucked into the Jade Foot Relic, giving him a chance. Li Shiming was beside the formation at this time, with his eyes closed and hidden in the shadow of a rock. And what he used was the new invisibility technique called Charming Soul Hidden Secret Technique. This technique was extremely effective and gave him a way to lay out bait. Just when Elder Lu killed the split soul with one palm and shattered the monitoring equipment, Li Shiming's invisibility disappeared. And the high-grade magic weapon electromagnetic gun appeared in his hand. There was no need to aim. The bait was laid out just for this hit. Different from when he used the high-grade magic weapon electromagnetic gun during the Qi Chain stage. His understanding of formations has been greatly deepened. The formations he arranged to generate thunder and lightning are far more powerful than before and the power of the lightning produced has more than doubled. In addition, after so long accumulation, it has already reached the limit of the magic circle, the third grade sword base that serves as the cannonball in the high grade magic weapon electromagnetic gun is also due to Li Shiming's improvement in strength, especially the physical training strength that has exceeded the limit of the foundation building period. Even in the foundation building period, the third grade sword base is stronger than all spiritual weapons. All are stronger. This makes the power of the third grade sword base many times more powerful than the one used during the Qi Chain stage. Therefore, even though the high grade magic weapon electromagnetic gun itself has not undergone any enhancements, the internal power is more sufficient and the power of the SH LS has been improved, which makes the high grade magic weapon electromagnetic gun different in power. Li Shiming appeared, took out the high grade magic weapon electromagnetic gun, and fired it. Almost in the same instant, a dazzling light flashed, and the high-grade magic weapon electromagnetic gun fired a third-grade sword-based SH. L at Elder Lu. At this time, Elder Lu had just broken the formation with one palm, destroyed the souls, and destroyed the monitoring equipment. Before he could retract the palm, he encountered this third-grade sword-based cannonball attack. Elder Lu did not dodge. In fact, the attack was too fast leaving him no chance to dodge. The problem that worried Li Shiming the most did not arise. That is, Elder Lu did not use power beyond the foundation building period because of danger. This cannot be blamed on Elder Lu's instinctive fighting consciousness. The instinctive fighting consciousness misjudged the power of the high-grade magic weapon electromagnetic gun as a middle-stage golden elixir monk who has been in the world of immortality for a long time. How can he pay any attention to a magic weapon like the High-grade magic weapon electromagnetic gun. What is a high-grade magic weapon? It is a magic weapon used by monks in the middle and late stages of Chi Chain. Even the poorest foundation building monks cannot use it. 
Even poor foundation building monks can buy super grade magic weapons. Therefore, when a monk next to him launched an attack using a high grade magic weapon, Elder Lu's fighting instinct did not even think of dodge, and regarded the attack as a low level attack that could be directly resisted with the body. The third grade sword based SH LS emitted by the high grade magic weapon electromagnetic gun pierced the space with a speed and power beyond the imagination of monks in this world. Pierced Elder Lu's body and fired a fatal shot on him. Wound. The fatal injury to the body caused the Jade Foot Relic to sense the rapid loss of its life breath. So it relaxed the test of Elder Lu. Elder Lu's consciousness retreated from the user relic. And he immediately realized that something was wrong with the situation. He saw Li Yuanba and Li Shiming. And knew that they had been harmed by these two people. He no longer had any scruples. Mobilized the last strength in his body. And unlocked the power of the sealed golden elixir. But it was too late. The powerful golden elixir stopped halfway through its rise. Elder Lu's head hung down. And the breath of life completely disappeared from his body. Li Shiming stepped forward and put Elder Lu's body into the computer room. And gave Li Yuanba the storage bag he had prepared long ago. Li Yuanba also gave Li Shiming the storage bag he had prepared. Fellow Taoist, see you again when you have the opportunity. Li Yuanba bowed and said, Fellow Taoist, see you next time and see who of us can enter the golden elixir first. Li Shiming laughed. The main body and the clone looked at each other and smiled. Li Yuanba left first. White lotus flowers appeared from under his feet and soon disappeared. Li Shiming also knew that he couldn't stay here for a long time. He swept around with his spiritual thoughts, put away the formation flags and other things, and left quickly with the same foot on the white lotus. Just two breaths after leaving, an explosion sounded. It was another backup tool he left behind. But unfortunately, he didn't use it. In the end, it was used as a tool to clean up the battlefield. For breaths later, several figures appeared at the battle site. They were as many as eight Golden Core monks, including four Arhats and four Golden Core cultivators from the Righteous Sect stationed here. After sensing the Golden Elixir aura on the Foundation Building battlefield, they immediately understood that this was the Golden Elixir monk from the San Luo Sect entering the battlefield. There is no way to be polite at this time. Especially the two Arhats Shikong Jiming. They arranged for Jueta Buddha to take action. After learning that a Golden Elixir Demon Cultivator appeared on the battlefield, the first thing they thought of was that the Golden Elixir Demon Cultivator was for come to see Buddha. The two Arhats used the shortest time to invite many Golden Elixirs as witnesses and enter the Foundation Building battlefield. Hoping to keep the Golden Elixir Demon Cultivators who entered the battlefield. What kind of skill is this? Why is there no spiritual power fluctuation at all? Jiming Arhat asked with a frown as he looked at the scene where the ground was almost blown over. The other Jean Dan and Arhats all shook their heads. No matter how knowledgeable they were, they had never seen such a powerful explosion of mortal matter. The most important thing is that after such destruction, all traces of the scene have disappeared. And even the fighting atmosphere of the scene has not been retained. But considering that there was an explosion of Golden Elixir spiritual power here, it goes without saying that it must be the Golden Elixir Demon Cultivator who destroyed the battlefield traces. On the other side, the three Jean Dan elders on the other side of the Boundary Mountain Pass also sensed the fluctuations in the Jean Dan spiritual power on the Foundation Building Battlefield. They thought it was Qianye Temple or Zheng Dao who sent Jean Dan or Arhut into the battlefield. Elder Lu's aura has disappeared. Just as they were about to take a look, a Jean Dan elder exclaimed. The aura that Elder Lu left on the puppet in the temporary cave also disappeared after Elder Lu died. The puppet lost the spiritual imprint of its master and turned into a dead object. Elder Lu, who had always said that he was in retreat, disappeared. This situation would not be a problem if he were inside the mountain gate. But in this confrontational war environment, even if a monk is in retreat, he still needs to release his breath to let other monks know about your situation. No! Did Elder Lu enter the battlefield secretly? Another Jean Den elder shouted in a deep voice. They are all Jean Den elders of the same sect who have known each other for many years. Naturally, they know some of the secret methods of the Lu Presbyterian Church. Among them are methods of suppressing realms that can deceive Jean Dan exploration. The three Jean Dan elders looked at each other and asked for each other's opinions with their eyes. Then the three Jean Dan elders nodded. They jointly passed the decision to open Elder Lu's temporary cave and used the power in their hands to mobilize the power of the formation to forcefully open the temporary cave. When they entered the cave, they saw a dumb puppet. What should we do now? Looking at the unconscious puppet, Elder Yajindan asked helplessly. 
The state of the puppet is a good explanation of Elder Lu's ending. No wonder the golden elixir aura erupted in the foundation building battlefield. This was because he was fatally injured and fought back with all his strength before his death. They were certain that Elder Lu must have died. Otherwise, the puppet would not have lost its spiritual imprint. Of course, there are ways within the sect to confirm whether Elder Lu has died. Chapter 228 Return A foundation building battle between Qianba Temple and Sun Luo's sect stopped on this day because the golden elixirs and arits from both sides entered the battlefield. The terrifying aura made all the foundation building monks and Buddhas know that something was wrong. The demon cultivator and Buddha all withdrew from the battlefield, leaving Jean Dan and Arhut in the battlefield. Three golden elixir demon cultivators and four arits were facing each other in the air. Four righteous golden elixir monks stood in the distance and looked at each other. At this time, these four golden elixir monks could not interfere. Sun Luo's sect is really a demon sect. It even ignored the most important rules in the world of immortality and even sent Elder Jean Dan to participate in the foundation building battle. This battle made all the monks see the true face of the demon sect. Although Jiming Arhut is an eminent monk, but his mouth is extremely poisonous. He was not like this on weekdays. The most important thing was that Buddha Juetu was missing, and Buddha Juetu was not found on the battlefield. Although the scope of this battlefield is not small, it is only for the monks and Buddhas in the foundation building stage. For Jin Nan and Arhut, the battlefield can be inspected in a short time. Although Juetu Buddha is not an Arhut, he is the most promising Arhut, and is also the most powerful Arhut. In order to cultivate the Buddha, Chienya Temple paid a huge price not to mention the resources involved. Just searching for monks to kill for a hundred years was unimaginable. At the most critical time for Jueta Buddha's growth, he was actually killed by the golden elixir demon cultivator. How could he endure such a thing? If Sun Luo's sect didn't give an explanation, perhaps at this time, the two sides would directly break out into a battle between the Jin Dan and Arhat levels. Chien Ya Temple, you are so sinister that you use tricks to deceive Elder Lu into entering the battlefield with his foundation building strength and set up a trap to kill Elder Lu, and finally defeated him. The golden elixir demon cultivator roared. Both sides are just speculating, and there is no evidence. They are just throwing dirty water at each other. But the problem is that Sun Luo's sect lost a middle stage Jin and Elder, while Chienya Temple lost only the Buddha. Even the four righteous golden elixir monks standing in the distance looked at the Arhat of Chienya Temple with suspicious eyes, wondering what means they used to trick Elder Lu. Although the righteous Jin Den monks would not help a demon sect like Sun Luo's sect, they began to believe that what Sun Luo's sect said was true. A monk in the middle stage of the Golden Elixir, and also Elder Lu, a veteran demon cultivator. Elder Lu has become immersed in it in the past hundred years. Elder Lu was very powerful a hundred years ago. It is simply impossible for such a middle stage Jin Den monk to be surrounded and killed by a group of foundation building monks after suppressing his strength. If Elder Lu really died, then there was no Chinya Temple tampering with it. And there was no other explanation. As for the death of Elder Lu, it is even more impossible for the Sun Luo sect to tell lies. It is impossible to hide such a thing. An elder of a large sect is involved in many interests within the sect. Whether he has fallen or not can be determined by looking at the reaction of the Sun Luo sect. Nonsense. It was obviously Devil Lu who killed Si Ju Tu and then escaped. Jiming Arhut replied angrily. At this point, Jiming Arhut's body flashed with golden light. His spiritual power exploded. And he was about to take action first. He knew in his heart that it was four against three at this time. After the fight broke out, he would call on the four righteous golden elixirs next to him and kill these three golden elixir demon cultivators again in an eight-on-three battle. Although the plan to kill a generation of foundation-building demonic cultivators was not successful. If all four golden elixir demonic cultivators were left behind, Sun Luo's sect would suffer huge losses. Snort. Amidba. Two voices sounded on the battlefield at the same time, causing everyone who was preparing for a golden elixir battle to stop. I've met my ancestor. I've met his holiness. The golden elixirs and arhats on both sides bowed to the void at the same time. It turned out that both sides were secretly guarded by nascent soul and the venerable. Amidba. Please retreat from Qianba Temple. The venerable voice echoed in the void making it impossible for people to perceive its position. But it seemed to be ringing in the ears. Sun Luo's sect returns to the checkpoint. The Yuaning ancestor of Sun Luo's sect also spoke up. It seems that the ancestors and venerables of both parties have reached some kind of tacit understanding and do not want to escalate the war now. Li Yuanba looked at the items in the storage bag. 
he saw a set of 1,500 Fresnel reflectors, all of which were equipped with self-destruction devices. He was not afraid of being stolen. A large jade bottle of pills, the handle of which was obtained from Yu Young Sinji's natal flying sword magic weapon. This natal flying sword magic weapon was originally left to Li Yuanba, but he was preparing to join the Sun Luo sect before, and he didn't know what kind of problems he would encounter. So it has been kept by the main body Li Shiming. Li Yuanba did not have a computer room, which made it very likely that his storage space would be inspected and the existence of his natal flying sword magic weapon would be discovered. A natal flying sword magic weapon is enough to make the golden elixir demon cultivator greedy when he sees it. Not only will it not bring him any benefit, but it will bring him great danger. The Fresnel reflector is to allow him to practice. Purple Chi from the East. A special skill that is of great help to Lee Shimming. As for the elixirs in the large jade bottle, there are naturally 30 top elixirs. This was saved by the main body Lee Shimming. Lee Shimming's strength has now reached the peak of the early stage of foundation building. He will hit the bottleneck next. Such auxiliary elixirs for training in the early stage of foundation building are no longer needed. Even if you break through the early stage of foundation building and reach the middle stage of foundation building, you must take the top elixir for the middle stage of foundation building. It's funny to say that Lee Shimming of Ontology has always hoped that Li Yuanba would break through first and lead ontology step by step, so that he could provide a large amount of resources to ontology. But things are unpredictable. With his excellent alchemy skills and the special space of the computer room, Li Shiming was able to refine top-level elixirs. This allowed him to surpass the cultivation speed of his clone Li Yuanba just by still taking top-level elixirs, reaching the peak of the early stage of foundation building ahead of schedule. Li Yuanba's qualifications and talents are definitely much better than those of Li Shiming which can be confirmed by his rapid improvement during the Qi Chain stage. But Li Yuanba had just practiced the 10 Direction Sword Cultivation Technique not long ago and was accepted by Elder Jin as his sect. He then switched to the Sword Intent Climb to the Sky Technique, which was equivalent to starting over from the previous practice. Now we have just stabilized our strength in the early stage of foundation building. It is impossible to reach the peak of the early stage of foundation building without more than 10 years of hard training. As a result, now, there are strange things like the original body Li Shiming feeding back to the clone Li Yuanba. However, both the main body and the clone are one and the same, so there is no need to distinguish them from each other. Li Yuanba put away this bottle of top-level elixirs and 30 top-level elixirs with peace of mind. He was confident that he could break through to the middle stage of foundation building in a few years, even if Li Shiming can provide top-quality elixirs. This time can be advanced. You must know that the original Li Shiming reached the peak of the early stage of foundation building in just over a year. He has enough top-level elixirs, and the cultivation speed has increased dozens of times. No matter how fast it is, you can understand. Li Yuanba received the order. And they, the foundation building monks, would withdraw from the sect from the Jieshan Pass. He followed the sect's flying boat, and was led back to the sect by Elder Jean Dan. On the other side, Li Shiming passed through the formation skillfully. He could send several golden elixir breaths in the battlefield even within the formation. Fortunately, he and his clone Li Yuanba both learned the method of growing lotus step by step, so they could stay away from that area in just a few breaths without being noticed by the golden elixir monks. He took out the flying boat, set the direction of the flying boat, and then took out the storage bag sent by his clone Li Yuanba. There are many things in the storage bag, including a Buddha body of a body refining arhat, which is the top material for corpse refining. Li Yuanba doesn't have any use for it. Besides, if he uses such good corpse refining materials in exchange for resources, it would be better to give them to the real body Li Shiming. No matter how tight the Shushan sect's golden elixir resources for promotion are, they will try their best to create an alchemist with spiritual fire and super talent for alchemy. According to what Master Ma told the sect's senior officials, it would only be a matter of time before Li Shiming became a master of alchemy. An alchemy master in the foundation building stage can only serve the sect for more than a hundred years at most. But if Li Shiming's strength reaches the golden elixir, he can serve the sect for at least four hundred years. This gap, coupled with the scarcity and importance of alchemy masters, will make the sect ensure Li Shiming's promotion golden elixir resources at all costs. Li Shiming glanced at the Buddha body of the body refining Arhat and put it together with the corpse of another elder Lu. After he achieved the golden elixir, these two corpses would be directly transformed into silver corpses to become his guardians. The help of Tao. There are also thick earth shield beads and third-grade earth attribute materials in the storage bag. 
which he can use. He dug out the formation knowledge exchanged by his clone Li Yuanba and scanned the formation knowledge from each jade slip into Z15. Z15 collected it and began to analyze and study it. Moonlight Corpse Scroll Although he does not directly refine the Silver Corpse now, this technique can strengthen Neza. Both generals and Neza were refined using the method of corpse refining in the Qi Chain stage. Although the secret method of corpse refining from Xianming Sect can refine corpses from copper corpses to iron corpses. It is the strengthening process of the iron corpse is missing. If it weren't for the corpse refining formation with third grade materials such as the Netherworld Ghost Realm Formation, he wouldn't even be able to refine Neza and the generals to their current strength. Looking at the large number of negative spiritual objects needed to strengthen the iron corpse in the Moonlight Corpse Scroll, he found a way to continue to strengthen Neza and the generals. In addition, if some third grade feminine spiritual objects are obtained, Li Yuanba can even try to upgrade the generals to the strength of silver corpses. The general is Li Yuanba's natal corpse refining, and his natal corpse refining can reach a higher level than the monk's own realm. However, the general's time to enter the iron corpse is still short, so let the general settle at the peak of the iron corpse for a while. As for the corpse of the Buddha that was kept in the corpse refining coffin, he planned to collect the materials for refining when he returned. Neza beside him was still a bit weak. With his spirit, adding another refining corpse would not help. What pressure? In fact, the reason why many monks only refine one corpse is not because of lack of energy, but because the materials needed to refine the corpse are too valuable, and most monks cannot afford the consumption of multiple corpses. Besides, the more corpses you can refine, the better. As long as you strengthen one corpse to the extreme, it is far more suitable than refining several corpses with average strength. Since Li Shiming is successful in alchemy, he doesn't need to worry about resources at the moment. Since Ju Tu Buddha's corpse even attracts Elder Lu, he also plans to refine Ju Tu Buddha's corpse into his second refined corpse. The corpse refining coffin is a rare treasure. After some sacrifices, he found that the corpse refining coffin can preserve the corpse for a long time and can also increase the success rate of converting the corpse into a refined corpse. If the refined corpse is placed in it, it can slowly strengthen the refined corpse and is equally effective against silver corpses. Li Shiming naturally put all the corpses of the body refining Arha Buddha and Elder Lu into the corpse refining coffin. This corpse refining coffin is equivalent to a spatial object. It is not a problem to hold dozens of corpses in the internal space. He took out all the scattered things on Elder Lu's body when he stored them in the computer room including a space ring and a robe close to the magic weapon level. There are holes in this robe now, which were broken by the high-grade magic weapon electromagnetic gun. But even so, this is a rare protective robe. At least attacks in the foundation building stage are difficult to break through the defense of this robe. The attack power of the high-grade magical weapon electromagnetic gun should not be included in the attack scope of the world of immortality. This represents the technological power of another world. Unfortunately, the application of the high-grade magic weapon electromagnetic gun is still too harsh. It is not a problem to deal with the foundation building monks. If you want to deal with the golden elixir monks, you must get the golden elixir monks close enough so that the golden elixir monks cannot avoid them. Attack. But the problem is that if the Jin Din monk really gets close to Li Shiming, the probability of discovering Li Shiming will increase. Not to mention that Li Shiming is holding a 4 meter long high-grade magic weapon electromagnetic gun. It is estimated that before Li Shiming launches his attack, the Jin Den monk will attack him first. In addition, Li Shiming still has no confidence that the high-grade magic weapon electromagnetic gun can break through the defense of the Jin Den monks. Killing Elder Lu this time cannot be regarded as killing Elder Jin Den. When Elder Lu was attacked, not only was his strength locked in the late stage of foundation building, but his spirit and consciousness were also absent from his body. In other words, the High-grade magic weapon electromagnetic gun only attacked a late-stage foundation building monk with the body of a golden elixir monk. It did not have any protective spells, nor did it use golden elixir methods. Due to the wrong judgment of Elder Lu's instinctive fighting consciousness, as a result, Elder Lu relied entirely on his body to receive the blow from the high-grade magic weapon electromagnetic gun. The last Jean Dan cultivator who received a blow from the high-grade magic weapon electromagnetic gun was Yunqingyi, a swordsman. That time, Li Yuanba first used the third grade sword base to break Yunqingyi's skin with multiple attacks, and then used the high grade magic weapon to break Yunqingyi's skin. Electromagnetic gun completed the fatal blow. Yunqingyi failed to block the blow of the 
high grade magic weapon electromagnetic gun. And Elder Liu, who blocked the attack with his body, also failed to survive. Chapter 229 Inventory There were no corpses in the computer room, and the harvest was on the ground. An old bracelet belonging to Buddha Jotu, with Sanskrit scriptures densely engraved on it. Li Shiming took out the bracelet and felt a sense of peace in his heart. The bracelet seemed to have been blessed by an eminent monk and had a calming effect. Don't underestimate the function of the bracelet. His spirit is extremely strong. After practicing his spiritual mind, he is almost infinitely close to the golden pill monk in spirit. The bracelet can soothe his spirit, which means that it can at least have the same effect on the golden pill monk. Effect. The bracelet that can influence the golden elixir monks is probably passed down from the belongings of a certain Buddhist great master. Unfortunately, he is not a Buddhist and does not know the origin of this bracelet. His spiritual mind scanned the bracelet and found no marks. So he put it on his hand. There is such a benefit in having spiritual thoughts. At least any mark left by the golden elixir or arhat on the bracelet cannot escape the scanning of his spiritual thoughts. This kind of treasure that calms the mind is of the same level as the Yang Shinju. It only works if you wear it with you. Jueta Buddha used a hundred bag, which is a unique space item among Buddhist monks. Li Shiming opened the bag and found that there were very few things inside. Not a single spiritual weapon. Only more than ten jade bottles, which contained meditation elixirs, and the others were some clothes. If it weren't for these elixirs, perhaps this hundred Nepal bag would have been the poorest space object he had ever seen. But Ajueta did not use any spiritual weapons, and he did not even carry one. He needed to suppress his murderous intention at all times, and these pills were used for this purpose. Although Li Shiming didn't know the names of these elixirs, he could tell from the efficacy that they were elixirs that could suppress inner demons. For this reason alone, the value of this elixir was terrifyingly high. The elixir for suppressing inner demons contains third-grade materials, making it a third-grade elixir. The quality of the elixir varies greatly, ranging from high level to mid-level to low level. This is normal. Even the alchemy master is not completely sure that he can be 100% successful in refining a third-grade elixir, let alone guarantee the quality of the elixir. Buddha Jueta practiced killing and becoming a Buddha. Although he did not rely much on external objects, what he could put on his body, whether it was the bracelet or the elixir, were all third-grade spiritual objects. One of them was worth as much as the entire net worth of some true disciples. Still high, Li Shiming set his sights on the space ring left by Elder Lu again, and he inserted his spiritual thoughts into the space ring. He had two space rings before, and this was his third space ring, which meant that there were three golden elixir monks who died in his hands. When his spiritual thoughts entered the space ring, he had a strange look on his face. This space ring should be specially made, with two completely separated spaces inside. One is a normal storage space, and the other is actually a corpse refining space. No wonder that when Elder Lu summoned an iron corpse, he didn't find a body bag on Elder Lu. It seems that this space ring is an advanced version of a body bag, or Li Shiming is ignorant. Li Shiming's spiritual thoughts entered the corpse refining space. He was suddenly startled and almost threw away the space ring in his hand. The corpse refining space in the space ring is a cylindrical space with a height of 5 meters and a radius of 10 meters. Ten corpses are standing quietly in the corpse refining space. There were complex formation patterns on the ground of the space. And he recognized them as the third level corpse raising formation of the Ewa corpse scroll. What horrified him was that among the ten refined corpses, there was one silver corpse, although the rest were all iron corpses. There was a faint flash of silver light on their bodies. These were all refined corpses that had reached the limit of iron corpses. If these refined corpses were allowed to come out, Li Shiming wouldn't even be able to escape. The silver corpses were equal to the combat power of the golden elixir stage. With Elder Lu's mid-stage golden elixir strength, it goes without saying that this silver corpse is his main battle corpse refining, which means that the strength of this silver corpse is at least similar to Elder Lu's or even higher. Li Shiming shook his head vigorously to calm himself down. Although the owner of these corpses in the corpse refining space has died and lost control of the owner, there is a natural dormancy effect in the corpse refining space. This dormancy method can reduce the consumption of the corpse and allow it to enter the optimal growth stage. Status Elder Lu summoned the iron corpse during the battle. After Elder Lu died, he lost mobility and was collected by Li Shiming in a body bag, ready to study it when he returned. Li Shiming thought that he had done enough corpse refining but he did not expect that in front of Elder Lu, a real magic cultivator. His corpse refining would mean nothing. 
with so many refining corpses. It's a pity that he can't identify the owner. The realm of these iron corpses has reached the peak of the late iron corpse, which is the peak of the late foundation establishment. As a monk in the early stage of foundation establishment, he did not dare to risk contracting with these iron corpses even if he had divine will. You must practice hard. When the foundation is in the later stage, I will contract all these iron corpses. Li Shiming's eyes sparkled with excitement. He could almost imagine that in the later stages of foundation building, when he encountered a strong enemy, he casually made a move. And Neza, with three heads and six arms, and ten iron corpses appeared. No. Eleven. To add the corpse of the Buddha. He has even added a research topic to the Z15 document. How to use twelve iron corpses to arrange formations and maximize the power of the twelve iron corpses. He put Neza and the iron corpse placed alone in the body bag into the space ring. From now on, this would be his dedicated corpse refining space. Neza is in the early stage of the iron corpse. But this is already the highest level that Li Shiming can bear. When Neza's strength reaches the peak of the iron corpse, Li Shiming himself has not yet broken through to the middle stage of foundation building. So he will refine Neza himself. Move out of space. This corpse refining space alone made Li Shiming feel like he had obtained a treasure this time. The elder Jean Dan from the big sec really has good stuff. He excitedly transferred his spiritual thoughts to another storage space. And he saw the large flying boat. Although the large flying boat had shrunk, it was still too eye-catching. He did not take out the large flying boat, but used his spiritual thoughts to sweep back and forth on the large flying boat. Large flying boats have never been privately owned by monks. This large flying boat does not belong to Elder Lu, but to San Luo's sect. Looking at the materials required for a large flying boat, the main body is a third-grade material, and the rest are second-grade materials, coupled with a large number of second- and third-grade formations arranged inside. It can be said that such a large flying boat can block the golden elixir monks in terms of defense alone. Attack several times. This large airship is not the ordinary thing he used when he was on Tiai Island. This should be regarded as a magic weapon level large airship. Although the grade has reached the magic weapon level, the special characteristics of the large flying boat allow him to control it even at the early stage of foundation building. Because the large flying boat does not consume the spiritual power of the monks. Or in other words, it does not consume the spiritual power of the monks when flying in a normal state. Large flying boats have a special place to store spiritual stones. And the spiritual stones there provide driving energy for the large flying boats. This is a big toy! Li Shiming defined a large flying boat. Yes, to me personally, this thing is just a big toy and has no practical significance. But how could he refuse a big toy like a large flying boat? When he first came into contact with the world of immortality, he was taken by a large flying boat when he entered the sect after the Tianhai Sect's Immortal Ascension Conference. At that time, he and all the new disciples were full of fantasies about large flying boats. It's just that he didn't expect that one day, he would get a magic weapon level large scale spaceship that was many times better than that large scale spaceship. This was considered to have fulfilled his dream back then. Next to the large airship is a black single person airship. This should be Elder Lu's personal airship. This is another magic weapon level flying boat. But this is a real magic weapon and needs to be refined before it can be used. They are all coveted treasures. Li Shiming took back his spiritual thoughts from the black flying boat magic weapon and muttered to himself. He couldn't imagine how fast such a flying boat magic weapon could reach at full speed. The biggest worry about harvesting the trophies of the golden elixir monks is that they are not suitable for use and their own strength is too weak. Not far from the black flying boat magic weapon were the jade ruler magic weapon and the flying sword magic weapon that he had seen. And there was also a magic weapon that looked like a miniature mountain peak. The jade ruler magic weapon is Elder Lu's natal magic weapon. It was supposed to be taken back into the body to store the golden elixir. However, the jade ruler magic weapon was contaminated by Jueta Buddha. Without cleaning it, Elder Lu did not take it back into his body. Instead, the inner golden elixir is stored in the space ring and will be cultivated after the contamination is dealt with back home. Fortunately, this is the case. Otherwise Li Shiming would have no way to take out the magic weapon that was stored in the golden elixir. Of course, regardless of whether he takes it out or not, Li Shiming can only look at it and cannot use it. As a monk in the early stages of foundation building, Li Shiming's eyes now look at the magic weapon. And there is not much ecstasy in his eyes. In addition to the natal flying sword given to his clone Li Yuanba, he also has the chessboard magic weapon and the Guqin magic weapon. It can be said 
that he is the only one who can possess so many magic weapons at his level. Not to mention the foundation building monks. Most of the golden elixir monks only have one or two magic weapons. Elder Lu, as the elder of San Luo's sect, only has three magic weapons. This is already extremely rich among the golden elixir monks. At present, Li Shiming had no way of knowing the power of the flying sword magic weapon and the pocket mountain mountain magic weapon. He glanced at them and skipped them. He saw a lot of jade slips, many of which were ancient jade slips and should have been collected by Elder Lu. It contained some records from ancient times, as well as Elder Lu's knowledge, which accounts for the vast majority of the jade slips. It can be seen that Elder Lu is very fond of these ancient records and even carries them with him. Elder Lu is not an ordinary demon cultivator. His cave in the sect is an absolutely safe place. So the items he can carry with him are all items that are very useful to him. Hey! What is this? Li Shiming used his spiritual mind to scan through the jade room. He hardly paid attention to the content. He went through it and recorded all the content through Z15. But when he scanned a jade slip, he made an unexpected discovery. This jade slip looks ordinary on the surface but the content inside is related to him. Or to Elder Jian's one Jian thing. Elder Lu used various means to collect methods for refining mountain magic weapons. He collected a lot of data on Wan Jian Peak and drew a detailed catalog of Wan Jian Peak, marking the magic runes that needed to be engraved at various locations and the formations arranged. Wan Jian thing itself was refined in the form of a magic weapon, but it was not for personal use. So it was not refined into an attack magic weapon but an inherited magic weapon. But looking at Elder Lu's records in this jade slip, he has long had a peep at Wan Jin Feng. He wanted to refine Wan Jin Peak into a mountain-like magic weapon in order to study the feasibility. He even refined a mountain magic weapon by himself as a practice. That is, the pocket mountain magic weapon among the three magic weapons. Once the pocket mountain magic weapon is activated, it will return to the form of a mountain to suppress the enemy. Elder Lu was not satisfied with the Pocket Mountain Magic Weapon. Because although the power of the Pocket Mountain Magic Weapon was strong, it could not restrain the enemies in the later stages of the Golden Core. After his research, if Wan Jianfeng can be made into a Mountain Magic Weapon, he is confident that Wan Jianfeng's Magic Weapon will still be an extremely powerful Magic Weapons even in the nascent Soul stage. Because in addition to the suppressive effect of ordinary Mountain Magic Weapons, Wan Jianfeng also has a terrifying sword intent. While suppressing, the sword intent is used to limit and corrode the enemy. Its power is immeasurable. Li Shiming didn't understand why Elder Lu wanted to target Wan Jianfeng. Didn't he know that Wan Jianfeng was owned by Elder Jian? Or can Elder Lu be sure that Elder Jian will give up Wan Jian Peak? All questions could not be answered with the death of Elder Lu. But he was wondering if there were other Jin and elders in the sect who were eyeing Wan Jianfeng besides Elder Lu. After seeing the jade slip, he understood the purpose of the materials piled up in boxes on the other side. Those are the materials for refining Wan Jianfeng. And there are many third grade materials among them. According to the Jade Slips, all the materials for refining Wan Jianfeng have been collected by Elder Lu. What is he going to do? Li Shiming became more and more frightened as he watched. He can be sure that Elder Lu knew that Elder Jian would definitely give up Wan Jian Peak. Otherwise, how could he collect so many materials? You must know that even if he is an elder of Sun Luo's sect, if he wants to collect so many weapon refining materials, it will be difficult for him to do so. Extremely troublesome. Li Shiming informed his clone Li Yuanba of the discovery. He had no choice but to let Li Yuanba take care of himself. There are also some elixirs and materials in the space ring. Li Shiming did not take a fancy to the elixirs. The elixirs taken by demon cultivators are very different from those taken by normal monks. Many weird and evil things are added to them. Makes the elixir look uncomfortable. He will find opportunities to trade these elixirs. These are the elixirs taken by the golden elixir monks. At least they are not ones that he can refine. The materials are quite good. Although there are no third grade materials. The second grade materials include formation materials, weapon refining materials, and alchemy materials. It can be said that the types are very rich and the quantity is large. Although the value is not too great. It is useful to Li Shiming. Chapter 230 Alchemy when Li Shiming returned to Shushan sect, he found that there were obviously many fewer monks in the sect. Although the Shushan sect occupies a very large area, there are a very large number of monks in the sect, and there will be bustling monks walking through the sky during the day. But today, I feel that the number of monks has decreased by more than half. This contrast is very obvious. He took out the identity jade disc and did not receive any news. 
He turned around and flew towards a mountain peak, which was Sifang Peak. There was a square, flat up peak on the top of the mountain, where Su Chuan's cave was located. He cast a spell and waited for a moment. The formation in front of him opened and he entered it. Before he landed, Su Chuan had already greeted him. Junior brother, I heard that you went out for a trip. Why do you have time to come to my place? Su Chuan smiled and flew close to Li Shiming and asked. Senior brother, I just came back and found that the sect is missing a lot of monks. Don't you want to ask what's going on? Li Shiming said his question with a smile without being polite. Didn't you receive the message? Su Chuan was startled at first, then immediately responded. You are an alchemist. How could I inform you? Seeing that Li Shiming was still in the air, he made an invitation gesture and led Li Shiming into his cave. The cave is on the top of the mountain, and its specifications are similar to that of the sword-holding peak. There are many ornaments placed in the hall of the cave, each of which is a valuable spiritual object. A maid brought spiritual tea. Li Shiming didn't expect Su Chuan to treat his entourage as a maid, so he couldn't help but take a second look. Ha ha! I heard from my senior brothers that you treated the female cultivator they sent as a coolie. Originally, they thought you could be a maid to serve you. Su Chuan saw Li Shiming's eyes and thought it was funny. Things joked. I like to be alone. Li Shiming shook his head and explained. Su Chuan would not interfere with Li Shiming's personal matters. Anyway, the spiritual field would not burden the female cultivator. He was just joking. There is news that the conflict between Sun Luo sect and Qianye Temple finally came to an end with the death of a jean and elder from Sun Luo sect. However, the conflict between good and evil is not over. This is just the beginning. Su Chuan added the topic turning to business. His expression became solemn. Li Shiming was a personal participant, so he naturally knew what happened to the fallen elder Jean Dan of Sun Luo's sect. In fact, Elder Lu's death had nothing to do with Qinye Temple, but he still had to pretend to listen as if he didn't know anything. Three days ago, the Disha sect had a conflict with our sect on the southern border of the sect. Our sect lost three foundation building monks, and the Disha sect lost two foundation building monks. It is said that at that time, Elder G and the Disha sect's Jean Elder Dan had a great battle. Yesterday, the sect informed that a thousand foundation building monks were mobilized to go to the south. The sect is planning to take this opportunity to seize several spiritual minds on the southern border. Su Chuan continued. How did those senior brothers arrange it? Li Shiming asked quickly. His clone Li Yuanba had experienced such a battle. And the level of danger was extremely high. Second senior brother and third senior brother have passed by. Although my injuries have healed. My strength has been severely damaged and the sect did not let me go. Su Chuan replied with a wry smile. It's okay if you don't go. Li Shiming comforted with a smile. He also knew that not all monks had secondary talents like himself and could easily obtain a large number of contribution points. Even if Su Chuan is a true disciple, he cannot rely entirely on his master's gifts. If he wants to improve his strength as soon as possible, he also needs to complete the sex mission. The mission rewards for this kind of battle are very high. In addition, Su Chuan is a true disciple and his strength is guaranteed. He should have achieved something in such a large mission. He was unable to go because his strength was compromised, which inevitably made him feel a little depressed. After sitting with Su Chuan for a while, he sent messages to Elder Su and Elder Ma respectively to inform them of his return, and then returned to Sword Holding Peak. Returning to the cave, Li Shiming plunged into the study he had interrupted before. Although he was not in the sect when he went out this time, he took nine spiritual weapon alchemy furnaces with him and continued to refine them every day. When he came back, Although the nine spiritual weapon alchemy furnaces had not yet reached 100% chaining, they could be used for elixir refining. Enough. Before leaving the sect, he made all the preparations for refining ten furnaces of spiritual pills at the same time. The Divine Mind Transformation Art can now be used freely. After possessing the Divine Mind, this art is not difficult for him. The ten spiritual weapon pill furnaces can be used at any time. Waiting for him to perform... The first ten furnaces of elixirs were refined at the same time. For the first time of refining, he would not choose something too difficult. He put aside the ten prepared. Chushen Hun Yuan Dan. Materials. Since he spent most of the previous year refining the Chushen Hun Yuan pill and completing the sex alchemy task, he had a lot of materials left in his hands. You must know that every time he is full of top elixirs, it means that he can complete the task of sack with ten materials by only opening eight furnaces. For him, the high-level Chushen Hun Yuan pill 
had no effect on him. So except for the beginning, he later chose to exchange 20% of his share of high-level spiritual pills for alchemy materials and save them. Now that these alchemy materials are effective, there is no need to worry about failure when used for hand training. Alchemists need to invest in the early stage. Just like the sex, Chu Shen Hun Yuan pill. Mission, which requires eight spiritual pills to be turned in for each furnace. In the early stages of refining, the alchemist may not only be unable to achieve eight pills due to his first contact with it, but may also fail. In which case, the alchemist himself must pay compensation. Sect tasks are different from private alchemy. Regardless of success or failure in refining elixirs for others, it is the responsibility of others. And sects are forced to hand over 80% of them. If Li Shiming fails to make elixirs using sect materials, he will have to pay for 10 furnaces of elixirs at one time. This is the amount of elixirs he made in the past two days. And he still needs to provide the materials himself. Li Shiming released his spiritual thoughts. And all 10 spiritual weapons and alchemy furnaces including the third turn Tianbao furnace, were within the range of his spiritual thoughts. Then he used the dividing mind technique, and he felt that his consciousness was divided into ten parts. Each has the ability to analyze and think. Xu Shen Hun Yuan pill is so simple and proficient that it couldn't be more proficient. Under the control of Shurfin's consciousness, ten materials flew into the ten spiritual weapon pill furnaces in batches. The Golden Yang Fire Control Technique under the control of ten consciousnesses controls the red sun fire in the ten spiritual weapon alchemy furnaces. With his peak spiritual power in the early stage of foundation building, it is not a problem to provide ten parts of the red sun fire for elixir making. Z15 is also divided into ten threads to monitor the conditions in the ten spiritual weapon pill furnaces in real time. Although it was his first time to refine ten furnaces of elixirs at the same time, his operations were methodical and without any hesitation. Shen Yin uses the Qi Lu Sensing Ju to sense the situation in the alchemy furnace, and Z15 converts it into data to inform Li Shiming. Even if there is a trace of something wrong, it will be discovered and solved immediately. Ten consciousnesses control the spiritual thoughts, gently tapping on the ten spiritual weapon pill furnaces. It was like a percussion performance was going on in the cave. Due to the different conditions in the alchemy furnaces, the timing of using the Seven Finger Pill Collection Technique of the ten spiritual weapon alchemy furnaces was also different, resulting in uneven percussion. The sound of the alchemy furnace. 100. Chu Shan Hun Yuan pills were sent into ten jade bottles by spiritual thoughts, and the jade bottles fell in front of him. Without checking, he could be sure that every Chu Shan Hun Yuan pill was of high quality. A smile appeared on Li Shiming's face. He had expected this success, but it still made him extremely excited. This meant that his alchemy ability had suddenly increased tenfold. This is still outside the computer room space. If it is inside the computer room space, it will not be a problem. His control ability in the computer room space is micron level, and the quality of the elixir will be improved to a certain extent. Of course, he was not satisfied with his achievements. Now that he had divine will and spiritual fire, although he had not reached the middle stage of foundation building, he could still try to improve his alchemy level. In addition to mastering the knowledge of alchemy, a senior alchemist also needs some mandatory foundations. Senior alchemists can refine the elixirs of the middle and late stages of foundation building. Most of the elixir recipes of these elixirs are second-grade elixirs, which makes it more difficult for alchemists to reconcile the energy in the elixirs. This requires more advanced alchemy techniques. And there are different techniques in the various inheritances of refiners. In the Shushan Alchemy Code, inheritance that Li Shiming obtained, there are three mandatory alchemy techniques that senior alchemists need to master. And one optional technique. The three compulsory mastery techniques are 36 Palm Return Pill Ju Spiritual Flame Control Technique and Qingdi Shangdan Ju And the optional technique is 100 Points Pill Ju The 36 Palms Returning Pill Technique is a technique for adjusting the balance of elixirs in the pill furnace. By continuously hitting the pill furnace, the effect of harmonizing the energy in the pill furnace is achieved. Spirit Flame Controlling Technique is a technique for controlling flames and it is also more suitable for controlling spiritual fire because the prerequisite for inheriting the Chu Shen Alchemy Code is to possess spiritual fire. When this inheritance is passed on by a senior alchemist, it is necessary to use the spiritual fire to exert the maximum power of the Chu Shen Alchemy Code. Ching Yi Shangdan Ju is a tactic that senses the state of the elixir in the alchemy furnace. It requires divine thought to be activated. 
The reason why the other 100 points pill technique is optional is because this technique is too difficult. After using 101 points pill technique, there is a certain chance that the elixir that was used 101 points pill technique will be released in double the way when the pill is released. In other words, if the 100 points pill technique is successfully used, a maximum of 20 pills will appear when the potion of pills is released, and their quality will not be reduced. But according to the records in the Shushan Alchemy Code, the 100 points alchemy is not a 1% probability. In fact, it is lucky to have a 1% probability, and the usual probability is many times lower. The most troublesome thing is that when the 100 points pill Jew is used, it may cause energy chaos in the pill furnace, resulting in a furnace of useless pills. Therefore, it is up to the alchemist to choose whether to learn to use the 101 point alchemy technique. Only alchemists with a gambling spirit will learn it. Lee Shimming, who has the help of Z15 for learning magic formulas, can learn extremely fast, no matter how complex the runes are, or what kind of true meaning is required. He can memorize and achieve them through Z15. This is his biggest advantage over other monks. In addition, the Chushan Alchemy Code contains detailed introductions to a large number of elixirs, research on the balance of elixirs, etc., which were also compiled by Z15 and mastered by him. Li Shiming used his contribution points to purchase the elixir of Shushan Huangling Pill. The elixir named after the Shushan sect all have the same characteristic. That is, the sect can produce the elixir needed for the elixir on its own. Shushan Huangling Pill is a second-grade elixir in the middle stage of foundation building. It is an elixir that can only be refined by advanced alchemists. He did not directly refine it himself, but took three copies of the materials of Shushan Huangling Pill to Danding Peak. Sometimes Li Shiming felt that Elder Ma was his real master, because Elder Su could not go there at any time. Unless it was an emergency, he could only see Elder Su at a fixed time every month. But Elder Ma is different here. He has the qualifications to enter and exit the Danding Palace of the Danding Peak. He can enter and leave the Danding Palace at any time without the need for communication. Li Shiming entered the Alchemy Cauldron Hall and saw Elder Ma refining alchemy. He sat aside without saying a word. His alchemy level has improved so quickly, especially when refining the second grade elixir in the early stage of foundation building. He succeeded with few failures, all because of the data support he usually collected through Z15 from Elder Ma. If he were to learn the Chushan Huangling pill by himself, he would probably waste a lot of elixirs. There are five second grade elixirs in the Chushan Huangling pill prescription. He would feel pain if he wasted even one time. So let him fail again and again and sum up experience in the failures. It is better to watch Elder Ma refine it once. And he can find the most correct method of refining the elixir through the data collected by Z15. Then, based on this data, small-scale fine-tuning will be done to continuously improve the quality of the elixir on the basis of ensuring the success of the elixir. Are you here to refine the Huangling Dan? Elder Ma didn't particularly care about the situation in the elixir furnace. He turned around and asked with a smile. How did the master know? Li Shiming asked in surprise. He exchanged three copies of the Chushan Huangling pill materials and rushed over. Elder Ma was refining alchemy during this time. How could he know that he had exchanged the Chushan Huangling pill materials? You smell like second grade Huangling San. You have never been exposed to this elixir before. Elder Ma replied with a smile. Li Shiming couldn't help but sigh that Elder Ma was really powerful. He just took out the second grade Huangling powder and observed it for a while during the exchange. And Elder Ma sensed the smell of the second grade Huangling powder. The second grade Huangling powder is the second grade main medicine in Shushan Huangling pill. So we can guess Li Shiming's intention. Master, I exchanged three materials and asked you to guide me in refining one. Li Shiming explained his intention directly. Put the materials aside, Elder Ma said, pointing to the shelf on the side. Li Shiming put a copy of the Shushan Huangling pill material on the shelf. Elder Ma took out a spiritual weapon, an alchemy furnace, and demonstrated the refining of the Chushan Huangling pill for him while refining the elixir. Chapter 231 Dividing Pills Elder Ma's ability to lift weights with ease was extremely enviable in Li Shiming's eyes. If he wanted to reach this point, he would probably need years of practice. Li Shiming's spiritual thoughts entered the alchemy furnace as before. The refining difficulty of Chushan Huangling pill was naturally many times more difficult than the previous pills. 
through his spiritual mind. He could sense that Elder Ma was using secret methods to constantly reconcile the energy of the elixir in the furnace. The elixir energy in the alchemy furnace always maintains a stable balance. As time passes slowly, the elixir energy in the elixir furnace becomes more and more intense. However, under the mediation of Elder Ma, the reaction is under control. It took two hours to make one batch of elixirs. Elder Ma not only refined two batches of elixirs at the same time, but also continued to explain some contents of the Shushan Alchemy Code to Li Shiming, combined with the refining of this furnace of Shushan Huang Ling Pill. Li Shiming has a clearer understanding of the senior alchemist. As Elder Ma's spiritual thoughts gently tapped the spiritual weapon alchemy furnace, a stream of elixir fragrance came out. The furnace is full of high quality. The master is really smart. Li Shiming could tell the quality of this furnace of elixir by smelling the fragrance and couldn't help but praise it. Elder Ma smiled and said nothing, but he breathed a sigh of relief in his heart. Having a disciple like Li Shiming is also very stressful, although he looks casual and relaxed. In fact, he has used all his abilities just to avoid any accidents. Even a master of alchemy is not 100% able to refine second grade high level elixirs. There will always be some mistakes if you are not careful. He put 10 high grade Shushan Huang Ling pills in jade bottles and handed them to Li Shiming. Master, I will make a furnace and please correct me. Li Shiming took the jade bottle and put it away and said. He took out the third turn Tianbao furnace next to Elder Ma and started refining the second grade elixir for the first time in the middle stage of foundation building. Elder Ma separated part of his spiritual thoughts and paid attention to his alchemy process. This is not an ordinary alchemy. Once Li Shiming refines the Shushan Huang Ling pill, then the sect will have a senior alchemist. With Li Shiming's alchemy qualifications and the possession of spiritual fire, there is no need to think about it anymore. He will definitely become an alchemy master. The red sun fire entered the third turn Tianbao furnace. And the spirit flame control technique was unleashed. Li Shiming felt that he could control the red sun fire more easily. The spiritual flame fire control technique is largely a fire control technique developed for spiritual fire. That's why he felt this way. The process elixirs were put into the alchemy furnace one by one. Under the action of the 36 palms returning to the alchemy Jew, the elixirs rolled and mixed in the alchemy furnace and turned into elixir liquid. He sensed the state of the alchemy liquid in the alchemy furnace through the Qingdi Shangdan Jew and adjusted the energy balance in the alchemy furnace based on Elder Ma's alchemy data collected by Z15. Next to him, Elder Ma put away the elixirs he had refined before. No longer refining elixirs, but focusing on the elixir refining process in Li Shiming's hands. A gratified smile appeared on his face. This was Li Shiming's first time refining the Shushan Huang Ling pill, but he always kept it above the standard without making any mistakes. The elixir liquid in the Tianbao furnace became more and more solid during the third rotation. Li Shiming continued to use his spiritual thoughts to turn into his palms and pat the elixir furnace. As the tapping movements became larger and larger, under the last beat, the elixir furnace opened. Eight elixirs flew out. Hey! He couldn't help but sigh. This time, the elixir was not fully refining. And there were only three high-level elixirs in it. And the rest were mid-level elixirs. Okay! I will give you the task of refining the Chu Mountain Yellow Spirit Pill. After refining it a few times and summing up your experience, you can stabilize the full pill. Elder Ma just can't stand Li Shiming who is obviously doing a good job. With a look of dissatisfaction on his face, he waved his hand and said, if Li Shiming's standards were used, all his other alchemy disciples should be expelled from the school. Thank you, Master. Although he was regretful, Li Shiming was still very happy, and he bowed and thanked him. Elder Ma said this, which is equivalent to recognizing Li Shiming's identity as a senior alchemist, and he can take over the task of a senior alchemist in the sect. Although the previous Chu Shan Hun Yuan pill was a second grade elixir, only one elixir was of the second grade, while the Chu Shen Huang Ling pill contained five second grade elixirs. The number of second grade elixirs determines the difficulty of refining the elixir. There is only one alchemy master in Shushan sect, Elder Ma. But there are four senior alchemy masters. For senior alchemists may seem like a lot. But considering how large the Shushan sect is, with hundreds of mid and late stage foundation establishment disciples alone, for senior alchemists are simply not enough. When Elder Ma does not take action, the monk's elixirs in the middle and late stages of foundation building are always in short supply. And as soon as they appear, the monks will exchange their contribution points for them. 
You have now entered the threshold of a senior alchemist. There will be some connections in the sect to find you to refine elixirs. Do not accept such a commission for at least a year. The credibility of an alchemist is still very important. Even if it fails, the alchemist is not required to compensate. But what the alchemist loses when he fails is his credibility. Elder Ma thought for a while and explained. I understand. Li Shiming nodded. Li Shiming accepted the task of 100 furnaces of Chu Shen Huangling Pill and returned to his cave. After refining the Chu Shen Huangling Pill three times, he was able to stabilize the Chu Shen Huangling Pill at a high level full elixir. In addition to the help of Elder Ma's alchemy data collected by Z15, he had spent a lot of time refining it in the previous year. Gains from experience in making elixirs. After ensuring the refining efficiency, he tried to refine 10 batches of Chu Shen Huangling pill at one time. The reason why Li Shiming dared to do this was because of the help of Z15 within the scope of his spiritual mind. Not only was he able to monitor the refining process in the 10 alchemy furnaces, Z15 was also helping to monitor and issue constant reminders, even if he doesn't take it into consideration sometimes. With Z15's reminder, he can discover his mistakes at the first time. 10 jade bottles contained 100 high grade. Chu Shen Huang Ling pills. And he was very satisfied that nothing happened. After refining the Chu Shen Huang Ling pill, he put it in the computer room space. 10 spiritual weapon pill furnaces were arranged in the machine room space. By the way, he could also collect the essence of medicine and refine the top level. Chu Shen Huang Ling pill. You must know that after he reaches the middle stage of foundation building, he will need to take the top level. Chu Shen Huang Ling pill. And he must prepare in advance now. By the time the hundred furnaces of Chu Shen Huang Ling Pill were refined halfway through, he no longer had the slightest problem refining the mid stage foundation building elixir, just as easily as he was refining the Chu Shen Hun Yuan Pill. And since he was refining 10 furnaces at a time, his alchemy speed was even more extraordinary. So on the second day, he refined nearly 50 furnaces of Chu Shen Huang Ling Pill and produced four top level Chu Shen Huang Ling Pill. Li Shiming is not satisfied with the results he has achieved. He knows very well that he has AZ-15 and a computer room space with micron-level control. Under these conditions, his achievements are nothing. He fell in love with the 101 points pill technique and used it every time he made pills. When refining elixirs in the computer room space, he was not worried at all that there would be energy riots in the alchemy furnace when using the 100 points alchemy technique. In fact, such energy riots would be discovered and eliminated by him in their budding state. This is the benefit of micron level control. When his perception can sense the micron level, the Z15 can also sense the micron level under double monitoring. Especially when the Z15 never makes mistakes. Even if there is trouble, it will be discovered and solved as soon as possible. In the alchemy furnace where he had used the 100 points pill technique, the spiritual elixir that was originally taking shape appeared next to it and an illusory elixir shadow appeared, and it was frantically absorbing the spiritual power in the alchemy furnace. This was a phenomenon that he couldn't understand and caused Z-15 to almost crash. If it hadn't been discovered in the computer room space and recorded by his mind and Z-15, he would have thought it was a dazzle. He previously thought that the 101 points pill Ju was an elixir condensed by collecting the excess liquid in the elixir furnace, but he never thought that it would appear out of nothing and that it could turn the void into reality and form a spiritual elixir just by absorbing spiritual power. After this batch of elixirs came out, he took this batch of elixirs alone and observed them carefully. Twenty elixirs were produced in this furnace, all of which were of high quality. As long as he did not fall asleep while refining the elixir, low-quality elixirs would not be refined. He took out one of the ten high-level Shushan Huangling pills that turned virtual reality into reality. Since it with his mind, observed it with his eyes, and even scraped some to test the potency. No matter how he checked, it was the real high level. Chu Shen Huang Ling Pill. This is another phenomenon that he cannot understand. The seemingly unreliable magic formula of 100 points alchemy can be kept in the Chu Shen Alchemy Code without its own specialness. Li Shiming looked through the alchemy data recorded by Z15. The data was extremely large including microscopic changes in micron-sized particles in the alchemy furnace. He found the data of the previous time when he also used the 100 points pill technique without success, and he wanted to see what the difference was. After a period of analysis and research with Z15, he found an anomaly in the huge data. The 
100 points pilled you, was cast just before the elixir was released. During this period, when the 100 points pilled you, was successfully executed, a strange pattern appeared in the alchemy furnace. If he hadn't studied the secret of the 100 points pilled you, it would have been impossible to discover this strange pattern in the micron level particles. This strange pattern appeared for about one hundredth of a second. And it was exactly the one hundredth second that this strange pattern existed before he cast the 100 points pill Jew to take effect. This made the 100 points pill. The trick has been inspired. He didn't know what the strange patterns that appeared in the alchemy furnace were. But he was certain that it must be related to the success of 100 points alchemy during the next alchemy process. He repeated the success of the 100 points alchemy technique which confirmed his judgment. It's no wonder that the success rate of 101 points pill technique is extremely low. The time before the pill is released is about 3 seconds, and only by seizing 100th of the 3 seconds can this passing moment be achieved. It will make the 100 points pill you successful. The problem is that even with the use of spiritual power, one cannot discover the emergence process of the strange patterns. The strange patterns are composed of micron-sized particles. Not to mention that it is difficult to detect them with spiritual power. Even if they are discovered, they will not think of this aspect. Without Z15's post-analysis of the huge data, the strange pattern would have disappeared in that one hundredth of a second without even consciousness being able to turn around. After making this important discovery, Li Shiming began to try to use the 110-point elixir formula to refine double the amount of elixirs and apply the 110% elixir formula to each batch of elixirs. In other words, for one elixir material, he can refine 20 elixirs, which allows him to accumulate a large amount of materials or elixirs. More importantly, the production of top quality elixirs has also doubled. While Li Shiming's research on alchemy was producing results, Li Yuanba was also busy in the Sun Luo sect. Li Yuanba returned to Wanjin Peak, and Elder Jian saw him. Yuanba, it seems you are not in any danger this time. Right. Elder Jian asked with concern, after learning that Elder Lu died on the battlefield. Elder Jian regretted letting Li Yuanba participate in this battle. To be honest, foundation-building monks are actually like cannon fodder in such wars, and a large number of foundation-building monks will die every time. Of course, there are many examples of foundation-building monks obtaining resources in such battles, and thus standing out. But this time even Elder Lu, who was in the middle stage of the Golden Core, died which Elder Jian did not expect. Master, I didn't even use the beads you gave me, Li Yuanba replied with a smile. He did not lie to his master, Elder Jian. But Elder Jian would not have thought that what he meant was not that he was not in danger, but that he did not need to use the sword and tent beads when he was in danger. If Elder Lu had used the strength of the golden elixir to deal with him, he would have taken out the sword and tent Buddha pearl and used it long ago. Poor Elder Lu, who is in the middle stage of the golden elixir, was sucked into the Yuzu relic because of his greed, his fighting consciousness, which limited the strength of the golden elixir under his orders, was not able to exert even 1% of its strength. The cannon was killed. It is estimated that the middle stage Jean Dan monk who died the most aggrieved death in the world of immortality will be selected. And Elder Lu will probably be ranked first. That's good. Seeing that your sword intention is solid, you will gain a lot this time. Right. Elder Sword sensed Li Yuanba's sword intention and nodded. Master, I met a Buddha. He stepped on white lotuses and moved among the white lotuses at an almost flickering speed. I wonder what kind of skill this is. Li Yuanba heard his master ask this and immediately asked his question. Come out. He killed Yue Yuan Buddha. This is shown in the military records and there is no need to hide it. Xianye Temple step-by-step -step lotus is the introductory technique of Shinzu Tong. Elder Jian became interested. After answering, he continued to explain. Chinzu Tong is a kind of magical power. A technique based on the rules of heaven and earth that can only be understood by the Ying ancestor. Although building lotus step by step is an introductory technique that lays the foundation. It has already touched the edge of the rules of heaven and earth. Chapter 232 Master What are the rules of heaven and earth? Li Yuanba would not let go of this opportunity to get in touch with the secrets of the ancestor of nascent soul. So he asked his master. Everything in the world must operate according to certain laws. These laws are rules, and the rules of monks usually directly touch the source of power, so that the strongest power bursts out from the most basic level. Let's take the divine foot power as an example. Step by step, the lotus grows. 
is a short distance regular movement, which seems to be relatively weird. However, if you truly master the divine foot power at the nascent soul stage, you can cover a distance of hundreds of miles in one step. Simple movement, under the influence of rules, makes the impossible possible, which is really exciting. Elder Jin thought about it for a while and tried his best to answer him in a way that Li Yuanba could understand. His tone full of exclamations. He is only in the late stage of Jin Dan and has not yet come into contact with the rules of heaven and earth. So his words are only heard. Li Yuanba heard that the impossible became possible and he couldn't help but think of the 110 point elixir formula on the main body and whether the pattern of micron particles that appeared in one hundredth of a second was a manifestation of some kind of rule. The 101 point pill technique is to turn the impossible into possible and generate a magic pill out of thin air. His realm is too low. Maybe when his realm improves, he can truly understand these things. Your master is out of seclusion. You just come back today. I will take you to see your master. Elder Jian didn't want to continue what he couldn't talk about anymore. So he changed the topic. Follow master's instructions. Li Yuanba nodded and responded. Your master's surname is Lu. Remember it. Outsiders in the province don't even know it. Elder Jian led Li Yuanba away from Wanjin Peak and warned him while flying. Li Yuanba was still a little nervous. This was the real ancestor of nascent soul. Ahead are the three sacred peaks, which are forbidden areas for the sect. Of course, even if you want to get close, you will be stopped by the sect's formation, Elder Jian said, pointing to the three highest peaks ahead. Li Yuanba had never visited the sect, and his understanding of the sect's mountain gate was obtained from the map. When I really saw the three holy peaks, I still felt the power of the three holy peaks reaching into the sky, like three gods standing between heaven and earth, and like pillars supporting heaven and earth. Elder Jian took out the jade disc of identity and used it to shoot a spell at the mountain on the left. Come in. A moment later, a voice came from the ears of Elder Jian and Li Yuanba. Elder Jian signaled to Li Yuanba, suppressed the sword light, and flew towards the left peak of the Three Saints Peak. After entering the formation protecting the Three Saint Peaks, Li Yuanba felt the difference in spiritual energy. Needless to say, the concentration of spiritual energy here was about three times more than that in his cave. The concentration is not the biggest difference in the spiritual energy here. The most important difference in the spiritual energy here is the quality. The quality of the spiritual energy here is so high that he never thought that such spiritual energy could exist. If Li Yuanba could practice here, his cultivation speed would be more than doubled. This is because the quality of spiritual energy is extremely high which greatly increases the conversion rate of spiritual energy practice into spiritual power, allowing more spiritual power to be accumulated in the same practice time. He also knew that it was impossible to practice here. Even the cave he was in at Wanjin Peak was beyond the sex regulations. This is the training place of the ancestor of nascent soul. So the spiritual vein here is probably the main spiritual vein of Saluo sect. No wonder there is such spiritual energy. While thinking about it, he followed Elder Jian to the peak of the mountain on the left. A majestic hall could be seen among the clouds and mist on the peak. This majestic hall can only be seen after entering the formation. And there is no chance to see it outside the formation. Elder Jian entered the hall with ease from the front. At this time, a middle-aged man sat on a chair in the middle of the hall. He was completely different from the white-bearded grandfather Li Yuanba imagined. Master, I brought my direct disciples to pay homage. Elder Jian bowed and saluted. I have met the master. Li Yuanba also bowed and saluted. The middle-aged man glanced at Elder Jian with a smile and then looked at Li Yuanba with interest. You have finally accepted a disciple. I almost thought you were not going to leave the inheritance in the sect. Patriarch Lu said with a hint of ridicule in his words. The disciple promised the master that he would naturally pass down the sword intent to the sky technique in the sect. Elder Jian replied seriously. Thank you for finding such a pure sword cultivator in the demon sect. Patriarch Lu shook his head and said, Back then, Patriarch Lu rescued Elder Jian, brought him into the Sun Luo sect, and took Elder Jian as his disciple to train him carefully. One of the conditions was that the sword intention climb to the sky technique could be passed down in the Sun Luo sect. Patriarch Lu has never forced Elder Jian. There are many reasons for this, and the inheritance of sword intention Chong Shao Ju cannot be forced. At this time, Patriarch Lu discovered something very interesting. That is, Li Yuanba, a pure swordsman, actually cultivated a peak iron corpse. He did not say that any monk had no secrets. 
within his sensing range. Even the items placed on Li Yuanba's storage space could not escape his perception. It can be said that Li Yuanba has no secrets at all in front of Patriarch Lu. Fortunately, Li Yuanba had transferred some extremely important things to the main body Li Shiming before, which were special items like the Fresnel Reflector. Even if Patriarch Lu saw it, he would not know its function. Hey! Ancestor Lu saw something even more special, and he couldn't help but exclaim given his character. He saw a flying sword magic weapon. This was a flying sword magic weapon of excellent quality. Although it was a bit surprising that a sword cultivator in the early stages of foundation building had a flying sword magic weapon in his hand. Another item made Patriarch Lu exhale softly. The cause of the sound. Ancestor Lu moved his hand, and a corpse flew out from Li Yuanba's storage bracelet. Li Yuanba was shocked. The confidentiality of the storage bracelet was much higher than that of the storage bag. But Patriarch Lu was able to take out items from his storage bracelet at will. Which surprised him. What Patriarch Lu took out was the body of the six-fingered sound demon. With this body, the magic weapon in Li Yuanba's storage bracelet could be explained. Although the six-fingered sound demon is good at the Guqin magic weapon, the six-fingered sound demon does not have only one magic weapon. It is estimated that the foundation building monks cannot explore the six finger sound demon's legacy alone. After several monks explored, Li Yuan by the explanation can be explained clearly by being assigned the flying sword magic weapon and this corpse. Master, what are you doing? Elder Jian didn't know why Patriarch Lu took out a corpse from Li Yuan Ba's storage bracelet. Ha ha, this is the body of the six fingered sound demon. Li Lama's son was killed by the six fingered sound demon. He has been tracking down the whereabouts of the six-fingered sound demon. This corpse can be exchanged for some good things from Li Lama. Patriarch Lu explained with a smile. As the nascent soul of the demon sect, he has long been unrestrained in his actions. He can do whatever he wants. Not to mention his own descendants. Even other monks from the sect. As long as the quality of the space items is even worse, they will be inspected by him at will. Fans, you are a good disciple. I like it very much. Ancestor Lu smiled at Elder Jin, then turned to Li Yuanba and said, I want the body of the six-fingered sound demon. What do you want? Since Master is useful, I will honor you. Li Yuanba bowed and replied, He is only in the early stage of foundation building. No matter what good things Ancestor Lu can give, they are actually limited. They are probably spiritual objects in the foundation building stage. He is really not lacking in this aspect. So it is better to let Ancestor Lu owe a favor. Anyway, the body of the six-fingered sound demon was of little value to him. He originally brought it with him because he thought it might be useful within the sect. How could Master take advantage of you? This is my nameplate. When you go back to get a set of elixir-making resources, I will reward you. Patriarch Lu pressed his hands and said with a smile. He took out a wooden sign and threw it to Li Yuanba, who quickly caught it. Li Yuanba didn't know what the Changdan resource was. And when he was thinking about it, he heard the voice of his master. Elder Jin. Why don't you hurry up and thank Master? Elder Jin said as he patted Li Yuanba lightly. Thank you, Master. Li Yuanba quickly saluted and thanked him. When Li Yuanba put away the nameplate, Elder Jin looked at Patriarch Lu with a look of disbelief on his face. Master, you are a relative from another generation. Back then, I only obtained the elixir resources after a lot of hard work. Elder Jin said with a somewhat amused smile. He didn't say this before Li Yuanba put away the nameplate, but only said it after Li Yuanba had collected the benefits. Obviously, he didn't want to affect Li Yuanba's interests. Ha ha. You are really incompetent as a master. You have also underestimated your disciple. He can advance to the middle stage of foundation building in a year at most. And he has even prepared the flying sword magic weapon, which shows his determination to become a pill. Patriarch Lu talked about Li Yuanba's secrets with a smile on his face and eyes. Yuan Ba's flying sword magic weapon should have come from Yun Xingyi of Mingxin's sect. He got Yun Xingyi's technique. So I knew he must have found Yun Xingyi's body. What secrets does Yuan Ba have? Master? That's it. When it comes, let the juniors have their own little secrets. Elder Jian shook his head helplessly. Elder Jian himself was born in Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion. Although he was not a famous and decent family, Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion would not do whatever he wanted when training him. But his master is a demon cultivator. And he acts more and more casually. Elder Jian did not ask why his master, Patriarch Lu, was sure that Li Yuanba would be promoted to the middle stage of foundation establishment in one year. It was probably because there were some spiritual objects in the storage bracelet 
that could improve his cultivation. He really had no intention of prying into this secret. At the early stage of foundation building, Yun Xingye of Mingxin sect is actually a pretty good swordsman. What a pity! Patriarch Lu heard about Yun Xingye and couldn't help but shook his head inside. Then suddenly changed the subject and asked, You, it's time to have a baby. Are you ready to go back? The disciples' resources for forming an infant are not fully prepared yet. It will take at least 30 to 50 years before we can have some confidence in attacking the nascent soul. Should we return to Jianning Chou Shao Pavilion or wait until we achieve the nascent soul? Elder Jian hesitated for a moment. Replied, Is there anything to avoid? I promised you a long time ago that you will be able to return to Jianni Chong Shao Pavilion on your own after nascent soul, as long as you leave the inheritance. That's fine. Now you have found a successor and left the inheritance. Everything is up to you. Don't worry about the opinions of the sect. As long as I am here, I can protect you from some wind and rain. Patriarch Lu waved his hand and said with a generous smile. Li Yuanba stood aside, not daring to breathe. This was an absolute secret. The master was really preparing to leave Sun Luo's set. He thought of the weapon refining method and materials prepared by Elder Lu for refining Wan Jianfeng. It seemed that Elder Lu must know about this. So he prepared it early. When Elder Jian is promoted to Yuanying and leaves, or fails to be promoted and is seriously injured or even dies, then Elder Lu will have the opportunity to attack Wan Jianfeng and refine it into a powerful magic weapon that belongs to him. Here, Patriarch Lu and Elder Jian chatted for a while. And Patriarch Lu waved to Li Yuanba. Master. Li Yuanba came to Patriarch Lu and bowed. Don't be so rigid as your master. Saying that swordsmen can only use flying swords. And swordsmen who can save their lives are good swordsmen. Patriarch Lu glared when he saw the swordsman beside him, who seemed to want to refute. Said, Tell me how many times you have encountered life and death crisis. As long as you make a mistake, you will be doomed. If you had more defense measures, how could such a thing happen? Sword cultivation requires sharpening. Otherwise, how can you improve your sword spirit? Elder Jian really didn't want his master to teach his disciples bad things. So he objected. Although Patriarch Lu is a nascent soul, he is not a sword cultivator. Elder Sword has more say in this regard than Patriarch Lu. Besides, Jianni Chong Shao Pavilion has produced ascended monks and has more experience in sword cultivation than Sun Luo's sect. Forget it. You made me angry when you came here. Patriarch Lu waved his hand and winked at Li Yuanba again, as if to tell Li Yuanba that I know your little secret, but I just won't tell Elder Jian. Li Yuanba certainly knew what Patriarch Lu meant. How could the generals and ministers being carried around by him escape Patriarch Lu's perception? Hurry up and get the elixir resources. I remember that I recently got a new batch of elixir resources. After this opportunity, I don't know how long it will take for the next one. Elder Jian said to Li Yuanba after coming out of the Three Saints Peak, urged. Master, are the Chengdan resources the resources to advance to the Golden Dan? Is it too early for me to receive it now? Li Yuanba asked somewhat confused. You have been in the sect for too short a period of time. The elixir forming resources include a complete set of magical medicines, techniques and secrets. These are the best elixir forming formulas that have been summarized by seniors in the past generations and research based on the actual situation of the sect. Master, I really appreciate you. Okay. I gave you a set of elixir-making resources when I came up. And I didn't give you a chance to work hard. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Elder Jian said thoughtfully. In fact, Patriarch Lu didn't want to owe you and buy any favors. In addition, the corpse of the six-fingered sound demon had an effect in his hands that was not comparable to that of a set of elixir resources. The most important thing is that although there are not many items in Li Yuanba's storage bracelet, Patriarch Lu can tell that he may have been rewarded with other spiritual objects. And it is estimated that Li Yuanba may not like them. Speaking of magical weapons, the sword cultivator has only used flying swords in his life. Now Li Yuanba is using a flying sword. A spiritual weapon. And Li Yuanba has even prepared the flying sword magic weapon. It is impossible for Patriarch Lu to reward him with a spiritual weapon or something like that. Patriarch Lu cannot afford to lose this person. In terms of cultivation resources, Patriarch Lu also gave up the idea of providing cultivation resources after discovering a large bottle of top-level elixir. Chapter 233 Request On a mountain peak next to Wanjin Peak, Li Yuanba was setting up a formation. He requested this mountain peak from his master, Elder Jin. Many of the peaks near Wanjin Peak belong to Elder Jin. However, he has no disciples 
and does not engage in spiritual cultivation. So most of the peaks are deserted. When Li Yuanba asked Elder Jian that he needed a mountaintop for his own use, Elder Jian agreed to his request without thinking. This is not a big deal. And Elder Jian has no intention of prying into his secrets. At the level of Elder Jian, all he has to do is accumulate resources and wait for the breakthrough to nascent soul. Elder Jian does not believe that there is a skill in the world that is stronger than the sword intention climb to the sky. He has been loyal to his flying sword all his life and practiced the strongest skill. Even if he is living in the demon sect, he is still that person. Pure swordsmanship. His demand for foreign objects was extremely low, and he used whatever resources he had to strengthen the flying sword. Li Yuanba obtained the mountain peak and began to arrange it. He also did not engage in spiritual development of Shuiyun Peak. The environment of Shuiyun Peak is good. A waterfall descends from the mountainside, forming a pool of water at the foot of the mountain. Unfortunately, the mountain's spiritual veins are only top grade. Otherwise it would be good as a cave. He wanted this place for no other reason than to practice. Purple Chi from the east. The cave is still at Wanjin Peak. And the cave at Wanjin Peak is at the Golden Core level. The spiritual energy and sword intention there are very useful for him to practice. Sword Intent Rush. Chao Ju is of great help. After arranging the formation for Shuyan Feng, his daily practice became fixed. Taking a top level. Chu Shan Hun Yuan Pill. Every two days, coupled with his own spiritual root talent and the spiritual veins in the cave. His cultivation speed is no better than that after a year of Purple Chi Dong Lai. Strengthening the main body of the Isle Body. Li Shimming. Is worse. The speed of practicing. Sword Intent to Sky Technique. Suddenly increased many times. Especially after taking the top level. Chu Shen Hun Yuan Pill. Which made one practice equal to 20 times of practice. And every morning. He would go to Shuiyun Peak and absorb the purple gas through 1,500 Fresnel reflectors as the sun rose. In addition, he also took back the Chengdan resources given by Patriarch Lu. And Patriarch Lu's nameplate was also taken away. When he asked for the resources of Chengdan, what was delivered to him were the elixirs required for the four types of elixirs, the Pulse Protecting Pill, the Dingling Pill, the Resurrection Pill, and the Puyu Dan as well as a copy of Sun Luo's sect's knowledge about Chung Dan Jade slips with secrets. The reason why the elixir is required for the elixir is because these four elixirs all contain third-grade elixirs as the main medicine, and require the help of an alchemy master to refine them. The alchemy master of Sun Luo's sect rarely takes action anymore. It is said that he is approaching the nascent soul stage and has been in seclusion for more than 10 years. New alchemy masters have not yet been trained. The failure rate of senior alchemists refining third-grade elixirs is so high that no monks are likely to be willing to hire them. It's not that there is no way out. That is to ask alchemy masters from other forces to take action. But this cannot be done by the sect and needs to be solved by the monks themselves. Li Yuanba didn't care. But he was more willing to do so after taking the elixir. Based on the situation on the main body side, when he reaches the later stage of foundation building, Li Shiming, the main body, will probably also become a master of alchemy. Li Yuanba's side has stabilized. Although the Saluo sect still has some minor conflicts with the Zhengdao sect and the trouble with Xinye Temple has not yet been resolved. The conflict between the major sects in the world of immortality is not a short-term matter. The battle between the major sects will last for many years, which also gives the monks of each sect time to practice. After Li Shiming of Xuxian sect learned to refine. Xuxian Huangling Pill He began to refine. Xuxian Huangling Pill in large quantities. Chu Shen Huangling Pill is not. Chu Shen Hun Yuan Pill. The five flavors and second grade elixir in the pill make its output not large. Fortunately, with years of accumulation, the four senior alchemists in the sect in the past were not capable of refining ten furnaces of elixirs at the same time. That not only required spiritual power, but also a strong enough spirit. And the most important talent. It is difficult for four senior alchemists to guarantee the success of each furnace of elixirs. How could it be possible for Li Shiming to refine ten furnaces of elixirs at the same time? This is mostly the ability of the alchemy master. Therefore, the sect has accumulated a lot of second-grade five-flavored elixirs of Chu Shen Huangling Pill. Over the years, the annual output cannot be consumed by senior alchemists. So more and more five-flavored second-grade elixirs are accumulated in the natural warehouse. But after Li Shiming took action, this situation changed. Each time ten furnaces of Chu Shen Huangling Pill are refined. All are high-grade. Chu Shen Huang Ling Pill. And through the use of 
101 points pill technique. The Chushan Huangling pill produced as double the amount of full pill. Of course, it was impossible for Li Shiming to reveal that he could increase the success rate of the 100 points pill Ju to 100%. If he really exposed this ability, he was afraid that he would be in big trouble. On the one hand, it is really unexplainable, especially for Elder Ma. Elder Ma has done a lot of research on the 100 point elixir. Either his computer room space will be exposed, otherwise, no argument can make Elder Ma believe it. On the other hand, if the 110% alchemy technique with a 100% success rate is exposed, he will not have to do anything else. There is a high possibility that he will be locked up by the sect and he will continue to refine the pill every day. Being forced to make elixirs by others and being willing to make elixirs yourself are two different things. Therefore, although he had been using the 101 point pill Ju to refine the Chushan Yellow Spirit Pill, he kept all the excess. Chushan Yellow Spirit Pill the resources in the middle stage of foundation building are extremely precious. They are more hard currency than spirit stones. When you really need to exchange for some spiritual items, taking out the high level. Chushan Yellow Spirit Pill is more popular than buying it with spirit stones. Li Shiming maintained the frequency of refining 5 times a day, which was equivalent to accumulating 10 top level. Chushan Huangling Pills for himself every day. It's a pity that such happy days didn't last long. After more than 30 days, he consumed all the materials of Chushan Huangling Pill. In the sect, the materials accumulated by the sect for many years could not meet the speed of refining it. This shows the importance of a powerful alchemist to the sect. In just 30 days, he refined 1,600 bottles of high-grade Chushan Yellow Spirit Pill. For the sect, of course, he also kept a thousand bottles in his own computer room. 600 bottles of high-grade Chushan Huangling Pill. Not to mention that he still has 324 top level. Chushan Yellow Spirit Pills. According to his estimation, these are enough for him to practice for a year. And for a mid-stage foundation building monk who takes one top level spirit pill every day, the entire world of immortality will not be able to do it. There will be a second one. Many knowledgeable monks in this sect were also shocked by his alchemy behavior. Fortunately, Elder Ma blocked him from outside prying eyes, which allowed him to quietly refine alchemy in practice. Little junior brother. On this day, Li Shiming had just finished practicing Purple Chi from the East and was about to continue practicing two body training techniques when he received news that his senior sister Yi Jingxian and two senior brothers were visiting him. Senior sister. Second senior brother. Third senior brother. He activated the formation. And after inviting the three of them to the cave hall, he asked curiously, Senior senior sister, aren't you in retreat? Why do you have time to come to my place? I heard that my junior brother has become a senior alchemist, and his skills are far superior to those of several senior alchemists in the sect. You also know how I am in seclusion. I happened to ask you for help with something. So I came here. The senior sister didn't have the slightest idea, said in a circle. Sister, if you have anything to say, just tell me. Li Shiming replied with a smile. Sister, it's not my business. It's the two of them's business, senior sister said pointing to the second senior brother Wan Zheng and the third senior brother Lu Xur next to them. If you two senior brothers have anything to do, just come to me directly. Please bother me. Senior sister? Li Shiming couldn't help but shake his head and looked at the two senior brothers with a smile. The senior sister and the two senior brothers looked at each other and showed helpless smiles. Originally, everyone was a disciple of Elder Su. So this relationship was naturally cultivated. And over time, the relationship became close. This is the case for the senior sister and the two senior brothers. Except for the days when they visit the master when they are in the sect. They don't have much contact with each other. But Li Shiming's growth rate has been a bit fast. Now he is a senior alchemist. And he is still a senior alchemist who can continue to refine high-level second-grade elixirs. This makes them have to think of strengthening communication with Li Shiming. On the one hand, the two senior brothers came here to refine a batch of elixirs. And on the other hand, they took this opportunity to meet Li Shiming and connect with each other. The senior sister was in retreat. Her retreat was not really a retreat. She still paid attention to the news outside. The two junior brothers found her and told her about Li Shiming's situation, which led to this joint visit. Junior brother, this is a pill recipe. Can you see if it can be refined? What is the quality and success rate? Second senior brother Wan Zheng took out a pill recipe 
and handed it to Li Shiming and asked. Li Shiming took the elixir, which was a prescription made of seven second-grade elixirs and fifty remaining first-grade elixirs. It was more complex than the Xu Shen Huang Ling pill, but it was still in his mind. Within the scope of ability, this elixir recipe has detailed refining methods. Based on his experience in refining more than 1,600 second-grade elixirs, even though it is a new elixir recipe, he can guarantee the refining effect because no senior alchemist's alchemy process can be viewed through a micron-level perspective. The experience in this state can be said to be comparable to the experience of other senior alchemists ten or hundreds of times. It is not that he has not refined other elixirs before. It is his many successful experiences that give him full confidence in refining them. Green Li Wuyun Pill. It's a good elixir. I can refine it. And I'm 80% sure it will be of high quality. Li Shiming thought for a while and replied. Hearing what he said, Wan Zheng and Lu Xiu were both happy. Green Li Wuyun Pill is a training aid elixir that can be taken in the middle and late stages of foundation building. The two of them have been collecting elixirs since they obtained this elixir. As they took several of the sex elixirs for a long time, the drug resistance in their bodies made the effects of the elixirs worse and worse. Not only them, many monks in the middle and late stages of foundation building will look for elixir recipes and find senior alchemists to refine them on their own. After taking a kind of elixir for a year or two, the effect is basically unable to meet the needs of cultivation. So other elixirs need to be replaced. Dan. As for asking their master, Elder Su, to come forward and ask Elder Ma to refine elixirs for them, unless it involves life and death or affects the most critical breakthrough. Elder Su would be too embarrassed to ask Elder Ma to refine elixirs. Although Elder Su and Elder Ma are old friends, they should try to do as little as possible when they reach the level of Jean Dan. Junior brother, this is the elixir. Please help me. Wan Cheng took out a storage bag and placed it in front of Li Shiming and said with Lu Xur, Senior brothers, you're welcome. Let me take a look at the elixir first. Li Shiming's mind entered the storage bag and checked the condition of the elixir. He found that the elixir was well preserved and he couldn't help but nodded. But there were a lot of elixirs. He calculated that there were 50 elixirs. Junior brother, we don't want to break the alchemist's rules. Remuneration will be as normal. Wan Zheng continued. This was Li Shiming's first time refining alchemy for a private person other than a sec mission. He was still a little unaccustomed to the reward. Especially when he was in front of his own senior brother. Junior brother, don't be polite to them. That is, they can find you directly. Many monks in the sect wanted to ask you to take action. But Elder Ma blocked them. He said that you are still in the learning stage. If you receive less reward, but you will be blamed by Elder Ma and will also be resented by other alchemists. The senior sister knew that Li Shiming was a little embarrassed. So she explained with a smile, no matter Wan Zheng, Lu Xur, or senior sister Yi Jingxian, they did not want Li Shiming to make alchemy for free. In that case, how could they ask Li Shiming for help in the future? Judging from Li Shiming's current alchemy talent, he will definitely become an alchemy master in the future. The benefits of being able to call on an alchemy master at any time are much greater than the benefits of making alchemy once or twice for free. Since senior sister said so, I will take it. Li Shiming finally nodded and responded, although they knew that Li Shiming would definitely help. Wan Zheng and Lu Xur still showed excitement. Li Shiming didn't communicate much with the mid to late stage foundation building monks in the sect, so he didn't know the mood of this group of mid to late stage foundation building monks. After learning that a new senior alchemist had appeared in the sect, Many mid to late stage foundation building monks were filled with joy and anticipation, thinking that when this new senior alchemist grew up, they would have one more choice for alchemy. But as batches of high level, Xu Shan Huang Ling pills were sent to the sect's warehouse, the matter could not be hidden from the monks in the sect. Everyone knew that the newly promoted senior alchemist had refined a large number of high level Xu Shan Huang Ling pills, Huang Ling Dan, and never fails. This made most of the middle stage foundation building monks in the sect who had overdosed on a Chu Shen Huang Ling pill hit the wall with regret. The effect of the high level Chu Shen Huang Ling pill was not comparable to that of the mid level and low level Chu Shen Huang Ling pill. Similarly, the sect has reworked its contribution points for exchanging high grade Chu Shen Huang Ling pills. And these batches of high grade Chu Shen Huang Ling pills are all marked with Li Shiming's unique mark. Chapter 234 Midterm Among the foundation building monks of the Chu Shen sect, the elixirs marked with Li Shiming's mark have the most obvious characteristic. That is, they are all high-level elixirs, which makes Li Shiming, a newly promoted senior alchemist, 
even more famous. It's a pity that the monks in the middle and later stages of foundation building wanted to find Li Shiming to make elixirs. But there was no way to find them. Li Shiming's footprints are between the three peaks of Jinjin Peak, Tianmu Peak and Danning Peak. These places are not accessible to ordinary sect monks. If you want to contact him, you have to suffer because you don't know him. And you can't even contact him with his identity. Li Shiming still didn't know that he was famous. He was protected by Elder Ma and gave him a year to grow up. In this year, Li Shiming has been regarded as a super genius. Elder Ma is also worried that Li Shiming failed to make alchemy for private due to lack of experience, which will not only damage his reputation, but also affect his Taoist heart. If a private alchemy fails, what is lost is the elixir that others have been searching for. Although the alchemist does not need to consider the loss, the impact is still not small. Elder Ma wanted to protect Li Shiming and let Li Shiming gain enough experience by refining the elixir for the sect. But he never thought that Li Shiming would grow so fast. In just one month, he had refined 1,600 furnaces of second grade elixirs and completed the accumulation of experience in elixir refining. Two senior brothers, come here to get the elixir at this time tomorrow, Li Shiming said to Wan Zheng and Lu Shi. His words made the two senior brothers stunned, and the two senior brothers thought they heard wrongly. Junior brother, there is no need to be in such a hurry. You can refine it slowly, Wan Zheng said after a moment. Okay, are you an alchemist or is my junior brother an alchemist? Just do what the junior brother says, or else you can take the elixirs and elixirs back. Before Li Shiming could speak, senior sister Yi Jingxian clapped her hands. Road, then let's come here tomorrow. Wan Zheng and Lu Xiu said helplessly. Don't worry about refining. It doesn't matter if everything fails. What the senior sister said before leaving almost made Wan Zheng and Lu Xiu fall to the ground. Even though they were true disciples, it took a lot of time and energy to obtain 50 copies of the Jingli Wu Yun Dan elixir, and a lot of favors were used up. But considering the temper of the senior sister, they didn't dare to say anything. You guys, I really don't know what you are thinking. You can still doubt my junior brother's alchemy level. After leaving Sword Holding Peak, the senior sister pointed at the two junior brothers and shook her head. After saying that, she accelerated towards her mountain peak and ignored the two junior brothers. 50 furnaces of green glass 5 Yundan was just one day's work for Li Shiming. He didn't rush to refine the elixir. First, he followed the normal training process and completed the diamond body protection magical technique and Toward Demon's Secret Manual. Practice. He felt that he was only a hair away from reaching the peak of Foundation Building. But he didn't know how long the bottleneck from the early stage of Foundation Building to the middle stage would hold him back. That was impossible to estimate. His body refining continued to strengthen with practice. Unfortunately, he became a senior alchemist. And the battle between monks became further and further away from him. Fortunately, his clone Li Yuanba kept fighting and sharing combat experience with him so that he would not become a monk without any combat experience. The process of refining the Jingli Wu Yun Dan was very smooth. Even if it was the first time to refine the Jingli Wu Yun Dan, there were no problems. Ten furnaces of high-grade Jingli Wu Yun Dan were perfectly refined. Dan produced 198 high-grade Jingli Wu Yun Dan and two top-grade Jingli Wu Yun Dan. Of course, he now makes alchemy in the computer room space. This refining method is of great benefit to alchemy. Micron level control allows him to more accurately grasp the process of alchemy. More importantly, if you want to increase the success rate of the 100 point elixir to 100%, you must refine it in the computer room space. He spent the whole day refining the Greenly Wuyun Dan five times in 50 furnaces of the elixir, which did not even affect his daily main practice. When all the refining was completed, there were 990 high grade. Qingli Wayudin, and 10 top level, Qingli Wayudin, in front of him. After this private alchemy, he truly saw the huge profits of alchemists. Among them, there are 330 high grade, green glass 5 yun pills, given to senior brothers Wan Zheng and Lu Xiu, and the rest belong to him, not counting using the 100 points pill technique. To double the amount of pills, he also got 165 high grade, green glass 5 yun pills and 10 top-level green glass 5 yun pills. He put 330 high-grade green glass 5 yun pills in jade bottles and waited for them to be handed over to his two senior brothers the next day. The next morning, after Li Shiming practiced purple chi from the east, 
he was waiting for his two senior brothers to come over. But just as he was sitting in the hall, he felt ripples in the spiritual lake within his body. He was so blessed that a white lotus appeared under his feet. And another white lotus appeared in the training room. In an instant, he appeared on the white lotus in the training room. He sat cross-legged on the white lotus. Under the white lotus was the outlet of the spiritual veins. There were ripples in the spirit lake at first. And as the ripples became more frequent, the water splash became higher and higher. The liquid five elements thunder spiritual power is constantly stirring in the spirit lake and the aura on Lee Shimming's body is also constantly changing. The Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique operates automatically, pulling the unstable five-element thunder spirit power in the spiritual lake to operate in a unique way. In Lee Shimming's perception, he felt that a wall seemed to appear in front of him, and the five elements of thunder spirit power were constantly washing away at the wall, trying to break through the wall. He had a feeling that as long as he broke through the wall, he could advance to the middle stage of foundation building. And this wall was the bottleneck of the early stage of foundation building that was embodied by his consciousness. Originally, he thought that this seemingly thick wall was not so easy to break through. But the five elements thunder spiritual power only washed away more than ten times. And the wall was full of cracks. As if it would break in the next moment. Li Shiming underestimated his own talent. The Taoist body that was promoted through. Purple Chi from the East was a Taoist body that was transformed from the innate purple energy. Although it has not yet reached the full form of the Taoist body, it is for in terms of the bottleneck in the foundation building period. It is of great help. In the history of immortality cultivation, no monk has ever raised his Tao body to his level by absorbing the innate purple energy. Such a result was achieved through the combination of the science of the previous life and the purple energy from the East technique in this life. What's going on? Did something happen? Wan Zheng cast a spell outside the sword-holding peak to remind Li Shiming of his arrival. But after waiting for a stick of incense, he didn't see Li Shiming appear. He couldn't help but feel in his heart become anxious. Lu Xiu on the side was also worried. The only possibility he could think of was that Li Shiming failed in making alchemy and was embarrassed to see them. It's better to invite senior sister to come. Even if the alchemy fails, it doesn't matter. Just treat it as an investment. Junior brother. Wan Zheng stabilized his mind and said slowly. When he said this, Lu Xiu was not a fool, so he naturally thought of Li Shiming's talent for alchemy. Although the losses were heavy this time, it was not a bad thing. Such a heavy investment would definitely make Li Shiming owe them a big favor. Yes, please ask senior sister to come over and advise Li Shiming not to affect his state of mind because of those elixirs. Lu Xiu also nodded repeatedly. A magic formula flew out, and this time it entered the mountain formation of senior sister Yi Jingxian. The peaks of several senior brothers were all surrounding Tinmu Peak, so it was convenient to connect them. What happened? Soon the senior sister's figure appeared in the air. She looked at the two junior brothers and asked. For some reason, junior brother didn't respond when the scheduled time came. We are worried that junior brother failed to refine the alchemy, which affected his state of mind. Wan Zheng explained with a wry smile. That's right. You didn't think about your own elixir. You thought about the impact on your junior brother first. The senior sister nodded and praised, and then said, Just wait here. Do you want me to forcefully break it open? Can't we make a big formation? As she spoke, the senior sister also sent a spell to enter the sword-holding peak and waited in the void. After waiting for two hours, the sword-holding peak's formation was activated. Seeing the opening of the sword-holding peak formation, the three of them all breathed a sigh of relief. The three of them were also worried that Li Shiming couldn't think about it. After all, Li Shiming's training time was too short. Entering the cave hall, I saw Li Shiming, whose breath was unstable. Adjusting his breath, the three of them were shocked at first, thinking that Li Shiming had gone crazy, but they soon discovered something was wrong. Li Shiming's unstable aura was obviously caused by his inability to control his aura after being promoted. Especially the third senior brother Lu Xiu. His mouth was wide open at this time, looking like he was in disbelief. How long has Li Shiming been in the sect? And they all know Li Shiming's information. It has only been two years since Li Shiming entered the foundation building stage. So why was he promoted to the middle stage of foundation building? Lu Xiu thought of himself. It took him 12 years to advance to the middle stage of foundation building. But he was still praised by his master as having excellent talent. If he is extremely talented, what does Li Shiming mean? For a moment, Lu Xiu felt doubtful about life. Li Shiming's talent is the three spiritual roots. 
His master, Elder Su, accepted him as his disciple because Li Shiming brought back the third grade Miyong Clover for his master. The master accepted him as his disciple out of gratitude to Li Shiming, not to mention Lu Xiu. Wan Zheng and senior sister were also quite surprised. Is this the blessed fate that Master Master Su mentioned? Are all monks with high fortune so perverted? Senior sister. Two senior brothers. I'm sorry. I suddenly had an idea and kept you waiting for so long. Li Shiming was also very embarrassed. He made an appointment but did not answer the appointment. Junior brother. Congratulations on your promotion to the middle stage of foundation establishment. Now you can see how Su Chuan feels confident that he is not the youngest junior brother. The senior sister had a different view, she said with a smile. Wan Zheng and Lu Xiu both thought of Su Chuan and couldn't help but laugh because of Li Shiming's entry. Su Chuan suddenly became a four senior brother from junior junior brother. He was proud of himself for a long time before he was caught up by Li Shiming. And you, Lu Xiu, guess how long it will take for junior brother to surpass you? Senior sister said to Lu Xiu again. Lu Xiu's smile froze on his face instantly. With Li Shiming's training speed, it seemed that it would not be difficult to catch up with him. By then, he, the third senior brother, would no longer dare to call himself a disciple, and his face would have been greatly lost. Two senior brothers, that Qingli Wuyun Dan dot. Li Shiming had just started to speak when he was interrupted by Wan Zheng. Junior brother, if you fail the Qingli Wuyun Dan, you will fail. Your promotion to the middle stage of foundation building is a big deal. Wan Zheng waved his hand nonchalantly and said, That's right, little junior brother. Don't affect your state of mind. Alchemy is about growing through constant failures. Senior sister also advised. Lu Xiu nodded repeatedly, with the same indifferent look on his face. Li Shiming couldn't help but feel warm in his heart. It was better for him to be his senior sister and brother. This kind of care made him feel warm. It's not a failure. These are 330 pieces of green glass 5 yun pills. Li Shiming was afraid that he would take out the green glass 5 yun pills. Too late and would have to be persuaded by his senior sister and two senior brothers. So he hurriedly took out the refined green glass 5 yun pills. Li Wu Yun Dan was taken out. Wan Zheng took the big jade bottle in a daze. And Li Shiming put all the green glass 5 yun pills in a big jade bottle. This big jade bottle is a magic weapon and can retain the medicinal power for a long time. This kind of large jade bottle is not very valuable, but it is extremely practical. Wan Zheng's spiritual mind scanned the blue glass 5 yun dan in the large jade bottle and found that it was of extremely high quality and was not an ordinary high grade blue glass 5 yun dan. They are also high grade second grade elixirs, but there are subtle differences among them. The high grade green glass 5 yun dan in the large jade bottle can be described as perfect. Junior brother, your alchemy skills are really nothing to say. From now on, senior brother's elixirs will all depend on you. Wan Zheng smiled and handed the big jade bottle to the anxious Lu Xiu aside, and said enthusiastically to Li Shiming, As long as it's alchemy within the scope of my ability, you can come to me at any time. Li Shiming would not refuse. How could he refuse such a good thing? He also knew that since the middle stage of foundation establishment, the true second grade elixirs and elixirs within the sect could not be refined in unlimited quantities. It takes time to produce the second grade elixir needed for the second grade elixir. And no amount of inventory can stop this crazy refining. If you want to refine more second grade elixirs, you need private refining. You can not only get more elixirs, but also gain favors from monks. Just like the two senior brothers, they worked hard to get the elixir recipes and materials but the elixir they got was not half as good as what Li Shiming got by sitting at home and working hard all day. Besides, the sex alchemy task can't be overdone. After all, the sex still has four senior alchemists, so they can't take away all their tasks. He didn't know about this before, so he should pay attention to it in the future. Junior brother, hurry up and become a senior alchemist. Then I will let you refine my elixir, Yi Jingxian said with shining eyes although she is only half of a golden elixir. She is only one step away from it. But this step requires a long time to be honed slowly. She has all the resources to become an elixir. She will wait until Elder Su is free to help her find a horse. The elder took action to refine it. But if Li Shiming's level of alchemy improves quickly enough, she would like to hand over such an important elixir to Li Shiming's hands for refining. Chapter 235 Guest Guest Li Yuanba was sitting on the top of the mountain. Facing the east, 
and a little red light jumped out from the line between heaven and earth. Suddenly, 1,500 Fresnel reflectors simultaneously reflected the first ray of sunlight on his body. Purple Chi from the east absorbed the innate purple gas and transformed his body. He has been practicing Purple Chi from the east for more than a month, and the transformation of his body is gratifying. The Secret Code of Sword Demon Body training technique uses the third grade sword base to influence and strengthen the body. This drastic method will still leave some damage to some extent. After a month of continuous absorption of the innate purple energy, the damage to his body has almost disappeared. His spirit is also constantly growing. And this growth is extremely obvious. He believes that after continuing for a while, he can try to practice the Thousand Hammers Divine Forging Technique to transform his spiritual thoughts into divine thoughts in advance. These are similar to the original cultivation of Purple Chi from the East, which is not an unexpected surprise. The real surprise is Li Yuan Ba's unique change. That is, the change of sword intent. As for the main body Li Shiming, because he practices thunder techniques and the five elements of thunder power are bred in his body. His sword intention has a thunder and lightning effect. However, Li Yuan Ba's sword intention absorbed the power of the Yang from the innate purple energy, forming an evil destroying effect. After the sword intention obtained the effect of destroying evil, he was a little bit dumbfounded. As a demon sect monk like Sun Luo's sect, his sword intention is to destroy evil, which is more righteous than the orthodox righteous path. Of course, although the evil breaking effect has a restraining effect on cold and cold energy and demonic cultivation, it also has considerable power on general exercises. After all, it is the power of the sun. Although it only contains a trace at present, all the energy in the world will be affected in front of it. However, whether this influence is strong or weak depends on the amount of yang power contained in the sword intention. Li Yuanba explained to his master, Elder Jian, that he would have to practice in seclusion for at least one year, so Elder Jian would not disturb his practice and let him complete some tasks. This was a relatively stable period of time. Both Li Yuanba and Li Shiming were protected by their master, and external disturbances did not affect them. Li Shiming began to receive a small amount of private alchemy business in Shushan sect. These private alchemy businesses were entrusted by the descendants of his master, Elder Su. As for other monks in the sect, they had no chance to meet him, let alone his alchemy. On this day, he was called to Tianmu Peak by his master, Elder Su. It was still the same pavilion. This time, Elder Su stood in the pavilion in advance, with a strange monk standing next to him. Li Shiming's spirit was extremely strong, and the fact that the strange monk did not hide his cultivation allowed him to sense that he was an early stage golden elixir monk. But his aura in the early stage of the golden elixir was a bit weird. And he didn't know what was weird. I've met the master. He stepped forward and saluted. Sure Ming is here. This is fellow Taoist Kai Hong from Beiju Trading Company. I just want to introduce you. Let's talk. Elder Su said slightly embarrassedly as he looked at his disciple. He turned around and left. But Li Shiming's ears heard his voice transmitted through sound transmission. Sure Ming. This is a favor I owe. I only care about your meeting with fellow Taoist Kai Hong. It doesn't matter what the outcome is. So you don't have to consider my thoughts. Li Shiming kept a smile on his face. But he knew in his heart that his alchemy ability was probably known to the Beishu Trading Company. So he sent the monks to look for him. Beishu Trading Company is the largest trading bank on the mainland and including Tianhai Island. Maintaining friendly relations with such a trading bank will only benefit himself. So he does not dislike this meeting. Fellow Daoist Li, please forgive me for taking the liberty of visiting. Kai Hong waited for Elder Su to walk away, then bowed and said first, for Beishu Commercial Bank to be so large, its own network of relationships cannot be ignored. As for Li Shiming's sudden rise, Beishu Trading Company sent Kai Hong as soon as they discovered it. This was also a prominent shopkeeper closest to Shushan sect. The reason why he was so anxious was that he was afraid that Li Shiming would sign contracts with other trading firms first which would be a great loss to Beishu Trading Company, since Li Shiming became an alchemist. In addition to refining elixirs for the sect, he has only refined elixirs for a few monks privately. However, according to the investigation of Beishu Commercial Bank, so far, Li Shiming has not lost any elixirs no matter what level they are. He succeeded and maintained the 100% yield rate of high-level elixirs. Even the think tank of Beishu Commercial Bank unanimously believed that Li Shiming would definitely become a master of alchemy and a particularly productive alchemy master. Although many alchemy inheritances have secret methods for refining multiple furnaces of elixirs at the same time, 
This secret method is generally aimed at low-level elixirs. That is to say, when a senior alchemist refines a first-grade elixir, he can use secret methods to refine multiple furnaces of elixirs at the same time. However, when a senior alchemist refines a second-grade elixir, he can no longer use this kind of secret method. This will cause the success rate of the elixir to be reduced and the quality to be greatly reduced. However, according to the investigation of Beishu Trading Company, even if Li Shiming refines the second-grade elixirs in the middle and late stages of foundation building, he still uses the method of refining multiple furnaces of elixirs at once. Otherwise, he cannot complete that amount of elixirs in a short time. Refining? Li Shiming is the alchemist that Beishu Commercial Bank needs most and can greatly improve Beishu Commercial Bank's elixir business. Senior, please don't be polite. What do you want from me? Li Shiming asked with a smile. Fellow Daoist Li, you should call me fellow Daoist. I don't dare to take the title of senior. Kai Hong said with a wry smile and shook his head. Seeing Li Shiming's expression of confusion, he went on to explain. My golden elixir realm is actually a fake elixir. What is a fake elixir? Li Shiming saw that Kai Hong didn't mention anything to him. Instead, they started chatting without being in a hurry just in time to learn more about it. Fake elixir is a helpless move. When you can't break through the realm of golden elixir, you use secret methods to refine the golden elixir of the great demon into your own golden elixir, so that you can have a certain power of the golden elixir. Unfortunately, once the fake elixir is achieved, then in this life you can't go any further, and you will always be in the fake elixir state. Kai Hong explained for him. Does it have to be the great demon golden pill? Is the monk's golden pill useful? Li Shiming asked again. It's not that he wants to achieve a fake elixir. With his current situation, no matter how poor his talent is, after practicing Purple Chi from the East, his talus body has forcibly upgraded his qualifications to the level of a genius. He wanted to know this because there were two golden elixirs in his computer room space. He had never been able to use these two golden elixirs. Now that he heard about a use of the golden elixirs, he asked this question. Of course you can use the monk's golden elixir, but that is done by demonic cultivators. Even among demonic cultivators, those who dare to use this method to achieve fake elixirs will also be rejected by the demonic cultivator's golden elixir. Although Kai Hong didn't know why he asked this. But if you want to build a good relationship, you won't hold anything back. The two of them started talking to each other in the pavilion. Li Shiming was short-sighted. So Kai Hong kept introducing some secrets of the world of immortality. And then Li Shiming asked questions. It wasn't until he finished drinking a pot of spiritual tea that Kai Hong put down the cup and pondered his emotions for a while. Fellow Daoist Li, I believe you know something about the Beishu Trading Company. I was entrusted by the trading company to invite you to be its guest alchemist. Kai Hong said solemnly. I wonder what this guest alchemist has to say. Li Shiming also put down his cup and asked aloud. Kai Hong felt happy. There was hope if he didn't refuse immediately. The trading house's guest alchemists do not have any requirements. Otherwise, the Shushan sect would not agree. Every year, the trading house distributes an offering of 100,000 spirit stones to the guest alchemists. And at the same time, the resources of the Beishu trading house are given to guest alchemists first. Kai Hong smiled. Introduced. With such good conditions, what does a guest alchemist need to do? When Li Shiming heard such treatment, even if he despised the offering of 100,000 spirit stones, the priority of Beishu trading company's resources concerned him. As the largest trading house in the northern Shu continent, Beishu Commercial Bank has a large amount of resources in its hands, including the accumulation of third-grade resources. As for the third-grade, Muyong Clover, he risked his life to get it back. But if Elder G's forces hadn't purchased the Muyong Clover in advance, Beishu Trading Company would have had it in stock at that time. From here we can see the background of Beishu Trading Company, and the resources it controls are extremely terrifying. The guest alchemist can decide it will whether to make alchemy for the Beishu Trading Company. And the trading company does not interfere with the guest alchemist's private alchemy business. But the guest alchemist is not allowed to serve other trading companies. In addition, the guest alchemist's reward for refining alchemy for the trading company is not the same as the private alchemy business. The business is the same, Kai Hong explained. Li Shiming finally understood what a guest alchemist was. That is, he was bound to the Beishu Trading Company and was not allowed to serve other trading firms. As for whether to make alchemy for the Beishu Commercial Bank, it depends on the alchemist's own choice. The amount of alchemy produced by the Beishu Commercial Bank is naturally much larger than that of the private alchemy business. But the remuneration is the same as that of the private alchemy business. 
This is the use of profit to attract the alchemist takes action. In fact, Zhuo Rui from Tianmu Trading Company came to see him before this. But with the foundation of Tianmu Trading Company, it was impossible to support his alchemy capacity. So there was no way to talk about cooperation. Tianmu Trading Company is only a trading firm within the sect. Even the second grade elixir materials of the sect cannot guarantee his alchemy capacity. Let alone the Tianmu Trading Company that is attached to the sect. On behalf of Beishu Commercial Bank, I welcomely doubt you to join us. This is a guest identity card prepared by Beishu Commercial Bank for Li Daoyu. We, Beishu Commercial Bank, cooperate with major sections. We can use this guest identity card to communicate throughout the entire Beishu continent. And the guest ID card can check the alchemy task at any time. You only need to accept the task. And someone will deliver the materials. After completion, a dedicated person will come to retrieve it. Kai Hong said excitedly. He handed a jade identification tag to Li Shiming. This guest identification tag had been made before coming, and the identity had been processed. As long as the party agreed, it would be confirmed immediately to avoid long nights and dreams. You must know that although Beishu Trading Company is the number one trading bank in Beishu Continent, it is not without opponents. Several trading firms behind it have been eyeing it. This is a small gift from Beishu Trading Company to fellow Daoistly. When fellow Daoistly becomes a master of alchemy, I will give you another generous gift. Kai Hong saw Li Shiming accept the Jade Identity Tag and took off a storage bag from his waist and handed it over. Passed. Then thank you, Shang. Okay. Li Shiming took the storage bag again and said with a smile. His spiritual mind swept through the storage bag and found that it turned out to be a pill recipe and dozens of Jade boxes containing elixirs. The prescription is the recorded Payudan. But it is different from the San Luo Sex Payudan prescription. The Clonely Yuanba also received a copy of the Piyudan recipe and materials. Li Shiming knew this well. Although the elixir names of each sect of this elixir resource are the same, due to the different resources within the scope of each sect, after countless years of research by alchemists, they all have their own systems. Most of the ingredients in Sen Luo's sect's Piyudan are produced in Shirwanda Mountain. In particular, the main ingredient is a third-grade elixir, which is only produced in Shirwanda Mountain. This elixir recipe is of little value. After so many years of dissemination of Piyutan, there are simply too many elixir recipes. Without the corresponding resources, it is almost impossible to collect all the elixirs in the elixir recipe. The most important thing is a set of materials for Piyutan, including a third-grade main elixir, which is a real golden elixir resource. Beishu Trading Company is very resourceful. And among all Chengdan resources, Piyutan is also the most important. The pulse-protecting pill can strengthen the meridians with special exercises to achieve the same effect as the pulse protecting pill. The soul calming pill can also be replaced by spiritual objects that calm the mind. And the rebirth pill can be replaced by other spiritual pills that are less effective. But the only irreplaceable one is the Piyu pill. Of course, after countless years of experience, if one of the elixirs is missing, the chance of condensing the golden elixir will be reduced by one point. Therefore, if conditions permit, monks will try their best to collect a set of elixirs before they can break through. Kai Hong felt at ease when he saw Li Shiming smiling with satisfaction after checking the gifts. This gift was not easy to choose. Even when he presented the materials for Piyu Dan, he was worried that Li Shiming would not like it. This is not because he is careless, but because of Li Shiming's potential and identity. Li Shiming was accepted as a registered disciple by Elder Ma. Many monks knew this. However, Elder Ma passed on the Jushan Alchemy Code to Li Shiming, but not many monks knew about it. Being able to pass on the Jushan Alchemy Code means that Li Shiming possesses spiritual fire. And it also means that Elder Ma recognizes that Li Shiming has the potential to become a master of alchemy. Any sect will make great efforts to cultivate monks who have the potential to be alchemy masters. And they will not be stingy with the resources for alchemy. What makes Kai Hong happy is that he gave the Piyu pill at the right time. It seems that the Shushan sect did not give Li Shiming the resources to make the pill. Otherwise the value of this gift would have dropped a lot. In fact, he had considered this before giving the gift, as Li Shiming had just entered the middle stage of foundation establishment. It was too early for the sect to prepare the resources for Cheng Dan, so he chose the Puyu Dan material as a gift. Chapter 236 Influence Tai Hong said goodbye and left, leaving Li Shiming alone in the pavilion. The master, Elder Su, appeared in the pavilion and looked at Kai Hong's disappearing figure without saying a word. Master, I agreed to go to Beishu Trading Company and be their guest alchemist. Li Shiming bowed and reported. 
That's good. With Beiju Trading Company here, you don't have to worry about your cultivation resources. When Elder Su said this, he couldn't help but glance at Li Shiming, and then said with a smile, It seems that Lao Ma treats you well. Here you go, I have obtained a lot of elixirs, and you have been promoted to the middle stage of foundation establishment. Although he said this, he still had some doubts in his heart. What kind of elixir did Elder Ma give Li Shiming to take that would make Li Shiming reach the middle stage of foundation building so quickly? Moreover, there is no medicinal power left in Li Shiming's body, so he can't just take top-notch elixirs. What Elder Su didn't know was that the most unlikely answer he had in mind was actually the truth. I just have better luck. Li Shiming couldn't explain it, so he could only respond casually. That's true. You have deep blessings, but you can't rely too much on your blessings. Refining elixirs cannot affect your cultivation. You must know that cultivation is the key point. Elder Su said seriously. Nowadays, Li Shiming can be regarded as a proud man. Although there is no delay in alchemy and cultivation, he is also worried that Li Shiming will be blinded by the wealth gained from alchemy, covering his Taoist heart, causing him to relax in his cultivation. Thank you, Master, for your advice. Disciple, please remember Master's teachings. Li Shiming lowered his head and said, he suddenly thought of something, and then asked, What kind of power is Beiju Trading Company? What is its background? Master, please clarify? I will tell you even if you don't ask. Elder Su pointed to the stone bench beside him. Elder Su sat down first, took a pot of spiritual tea from the space ring, and poured a cup each for himself and Li Shiming. Li Shiming sat respectfully at the bottom. He felt that his master, Elder Su, had a somewhat different attitude towards him. In fact, this is easy to understand. The status of a senior alchemist in a large sect is higher than that of a foundation-building monk. Although not as good as the Golden Elixir Elder, it is similar, not to mention Li Shiming, a senior alchemist who is almost certain to become a master of alchemy. This can be judged from the fact that Beishu Trading Company sent a fake elixir shopkeeper. In the early years, the Beishu Trading Company was jointly established by the six major sects of Jingma and many free nascent souls. As the conflict between the six major sects of the righteous demons became more and more intense, the management of the Beishu Commercial Bank was handed over to many free nascent souls. In my hand, I have preserved a channel for communication of resources between the good and evil sections. Everyone needs such a channel. And that is still the case today. Elder Su slowly introduced after taking a sip of spiritual tea. Then Beishu Commercial Bank also has a share of Shushan sect? Li Shiming asked again. This is natural. The interests of Beishu Trading Company need to be distributed to the six major sects. Otherwise, how could you maintain it till now? Elder Su nodded and said. Li Shiming couldn't help but take a breath. With the background of the six major sects of good and evil, and many free nascent souls, it's no wonder that the Beishu Trading Company can have such a scale. Wouldn't Beishu Trading Company have no rivals? Li Shiming sighed. The six major sects of Jingma and Jingma all have trading firms they support. And some free nascent souls also have trading firms they support. Even the Beishu Trading Bank will not use force to confront these trading firms. They can only use trading methods. Therefore, although the Beishu Trading Bank is the only one, but still can't dominate the business world. Elder Su explained with a smile. Although Li Shiming didn't know how strong Yuanying was, he was certain that if he offended a Yuanying, then the Beishu Trading Company would have so many forces behind it that its business roots would no longer be possible. After returning to his sword-holding peak cave, Li Shiming had time to check his guest status tag. The guest identity card of Beishu Trading Company is a magic weapon with multiple functions. Li Shiming's spiritual mind easily understood the corresponding functions, and the guest identity card could be refined easily, as if there was an extra magic weapon. As the guest identity card is refined, the corresponding introduction and usage methods will also be introduced into the brain. For example, connecting the communication network of Beishu Commercial Bank all over the mainland of Beishu. Li Shiming was still wondering how Beishu Commercial Bank did it before. Now he thinks that it must have the support of six major sects to be able to spread this communication network all over the mainland. At, of course, not everyone can use this communication network. Only those with a certain status in Beishu Commercial Bank can have such authority. Otherwise, if you can use it at will, then the six major sects will be the first to refuse. Allowing the establishment of this communication network all over the mainland is for the business considerations of Beishu Trading Company and also for the top management of the six major sects to have a smooth communication channel so that they can communicate at critical moments. 
The contact function of the guest ID card is very powerful. After being authenticated by him, monks from the six major sects of Jingma can send messages to him within the coverage of the mainland communication network. He can also use the guest identity card to proactively contact any monk within the coverage of the mainland communication network. The first thing Li Shiming did was to use the guest ID badge to send a message to Yin Shiruan, telling her that she could use this contact method in the future. Unfortunately, Yin Shiruan should be practicing at this time and did not reply to herself. This is the case for lovers in the world of immortality. They both need to practice, especially in the foundation building period. It is normal to practice for more than 10 days or even months at a time, and the contact between the two parties will decrease. However, considering that the lifespan of a monk is longer than that of a mortal, especially for the chance of becoming a golden elixir, Yuan Yang and Yuan Ying cannot be released before the golden elixir is formed, so this kind of love between the two will last for a long time, to be longer than a mortal life. Another function of the guest ID card is to view the alchemy tasks. Li Shiming played a spell on the guest identity card, and the guest identity card emits an illusion, which shows the alchemy tasks that can be accepted now. These alchemy tasks are listed based on his status as a senior alchemist. It is estimated that this is a task list specially made for him. There are many alchemy tasks, and large quantities of alchemy tasks are at the top of the list. Li Shiming would never look at the tasks of refining one or two furnaces. He would not get much benefit from those tasks. Although he now has more than 300 top level. Chushan Yellow Spirit Pills The top level cultivation pills in the middle stage of foundation building are probably enough. But he still has a clone. And the clone also needs to prepare top rate spiritual pills for cultivation. The clone strength cannot be too different from the main body. Otherwise it will not be able to help the main body. Qian Yuan Jade Rejuvenation Pill and Tian Baohachi Pill are second-grade elixirs in the middle and late stages of foundation building respectively. One refining task can accept a maximum refining quantity of 1,000 furnaces. He also understood that the materials for these two cultivation auxiliary elixirs must be under the control of the Beishu Trading Company and could be produced in large quantities. So they were available in such quantities. This is the same as the Shushan Hunyuan Pill and Shushan Huangling Pill of the Shushan sect. If all the spiritual materials cannot be produced in large quantities, how can they be refined in large quantities? Li Shiming was not polite and directly took over the maximum task volume of Qian Yuan Jade Pill and Tian Baohachi Pill, each with a thousand furnaces, which was enough to keep him busy for more than a month. He accepted the mission, and Kai Hong, who was still returning to the trading house, received his mission application. Kai Hong stopped in the air and looked at the two tasks Li Shiming took over and couldn't help but twitching at the corner of his mouth. Even though he had heard about Li Shiming's alchemy speed, he was still surprised to receive 2,000 furnaces of alchemy in one go. The profession of alchemist is very popular, but the number of alchemists who can truly achieve success is very small. As long as they have the ability, alchemists will be sought after by monks. Therefore, alchemists are generally very arrogant. It is almost impossible to make alchemists endure hardships and stand hard work. Alchemy is a work that consumes energy. Normally, alchemists in the foundation period will stop after refining one batch of elixirs a day, affect the success rate. As for the alchemist who has reached the golden elixir stage, although his spirit is strong, if his strength has not reached the level of an alchemy master, the second grade elixir given as a reward will not have much effect on the alchemist of the golden elixir stage. That is, to exchange some spiritual stones. That's all. Therefore, the alchemist in the golden elixir stage will not go all out to refine elixirs. This phenomenon is the same everywhere. Kai Hong did not expect that Li Shiming would be so active and not at all reserved as a senior alchemist should be. But he likes such a high-level alchemist. So his mission evaluation will be improved a lot. Thinking of this, Kai Hong suddenly increased his speed and increased his flying speed to the extreme. He needed to get 2,000 alchemy materials immediately and deliver them to Li Shiming. Every time delayed was a waste. As for whether there will be any problems in delivering 2,000 alchemy materials to Li Shiming, there is no need to worry about this kind of thing. Not to mention the power of Beishu Trading Company. Even Li Shiming's identity as a disciple of Xu Shen Sek's alchemy true disciple was worth more than these 2,000 alchemy materials. The reputation of the monks in the six major sects of Jingma is still very high. Even if the monks have problems, they can still go to their sect. Li Shiming received the materials personally sent by Kai Hong at night and he started a new round of alchemy. For a thousand furnaces of elixirs, 
he can get 200 top-level elixirs and more than 1,300 bottles of high-level elixirs. Each bottle is counted as 10 elixirs. His spirit is almost comparable to that of a golden elixir monk. So the refining task of five furnaces a day has no impact on him. As for the impact on cultivation, it is not worth mentioning after taking the top elixir. The days are like running water, and a year has passed by in a blink of an eye. The conflict between good and evil still continues, and it has not become more intense. Nor has it weakened much. From time to time, there will be a battle between the good and the evil, either in the chi chain stage or the foundation establishment stage. But they never rise to the level of a large-scale battle between jeans and monks, keeping this conflict at a controllable level. During this period, among the foundation building monks in the immortal world of Northern Shu, what they were most concerned about was not the battle between good and evil. The longer time passes, the less attention will be paid to the war between good and evil. The foundation building monks were concerned about their cultivation. And Beishu Trading Company launched the Qianyuan Jade Rejuvenation Pill, Tian Baohuchi Pill, Luren Rejuvenation Pill, and Purple Jade Bone Renewal Pill, with Li Shiming's mark, etc. The cultivation auxiliary elixirs, the healing elixirs, and the body strengthening elixirs are all high level elixirs. The foundation building monks discovered that the effect of these elixirs was about 10% more effective than the advanced elixirs produced by other senior alchemists. This improvement of more than 10% should not be underestimated. The effect of practicing the auxiliary elixir has increased by more than 10%. Over time, this improvement will have a huge impact. The effect of the healing elixir is increased by more than 10%, which may be the difference between life and death. Most importantly, the foundation building monks discovered that compared with the usual scarcity of high-end elixirs, Beishu Trading Company sold a very large number of high-end elixirs this time. Of course, no matter how large the number is, it is nothing compared to the base number of foundation building monks. The powerful foundation building monks all purchase high-level elixirs with Li Shiming's mark based on their greatest needs. For fear that such a good thing will no longer happen, the foundation building monks who had not purchased the high-level elixir felt even more yearning for it when they heard other monks praise for the high-level elixir marked with Li Shiming's mark. In short, with the sale of these high-level elixirs, Li Shiming's reputation spread from the sect to the world of immortality and was widely spread among the monks in the foundation-building period. At Holding Sword Peak, three of Li Shiming's followers, Yi Lingyun, Wan Qian, and Lu Tong, are now all at the peak of chain energy. Their strength has improved a bit too quickly. The strength improved through a large number of pills will take several years to accumulate. Be able to try to break through. They are not in a hurry. The current situation is something they have never dreamed of. They take enough high-level elixirs every month, making their cultivation conditions better than most of the monks in their original family. They don't have to worry about foundation-building pills. With a senior alchemist behind them, there will be no shortage of pills. The only thing they could do to repay Li Shiming was to work hard to take good care of Lingji at Zijianfeng. Although they also understand that for Li Shiming, the spiritual plant of the sword-holding peak is not as beneficial as what he can get from a random alchemy. From time to time, their eyes look towards the top of the mountain, which was surrounded by a large formation. But it was their spiritual sustenance. At the top of the sword-holding peak, Li Shiming was putting away the Fresnel reflector after completing a practice of Purple Chi from the East. His body was saturated with the innate purple energy. The Purple Energy from the East which was said to be capable of unlimited cultivation, was cultivated to the end by him using the scientific methods of his previous life. The innate purple energy entered the body, but there was no improvement in the Tao body. This situation has lasted for more than 10 days. Today, he decided to officially give up practicing. Purple energy from the East. He packed 1,500 Fresnel reflectors into several storage bags and threw them into the computer room. Perhaps the Fresnel reflectors would never be used again. He has no intention of destroying the Fresnel reflector just like this. The computer room space is still very safe. Besides, he has captured a large number of storage bags in many battles. These storage bags serve as warehouses and will not have any impact on the computer room space. Chapter 237 Meet Li Shiming stood on the top of the mountain. The breeze blowing his hair and his body seemed to rise with the wind. The good wind carries me to the blue clouds with its power. He didn't feel it at this time. If he hadn't controlled his body, he would have been blown off the ground by the breeze. Now his Tao is transparent inside and outside. As pure as flawless crystal, the training effects of the Badra Body Protection Magic Art and Thor Demon Secret Manual 
are still there, but the traces of body training that should have been left behind are not revealed on the Tao body. His body and spirit have reached some kind of bottleneck, and a big mountain blocks the continued strengthening of his body and spirit. Li Shiming guessed that this was the ultimate stage of foundation building. If he wanted to improve his body and spirit, he would have to wait until the golden elixir stage. In one year, he took more than 300 top level Chu Shen Huang Ling pills, and the spiritual power in his body reached the late stage of the middle stage of foundation building. He was also scared of this speed, so he always used the Demon Shadow Buddha form technique when he went out to keep his state at the beginning of the middle stage of foundation building. But he is also unwilling to give up taking the top elixir. This kind of rapid strengthening can increase his own strength and leave more time for practice later. He had heard that some monks spent too much time in the foundation building stage. And as a result, they spent a hundred years less practicing in the golden elixir stage than other golden elixir monks and ended up in the golden elixir stage. If you practice one day faster now, you will have one more day of practice time for the golden elixir period. The lifespan in the foundation building stage is 200 years. And in the golden elixir stage, it can be increased to 500 years. It seems like a long time. But in fact, the time of cultivation passes very quickly. The reason why Elder Su only meets with his disciples every month is because it takes almost a month to practice once. Li Shiming had checked the sex classics. And he could confirm that his current Taoist body was already the Wushou Taoist body. There are many benefits to the Wugo Taoist body. The biggest benefit is that the affinity for spiritual power will be doubled. He has also discovered this during his practice. The effect of absorbing the top level. Chushan Yellow Spirit Pill has been improved to a certain extent. Originally, after practicing once, the excess medicinal power of the top level. Chushan Huangling Pill in the body will remain in the body for a period of time before it is digested or excreted by the body. But now every time he practices the Nine Heavens Thunder Strike Technique, the medicinal power of a top-notch Chushan Yellow Spirit Pill will be completely absorbed by him. Li Shiming now uses Step by Step to Live Lotus and the distance of each step has been increased to 260 meters. This is also a manifestation of his mental improvement. In addition, the Red Yang spiritual fire in his body has also benefited. Its quality has been upgraded to the second level peak and it has also undergone some special changes. The Red Yang spiritual fire is originally the fire of the Supreme Sun. And the innate purple chi is also the innate jiang energy of the heaven and earth. After the Red Yang spiritual fire was affected by the innate purple chi, it underwent inexplicable changes. Its power was a big improvement. Li Shiming always feels that there is a high possibility that Qiong's spiritual fire can now refine third grade elixirs. He received the inheritance of Chushan Alchemy Code, which is an alchemy inheritance specializing in spiritual fire. In this regard, his judgment will not be wrong. He is considering whether to try to refine the third grade elixir now. In which case, he will become the second alchemy master of Shushan sect. Of course, even if he becomes an alchemy master, he will still be far inferior to Elder Ma. This is related to his realm. He has not reached the realm of the golden elixir stage. The most he can do in alchemy is to refine the lowest grade third grade elixir in the early stage of the golden elixir. Those elixirs that require high quality third grade elixirs as the main raw materials can only be refined by alchemy masters in the golden elixir realm. Forget it. Let's wait for a while and wait until the red yang spiritual fire reaches the third level. Li Shiming gave up the idea of being promoted to alchemy master early. In fact, his foundation in alchemy is already extremely solid. For a year, he wasted almost nothing. He refined elixirs five times a day, ten times each time which equaled 50 times a day. The elixir stored in his space ring now can probably support the consumption of a large sect for several years. This was after he sold some of the elixir through the channels of the sect and the Beishu Trading Company. Beishu Trading Company also provided him with a lot of various materials, allowing him to have enough materials to continue his research work. I'm going out again! Li Shiming muttered to himself as he remembered another thing. In this year, Sun Luo's sect Li Yuanba's realm has also advanced to the middle stage of foundation building. Purple Chi from the East has caused strange changes in Li Yuanba's body. When he was in human form, he was full of Yang energy and had a peerless appearance. He was truly an immortal, just like a banished immortal. But when he was in the state of corpse refining, his cold energy was extremely cold. His height reached 3.5 meters. His skin was black and shiny. His eyes were red and his fangs were protruding. There was no resemblance to a human figure at all. 
The weirdest thing is that his body defense in the corpse refining state is even similar to that of a general. And his extreme cold energy is even more terrifying. Once he hits an enemy, the damage caused is greater than the damage that the general would do if he simply used his cold spiritual power. Be bigger. What level of corpse refining is the general? That is the existence of the peak iron corpse. If it weren't for the fact that the general was Li Yuanba's natal corpse, it would be difficult for him to control the general. Li Yuanba didn't know what the current changes were, but he was certain that this change was not harmful. He practiced the Fresnel reflector used by Zichi Don Lai, like his original body Li Shiming, but his Tao body did not show any signs of becoming an untainted Tao body. It was completely a matter of transforming his Tao body towards the ultimate pure Yang and transforming his corpse refining state towards the ultimate pure Yin. This could be considered a balance, but it prevented him from finding any mission information related to this Tao body. I don't know if Li Yuanba is born with stronger aptitude than Li Shiming. After practicing Purple Chi from the East for more than a year, the effect of Purple Chi from the East has become less obvious. This is clearly the state in which the Tao body absorbs the innate purple energy and is saturated. After all, Li Shiming's natural talent and qualifications are so different that it took him twice as long to reach this level. Of course, it doesn't matter whether the benefits gained by the clone Li Yuanba are greater or the benefits gained by the main body Li Shiming. The main body and the Tao body of the clone are two completely different directions of improvement. The previous top level elixirs were all consumed. And the top level, Chu Shen Hun Yuan Dan, was an auxiliary elixir for training in the early stages of foundation building. Even if there was more, it would not be able to help his cultivation. Li Yuanba practiced Purple Chi coming from the east for the last time and also put away the Fresnel reflector. If he wants to practice Purple Chi coming from the east, again, he should wait until the golden elixir stage to try again to see if there is any effect. He flew towards Wan Jin Peak with the sword light. He was in the middle stage of foundation building and he was considered to be the backbone of the foundation building monks of Sun Luo's sect. After practicing the sword intention climbing into the sky technique, he could fight against any opponent during the foundation building period even if he didn't use any means and relied solely on sword cultivation. Entering Wanjin Peak, he swept through it with his spiritual thoughts and found that the formation at Elder Sword's cave was closed. This was a sign that Elder Jian's training was over. After thinking about it, he turned around and flew towards Elder Jian's cave. Speaking of Li Yuanba's spiritual thoughts, he began to practice the Thousand Hammers Divine Technique more than half a year ago. It took a hundred days to convert all his spiritual thoughts into divine thoughts. The sword intention soaring into the sky technique already has a secret method for sharpening one's spirit. With the help of Purple Chi from the East and the practice of Thousand Hammers to forge the divine technique, it was possible to successfully cultivate spiritual thoughts during the foundation building period. In this aspect alone, he surpasses most of the true disciples. You must know that the preciousness of spiritual skills and the difficulty of cultivation make it impossible for most true disciples to practice to his level even if they obtain spiritual skills. Come in! As soon as he arrived outside the cave, Elder Jian's voice came. Disciple pays homage to Master. After Li Yuanba entered the cave, he respectfully saluted to Elder Jian. Yes, as your Master said, one year will be the middle stage of foundation building. Elder Jian looked at Li Yuanba with a smile and said with satisfaction. Ever since Patriarch Lu showed his recognition and attention to Li Yuanba, Elder Jian has become more and more fond of this disciple. This disciple comes here because he wants to leave the sect and go out. So he came here to inform the master. Li Yuanba bowed and said his purpose. He needs to meet with Li Shiming, the real person, to obtain some spiritual elixirs, and also needs to send a set of elixir-making resources from his body to Li Shiming. Anyway, this set of elixir resources was finally refined into elixir by Li Shiming. It would be safer to put it in Li Shiming's hands. We are in the middle stage of foundation building. It's okay to go out, but you have to be careful. The news that you have received a set of elixir resources has been spread. I'm afraid you will be in trouble if you go out this time. Elder Jian did not stop him. Just a reminder. To be honest, he didn't particularly care about Li Yuanba's safety. Li Yuanba has his sword intention Buddha bead in his hand and he can kill even a monk who is in the early stage of the golden elixir on the spot. It is not that simple for a sword cultivator in the late golden core stage to use the sword intention that has been cultivated for a long time in a secret method. Li Yuanba has not used it before. As long as the sword intention beads are in hand, 
it is equivalent to having the protection of a mid-stage Golden Core Swordsman. Although this kind of protection is only one shot, a powerful enough sword attack is enough to frighten many gene in monks. Besides, Li Yuanba's own strength is not weak. Elder Sword can sense this. Sword cultivators in the middle stage of Foundation Establishment have no problem against ordinary monks in the late stage of Foundation Establishment. Sword cultivators are not flowers in a greenhouse. Killing is the key to the growth of sword cultivators. Thank you, Master, for reminding me. I will deal with it carefully. Li Yuanba did not expect that there would be such trouble. He bowed and then said, I want to ask for permission to pass through the Boundary Mountain Pass. Isn't a hundred thousand mountains enough for you to travel? Although Elder Jin said this, he took out his Identity Jade Plate and operated it. Li Yuanba's Identity Jade Disc received a permission to pass the Jieshan Pass. What he can pass is not just from the Sunluo sect. This authority is a permission to enter the Zhendao area, which will be recognized by the three major sects of the Sunluo sect and the Zhendao. It is not difficult to understand. This kind of private travel, as long as there are not too many monks, is a kind of communication. Just like Orthodox monks also need to enter the Hundred Thousand Mountains, the travel between monks cannot be completely restricted. Li Yuanba said goodbye to Elder Jin, left Wanjin Peak, and flew towards the outside of Sanluo's sect. The news of his departure quickly attracted the attention of many forces within the sect. From the way the demon cultivator thinks, an extremely important item, like Cheng Dan resources, should be carried around with him. Putting it anywhere will not make the demon cultivator feel safe. Therefore, all the forces believe that Li Yuanba will put Cheng Dan resources on himself. And this is not wrong. As soon as Li Yuanba left, many demon cultivators left the sect, and a lot of news was sent out. Sun Luo sect prohibits fights between sect monks. But this can only be controlled within the mountain gate. But there is no guarantee outside the mountain gate. The competition for resources between demon cultivators is an instinct engraved in the bones of demon cultivators. They experience this kind of competition on the first day they enter the world of immortal cultivation. Li Yuanba seemed to feel something while flying. But he just smiled. He didn't care about the battle. At least in the middle stage of foundation building. He would not be greatly suppressed by the realm. This made him more vulnerable when facing the monks in the late stage of foundation building. Can also bring out the full strength of the sword cultivator. Besides, since his sword intention transformed, he has not tested the power of the Jiang sword intent. Taking this opportunity, he wanted to see how powerful the Jiang sword intent is against demonic cultivators. Shushan sect. Li Shiming also sent a message to the two masters that he was going out for a trip. Neither Elder Su nor Elder Ma refused. Li Shiming's status was respected by monks everywhere. As long as he did not enter the demon sect's sphere of influence, there would basically be no danger. As soon as Li Shiming left the gate of Shushan sect, Ji Hongba quietly left the gate with a group of foundation building monks. Ji Hongba has kept a very low profile in the past two years because he secretly used methods to deal with Elder Su. Although Elder Su did not take action against him, he knew very well that his father, Elder Ji, paid some price. He was not a peaceful person to begin with. During the past two years of keeping a low profile, he had been paying attention to the situation on Elder Su's side. With the rise of Li Shiming, Ji Hongba found that Li Shiming was exerting an increasing influence. If Elder Ji and Elder Su competed for 50% of the baby-making resources in the past, as Li Shiming becomes a senior alchemist and is very likely to become a master of alchemy in the future, the balance of competition between the two sides for baby-making resources is changing, leaning towards Elder Su's side. When Li Shiming actually becomes the master of alchemy, it goes without saying that many of the wavering senior leaders in the sect will choose Elder Su's side. Who knows that Elder Su has a disciple with such extraordinary talent in alchemy like Li Shiming? This is not the friendship relationship between Elder Su and Elder Ma. The relationship between master and disciple is closer. It is almost 100% certain that Elder Su can influence Li Shiming. Chapter 238 Seduction Li Shiming never thought that he would be targeted. According to his judgment, he should be a pacifist, and all the fighting would be left to the clone Li Yuanba. Although his side was strong in combat, it mainly focused on refining alchemy and accumulating cultivation resources. The clone Li Yuanba would not rush over too fast. He decided to meet Yin Shiruan first. He had not seen him for a long time. Since he had enough time, he watched the scenery along the way while flying. There is no need to worry about resources. This kind of life of cultivating immortals is really comfortable and comfortable. He casually took out a jade slip. This was a map provided by the sect. It was exchanged for contribution points. 
Its rich content was far beyond that of ordinary maps. There is a Dauphin city ahead. You can go and have a look. Because of the purple chi from the east, he has been in semi-reclusive state and has almost never left the mountain gate. Naturally, he wants to see more when he goes out this time. Now, he can confidently say that spirit stones are just numbers, and he is not interested in spirit stones. As a high-level alchemist who produces elixirs in large quantities, the high-level elixirs in his space ring alone would be an astronomical figure if replaced by spiritual stones. While thinking about it, he was already close to the sky above Foncher. He descended and stopped outside Foncher. After playing a spell, Foncher's formation opened and he walked in. Whose market is that? Ji Hongbo, who was monitoringly shimming from afar with secret methods, asked in a deep voice. Ji Hongbo's father is a Jean Dan elder, and he has the Yuanian ancestor as his backer. Where would he go to such a market on weekdays? And he didn't even pay attention to it. That's the Hang family's market. A monk next to him immediately replied. Is the Hang family the family of Hang Jian? Who has a good relationship with his father? Ji Hongbo thought for a while and asked. It's the family of Senior Hang. The monk next to him didn't dare to call a Jean Dan monk by his name like him. So he bowed and replied. Go and inquire and see if Hang Jian is here. Ji Hongbo's eyes flickered and he waved his hand. Even though he said he didn't have much respect for Hang Jian, he was still very wary of a monk who was in the early stage of Jin Dan. If Hang Jian was in Fancher, there was no guarantee that he could persuade Hang Jian to help him deal with Li Shiming. Once this happens, the Hang family will be wiped out. Brother Ji, Senior Hang is not in Fancher. Currently, Hang Yuching is in charge of Fancher. It didn't take long for the monk to come back and report the situation. God help me! Ji Hongbo laughed. Li Shiming entered the market, which was quite lively. In addition to the shops and the pavilions on both sides, many monks were selling the spiritual objects they had obtained in front of them on the roadside. Looking at the city, there are at least nearly a thousand monks in the city, and more than half of them are foundation-building monks. This is a city where the resources of foundation-building monks are dominated. He couldn't help but sigh that it was only in an immortal cultivation environment like Beishu that so many foundation-building monks could appear. Most of the foundation building monks here are not sect monks, which are commonly referred to as casual cultivators. This can be identified from the details on the monks. Sect monks will all have sect marks on their bodies. The sect marks will only be put away unless they are deliberately hidden. Li Shiming did not hide his face. He walked by various stalls, binding his spiritual thoughts into a line so as not to affect other monks, and only observed the spiritual objects for sale. There is a way for casual cultivators and many strange and weird spiritual objects can be seen here. It opened his eyes, and from time to time, he would buy some spiritual items. Fellow Taoist, the things I have here just came from a legacy house. That is the legacy of a great monk. A lean monk in the early stage of foundation building saw that Li Shiming had spent a lot on other stalls. He greeted with extra enthusiasm. Li Shiming's mind swept over the spiritual objects on his stall, and he couldn't help but shake his head. The remains of the great monk were something that monks in the early stages of foundation building could explore. Although the spiritual objects on the ground looked old, some of the work done under the will of God could be seen at a glance. The so-called great monk is the honorific title given by the lower level monks to the Yuanying monks. However, in the world of immortal cultivation, only the monks in the late Yuanying period can be called great monks. No matter what kind of name he is a great monk, he cannot be coveted by the foundation building monks. The last time he went to explore the six-fingered sound demon's legacy, he almost lost his life there. Fellow Taoist, I really have something good. Look at this jade slip. This is an ancient jade slip. The monk in the early stage of lean foundation building saw that Li Shiming had no intention of buying it, rolled his eyes, and continued. He took out a jade slip and placed it in front of Li Shiming. The jade slip was indeed extremely simple, and its style was very different from modern jade slips. Li Shiming's spiritual thought swept over the jade slip, which made Li Shiming a little curious. The jade slips had traces of repairs. The level of repair was very high, but it did not include scanning that could conceal his spiritual thoughts. The jade slip was damaged and was indeed an ancient jade slip, but it was hard to say whether it could be used. However, in the early stages of Lean Foundation building, the monks placed the ancient jade slip so close to Li Shiming that Li Shiming's spiritual thoughts easily entered the ancient jade slip and check the contents. The content inside the ancient jade slips is not smooth and uses ancient characters. Judging from the damage to the ancient jade slips, 
It is very likely that the damage to the ancient jade slips caused problems with the content. But Li Shiming didn't see it that way. Under his spiritual thoughts, he felt a trace of the realm barrier, indicating that this ancient jade slip originally had a realm barrier. Jade slips with realm barriers are basically inheritance jade slips. And you need to reach a certain level before you can view the corresponding content. This method is the most commonly used method in the world of cultivating immortals. It is to prevent people who are not yet qualified to forcibly check high-level skills and cause problems in their practice. How many spirit stones? Li Shiming asked very casually. 500 spirit stones! Surprise flashed in the eyes of the lean and early foundation building monk. And he gritted his teeth and set a high price. Li Shiming was about to agree. He was not short of spiritual stones. This ancient jade slip was worth studying. 500 spiritual stones was not a big number. Chi Bao! How dare you cheat and come to Hangjiafang City? An angry shout came. And a white-faced monk with no beard in the middle stage of foundation building came from a distance and looked at the lean early stage of foundation building. Master Hang! I don't dare anymore! A lean early stage foundation building monk named Chi Bao said with a tight complexion and no explanation. This fellow Taoist, this Chi Bao often uses some tricks to deceive some unsuspecting monks. Master Hang turned his eyes to Li Shiming and explained with cupped hands. Li Shiming was not grateful at all for young Master Hang's sudden intervention. No matter what the reason was, it would be extremely rude to interrupt a private transaction rashly. There is no fool who can reach the foundation building stage in the world of immortality. In addition, he is wearing a robe with obvious Shushan sect marks. Young Master Hang may have jumped out to make friends with him in this way. 500 spiritual stones. I accept the jade slips. Li Shiming casually took out the 500 spiritual stones, threw them to Chi Bao, and took the ancient jade slips from his hand. His movements were extremely fast, and he did not give Master Hang any face, which made all the monks present stunned. Chi Bao secretly glanced at young Master Hang who looked unhappy, quietly shrank back, and quickly disappeared among the monks. Fellow Taoist, it seems that I have been troublesome. Please allow me to apologize. Master Hang suppressed his displeasure and soon put a smile on his face. He pointed to an attic not far away and continued said, What do you want to buy when you come to Fauncher? Where can I find any good things here? Fauncher belongs to my family. And that is my family's shop. There are stocks of third grade spiritual items in it. Why don't I lead you to have a drink? A cup of tea is an apology. Li Shiming felt strange. He did not reveal his identity. Even though he was famous now, Master Hang did not call him by his name. He probably recognized him. Just relying on his status as a monk of the Shushan sect. He cannot make the owner of this place be so humble. It turns out that fellow Taoist is the owner of the market here. I don't know which senior is guarding here. I should have gone over to pay my respects. Li Shiming said tentatively without moving. At this time, he was in the bustling place of the market. Even if the other party had any ideas, he would not dare to deal with him here not to mention his status as a Shushan sect monk. Even if a casual cultivator is targeted by the owner of Fong City for no reason, Fong City's reputation will be affected. Fongshur can attract monks entirely based on its own reputation. If it loses its reputation, then no more monks will come to Fongshur. My father went out to meet friends, and I am currently in Fongshur. Fellow Taoist, you're welcome. Master Hang smiled and made the invitation gesture again. Since the host invites me like this, it would be unkind of me not to go. Please lead the way, Li Shiming said calmly. He heard that the guarding monk was not here, and by observing Master Hang's demeanor, he was sure that this was the truth. Besides, he has learned the technique of growing lotus step by step, so he is very confident about escaping. Even with the golden elixir monks around, he still has the ability to save his life. He was extremely curious in his heart. Why did Master Hang keep inviting him over? Young Master Hang smiled and led Li Shiming towards the attic. Li Shiming didn't even need to use his spiritual mind to find that the formation in this attic was extremely powerful. This was a formation aimed at the Golden Elixir monks. Such a formation absolutely requires third grade materials as formation materials and requires the help of a formation master to arrange it. I didn't expect that such a market could actually use third grade materials to lay out formations. I think the spiritual objects inside are probably very unusual. Li Shiming glanced at young Master Hang who was smiling happily. And he tried to release a spiritual thought. But young Master Hang didn't notice it. This made him shake his head. After all, he was not a sect monk and had never practiced the technique of sensing divine thoughts. 
after knowing that Master Hang could not discover his spiritual thoughts. He let go of his spiritual thoughts with confidence. And Z15, in the computer room space began to calculate the spiritual power line data of the formation here. Li Shiming deliberately slowed down his walking speed and took a closer look on the first floor of the attic. The first floor was full of magical artifacts and first grade materials and was exclusively open to Chang Chi monks. By the time he walked to the second floor, he already had an idea of the magic circle in the shop. This gave him more confidence in dealing with Master Hang's thoughts. And he also had a faint smile on his face. This second floor displays spiritual weapons and second grade materials. I will take fellow Taoists to the third floor to see the third grade materials first. And then come back and take a closer look here. Master Hang introduced with a smile and made a gesture of invitation. In the entire shop, the strongest formation was on the third floor, where his father usually sat. If you want to trap Li Shiming 100%, then luring Li Shiming to the third floor is the best choice. Master Hang naturally knows that if Fancher wants to survive in this area, he needs a background. His father was a monk in the early stage of Jean Dan. He was still able to suppress Fancher. But he was unable to make Fancher bigger. He had already met Ji Hongbo. Ji Hongbo was the biological son of Elder Jean Dan of the Shushan sect and a true disciple. Fawning over such a true disciple of the Shushan sect was definitely the best help to the Hang family. Ji Hongbo sent someone to find him, asking him to cooperate in dealing with an ordinary disciple of the Shushan sect who had offended Ji Hongbo. If Master Hang's father were here, he would definitely not agree. Thinking about it, the disciples of the Shushan sect who Ji Hongbo wanted to deal with personally would not be ordinary disciples. But Master Hang was short-sighted and was deceived by Ji Hongbo. So he agreed without much thought. Walking up to the third floor, Li Shiming was slightly startled. There were actually two third-grade spiritual objects locked at the nodes of the formation on the third floor. I didn't expect that the Hang family's business was so big and they were actually selling third-grade spiritual items. In fact, these two third-grade spiritual objects are not only the formation nodes of this attic, but also the core of the entire city formation. Although the two third-grade spiritual objects are not for sale, the two third-grade spiritual objects will not be sold unless the offer is so high that the Hang family Jean Deng cannot refuse. Li Shiming's spiritual thoughts followed the spiritual power line and approached two third-grade spiritual objects. His eyes flickered for a moment. With a hint of joy, his status in the Shushan sect is getting higher and higher. But even as a senior formation master, he cannot come into contact with third-grade spiritual objects at his foundation building stage, even if there are contribution points. The sect will not open third-grade spiritual objects to foundation building monks for redemption. You must know that every third-grade spiritual object can improve the strength of the Golden Core monk to some extent. The rarity and rarity of third-grade spiritual objects make even a large sect like Shushan sect need to consider the reasonable application of third-grade spiritual objects. Sex. Therefore, although Li Shiming has no shortage of contribution points, he is still unable to redeem third-grade spiritual items from the sect especially the third grade five element formation materials that he needs most. He only has the third grade earth attribute material in his hand, which was obtained by his clone Li Yuanba by killing a certain disciple of the outer sect. And just now, his spiritual mind discovered that the two third grade spiritual objects on the formation nodes on the third floor turned out to be two third grade five element formation materials, which were exactly what he was looking for. Chapter 239 Sweep A third grade metallic material and a third grade fire attribute material are both third grade formation materials with very pure five element attributes. Li Shiming was in a weird mood at this time. He couldn't wait to let Master Hang deal with him, so that he could legitimately snatch these two third grade and five element formation materials. After all, he is an upright monk, not Li Yuanba, the clone of San Luo sect. If the clone Li Yuanba is here, he can just start grabbing without saying anything. Anyway, he is a demon cultivator, and does not need to consider any reputation issues. At the same time, Li Shiming turned on a magic weapon he carried with him. This was a gadget he had recently researched. A pocket monitoring probe was connected to the jade slips, and the monitored data was imported into the jade slips in the format of the world of immortality. Stored? In other words, the content in the jade slips can be viewed directly with spiritual or divine thoughts without further decoding. He was collecting evidence for his own attack with the evidence in the jade slips and his identity. Even if Hang's golden pill came to the sect, he would have the confidence to refute it. I don't know your friend's name yet, but it's not important. There are several of your friends here waiting for you. Master Hang instantly put away his smile 
and said with a sinister look in his eyes. The formation on the third floor was activated. And the entire third floor was completely isolated from the outside world. Six figures came out from the inner room. The leader, Ji Hongbo, looked at Li Shiming coldly, as if looking at a corpse. In his opinion, the strength of an alchemist like Li Shiming is not that strong. He is only in the middle stage of foundation building. Except for him. The other five here are all in the late stage of foundation building. The five invited late stage foundation building monks were among Ji Hongbo series, who were extremely powerful in the late stage foundation building stage. He specially selected these five in order to be 100% sure of catching Li Shiming. Killing Li Shiming is not a good choice. Ji Hongbo wants to catch Li Shiming and lock him up just to refine the elixir for him. If you are disobedient, I believe that no monk can stop the torture methods. Junior Brother Li, although this is the first time I have met you, we have been friends for a long time, Ji Hongbo said with a proud attitude. Fellow disciples of Shushan sect, are you from Elder Ji's lineage? Li Shiming saw that he was a fellow disciple and immediately thought of the other party's identity. The main reason is that he joined the Shushan sect. The only people in this sect who have enemies are Elder Ji and his family. He broke the plan of Elder Ji and others to delay the injury of his master, Elder Su. But later there was no news from Elder Ji. He thought that the incident was over. But he didn't expect that they would surround him here. My name is Ji Hongbo. I think you should know me. Ji Hongbo was not in a hurry to take action. He watched the five late-stage foundation building monks surrounding Li Shiming and introduced himself with a sneer. It turns out to be Senior Brother Ji. I wonder if Senior Brother Ji informed this Daoist fellow hang of my identity. Li Shiming's expression did not change at all. He asked lightly. Then he turned to look at young Master Hang who was shrinking aside and said, My name is Li Shiming. The true successor of Shushan Sex Alchemy. Congratulations. You are on your way to something big. When Master Hang heard the name Li Shiming, he felt familiar. Then after hearing the true story of alchemy, his face turned ashen and he almost collapsed to the ground. If he was given another chance, he would never deal with Li Shiming just to curry favor with Ji Hongba. When Li Shiming entered Fong City, many monks must have seen it. Li Shiming spent a lot of time in Fong City. As long as there is an investigation, this kind of thing cannot be hidden at all. If it were a month from another sect, or the Shushan sect would not take it too seriously, but a true alchemist, and a super alchemy genius who has become very famous recently. Touching Li Shiming would be like rubbing the Shushan sect's face on the ground. Within the Shushan sect's sphere of influence, there were monks who dared to touch the Shushan sect's true alchemy tradition. The Shushan sect's revenge was absolutely thunderous. Master Hang thought of another possibility. He looked at Ji Hongbo with horrified eyes. At this moment, his wisdom returned to his brain. He thought about such a big thing. How could Ji Hongbo leave him as a witness and participant? Hang Yuching, what are you worried about? If anything happens, I will suppress it and nothing will happen to you. Ji Hongbo shouted in a deep voice. He didn't want anything to happen to Hang Yuching at this time. The formation on the third floor still needed Hang Yuching's help. Yes, I listened to fellow Daoist Ji, Hang Yuching said, but his eyes kept turning around, thinking of ways to escape. Unexpectedly, Ji Hongbo's figure flashed and he was already standing beside Hang Yuching. He gently placed a hand on Hang Yuching's shoulder. Although he did not speak, Hang Yuching naturally understood the meaning. Hang Yuching didn't dare to fall out at this time, and he didn't even dare to activate the defensive weapon. If he did, he might die before Li Shiming. Junior Brotherly, I'm very sorry. Your words didn't work. Ji Hongbo said with a ferocious smile, as if he had a victory scroll in hand. After speaking, he nodded to the five late-stage foundation building monks. The five foundation building monks activated their spiritual weapons and flew towards Li Shiming. Kill! Li Shiming shouted deeply, and nine flying swords flew out. He did not use the nine palace sword array to arrange the formation, but used the nine flying swords as real flying swords. The middle palace sword deals with a late-stage foundation building monk, and each of the other two flying swords attacks a late-stage foundation building monk. After so long of refining ten furnaces of spiritual elixirs at the same time, his ability to control multiple spiritual weapons at the same time has reached an incredible level. He didn't hold anything back. And since he was under surveillance, he wasn't going to use any special means. Of course, if he had to, he would not hide it at all. At most, he would just edit the surveillance video. As we all know, videos cannot be edited. This sentence was a joke in the previous life. But in this world, 
It is accurate at least during the foundation building period. Lee Shimming's nine flying swords arrived first. Although they were late and took the initiative to meet the spiritual weapons of the five late stage foundation building monks. What the Zhongdong sword faced was also a flying sword. And the two flying swords collided in the air. A sound like a thunder strike followed the collision of the two flying swords. The flying sword of the monk in the late stage of foundation establishment shook twice in the air and fell to the ground as if it had been severely damaged. The Zhongdong sword was not affected in any way and turned towards the monks in the late stage of foundation building to fly. The monk in the late stage of foundation building has rich combat experience. And this time he is dealing with a true disciple. So he has already arranged defenses on his body. And a spiritual shield blocked the Zhongdong sword. Unfortunately, the spiritual weapon shield still lost its spirituality after being hit by the Zhongdong sword. In the horrified eyes of the monk in the late stage of foundation building. The sword light pierced his head. The other four late stage foundation building monks were in the same situation as this late stage foundation building monk. Although they had estimated Li Shiming's combat power and overestimated it, they still misjudged Li Shiming's true combat power. To be honest, Li Shiming's sword intent is far less powerful than the clone Li Yuanba's sword intent. Li Yuanba's sword intent continues to grow with the practice of sword intent climbing to the sky. If Li Shiming had not had the existence of the sword bone, he would not have known the sword intent with his clone Li Yuanba. How big is the difference in sword intent? Even though he has a sword bone, Li Shiming's sword power is still much inferior to that of his clone Li Yuanba. However, due to the practice of purple chi from the east and the absorption of the innate purple energy, his sword intention has changed. The sword intention contains the meaning of thunder and lightning. The combination of sword intention and thunder and lightning intention makes it easier to break through the enemy's defense like a steel needle. Although the sword intention is still weak, when the flying sword collided with the enemy's spiritual weapon, the sword intent in the flying sword pierced the defense of the enemy's spiritual weapon. Although it only pierced a slight gap, the flying sword was filled with thunder spiritual power. The tiny gap in the defense of the spiritual weapon allowed extremely destructive thunder energy to flow into the spiritual weapon, causing the enemy's spiritual weapon to lose control almost immediately. This is why Li Shiming's opponents don't understand him at all. If you had some knowledge of his cultivation techniques and strength, you would definitely respond in a targeted manner, instead of being restrained with one move like now. In the world of immortality, there are special spiritual weapons to deal with thunder magic monks. Special spiritual weapons have a strong defensive effect on thunder spiritual power. That is the best choice to deal with thunder magic. But what Li Shiming usually shows is that he is a genius alchemist. He has never shown his own strength in the sect, and not many monks know about his skills and combat characteristics. The battle was over as soon as it started. The vicious look on Ji Hongbo's face had not yet disappeared. The five late stage foundation building monks he brought all died under Li Shiming's flying sword. In an instant, the third floor was quiet, and the terrifying atmosphere seemed to have solidified. Ji Hongbo's scalp was numb, and cold sweat was pouring from his face. Although he is a true disciple, he is only an early stage foundation building monk. No matter how powerful his combat power is, it is at most similar to that of a fallen late stage foundation building monk. What did he see? With one blow from Li Shiming, all five late stage foundation building monks were easily killed. If he had known that Li Shiming had such combat power, how could he have led the team in person? And how could he have only brought five late stage foundation builders? Such an enemy should be dealt with by his father. Elder G. Bring me into the formation quickly. My method needs time to prepare. Otherwise none of us will survive. Ji Hongbo reacted quickly. He grabbed Hang Yuching's hand hard and said through his mouth. Hang Yuching was also stunned. He felt a pain in his shoulder and quickly led Ji Hongbo to take two steps back and retreat into the protection range of the formation. After Li Shiming killed five late stage foundation building monks, he saw the actions of Hang Yuching and Ji Hongbo and a flash of disdain flashed in his eyes. His figure flashed, walking between the spiritual power lines, and when he reappeared, he was already standing in front of Hang Yuching. What was faster than him was his flying sword. Just as Hang Yuching was about to resist, a flying sword passed through his head. Ji Hongbo, who was holding a talisman in his hand, stood frozen on the spot. Although he had many life-saving objects, he was currently in the formation. Even if he used escape objects, he could only travel within the range of the formation at most. There is no escape from here. His most powerful attack method is the talisman. The talisman can kill the monks in the foundation building stage. But the problem is that in the face of Li Shiming's terrifying attack, 
He has no ability to hold on to the breath time inspired by the talisman. Junior Brotherly, let me go. I swear I will never be your enemy again. Ji Hongbo suggested with a smile. Brother Ji, do you think it's possible? Li Shiming asked with a deep sneer as the nine flying swords beside him were filled with sword intent. Ready to be fired at any time like a man-eating tiger. You know who my father is. If you kill me, my father will never let you go. Ji Hongbo made his last effort. That's right. Give up resistance and I'll spare your life. Otherwise you should prepare to catch my flying sword. Li Shiming thought for a moment and nodded lightly. The light of survival flashed in Ji Hongbo's eyes. He let go of his body's defense almost without any consideration. The defensive weapon fell on the ground in front of him. The talisman in his hand also let go and fell to the ground. He could only believe in Li Shiming's guarantee. He knew very well that his defense was unable to block Li Shiming's flying sword for a moment, and he would be killed on the spot. He doesn't want to die, and he has a great future. Li Shiming's Zhongong sword swept across Ji Hongbo like lightning. Ji Hongbo was shocked at first, and then found that he had not been killed. But Ji Hongbo found that his spiritual lake was cut into pieces by the sword's intention. Ji Hongbo quickly succumbed, and his breath continued to drop from the early stage of foundation building, down to the level of a mortal. How dare you break my spiritual lake? He shouted with all his strength, but without his spiritual power. He couldn't make a loud sound even if he shouted, and his momentum was as weak as a sheep. I spared your life because of your status as a true disciple of the sect. I will hand you over to the sect for disposal, Li Shiming said with a cold smile. He knew that his master, Elder Su, competed with Ji Hongbo's father, Elder Ji, for the resources to be promoted to Yuanying. If Ji Hongbo was brought back to the sect alive, Elder Ji's reputation would be ruined. At that time, the possibility of Master Su, Elder Su, to obtain the resources to be promoted to Yuanying will greatly increase. And the benefits to Li Shiming will naturally be greater. Ji Hongbo stopped speaking. He was thinking about how to argue when he returned to the sect. He thought that with the power of his father, Elder Ji, he might be able to bite Li Shiming back. As for cultivation, use elixirs to repair the body and then recultivate the skills. Starting from chaining Qi, with one cultivation experience, you can return to foundation building in a few years at most. He was actually a little lucky that Li Shiming had been in the sect for a short time and had not learned any means to completely destroy people's cultivation. Otherwise, there would be no hope for him. At this time, Ji Hongbo didn't even dare to show his jealousy anymore, and waited until he returned to the clan to mention everything. Li Shiming's spiritual thoughts swept over Ji Hongbo's body, reached out and took off Ji Hongbo's storage bracelet, and then put away the talismans and defensive weapons on the ground. Ji Hongbo only felt the pain in his heart. Only he knew what kind of treasure was in the storage bracelet, which he had finally begged from his ancestor. No matter how much the ancestor liked him, it would be impossible for him to have a second love. Chapter 240 Asking for Help Li Shiming did not check the storage bracelet immediately. His eyes fell on the two third grade and five element formation materials displayed in the hall. His spiritual thoughts traveled through the formation, and the formation was like nothing to him. Divine thoughts wrapped up two pieces of third grade and five element formation materials. And then the two pieces of third grade and five element formation materials disappeared out of thin air. They were taken into the space ring by him. Two pieces of third grade and five element formation materials disappeared. And the formation in the entire attic was stagnant. In Foncher outside the attic, the original Foncher formation suddenly disappeared. The monks in Foncher all looked at the sky. And the foundation building monks among them had a clearer perception. They discovered that the Foncher formation had disappeared. The city has been destroyed. Run away! A monk reacted first and shouted. Then more monks reacted and dispersed around. The originally orderly market was broken due to this sudden accident. The monks were not honest and lost the defense of Foncher's formation. The monks could leave Foncher from all directions. But many monks were not willing to leave empty-handed. It became natural to grab a handful. Some monks snatched the spiritual objects of the monks running the stalls. And the battle started in an instant. And more monks set their sights on those attics. Where high-value spiritual objects were sold. It would be much better to rob them than to rob the spiritual objects of the monks who set up stalls. Many monks who set up stalls immediately put away their stalls when they saw something was wrong. They instantly became part of the robbery. The monks were a little afraid at first. The Hang family had a golden elixir monk. However, when the first batch of monks rushed into a shop and the golden elixir monk from the Hang family did not show up, the monks went crazy. 
The monks are constantly attacking every loft. These lofts rely on the power of the Hang family to survive. At most, there is only one foundation building monk in charge. How can it resist so many monks? At the most chaotic moment, a terrifying coercion swept through the city, and all the monks felt the suppressive power from the Golden Core monks. What happened? You dare to rob the market? Hang Jian discovered from a distance that something had happened to his market. When he arrived, it was in a mess. The originally peaceful and stable market had become like this. He issued a A roar. Hang Jian is the head of the Hang family and the only golden elixir monk. His spiritual thought swept through all the monks. And the monks quickly calmed down from their crazy state and then became trembling. Under the absolute crushing power of the Jin Din monks, killing these monks was just a matter of breath. Hang Jian suppressed the urge to kill. He knew very well that if he killed people without clarifying the matter, the Hang family's reputation in this place for hundreds of years would be wiped out. And there would be no need to think about opening a market in the future. Fonshur is extremely profitable for earning spiritual stones. And due to the existence of Fonshur, a large number of resources come in and out here. You will always encounter some high-value spiritual objects, which can be purchased first. This alone will bring great benefits to the Hang family. Come huge benefits. Hang Jian's mind scanned the main attic. And he found Li Shiming who was packing. And also found Hang Yuching's body. You can't blame Li Shiming for being greedy. He discovered a warehouse equipped with space arrays on the third floor. Which contained a large number of spiritual objects. Although these spiritual objects are all second grade. Their value becomes quite a lot when the quantity is large. Just when he emptied the warehouse and was exploring other places. He sensed a powerful spiritual thought. And he couldn't help but feel a shiver in his heart. Damn it! This Hang family's golden elixir monk is back! He already understood the situation at this time. He grabbed Ji Hongba on the ground and sent out several messages at the same time. These messages include distress messages sent through the Identity Jade Disc and distress messages sent through the Guest Identity Plate. Disciples of Shushan Sect can send distress messages when they are in danger. And he is a guest alchemist of Beishu Trading Company. So he can also send distress messages to Beishu Trading Company. The hundreds of miles of this city are where spiritual veins gather. And there are many small and medium-sized immortal cultivating forces. Among them, there are not a few forces connected with the Beishu Trading Company. The three Golden Elixir monks all received the urgent message from the Beishu Trading Company and went to the designated location to rescue Li Shiming, the guest alchemist of the Beishu Trading Company. How famous Li Shiming is. Maybe few monks from the big sects buy elixirs from outside. But except for the big sects, the other immortal cultivating forces are very familiar with Li Shiming's name. Li Shiming has become synonymous with top elixirs. And it is said that Li Shiming's products must be high quality. After receiving the urgent message from Beishu Trading Company, the three Jin Dan monks rushed to the designated location without any hesitation. On the other side, Shushan's sect received a message for help from Li Shiming. Sword cultivator Elder Zhao was the fastest and was the first to use sword escape. He stopped practicing after pressing Elder Su and left the sect in a flash. And then it was Elder Ma who also drove the flying boat there. Although the other Jin Dan elders did not take action, they were all paying attention to this matter. Li Shiming has not yet left the sect's sphere of influence. The one who can allow him to send back a message for help must be an enemy that is invincible. Every monk in the sect knows the importance of Li Shiming to the sect. Within the sect's sphere of influence, the true alchemy disciples were forced to send back a distress message. The occurrence of such a thing was definitely a slap in the Shushan sect's face. If there were not three Jin Dan elders who rushed to the rescue first, perhaps more Jin Dan elders would go. Li Shiming now had a handful of formation flags in his hand, and his mind controlled the formation flags being placed in each position in the attic. He wanted to resist the attack of the Golden Core Cultivator, and he had no other choice but to escape. But being in this kind of loft, there is one more choice. When the attic here was designed, it was to defend against the early Golden Core monks. Although the formation was disordered because he had put away two pieces of third grade and five element formation materials, he was a senior formation master who was infinitely close to the formation master. And with the help of Z15, he had a solution in a moment. You stay here and don't move around. Anyone who violates this will die, Hang Jian said in a deep voice. He confessed first, and then flew towards the main attic. He wanted to cut the monk who killed his son into pieces. But when he came to the void outside the attic, he found that his spiritual thoughts could not enter the attic. The formation in the attic was activated, blocking out his spiritual thoughts. Hang Jian's eyes flashed with murderous intent. He waved his hand 
and a sword light fell on the formation in the attic. With a bang, the attic shook, but the formation in the attic was not broken. In this short period of time, Li Shiming activated the formation and continued to reinforce it when Hang Jian launched his attack. One by one, the formation flags were put into the formation, and the formation's spiritual power circuits became more complex and more stable. Who are you and why do you want to kill my son? After Hang Jian sent out an attack, he found that it could not be broken with one blow and calmed down a little. He asked in a deep voice. The formation in the attic did not obey his control, which he had discovered a long time ago. But no matter what, the attic was set up by generations of his Hang family at great cost. He did not want to destroy the attic with all his strength. Of course, the main reason was that the murderer Li Shiming was trapped in the attic and had no way to escape in front of him. I am Li Shiming, a true disciple of the Shushan sect. Li Shiming replied while continuing his formation movements and summoning his spiritual power. He hoped to chat for a while longer. The longer the time, the stronger the formation here would be, and his call for help would have time to arrive. He didn't know whether the distress message from Beiju Trading Company was effective. He calculated it based on the time it took for the sex golden elixir to arrive here from the mountain gate. That was his most stable hope for rescue. This answer was not only heard by Hang Jian, but also by all the monks in the city. It's Li Shiming! Who is Li Shiming? You don't even know that Li Shiming is a genius alchemist. He made most of the high-end elixirs sold by Beiju Trading Company this year. There was constant discussion among the monks, with those who knew Li Shiming explaining to the monks who did not know Li Shiming. Hang Jian's face was extremely ugly. Of course he knew who Li Shiming was. The high-end elixirs with Li Shiming's mark sold by Beishu Trading Company were the most in-demand goods. In a market like his, they would go directly to the auction house. He never thought that such a talented alchemist would come to rob his market. It's not that he is deprecating himself. All the wealth he has in this place seems to be a lot. But it is not worth letting the genius alchemist take action. Especially when he sensed his spiritual thoughts just now. He discovered that there were many corpses of strange monks on the ground, as well as a broken monk who was restrained by Li Shiming. Everything indicated that there must be some reason for this. But at this time, when his son was killed by Li Shiming, how could Hang Jian stop? If you surrender, I won't kill you. I will send you to Shushan sect to seek justice. Hang Jian's statement was the same as what Li Shiming had said to Ji Hongba before. The question is how could Li Shiming trust Hang Jian? This kind of revenge for killing his son is enough to make Hang Jian do anything. Justice. You, Hang Shai Fang City, colluded with the monks to murder the guests. And you still have the nerve to ask me for justice. Li Shiming shouted. His mentality is getting more and more relaxed. After talking for so long, he can at least guarantee that the formation here can hold for half an hour without being broken by Hang Jian's golden elixir in its early stage. This is thanks to the formation of Hang's pavilion itself which is originally a defense formation against Jin Dan monks. What Li Shiming has to do is to strengthen it in a targeted manner. Hang Jian was about to speak again when he looked into the distance. He sensed that three golden elixir monks were approaching quickly from three directions. He suddenly mobilized his spiritual power and slashed hard at the attic formation with his flying sword magic weapon. Unfortunately, this blow still had no effect. Stop! Brother Hang! Don't make a mistake! A golden elixir monk shouted as he approached. Dong Yuan Fu Fong has met fellow Daoist Li. Dong Yuan Yuan has met fellow Daoist Li. Kong Ying Wa Dong Yuan has met fellow Daoist Li. Three golden elixir monks stood beside the attic. Opposite Hang Jian. Bowed towards the attic and said. Thank you three for your help. Li Shiming accepts this favor. Li Shiming naturally knew that they were invited by the Beishu Trading Company. He also knew what these monks valued most. He replied with a smile in the attic. The three Jin Dan monks looked happy. Indeed, Li Shiming's favor was the most important. They knew that Li Shiming was the most promising alchemist in the Shushan sect to become an alchemy master. Such an alchemist was usually something they could not hire even if they wanted to. With this favor, they can use this favor to ask Li Shiming to make elixirs when they need it. Of course, the longer this favor is delayed, the more effective it will be. It is best to wait until Li Shiming becomes an alchemy master then this favor may be a great support for them to break through. Even though they are golden core cultivators who control a family of cultivators, they are still casual cultivators. It is more difficult for them to go further in Jin Dan than for the Jin Dan monks of the major sections. This time they get a favor from Li Shiming, which is almost a chance for them. Three of you, we can be considered acquainted. This man killed my son and destroyed our city. Please step aside. I am grateful. 
Hang Jian looked at the three golden elixir monks and bowed. These three golden elixir monks usually have good friendship with him. And they are all golden elixir monks in the Dongyuan area. He hoped that the three Jin Den monks could allow him to capture Li Shiming because of their past friendship. Brother Hang. Friendship is friendship. There is no need to discuss this matter. Brother Hang dared to attack fellow Daoist Li. Presumably because he wanted to be an enemy of the Shushan sect. How can we join in the same deeds with you? Fu Feng replied lightly. The other two golden elixir monks didn't even bother to speak, saying that Hang Jian had no eyesight. Under such circumstances, he actually wanted to attack and kill Li Shiming. Three seniors, you only need to protect me for a while. I have already sent a signal to the sect, and the elders of the sect will come to deal with the matter soon, Li Shiming said. The three Jin Dan monks felt at ease, and they didn't know how to deal with this matter. With the strength of their three golden elixir monks, they can't keep Hang Jian at all. It's not that Hang Jian is strong, but that the means of casual golden elixir monks are limited, and they can't kill the monks of the same level with one blow. With such means, Hang Jian cannot be left behind. They can get Li Shiming's favor without fighting. Just stay here and prevent Hang Jian from attacking the attic. How can they not be happy with such a good thing? Hang Jian's eyes were full of anger. He wanted to attack forcefully, but with the intervention of these three golden elixir monks, he could not do anything to Li Shiming. But if he is asked to leave, this is his inheritance, which has been inherited by the Hang family for many years. How can he just leave? For a moment, Hang Jian didn't know what to do. He could only stand in the air and wait for the elder Jean Dan of Shushan sect to come over. He also wanted the elder Jean Dan of Shushan sect to come over and comment. He wanted to know why such a thing happened. If it was Hang Yuching's responsibility, he would be willing to pay the price to resolve the matter. However, if Li Shiming took advantage of his power to bully others, then he would risk his own face and seek justice from the Shushan sect.